I clearly awakened the SSS level talent of stealing everything, but I was mocked by my classmates as a useless thief just because my talent only has a 1% stealing probability and can only randomly extract one piece of trash each time until I discovered the true purpose of this talent right before my death. It turns out that I can actually steal the massive attributes of NPCs with a 100% success rate. Stealing the NPC Angel grants me a hundredfold divine level luck bonus. Stealing the NPC Red Dragon Queen gives me the Supreme Dragon Egg. And I can even steal NPC Kuan Kuan's basketball. I thought it was all too late. But unexpectedly, I was reborn to the day before the game's official launch. However, to play the game glory, I had to buy a gaming helmet. And the helmets are divided into four grades, D, C, B, and A. Even the cheapest D-grade helmet costs 3, 0, 0, 0 yuan and has poor simulation quality. The A-grade helmet has the highest simulation quality but is also the most expensive. With a selling price of up to 30, 000 yuan. I had just entered society and couldn't afford that kind of money. But I knew the importance of simulation quality. I had a clever idea, my sister seemed to be going to college these days and would need to pay tuition. My parents should have sent the money over, which seemed to be 30, 000 yuan. I knocked on my sister's door, lied that I needed some money for business turnover, and took the huge sum of 30, 000 yuan to order the top level gaming helmet. Glory just launched and swept the world because it had deep cooperation with major banks worldwide, allowing in-game currency to be exchanged for cash at any time. And this way, I didn't have to worry about my sister's tuition anymore. In the afternoon, I received the top-level helmet. I put it on and entered Glory. Welcome to the world of Glory, where a goddess with pure white wings and unparalleled beauty appears. Please awaken your talent. I took a deep breath. Hoping that I wouldn't just awaken an F-level talent because an F-level talent is equivalent to being born with a disability. Nervously, I reached out my hand and started awakening my talent. The system detected that the player had a top-level gaming helmet, and the talent awakening luck value increased by 100%. I was stunned. With this 100% luck bonus, I didn't have to worry about getting an F-level talent. A huge roulette will spun in front of me. As the pointer slowly stopped, I widened my eyes in disbelief. SSS level talent. Congratulations on obtaining the SSS level talent, empty handed mastery. Active effect. Perform a theft with a 100% success rate. Successfully steal one of the most valuable items from the target. Cooldown time, 24 hours. Passive effect. There is a 1% chance to trigger a theft when hitting an enemy with each attack. 100% steal any item from the target. No cooldown time. I was ecstatic. Truly worthy of an SSS level talent. Please select your race. The cold voice of the angel sounded again. Human. Elf. Orc. Undead. Please select your profession. Warrior. Mage. Thief. Priest. I frowned as I looked at these options. They were all the most ordinary choices. Did I use up all my luck on the SSS level talent? Chen Ming smiled bitterly. Just as I was about to resign myself, a bold idea popped into my mind. Can I use empty-handed mastery on this angel? I suddenly raised my hand and used empty-handed mastery on the system angel in front of me. The next second, the system prompt sounded. Ding, success. Congratulations on receiving the angel's blessing. Angel's blessing, gain a hundredfold luck bonus. Holy crap, I exclaimed in surprise. The A-grade helmet already provides a 100% luck bonus. And if it's amplified by a hundred times, it becomes 10,000 times. My vision blurred, and the previous selection interface changed. Several new options appeared. Race, dragon hybrid. The only one. Spirit magic body. The only one. Undead Demon. The only one. Please choose your profession. Dragon Warrior. The only one. Shadow Walker. The only one. Spirit Mage. The only one. Undead Knight. The only one. I was shocked to see that they were all hidden professions and races. And they were all unique. In the end, I chose the ghostly phantom race with a growth talent of 15 stars. The racial talent was Stealth Mastery. Which allowed me to enter invisibility stay forcibly and greatly increased my evasion ability. As a Shadow Walker. I could use two daggers, master assassination, and unlock poison skills. The combination of these two bonuses strengthened my ability to be elusive like a thief. Along with the skillful empty-handed thief, I rose up as an unparalleled thief. I was quite satisfied and pressed the confirm button. Suddenly, I heard a notification sound from the system in my ears. Ding, luck value is too high. Triggering a hidden plot. The favor of the angels. Ding, congratulations on obtaining the item. Mysterious scroll. I was amazed that this was possible, and without any hesitation, I rushed into the newbie village. The first thing I needed to do was to obtain a second dagger because dual wielding daggers meant doubling the damage. Coupled with dagger mastery, it meant an eightfold increase in damage and attack speed. 
I went to the blacksmith shop in the village and sold all the newbie equipment, leaving only the mandatory pants reserved by the system. I exchanged all my belongings for a regular dagger. I walked to the monster spawning area outside the newbie village and immediately attracted the attention of countless people. Why is this guy running around naked? I paid no attention to their gazes and secretly laughed in my heart. My SSS grade talent and the mysterious scroll would make them jealous. I couldn't wait to open my backpack and use the scroll. Ding, triggered SSS grade main quest, the path of salvation. Will you accept the quest? Accept the quest. Chapter 1 of the path of salvation, novice's first step. Quest objective, kill 100 rabbits, 100 wild boars, and 100 wolves. Deliver the quest to the village chief of the newbie village, and you will be rewarded with a divine level treasure. Without thinking too much, I went to the monster spawning area outside the newbie village. Just as I was about to attack a level 1 rabbit, two beautiful girls walked towards me, one in front and one behind. Hey handsome, why don't you put on your newbie equipment before fighting monsters? Do you want us sisters to help you? I completely ignored them and my two daggers danced in my hands, triggering my talent for 4 instant strikes in 1 second. I instantly killed the rabbit with only 15 HP. The two girls were stunned in place. First, I glanced at my experience bar, which only increased by 1%. Then I picked up the two copper coins dropped by the rabbit. The exchange rate for in-game currency was 1 gold coin equals 1000 silver coins equals 1. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 copper coins. At this stage, 1 gold coin was worth about 100. 000, 000 yuan. Although I only earned 2 cents by killing a rabbit, I didn't dare to waste it. Thinking about my sister's registration fee, I put away the copper coins and turned my head to the two girls and asked, What were you saying just now? The younger sister suddenly realized and said, Oh no, it's not. Can you please take us with you, big brother? I shook my head and said, take you? Why should I want to freeload? I didn't even turn my head and walked deep into the monster spawning area. At this time, the onlookers dared to discuss in low voices. Did you see it? I'm going to fight rabbits for half a minute. One per second. Five minutes later, I arrived at a forest. I raised my knife and quickly slashed at the rabbit. Finally, I killed the hundredth rabbit. At the same time, a golden light flashed from my body. Congratulations, you have reached level 2 and gained 15 attribute points. Without thinking too much, I put all 15 points into agility because a thief's agility attribute can be converted into damage and also increase critical hit chance, damage, and dodge chance. My damage basically doubled. Next, I opened the map and found the wheat field, where I found the second mission target, a wild boar. Wild boar level 3 HP, 60, attack, 8, defense, 3. I sighed. It's much stronger than the rabbit. The next second, I aimed at a wild boar that was still eating. Four slashes in one second, cutting off half of the wild boar's health bar. Roar! The wild boar angrily charged at me. With my defense at zero, I would definitely be done for if it hit me. However, the wild boar's charge didn't cause me any pain. A big miss floated above my head. It's because my agility is too high. I quickly realized in counterattack with four more slashes. The wild boar let out a miserable cry and fell to the ground. Then, my experience points instantly surged by 2%. I picked up the copper coins and pigskin and was about to leave when suddenly, the system's notification sound rang out. Congratulations, you have obtained an item, wild boar leather armor. Defense, 3. The defense of this piece of wild boar leather armor actually surpassed the three-piece set of beginner clothes, pants, and shoes. I was quite satisfied and continued to kill wild boars. With the boost of the wild boar leather armor and extremely high agility, I pulled a group of wild boars at once maximizing efficiency. I killed them one by one, and I could see that I was about to reach level 3. Suddenly, Ding successfully triggered the talent empty-handed mastery. Stolen skill book, poison coating. Effect, coat the dagger with poison for 10 minutes. There is a 20% chance to poison the enemy. Poison enemies receive 20% attack damage for 30 seconds. Although it's a white skill, I still happily crowed like a rooster. I quickly opened my backpack to learn it. Suddenly, Ding Shadow Walker poison mastery triggered. Poison Coating Upgraded to Poison Tempering. Poison Tempering Rarity. Coat the dagger with poison for 60 minutes. 100% chance to poison the enemy. Receiving 50% attack damage per second for 600 seconds. I exclaimed. It's truly a rare skill. So overpowered. I immediately used the Poison Tempering skill and rushed into the group of wild boars. Reciting a chant as I slashed. One slash breaks the wind. Two slashes see the ancestors. I added the poison effect to each wild boar. And their health kept dropping. Now, all I had to do was wait for the wild boars to die from the poison while leaning against a tree. Suddenly, ding empty-handed trigger, stole a pigskin. This means that the damage caused by poisoning can also trigger the empty-handed skill. In just 5 minutes, 
Over a hundred wild boar corpses piled up in the wheat field. At the same time, my experience points skyrocketed and reached level 4. It took me 10 minutes to finally clean up the corpses on the ground. The empty-handed skill was triggered a total of 67 times, earning a total of 998 copper coins and 130 wild boar skins. These spoils can be sold for 1 or 2 silver coins in the newbie village, which is equivalent to 1 or 200, and I have only been playing for less than half an hour, which means it won't be a problem to gather enough money for my sister's tuition for a week. I continue to go deeper and search for the last type of monster, the wild wolf. Looking out over the grassland, there are countless wild wolves, but only a few of them turn their heads to look at me, seemingly disdainful of this low-level thief dressed in tattered clothes. I look at the introduction of the wild wolf. HP, 120 attack power, 12 defense power, 6. Just by randomly attacking a wild wolf, it will attract the hatred of all the nearby wild wolves. Although it is a qualitative improvement compared to wild boars, I laughed. Group animals just happened to skip the step of pulling monsters for me. I first allocated all the 30 attribute points I obtained earlier to agility. Now my agility has reached 50 points. Many level 10 thieves may not even have such high agility. Level 6 wild wolves attack me. I estimate they will all miss. This is my confidence. At this moment, I slowly approached a wild wolf that was dozing off. Suddenly, a knife stabbed fiercely into the wild wolf's body. The wild wolf let out a painful roar. And instantly, dozens of surrounding wild wolves stared at me intently. However, I was not afraid at all. Instead of retreating, I charged into the midst of the wolf pack. The dagger in my hand keeps flying and stabbing, inflicting poison on all the wolves. Roars resound one after another, attracting more and more wolves filled with hatred. Soon, a pack of wild wolves follows closely behind me. I swiftly dodge and maneuver, relying on my high agility bonus. I toy with the entire wolf pack, evading their scattered attacks. Even if they manage to hit me a few times, it only results in a big miss above my head, as if passing through a myriad of flowers without getting touched by a single leaf. Just as the first wild wolf was poisoned to death, suddenly the entire wolf pack collapsed like a field of cut wheat. My experience bar skyrocketed once again, quickly reaching 100%. Congratulations on reaching level 5, but my experience bar is still constantly increasing, and I've already lost count of how many wild wolves I've killed. Finally, in the moment when the last wild wolf fell, my level directly reached level 7. At this point in time, perhaps only I can do it in the whole world. Just as I was about to scavenge the body of the wild wolf, the system's notification sound suddenly rang out. Ding! Hunting and killing wild wolves reaches 500. Obtain hidden title, Wolf Slayer. Attributes. Stamina plus 6, Strength plus 6, Agility plus 6, Spirit plus 6. Just as I was about to change my title, suddenly a worldwide announcement popped up, congratulating a hidden player in the Huaxia region for killing 500 wild wolves and unlocking the unique title Wolf Slayer. It appeared three times in a row, and the whole world went crazy. Aren't wild wolves level 7 monsters? There are already people who can defeat level 7 monsters. Our country, Dabangzi, is the number one esports powerhouse in the world. Huaxia players are just thieves. This honor belongs to our country, Da Bangzi. At that time, I had no idea that the whole world was buzzing because of me, and I happily put on the title. Then it took about 20 to 30 minutes to finally search through the bodies of over 500 wild wolves. Just from picking up the loot, I obtained more than 4 silver coins. With my amazing luck, I also obtained 2 pieces of equipment, Wolf Fawn Dagger Rare, Attack Power 13, which I immediately equipped to replace my beginner's dagger increasing my attack power by 12 points. Wolfly Staff Rare, Magic Attack 21. Although I can't use it, I can definitely sell it for a sky-high price, probably around 7,000 coins. After counting my gains, I opened the quest panel and took a glance. I'm only at level 7, but my agility has reached 98, about to break into the three-digit range. I returned to the beginner village to claim the SSS level mission reward and obtained the equipment inheritance leather gauntlets, which have a special set effect. The next attack after ending the stealth state is guaranteed to be a critical hit, and there is an additional 50% damage when attacking from behind. I stood still in place. If I collect a complete set of special effects, it would be a breeze to exchange for a million dollar villa. In order to collect the complete set of equipment, I once again embarked on the road of monster hunting. 1. The Path of Salvation, Chapter 1, Starting from Scratch. 2. The task requires killing 100 venomous bees, 100 green peak bees, and 100 purple bamboo bees. It is similar to the previous task, but the targets have been replaced. I am familiar with solving the first two types of monsters easily, just as I was about to deal with the last few purple bamboo bees. Suddenly, ding, player 616 from the beginner village went on a rampage, slaughtering monsters and triggering their hatred. 
The monster project has been activated, and the beginner village players are requested to assist the village chief in defending the beginner village. After success, you will receive generous rewards, but failure will result in severe punishment. At this moment, the chat box explodes, and several major guilds, led by Snow Moon, are desperately grinding monsters. In addition, there's me, a monster, whose monster grinding output alone is equivalent to that of a guild with nearly a hundred members. The number of monster kills satisfies the triggering conditions, initiating the monster siege. Countless monsters outside the newbie village suddenly respawned, surrounding the players outside the village in an instant. They desperately fled back into the newbie village, with those who died losing a level and unable to resurrect. Only here, it was still relatively quiet. I opened the forum and found a live streaming link. It was the Snow Moon Guild's twins, Ling Shui and Ling Yu. They were already gathering people to defend against the monsters, but it was not enough to hold the newbie village. A slight smile formed at the corner of my mouth. It was their turn to look up to me now. Finally, I achieved my goal and prepared to return to the city to complete the mission. When I returned to the newbie village, the first wave of monsters had already started attacking. I planned to first deal with the miscellaneous items in my full backpack then buy some potions and wait until the monster levels were higher before taking action. At the same time, the newbie village had already withstood the first and second waves of monsters, but suffered heavy losses and was in a desperate situation. Seeing that victory was slipping away, Ling Yue made the painful decision to spend 500, 000 to buy 5 gold coins from the system and went to the shop to buy potions. 5 gold coins should be enough for the whole village to buy medicine. As long as there is enough supply, we should be able to withstand this wave of attacks. Ling Shui ran into the pharmacy, while I was indulging myself in the store. Red medicine comes in 50 bottles. Blue medicine also needs 50 bottles. I only want the advanced potion. Ling Shui on the side looked stunned. Lin Shui suddenly thought of something and tentatively spoke. Pearl, emerald, and white jade soup. Surprised, I turned my head. Didn't I already hide my ID? Seeing me turn around, Ling Shui got excited and I replied. It's me. Ling Shui immediately approached and said. Boss. Are you buying these medicines to prepare for monster hunting? Do you need me to support you? My sister just spent 500, 000 yuan, asking me to buy medicine for everyone in the city. I was about to refuse when I suddenly doubted my ears, spending 500, 000 yuan to buy potions for the whole city. After thinking for a moment, I smirked and said, let's make a deal. Give me these 5 gold coins, and you won't have to lift a finger. Just wait for the rewards from the quest. Ling Shui quickly explained that there were a lot of monsters, and you would be surrounded and beaten to death if you were alone. I laughed and said, what I fear the least is being surrounded and beaten up. Let's do the job first before paying, and the live broadcast room will explode directly. They realized that I meant business. After Ling Shui finished calculating, she agreed and said, it's a deal. I left the pharmacy confidently and headed to the front line. It wasn't until Ling Shui Ling Yue took out the medicine that she snapped back to reality and realized she hadn't bought it. Ling Shui repeated our agreement, and Ling Yue was so annoyed that her scalp went numb. I see, you're just jealous of how handsome I am. The medicine was not brought back, and the entire newbie village fell into chaos. Ling Shui finally couldn't bear the pressure. Just as she was about to return to the pharmacy, a cry suddenly came from the crowd. Look, someone is leaving the city alone. Ling Shui cheered excitedly, I knew she wouldn't deceive me. The whole newbie village erupted in excitement. At that moment, the third wave of monsters respawned. It was a group of level 7 wild wolves, they realized that I had previously obtained the title of wolf slayer, and couldn't help but get excited. However, upon closer inspection, they were elite wild wolves with HP, 450, attack, 25, defense, 12. They were much stronger than ordinary wild wolves, but I couldn't help but smile because the drop rate of elite monsters is twice as high as that of ordinary monsters. Looks like I'm going to make a fortune today. I quickly took out my weapon and activated the poison skill. In the next second, I pounced on hundreds of wolves. With my high agility, I quickly approached the wolf pack and attacked the closest one with a sharp dagger gleaming with a cold green light. It dealt 21 damage. But I was surprised because I usually don't rely on basic attacks to kill monsters. Whoosh, the wild wolves that I have attacked are quietly covered in a layer of dark green. Even the strongest monsters cannot escape the damage of the poison. The toxicity spreads, and the wolf's health decreases every second. Even with a maximum of 450 health points. It cannot last more than a minute. The wild wolf, in pain, lunged at me. I relied on my high agility to easily dodge its attack, weaving through the wolf pack and heading towards the next wild wolf. One stab, then I ran away. Soon, I had a group of wild wolves chasing after me. Seeing me being chased by a pack of wild wolves, everyone in the live stream room was stunned. 
They jokingly commented on the stark contrast between my cool initial appearance and the current situation, saying that I couldn't stay cool for more than three seconds. Suddenly, Ling Yue spoke up. She had been surrounded by wild wolves for over ten seconds, yet she was still alive. On the other hand, when a blood bull knight went in for two or three seconds, he fell down. I guess it must be because of her extremely skilled operation. Ling Shui was taken aback, wondering why it took so long for him to die after entering. Then it dawned on her. Yes, I knew the boss was strong. Ling Yu asked suspiciously. Why are you so excited? Could it be that you really like that guy? Ling Shui almost didn't react, quickly waving her hand, her pretty face turning red. If he can keep holding onto the monster, even if the damage is lower. We can wear down these elite wild wolves, many players shouted. After seeing this message, I almost burst out cursing. I spent a long time poisoning the monsters and brought them over for you to finish off and share the experience. Am I doing this just to satisfy my own hunger? Instead, I pulled the beast tide in the opposite direction and typed, At Ling Yue, stop messing around, lie down obediently, and wait for me. Ling Yue said angrily, boasting too much, let's see how you handle it. If you can kill these elite wild wolves, I'll give you 5 more gold coins, equivalent to 1 million. If you can't kill them, get ready to embarrass yourself in front of all the players. As she spoke, she changed the live stream title, soloing a group of elite wild wolves, and bought 50, 000 popularity points, instantly skyrocketing the popularity of the live stream. One on one against elite wolves, I can beat them and live stream eating my computer. As a barrage of comments floats across the screen, almost all players in the Chinese server now know that I am bragging. I finished off the last three wolves with poisoned attacks, with a green light glowing from those three wolves. By now, all the wild wolves had been poisoned by Qin Ming. In the meantime, the coyote he had hooked up to the toxin in the beginning was also finally holding up to its limits, began to fall in droves, gained 21 points of experience, gained 7 points for siege, not a lot of experience. After all, Chen Ming was already level 8. The level 7 elite coyote was one level lower than him. Siege points, however, are invaluable. Previously, the monsters in the first and second waves were only at levels like 1 and 3. Siege points are just 1 and 3 points. Currently, the one with the highest ranking in siege points was Lingyu. Clear wind and moon. Siege points, 221 points. She is firmly in first place with 221 points. But, with the fall of the coyote, Chen Ming's points began to skyrocket wildly. Pearl Jade White Jade Soup. Siege points, 1. 4 points. Pearl Jade White Jade Soup. Siege points, 21 points. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Siege points, 35 points. Soon, just a novice village player discovered Chen Ming who was constantly moving up the leaderboard. Crap, you guys. Look, Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother's siege points are skyrocketing like crazy. The others rushed to open the scoreboard. Sure enough, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup has stormed into the top 100 positions in the blink of an eye. Mr. He is really good. The little white-haired lowly, Su Su, looked adoringly at the scoreboard. But this, it's just the beginning. With everyone refreshing each time, the ranking of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup just keeps growing. 50, 45, 39, 31. Crap, crap. What's up with the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup big guy? His points are going up so fast. Holy shit. Dozens of extra points for a refresh. What is he doing? He's bulk brushing monsters? That's not right. Isn't he a thief? How can a thief have a powerful AoE skill? Already in the top 20. 20 places? Bro you're slow on your hands. The big man has already rushed to the top 10. Kneel down. Big guy can really brush up on wolves. Ling Shui was filled with shock. Rushed to open the standings and take a look. At this time, Chen Ming had already rushed to the 5th place position. The points also came to 190. A stone's throw away from her sister. Sister. Look. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup He. Ling Shui's words came to an abrupt end before she could finish for she had seen the look of disbelief in her sister's eyes. How is this? How is this possible? Ling Yu's beautiful eyes were filled with shock. Just as she spoke, the standings have been refreshed once again. Chen Ming had already taken 35 points in one breath, surpassed Ling Yu by 225 points, topping the charts. She stopped looking at the scoreboard. Instead, he looked out into the distance, looking toward Chen Ming, who was mixed in with the wolves and could not be seen. He actually, it really did. At this moment, her eyes were filled with a complex color. All the resentment that had been in his stomach before had dissipated. Ling Yu, indeed, is a strong woman nice. It's also true that she really dislikes it when people get all greasy on her or dislike her for not playing the game well. And because of that, she is interested in those who can, operationally, crush her by a mile. All quite admirable. 
I was the one who looked away. At the corner of Ling Yu's mouth, a bitter smile appeared. System prompts, constantly ringing in Chen Ming's ears. Not an experience entry. It's getting siege points. In some cases, this is accompanied by a mythic trigger cue. There are too many of these prompts. Can you block them out? It's all blocking me from enjoying Miss Ling Yu's wonderful expression. Chen Ming spat happily. At this time, he had opened the live broadcast and observed Ling Yu's expression from the live broadcast. Watching her go from being a little smug in the beginning to bitter and regretful now. Chen Ming's heart was so high. That's right. He had given up on the operation. The high level of agility allowed him to stand in the middle of the pack and let the wolves tear at him. It's all miss anyway. Watching the show while waiting for the groceries to be collected is done. At first, the people in the novice village could only rely on the scoreboard to judge Chen Ming's kill status. After all, Chen Ming had pulled the coyote too far away. They really can't see far. But as more and more coyotes fall, they don't have to watch the standings anymore. Just need to look extremely far away. Just a glimpse of what makes their heads spin. Those coyotes that look like killers to them. Surprisingly, they fell in pieces like cut wheat. Shocker. Unparalleled shock. Finally, the last coyote fell to the ground. System announcement refresh. Ding congratulations to novice village number 616 for successfully fending off the monster attack. Activity ends. Start settling rewards. The moment. The entire 616th novice village. It was quiet as a raven. Ling Shui stared with wide eyes. A look of disbelief in the truth. We. This over the monster attack? Ling Yu was in a bit of a trance. After a long moment, he nodded. Yes, we are. And that's it. After all was said and done, the twin sisters were silent. Ding. Start settling rewards. All players of Novice Village know. 616 have plus one level. All players of Novice Village know. 616 have plus 50 points of reputation. For all players present, the level is directly increased by one level. Even the players who had died in battle before had gained a one level boost to make up for their previous losses. Take the tangible rewards. All of the players' opinions of Chen Ming had also instantly changed drastically. Crap. White Jade Soup Big Brother Bull. Not only did I not die but I hoard out one level for nothing? White Jade Soup Big Brother is so top notch. Kneel for the big man. This level 1 rise is too easy. Start settling the top 50 rewards in the standings. Players ranked 21 to 50 on the scoreboard will receive a chance to win a regular white level lottery. Players ranked 11 to 20 on the scoreboard will receive a chance to win an excellent green level drawing. Players ranked 4 to 10 on the scoreboard will receive a chance to win a rare blue class raffle. Points list third player. ID, Jingfeng Feishue, obtains rare blue level lottery chance x2. I'm two chances hey. Ling Shui cheered. Although Ling Shui was just a priest with no combat power, but she had been returning blood to the crowd in the previous battle. A nurse's healing recovery is counted as a contribution and is rewarded with an equal percentage of siege points for squad kills. Ling Shui was in a small team with Ling Yu and a group of Snow Moon elites. Nature points are high. Took the third place prize. The second player in the points list. ID, Clear Wind Range Moon. Receives rare blue level drawing chance x3. The second place winner. Ling Yu. Was given three chances to win the lottery. She wasn't as happy as her sister though. Just a forced smile. More than a reward. What she cared more about now was what Pearl Jade White Jade Soup thought of her. As the head of a clan. What she had done before had undoubtedly offended this big brother. If Biggie gets upset and hostile with Snow Moon, she couldn't help but shiver. Targeted by a top assassin master. Very scary. A master assassin who comes and goes without a trace and specializes in assassination. It was enough to make her and Ling Shui, the two brittle cloth armor professions, die in a hundred different positions. The first player on the scoreboard, ID, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, receives the legendary purple level reward X1. Legendary purple level? Chen Ming was surprised. He had expected his reward to be at most four or five, draws of the rare blue class. I didn't realize it had been upgraded by a big quality. A purple treasure chest landed in Chen Ming's package. Legendary purple level treasure chest, upon opening. 100 chances to obtain legendary purple level equipment and skill books of the user's profession. Turn it on straight away. The treasure chest began to shake incessantly, from slow to fast. Finally, a gap appeared at the top of the treasure chest. A purple light suddenly surged. As the shaking became more and more intense, the slit gradually expanding. In the end, purple light rhythms filled Chen Ming's field of vision. Eventually, the purple color receded like a tidal wave, left behind a purple piece of equipment. Ink bamboo bracelet, legendary purple grade, defense, magic defense, passive, agility, gain 20 extra movement speed and gain the ability to two jump. Synopsis, stalker's favorite trinket, warned to discover many new shortcuts and paths. Chen Ming was shocked. 20 extra movement speed, and a two-step ability? 
This will give him a huge boost in mobility, make him more flexible, even weirder, perfectly fitting for a thief. Chen Ming couldn't wait to put the ink bamboo bracelet on. In an instant, he felt his jumping ability, breaking through the limitations. Jerk, flying in midair. Chen Ming had absolutely no feeling of being unable to control his body after exhaustion. His legs were still filled with power. One more leap, building on his first jump, he soared up again, breaking the jump limit. Don't look for just a small breakthrough, but it's also just this extra jump. It would be enough for Chen Ming to develop all sorts of weird and wacky evil ways. Take a thief's mobility and develop it to the limit. Yes, put away the ink bamboo bracelet. Chen Ming looked towards the corpses of the elite wild wolves littering the ground. Because it was a monster siege event, these elite coyotes didn't explode any items. There are only rewards for siege points, and experience value rewards. The siege points allowed Chen Ming to obtain the purple grade equipment ink bamboo bracelet. The experience value bonus, on the other hand, caused his experience to skyrocket by as much as 40. Plus the one level boost that all players in novice village number 616 received after defending the siege. Here and now, Chen Ming already had 9 levels and 60 experience points. Just 40 short of rushing to level 10. I also don't know what's in the level 10 novice treasure chest. Chen Ming was very curious. After this wave of monster siege was fought, he was already the world's highest rank deservedly. No one will upgrade faster than him. And his backpack, besides having the novice treasure chest, there were also a dozen pieces of brand new gear lying around. It makes sense that the elite coyote, as an active monster, doesn't have any burst rate. And it makes sense that Chen Ming, who has a SSS level talent, can steal from the activity monsters, that are a dime a dozen. Looking at the backpack of equipment, the corners of Chen Ming's mouth could not help but rise slightly. Get rich, back inside the novice village, Chen Ming could clearly feel the change in everyone's attitude towards him, before going out to meet him in battle. Everyone looked at him with suspicion and distrust, but here and now, in their eyes, there was nothing but adoration. Thanks to the big man for taking us flying. You're my idol. Big brother by Yu Tang. Brother by Yu Tang. Can you give a friend? I can warm the bed oh. Big brother. Begging to be taken for practicing. 10. 000, 000 wallets a day. Okay? Hearing the earthy speech of 10. 000, 000 packages for a day. Chen Ming was ruthlessly moved. He's not short on rank right now. First in the world. Steady as she goes. The highest level on the rank list excluding him was only level 8. It's a long way from level 10. It wouldn't even threaten his position as the first person to open a newbie treasure chest. Isn't it a huge smell to take a day job and earn this 10, 000 dollars? Although he had made a contract with Ling Shui that he could earn 5 gold coins, which was equal to about 500, 000 RMB, by taking Shui Yu to lay down and win a monster siege, but no one would mind having a lot of money. Just as Chen Ming was about to open his mouth, Ling Yu, who wore rough mage robes but appeared to be unusually holy, stepped out from the crowd. You win. This one million four hundred thousand dollars. Snow Moon will not go back on her word. Chen Ming snapped. A million and a quarter? Isn't it half a million dollars? How did it suddenly become one? Four million? Ling Shui saw Chen Ming's doubts and immediately explained. When Chen Ming learned that Ling Yu, the woman, was provoked by his words to make a bold promise in the live broadcast, doubling the promised five gold coins after. He almost didn't laugh out loud. You can still give away money like that? Can can can. With this one dollar. Four million. Who's going to take that ten dollars? Zero 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 a day job? Too little. Genus doesn't see it. Chen Ming maintained his expert demeanor and tried not to let himself laugh out loud as he submitted a collection transaction for Ling Yu in the amount of one. Four million dollars. As an epic making game supported by many countries, glory is naturally connected to the trading systems of major banks. Ling Yu received the transaction and did not immediately agree, but pursed her lips. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother. Should we add a friend first? Ling Yu asked tentatively. When these words came out, Ling Shui could not help but be shocked. Add a friend? Sister actively looking for someone to ask for the buddy bit? What a rarity. But Ling Shui wasn't surprised for long, as she quickly reacted to the fact that her sister wasn't having anything against the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother. She simply wanted to pull this master in. After all, those things she did before could be considered less than friendly, although she paid a million and forty thousand dollars for it. But in the rich woman Ling Yu's opinion, these small amounts of money could not buy the respect and friendliness of a top expert like Pearl Jade White Jade Soup. As the eldest daughter of a wealthy family, Ling Yu knew very well that there were many things that could not be managed with money alone. When Chen Ming saw the friend request sent out by Ling Yu, he was somewhat unimpressed. If you put it in the past, who inexplicably gave him a million and forty thousand dollars, he must have hated to recognize his father on the spot. But now, he has a SSS ranked talent in his hand. 
There's also the experience of being born again, knowing full well that the world landscape will all change in a few years. Money has been useful over the years though, but when it comes down to it, the game maps into reality. It's a pile of scrap paper. Whoever has the biggest fist has the capital to speak, with Chen Ming's potential. In the future, he would definitely be one of those few who stood at the top of humanity. With this expectation, his mindset naturally changed. No more feeling flattered by being asked to be a best friend by a rich woman like Ling Yu. He replied calmly, friending is fine, plus another hundred thousand dollars. This statement was made. Everyone was shocked. A buddy bit for one hundred, zero 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 bucks? That's more or less over the top. Even the two sisters, Ling Shui Ling Yu, who were well-bred and had extremely high eyesight, appeared briefly surprised. Without waiting for them to ask a rhetorical question, Chen Ming explained, with my friends, you will be able to find me at any time. Open copies, fight field bosses, guild battles, and assassinate targets. I undertake all bounty missions. Price, 100,000 to start. Depends on the difficulty of the task. $100,000 for adding a friend. Even if that's the threshold. That makes sense, doesn't it? Chen Ming knew the importance of this game. The opening price of 100, 000 dollars is, really not expensive to hire a master like him. The price, even, is on the low side. Chen Ming was mainly looking at the fact that the Snow Moon Guild was a large family and could easily get some sought after resources. For example, grabbing top bosses, opening up high level, copy. Chen Ming was then able to use the opportunity of accepting employment to get a piece of the pie. Being able to share these top resources was Chen Ming's main objective. Toll, that's nothing more than a smooth ride. As Chen Ming quoted the price he was charging, everyone, silent, inside Ling Yu's live broadcast. Because of the title of Singled Out Elite Coyote, it had managed to attract millions of water users online. They had similarly heard Chen Ming's offer, $100,000 for adding a friend, and $100,000 to start for helping with a quest? Who does he think he is? I thought this was an expert, but I didn't realize it was a guy who wanted money like crazy. Why don't you go grab this? Robbing can be as fast as this? Laughing to death. Do you really think that Ling Yu is an ingrate? That's a strong woman who can securely sit as the president of one of the top 10 guilds in China. Not someone you can blackmail. The masterly demeanor of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is all gone at this moment. I think he's really confused about his position. It's just, a guy who got a little lucky with his start. Everyone, in a conspiratorial manner, mocked, obviously. Chen Ming's lion's mouth behavior was disliked by them. Everyone slams. However, just as everyone was filled with righteous indignation, they were satirizing Chen Ming's outrageous behavior. Ling Yu, however, nodded after a long silence. Okay, a hundred thousand is a hundred thousand. The pop-ups were just scrolling like crazy. At this moment, there was a brief vacuum. Everyone was shocked. This is all promised? Ling Yu, are you crazy? The pearl emerald white jade soup has bewitched the president? A hundred thousand plus a friend? I don't understand the world of rich women. Is there a possibility that the rich woman is actually looking at the pearl? Jade and white jade soup big brother? It's possible. Otherwise who would spend the money of this ingrate? There's one thing to be said for pearl emerald white jade soup big brother is kinda handsome. Damn. It's sour. Obviously. The pop-ups are a bit of a brain fart. And some of them come on crooked. They've why 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 gone over to Ling Yu's backwards Chen Ming side. But it's not all their fault. After all. We are all mere mortals. Who the hell has ever seen 100? 000 hundred thousand tickets smashed like this? All kinds of brainstorming to be normal. Ding, your tail number, 3831, bank card has had a balance change. Received a remittance of 150, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 yuan. Current balance, 15, 037, 242 yuan. Seeing the prompt that popped up, Chen Ming smiled slightly. His own bank card with a three-digit balance instantly popped up to seven figures. That's cool. Not bad for a rich woman Ling Yu. That's hitting the money fast enough and decisively enough. Chen Ming was not ambiguous and directly passed Ling Yu's friend request. Happy cooperation. He rushed at Ling Yu and said in a nonchalant manner. Then, it turned its head and left. The crowd looked at Chen Ming's back as he left, was unable to resist the emotion. What a bull. Taking over a million dollars from a big client and turning his head. Is this the style of a master? First time I've seen the president treated like this. Envious. The crowd of men looked envious. And in the midst of this, there were two poised. Not a bad girl. They were the two who had tried to accost Chen Ming at the city gates in the beginning. We actually tried to hit on the pearl emerald white jade soup big guy at first. No wonder people ignore us. Even a beauty like Ling Yu needs 100, 000 dollars to add a friend. What are we to him? The two women who were originally quite confident in their looks, 
completely autistic in the moment. Chen Ming returned to the city, opened the friend bar and sent a message to the white-haired Loli with the ID of Susu, asking her to meet her at the grocery store. As a result, just after the message was sent, Lori appeared beside him unknowingly. Sir, I, I've been there all along. Su Su's eyes were filled with undisguised admiration as she looked at Chen Ming. Chen Ming immediately traded over a large pile of miscellaneous items for her to sell. This was a prop that Mythical had stolen in that sound battle just now. In total, it would only sell for a couple hundred bucks, compared to the one million and eight hundred thousand he had just harvested. Although it was a bit shabby, Chen Ming upheld the traditional virtue of not wasting any money, and intended to not spare a single penny. The transaction was completed, and Su Su turned out to have a bag full of stuff. But instead of going to the sale at once, she bowed her head with some difficulty. First, sir, the hundred thousand dollars for your buddy bit. Can I, can I save it up and give it back to you? Please, please don't delete me. I'll save up enough, Su said, showing a panicked expression. Chen Ming froze, and then smiled. What do you think? I want to find you to ask for this money. That 100, 000 dollars is used to slaughter the dog big. As long as you follow me well and listen to my words. For this little lowly who obviously had a hidden profession, Chen Ming, was not willing to just let go. It would be a big help to lure her to her side as early as possible. After hearing Chen Ming's words, Little Lori joyfully ran off to sell groceries for Chen Ming. Engaging Chen Ming couldn't help but feel emotional. Lori is just so easy to fool. I just don't know what hidden profession she is. Although the hidden professions are all strong, it would be nice to have a profession that compliments me. Chen Ming scattered his thoughts. That is, until Lori finished selling her stuff and came running back, humming and hawing, to finish the deal with him. At this point, it was already evening. Chen Ming estimated that his sister was getting hungry. He then told Lori that he was going to go offline, and that he would make an appointment tomorrow to come online in the morning and take her to upgrade. Before going offline, Chen Ming once again confirmed the world ranking list, except for him, a level 9-1 rider. Everyone else, up to level 8. Trying to outdo him is not something you can do by staying up all night. Goodbye, sir. The little lowly Su Su held her staff in one hand and raised her other hand high in the air, waving her hand towards Chen Ming in an effort. Chen Ming turned into a white light and disappeared into the novice village. Phew, take off your helmet. The top-of-the-line helmets come with micro-adjustments that fit the head, as well as a top-of-the-line built-in small air conditioner, and after wearing them for a couple of hours, they didn't feel sweaty or stuffy at all. Even the overall weight of the helmet was light because of the high-end selection of materials, and Chen Ming had not even experienced the feeling of a stiff and sore neck. This is the benefit of the topmost helmet. Chen Ming recalled how he used to buy the beggar's version of the helmet and felt uncomfortable after playing. Strong contrasts. Money. It can be a real blessing. Thinking of this, Chen Ming opened his cell phone and checked the balance in his bank account. He smiled slightly when he saw over a million and eight hundred thousand dollars. Come on, sis. Brother will take you out for a nice meal today. Knock on the door of your sister's room. Half a dozen times, his sister opened the door to the room and looked curiously at Chen Ming. Going out to eat? Brother, aren't we still eating yesterday's leftovers? My sister is still thinking about the leftovers in the fridge. Listening to his sister's words, Chen Ming could not help but feel a pang of heartache. A girl of my sister's age, who doesn't want to get dressed up every day, go out to eat and drink, and take some great pictures? If there are options, who misses the leftovers that haven't been eaten at home? In fact, with their parents working abroad, their lives should not be stressful, though not to the point of great wealth. It can also be a well-off level. But Chen Ming, the guy with the high eye, started his own business directly after graduation, and not only lost his small treasury, but also overdraft a lot. The two are afraid to reach out to their parents, who are working abroad, for money, just have to bite the bullet and live a tight life. What touched Chen Ming the most was that this sister of his, was still very supportive. Be willing to suffer with yourself. He couldn't help but feel a pang in his nose at the thought. In his last life, he was a terrible mixer. He failed to protect his sister both before and after the release of glory. But this life is different. Don't say it. Let's go. Brother will take you out in style. Chen Ming couldn't help but pull his sister out the door. And while Chen Ming insisted on taking his sister out, on the web, a discussion on the pearl jade white jade soup. The, it has dominated the top of the major search engines and forums. The no, one fierce man in Huaxia district, taking on hundreds of elite wolves single-handedly. Frame by frame analysis. Take a look at what skills the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother really has. An assassin who is more fierce than a warrior. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Who says there are no assassins in China? Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. A rising supreme assassin. Everyone's curiosity about Chen Ming's career had reached a frantic state. 
After all, Chen Ming had chosen to hide his race and profession. People could only tell his thief profession by his use of a double dagger weapon. And, many of them guessed that Chen Ming possessed a hidden profession. However, there are some lucky people with hidden professions who jumped in to refute this, saying that hidden professions can't be that dope. They were also hidden professions, which were only slightly more powerful than normal professions. In short, speculation on the internet as to why Chen Ming was so powerful had been in full swing. Unfortunately, they certainly didn't expect it. Chen Ming not only had a hidden profession, also has hidden races. Even, there was the SSS ranked talent Mythical Hands, under the triple top buffs. It was Chen Ming who had performed so terribly, and aside from the discussion of Chen Ming's own powerhouse, everyone also seemed to be gossiping about his lion's share of the money, ruthlessly slaughtering Ling Yu for over a million dollars. Many people have already brainstormed the love-hate relationship between the goddess president and the powerful and mysterious passerby. There was also a group of Ling Yu's lickspittles ghosting around. However, what really attracted Ling Shui's attention was the post made by a guy with the ID King. World, spend a hundred thousand dollars to friend a thief? The president of the Snow Moon Guild is really short-sighted. Seeing this ID, Ling Shui's gaze sank. When she read the headline, she was even more furious. King, the world. This was an old rival that Snow Moon had made a grudge against in previous games. The king's guild that he led was comparable to Snow Moon's strength. Last year, Snow Moon was squeezed out of the top 10 guilds by them. It wasn't until this year that the team managed to bounce back and regain the honor that was theirs. And today, Snow Moon ruthlessly swiped the screen. This old rival, naturally, must come out to sing a counter-argument and disgust people. Ling Shui clicked in to take a look. I just saw him make an impassioned speech. As we all know, this game, Honor, is a classic battle law and herding match. Brotherhood and unity are the true heart of the game. How else could the game be named Glory? And Ling Yu, the little girl, took the wrong path. To think that this is a game that can be played by individual heroism. Giving someone up to $100,000 to hire is really unheard of. Whether or not that pearl emerald white jade soup is worthy of the $100,000, let's not discuss that for now. I just want to ask, the brothers of Snow Moon, you have sold your lives for Snow Moon for so long and forged that kind of splendor for Snow Moon, but you, have been valued by Ling Yu, have you guys, ever gotten a reward that starts at $100, 000? Ha, more than that, our king's guild, but the, it's always been about brothers, rewards are handed out and treated equally but never this kind of individual heroism. Below the post, the players of the King's Guild responded positively. King, Cold Rain, boss is right. A chairman like Ling Yu is rat-faced and it's not worth it to work for her. King, Bastard Sword, Pearl Jade White Jade Soup is just bullying monsters. When it comes to our King's Guild and our brothers are united, he'll still have to kneel down for us. King, Zoe, the Guild brothers are all good men, which is not more powerful than that Pearl Jadeite White Jade Soup or something? The post quickly went viral. Ling Shui looked shocked. She had never expected that this king, the world would actually find such a tricky angle to attack Snow Moon. A very vicious angle, I must say, and quite effective. The guild's greatest fear is that people will not be united, especially when the game has just started. The guild has not been formalized yet, only when a verbal contract exists. People are disorganized enough to kill. Sister, take a look at this post. Ling Shui sent the post to Ling Yu in a fiery hurry. Soon, Ling Yu read it with a face as heavy as water. Sister, what should we do? Ling Shui anxiously inquired. Ling Yu's face changed as if she was making up her mind. Finally, she clenched her teeth hard. The king, the world has spoken harshly, and we cannot refute it, only with facts. Ling Shui, do you still remember that hidden welfare copy we inquired about through dad's connections before the opening of glory? I'm going to invite Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup tomorrow and have him take us to fight that copy. As long as we can pass, we are the same as using the facts. A hard slap in the face of the king. The world, hearing Ling Yu's words, Ling Shui could not help but be shocked. Share that welfare copy with Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup? Sis, that copy was something dad spent a lot of connections to get from the inside. But you can't buy information for any amount of money. Not only do we have to share to Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, but we have to send him money? Ling Yu let out a bitter laugh. If she could, she would also like to keep the copy in her hands. And when Snow Moon grew, she would take her inner circle to raid the copy and gain a large wave of promotion available at. It's a tough situation. There's no way but to cheapen the pearl emerald white jade soup. Ling Yu sighed helplessly. She also felt depressed. A welfare copy of pearl emerald white jade soup for nothing even. You have to give away money yourself. What an ingrate this is. While the internet is in an uproar. Chen Ming had already brought his younger sister, Chen Jiajia, to the mall near his home. 
The house that mom and dad left behind is closer to the old town. It's not very expensive, but it's got a lot of smoke and mirrors. There was a lot of noise all the way around. Street vendors with pushcarts. Small stores open on the side of the road. Elderly people walking their dogs and young couples holding hands and walking alongside each other. Chen Ming still missed these days, since the game has shown into reality. These normally annoying noises have, in turn, become rare. What a nostalgic. Chen Ming silently lamented. Dragged my sister around the mall for the better part of a day. However, my sister was neither willing to eat it nor buy it. Even on a few occasions, Chen Ming could clearly see the light in his sister's eyes as she looked at the exhibits through the window. But she finally twisted her head away stubbornly, lying about not liking it and all that. There is no way around it. Chen Ming could only transfer $100,000 to his sister's account. The reason why you don't disclose the one, 8 million, it's the fear of scaring my sister. Ding, PayPal arrived, $100,000. My sister didn't turn off the beep. The moment the prompt sounded, it instantly attracted countless gazes from all around. There was shock, there was doubt, but more than that, it was still full of envy. My sister was taken aback. This is, your brother earned it today. Chen Ming smiled faintly. I'll give you back 30,000, plus give you $70,000 of pocket money. Buy whatever you like. Eat whatever you want. Don't be stingy. Where has Chen Jiajia ever seen so much money? She opened her phone and double-checked it a few times. Finally in surprise, and suspicion to look at Chen Ming. Brother, you're not doing anything illegal, are you? Am I this kind of person? Your brother? Chen Ming was angry and amused. Chen Jiajia was stalking for a while. Unfortunately, Chen Ming had been a man for two lifetimes and his oily tongue easily fooled Chen Jiajia, but in the end, Chen Jiajia didn't go on a spending spree at the mall. Instead, he looked at Chen Ming with a single glance. Brother, in the future, the family will still have a lot of places to use money, so I'll save this 70, 000 yuan of pocket money for you first. Look, you're in your 20s and you're still single. It's about time you found me a sister-in-law, right? If you want to find your sister-in-law, you should have a house, right? The car has to be there too right? Plus later on when you have kids. Chen Ming's head was spinning for a while. Stop, stop, stop. Where is this sister? That's just an old lady. Without any further ado, his sister dragged Chen Ming to ask for two bowls of noodles in a small noodle shop outside the mall. To celebrate Chen Ming earning his first bucket of gold, she generously added a cutlet for herself. While his sister was eating with her mouth full of oil, Chen Ming excused himself to go out to buy water, slipped into the mall and bought his sister those dresses that she had seen several times. It was only when we got home that Chen Ming showed his cards and took out the dress. Chen Jiajia's first reaction was not happiness, but a panic in her heart. Brother, you actually bought all of it? This, how much does this, cost? A small fortune, a little over 10,000. One, 10,000? Chen Jiajia opened her mouth wide, then chattered with a face full of heartache. Brother you really are, even if you have to. Buy, just buy one piece ah. How can you buy them all? No, 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 it has to be returned. Chen Ming had expected this, and with a hefty smile, sorry, I've already ripped off all the hang tags, want to return it? No way. Chen Jiajia's breath caught in her throat. Willow's eyebrows went up. Crap, my sister is going to get angry. Chen Ming secretly screamed that it wasn't good, and hurriedly interrupted his sister's venting with a sentence about going to take a shower, and skipped off on his feet. When he came out of the shower, he realized that his sister was holding a large basin, carefully hand-washing and rubbing the new pieces of clothing she had bought today, obviously loved and cherished. You can't even use the washing machine. You scrub by hand. Sensing Chen Ming's gaze, Chen Jiajia twisted her head around and glared at Chen Ming with feigned anger. Chen Ming didn't poke at it, smiled faintly, said good night, and returned to his room. Lying on the bed, Chen Ming habitually swiped his cell phone. After an afternoon of fermentation, Legendary events about him have reached the point of being well known. Watching a bunch of people blow themselves up in a mindless frenzy. Chen Ming only felt a blush on his old face. Blows well. Please increase your efforts. On the first day of service, he had already achieved fame and fortune. There are long days ahead. Plus the late game will shine into reality. His future is bright. This night, Chen Ming slept soundly. The next day, Chen Ming woke up early. Spirits are jittery. My sister had already toasted two slices of toast bread and fried an egg. Poor Chen Ming another glass of milk. A not so hearty but tasty and filling breakfast was ready. After eating and drinking, Chen Ming returned to his room and prepared to go online. Of course, what he told his sister was that he was busy with his career online. Swish, between the surges of light and splendor, a human form coalesced in the 616th freshman village. It was clearly Chen Ming. At this time, 
It was still early in the morning, and it was logical that there wouldn't be too many gamers, but when you looked around, the novice village was crowded. It's so worthy of glory, there are really a lot of people. Taking advantage of the large number of people, Chen Ming was ready to clean up the equipment that he had pounded in all day yesterday. Although these equipments can be sold to NPCs and can be sold at a premium through Lolita Susu, but, how much money can an NPC have? If you really want to make money, it would have to be an ingrate like Ling Yu. Although when the game properties are substituted into reality, the money is a pile of scrap paper. But it's still a year or two before that. Get more money. Not only can take advantage of these two years to enjoy the blessings, but also to be able to rely on these resources. Prepare in advance. For yourself, for your family, to deal with the future security. Chen Ming mulled over the idea of setting up a stall at the entrance of the village with the most foot traffic. But just then, he popped up a message alert. Surprisingly, it was a letter from an official. Dear player, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, hello, the official operation team of Glory cordially invites you to certify the identity of the game god and join the official forum. Please reply to confirm. Chen Ming was a bit surprised. Certified game god status. It's a badge of honor. It's the equivalent of those celebrities who are on social media and have officially given certifications in general. The game god is the official certification given to big brother players by Glory. For example, the head and vice president of the Snow Moon Guild. Qingfeng Flying Snow as well as Qingfeng Range Moon, two women, both with certifications as gaming gods. This certification doesn't provide attribute bonuses, but it does have a short-lived top privilege when posting on the official forums, as well as all sorts of superior treatment. Wait, have the privilege of being on top? When he thought of this, a bold idea surfaced in Chen Ming's mind, given the privilege. So why doesn't he just have an online auction? The traffic of a newbie village, no matter how big it is, can't possibly compare to the game forum that gathers all the players of the national service ah, he who has the privilege of being on top, wouldn't it be easy to attract everyone's attention, as soon as the crowd gets bigger, then the price of this equipment of his, naturally rose, thinking of this, Chen Ming no longer hesitated, decisively opened the link attached to the official invitation and start registering for certification, it's easy to register for the official certification, Chen Ming pounded away for a few minutes and passed straight through, in logging onto the forum, the ID of this pearl emerald alabaster soup had turned into a golden rolling font. Below the ID was the official title given to his certification. The top thief player in the country. This deck. Pull full. Chen Ming was satisfied. At the time of posting, he saw a description of the top feature. The length of time on top is 6 hours. It can only be used once a week. The following statement cannot be made. Chen Ming swept a glance. Well, there's no rule against auctions. That's okay. Chen Ming snapped a screenshot. Upload the equipment in your backpack. Among them, he focused on taking screenshots of three or four pieces of green rank excellent equipment, led by the wolf's eye staff. The rest of the white level common was hastily put up. However, even so, Chen Ming believed that the price of the white grade normal equipment auctioned off would not be low. After all, the pop rate of glory is, well, ridiculously low. A lot of liveries play for 24 hours and still have a set of newbie gear on them. Even a white suit is a pretty significant boost for everyone. Picture insertion is complete. Chen Ming directly used the top function and posted the post in the trading area. Like many forums, the forums for glory, too, are set up with multiple boards. Banter, raiders, trading, etc. The bidding posts, on the other hand, have an official endorsement. For all increases, funds must be verified. So there will be no haphazard price increases. Once the call is successful, a deal is bound to be struck. For each item, Chen Ming did not set a reserve price. Leave it up to everyone to leave a comment and bid on it. Time limit. Exactly 72 hours. Three days go by and the highest bidder gets it and that's the end of it. If no one bids, the auction is automatically cancelled. And, of course, the auctioneer can end the auction early and just close the deal. After confirming that he hadn't missed anything, Chen Ming released the post. After refreshing the page, his dragon flying hot gold ID's post, then in a dazzling posture, top hung in the forum homepage, trading area, personal auction. 10 Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Simple title, but it's attracting a lot of attention. Nothing else, just because of the poster's ID. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Countless people clicked into the post. Then, they were dumbfounded in unison. A bunch of gear screenshots, plus a line about the highest bidder. It's a fucking auction. Everyone was confused. With the Game God certification players, the entire national service, I'm afraid that there are less than 20 people. Each one, a man of honor. Moving your weekly top perk is usually used to promote the guild, or to show off your muscles and prove yourself to everyone, like Chen Ming. 
The guy who took such a pushy privilege and made a whole auction out of it. He alone. For a time, many people felt that Chen Ming acting in such a manner was too much of a drop in an expert style. It made many people who had only just developed admiration for him, were unable to hold back their frowns, thinking I might be worshipping the wrong people. But when these people saw those equipment that Chen Ming had laid out, disdain, and faint dislike in their hearts, all of it, ugh, in its place, it was full of shock, crap, green level excellent equipment, there are actually four of them, the attributes of this staff are too awesome, I'm going to buy it, I'll offer 3000, 3000, brother are you looking down on the glorious kryptonite big brothers ah, this is a random piece of white equipment, I'm afraid to be this number, want to buy green level equipment, dreaming, I'll give you 10 times the amount of the brother up there, $30,000, $30,000 a pop, a group of melon eaters immediately dared not speak again, all you can do is watch the big boys go crazy with their bidding, some really want gear, one would have to turn their attention to the white suit, however, the white suit is cheap compared to the green suit though, but because of this, the number of people competing for the white suit is even greater, as soon as the people are up, the prices called out are also naturally rising, Chen Ming looked at the 20 or so pieces of equipment that he had laid out, and the prices were all jumping around, and he instantly revealed a satisfied smile, that's a top, it's not being used for nothing, it's only just begun and the prices are already skyrocketing, topping can last up to 6 hours, wait until word spreads slowly, what price can it go up to in 6 hours, he was a little unsure of himself, closed the forum, Chen Ming went straight to the village chief's old grandfather, he had finished the second subsection of the main quest yesterday, but just didn't have time to turn it in because of the monster attack, get back on task today, young man, your bravery is beyond my imagination, this is the reward you deserve, mission accomplished, gain 7, 500 points of experience, gain 7 silver coins, obtained legacy leather armor, hood, lion's roar skill book, Chen Ming's experience bar surged, just under 9 experience away from the level 10 mark, still holding on to the number 1 spot in the world, way ahead of the rest of the players, this time, both the rewards for experience and gold coins are more than the last time. SSS class quests are just awesome. Open the backpack. Looking to the equipment he was most concerned about. Heritage leather armor, hood, green excellent, 1 6th. Required level, 8. Defense. Agility plus 2. Strength. 2 piece effect, 1 half bludgeoning rate. 4 piece effect, 1 quarter bludgeoning damage. 6 piece set effect, January 6th trigger buffs, throat slash. Backstab. Cut throat, the next hit that ends the stealth state is bound to hit with a bludgeon. Backstab, 50 extra damage when attacking from behind. Synopsis, a suit of leather armor inherited from ancient times, with the blood of top stalkers still on it. This long list of attributes was a sight for Chen Ming to behold. Hurry up and gear up. Together with the inheritance leather armor handguard obtained from the previous quest, a two-piece effect that was directly activated. Chen Ming gained a 10 bonus to his strike chance. Cool. At this moment, his attributes. Again, skyrocketed by a large margin. ID, Pearl Jade White Jade Soup. Grade, HP, MP, Attack Power, Defense, Power, Stamina, Endurance, Agility, Spirit, Talent, Wonderful, Hands Empty, Dagger Mastery, Sneak Mastery, Dodge Mastery, Poison Mastery, Skills, Hardening Poison, Ghosting, 148 Agility, Really Outrageous. Chen Ming rubbed his hands together excitedly. He looked at the old village chief once more, waiting for him to release a follow-up quest. Unfortunately, the old village chief looked at him with a kind face, and no matter how much he conversed, the old village chief would just keep repeating himself. The mission is gone? Chen Ming was a bit surprised. It shouldn't be. What happened to the promised SSS ranked main quest? Open the mission tracking panel and take a look. The quest's guiding cursor had clearly landed in a small town far away from the novice village. It was a level 5 main city nearby the kind that requires players to be level 10 to enter. It seems that the epic quest requires me to reach level 10 before I can continue. Chen Ming saw the reason at a glance. Next, my goal is to hit level 10. Although, he was only less than 10 experience away from level 10. But he had only collected one of his monster cards. To break through the level 9 limit and move up to level 10, you must activate 3 monster cards. Chen Ming estimated that he would have to brush up to around 120 experience points before he could activate the most trashy level 0 cards and level 1 cards, unlocking the restriction of rushing to level 10. Unfortunately, the main quest is broken. There is no main quest to give experience, so I can only go hard and brush it up. Chen Ming had just lamented the lack of an additional source of experience. Just then, his message bar lit up again. White Jade Soup Big Brother. I have a mercenary mission here. I would like to ask you to make a move once. 
It's a special hidden copy, the kind where the player who reaches the first kill will get a generous reward. I wonder if Big Brother is interested. Chen Ming's eyes lit up. Hidden copies? This stuff can be rich in experience. For him, a person who is lacking experience, it can be really just dozing off, and then a pillow is sent to him. What hidden copy? Ling Yu had been ready for this for a long time and replied immediately. It's a level 10 or so copy, and the boss is rumored to go up to level 12. Originally, Snow Moon was going to leave it until all of them were level 10 and had completed their transitions before going on the raid. A level 12 boss? Chen Ming raised an eyebrow. This class is clearly not the one they should be raiding. Why is Ling Yu in such a hurry? Anyway, it is a hidden copy. Only she knows the way to enter the copy. Suddenly, Chen Ming thought of the president of the King's Guild. King? World? That murderous post. The King's World, as a former president who had been on the top 10 guilds, was also a player who had been certified with top privileges. Chen Ming, naturally, saw that post. Two generations of people with a delicate mind. A little thought. He guessed the goal of Ling Yu anxious. She was desperate to prove that she hadn't made a reckless move by paying a large sum of money to bring in pearl jade white jade soup. Rather, it was a thoughtful and visionary act. Thinking of this, Chen Ming couldn't help but grin at the corner of his mouth. Since they are asking for it, that would be nice. Zai, slaughter hard. Don't think just because you're good looking, you get a discount with me. No way. Copies should be difficult. Start without charging you more. Just a hundred thousand dollars. For each subsequent boss that is raided, an additional 100, 000 will be charged. If you push through the entire map, you'll be charged an additional $200,000 for your hard work. By the way, all the equipment everyone roll points to distribute, fair and square, but where the equipment of the thieves, I have the right to take it directly. Walk up if you can take it, forget it if you can't. When Ling Yu saw this rambling message, she could only feel the veins at the corners of her forehead jumping. After seeing Chen Ming's request to have the right to choose from all of the thief's equipment, she finally couldn't help herself and spat lightly. What a rant! At this moment, Ling Yu was teaming up with Snow Moon's group of elites to brush the monsters. With this cry of hers, Hercules was audible to the Snow Moon crowd. People have asked what happened. Ling Yu didn't bother to explain and directly dumped out the chat records with Chen Ming. Snow Moon's group of elites were dumbfounded after taking a look. Crap! The price! Isn't he deliberately burying people? The price of a single copy of the fight is pushing a million dollars. It's a robbery. Chairman, let's ignore him. He's just a typical stomp. Hoomph, a thief. Brush the wild monsters may not be bad. But copies, he has a hair. That's right, we have a lot of elites in Snow Moon. It's just a matter of pushing a copy. Where else do we need to hire this kind of person? We, Snow Moon, are one of the top 10 guilds. If the copy can't even push us through, let's not count on him. There was a lot of excitement. Obviously. Chen Ming sitting on his hands had ruthlessly stimulated them. Originally, they were still quite favorable towards Chen Ming, but after seeing his offer, which was almost tantamount to robbery, the good feeling inside was vanishing. Of all these angry people, it was only Ling Shui, who remained relatively calm. She was the only one, who didn't he speak out to accuse Chen Ming but even so, her heart was somewhat dissatisfied. She finally looked at Ling Yu. Sister, shall we promise him then? Although everyone is reluctant to agree. But in the end, it was Ling Yu who had to make the call. You guys are right. It's outrageous that he's sitting on his hands. But, that murderous post from the King's Guild has left Snow Moon disorganized. In order to counter the King's Guild, no matter how high the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is asking for, we can only hold our noses and admit it. However, this is also the last time he cooperates with us. Ling Yu was worthy of being the head of a meeting. Though angry, but still, the most sensible decision was made. Then spend the money to calm things down. The money, indeed, was given to Chen Ming nice, but, that's only out to take care of the king's guild, the kind that has to come out, and hearing Ling Yu analyze it like that, the snow moon crowd could only nod their heads in acceptance, still, the heart is very much in the right place, humph, President Ling Yu you are willing to bid is one thing, whether he has that ability to get it is another, I just don't believe that he, a mere thief, will be able to exert much of an advantage in the copy, that's right, Thieves belong to the wild monsters and PK bulls. In a narrow copy, thieves' dexterity is not worth mentioning at all. Instead, I have some hope that he can't beat the copy. TSK, I really want to see his face after being brutally beaten. The Snow Moon crowd had expressed their heartfelt displeasure in words. As Ling Yu listened, she didn't bother, but opened the message bar for herself and sent her reply to Chen Ming. Meet at the east gate of the novice village in 10 minutes. Come alive. Chen Ming smiled faintly. He had expected that Ling Yu would not reject his rambling price. After all, 
Right now Ling Yu was in a dilemma forced by the situation. Herself was the only way for her to break the ice. Thanks for the wave of assists from the king, the world old brother. Ten minutes later, Chen Ming slowly arrived at the east gate of the novice village. Herself saw the snow moon bunch. At the head of the group were naturally the incomparably beautiful twin Ling Shui Ling Yu sisters. Underneath the holy priests and mages robes were covered bodies that made one resist the urge to sin just by looking at them. Even though Chen Ming had seen many beautiful women in his two lifetimes, he could not help but pause for a moment on the two women. Then the sweep continued, including the twin sisters. There were nine people on the team. Fighters, knights, mages, priests, rangers, and other professions are all available. Only no thieves. This is not to say that they have invited Chen Ming and no longer match the thief profession. But, the thief profession is recognized as the king of the field. PK kills people, brushes monsters harshly and quickly. The only thing that was mediocre was in the copy. An experienced big guild like the Snow Moon Guild naturally wouldn't bring along a moppet like a thief when facing a high difficulty copy. After accepting Ling Yu's invitation to enter the team, Chen Ming opened the door, hit the money. Ling Yu's pretty face sank slightly. Although it had been discussed long ago, the starting price of this copy was 100, 000, 000 dollars, which means that Chen Ming can get 100, 000, 000 dollars as long as he agrees to it, regardless of how the back copy plays out. Even if you find yourself unable to fight a single small monster, that's 100, 000, 000 bucks, all the same. But what she didn't expect was that Chen Ming actually asked for money without even seeing a copy. That's outrageous, but after all, he had asked for it. No matter how upset he was, he could only hold it in. Ling Yu grit her silver teeth and completed the transfer. Turned, let's go. Chen Ming silently checked his bank account. Sure enough, a hundred thousand dollars was received. He grinned, no problem, let's go. Though he could sense that Ling Yu didn't give him a good face, and the snow moon crowd was not polite to him. But, what does that have to do with him? He's here to make money, not to be a lickspittle. These guys look at him and have to give him money. Now that's real bull. Ling Yu pulled out a scroll, crushed violently. A spell lit up at the bottom of everyone's feet, and a blue light erupted, swallowing everyone up. In the next second, a prompt that exploded in front of players around the world. Players, Qingfeng Flying Snow, Qingfeng Range Moon, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, and Dragon Battle Knight. Open the hidden S rank copy, Undead Plague. After the challenge ends, the Undead Plague copy will open the portal. Challenges are available to players all over the world. As soon as this notice was refreshed, all the players of glory, all look over, an S-rank hidden copy? Holy shit, what is this? Flying snow in the clear wind, sweeping the moon in the clear wind. Isn't this snow moon? Holy shit, snow moon CIA took down a monster siege and is preparing to do something big today? Wait, there's the pearl emerald white jade soup big brother. Has this big brother been pulled into snow moon already? Ghost, big brother plus snow moon. No wonder they dare to open the hidden copy. All the players were shocked, and naturally, the snow moon crowd, who had ended their teleportation, saw the message on the screen. Ling Yu frowned slightly. After we finish the challenge, the copy will be open to the world? How come I didn't know there was a setting for this before? Ling Yu was a little hard to top. She had thought that by owning the teleportation scroll, she had ownership of this copy. As long as she wants to, there are unlimited challenges for this copy. Unexpectedly, she only had the privilege of challenging a copy for the first time. After this, the replica will be open to the world. Missed the boat ah, sister. Ling Shui let out a bitter laugh. The snow moon crowd, too, had revealed expressions of gravity. What a blunder, and the deadliest of all. The whole process of their raid will be broadcast live. Anyone who wanted to could click into the live stream through the link in the system through and see the snow moon crowd's raid in progress. If the snow moon crowd was beaten up, they would be in a sorry state. That would be a shame. Especially, they also carry the pearl emerald white jade soup. If they die an ugly death, won't it just confirm the post of the king, the world? The pearl emerald white jade soup is completely unworthy of its 100, 000 starting price. For the snow moon guild to give him such a price is for President Ling Yu to know people poorly and do things in a biased manner. By then, the credibility of snow moon will be greatly reduced. It would not be an exaggeration to say that Ling Yu, the president, had lost face. A heavy burden was also in the hearts of everyone in snow moon. But it's done. They had no choice but to tough it out. The crowd looked around. It's a dark cave. There are still remnants of broken and shattered mine roads inside. Some moldy wooden mining carts and dusty wooden vats were casually thrown around the edges of the narrow mine. In the entire mine, there were just a few dimly lit candles that wavered to provide light. Depressing. Terror. The snow moon crowd frowned. Blood bowl tops it. Another warrior drops into the back row for protection. 
mages, priests, archers, come together in the center. Ling Yu instantly displayed the demeanor of the head of a meeting. A command went down. The snow moon crowd instantly switched cues. Get into the fight. As for the pearl emerald white jade soup, Ling Yu thought for a moment before arranging. Bai Yu Tang. You roam the sides of the group and wait for an opportunity to move. She really didn't know how to arrange a thief in a copy. Chen Ming did not refuse and nodded, leaning to the side of the group, all the way forward, as the mine tunnel extends downward. Finally, they encountered their first monster. Roar! A low hiss sounded. The dirt in front of me loosened. A ragged skeleton. From the mud, the dirt struggled to rise. Skeleton monster, elite, HP, attack power, defense. Synopsis, skeletal monsters resurrected by the effects of the apocalyptic Armageddon. The snow moon crowd's breath caught, though they had known for a long time that this copy was strong. But I didn't expect. I can't believe it's so exaggerated. The first small monster you see when you enter the copy is unexpectedly an elite level monster. Chairman, this monster. I don't think I can carry it a few times. The big man ID as Dragon Battle Knight trembled and said. He was the strongest blood bull knight in snow moon. Not only is the operation tough. For the sake of this copy, Ling Yu even mobilized all the top-notch equipment within the guild and gave it to him to wear. Both the candor and the blood are quite exaggerated, but in front of level 10 elite monsters, it's really not worth it. Ling Yu was similarly doubly headache-ridden, but the arrow had to be fired. She can only harden her heart. Open the monster. Nurse, pay attention to watch the knight's blood level. Warrior, pay attention to control the hatred. Always top up. Help the knight share the damage. As for the alabaster soup. You just see the opportunity to output, facing what was clearly just a glitch. However, the snow moon crowd was cautious as if they were facing a boss. The blood bull rider topped it off. A roar. Pull the monster's hate. The skeleton roared in anger and swung the mineral manuscript in his hand, slamming it hard into the blood bull knight. Minus 47. Bright red damage values exploded from the knight. The crowd felt their scalps tingle at the mere sight of it. 47? What the hell kind of damage is this monster doing? Crap. How the hell do you fight? This hurts too much. Ling Yu's pretty face chilled as she raised her hands and a blazing ball of fire instantly coalesced in her chest. The glow of the fireball was dazzling to the extreme. It illuminated the staff in Ling Yu's hand, which was emitting a magnificent light. Clearly, the light blue light emanating from it emphasized the extraordinary status of this staff. A number of people watching the live stream instantly recognized it. It's that blue ranked rare weapon that's ranked number one in mage equipment. The cannibal staff, isn't it? That's right. It's the number one blue grade staff in all of glory. Ling Yu opened it in Monster Siege City yesterday. It's not just a blue rank staff. I've inquired about it. Ling Yu not only opened the staff yesterday. She also brought a blue rank jewelry that increases magic damage by a whole bunch. This fireball looks different from ordinary fireball spells at a glance. Could it be the strongest skill on the mage skill list with the same blue level quality? The art of magnificent fireball? Crap. It's still true. Ling Yu's three blue level lottery chances yesterday opened up top weapons. Skills and jewelry, with three blue levels added. Ling Yu should be the strongest mage at the moment, right? No wonder Snow Moon dared to open a hidden copy. A crowd of onlookers went crazy Cha Lemon, but also looking forward to Ling Yu's output. Currently the glory deserves to be the number one violent mage. A magnificent fireball technique slammed down. That monster, wouldn't it have to go up and smoke on the spot? Boom! The fireball exploded hard on the skeleton. The flames were all over the place. Impactful. However, the number that popped up made everyone freeze. Minus 42. 42 drops of blood? The battle was so exaggerated. But it turned out to be only 42 drops of blood? Ling Yu herself froze. How could she not have expected that her blow would only hit 42 points of blood? She had expected at least 100 points of damage. You know. That's just a little monster. Although it's just a small monster. People are at least level 10. And there are additional hidden resistance bonuses from elites. It's normal to hit this output. Chen Ming commented. This statement was made. The faces of the snow moon crowd all sank. Even the most violent Ling Yu only has such a pitiful output. This copy, how else can I push off? All of those watching the live stream had the same thought. Snow moon, designation gone. This copy, is simply not something that snow moon can touch at this stage. Just then, Chen Ming, drew out the twin daggers in his back. Swish, above the dagger. It was tinted with an ethereal green. Step by step. He approached towards the skeleton. His confident back was as if he had been alone and single-handedly challenging the wolves yesterday. However as with yesterday, at this moment, not a single person believed that he could do anything to save the day. Especially Ling Yu. She, a mage with three blue armor enhancements, couldn't even deal damage yet. Not to mention Chen Ming, a thief? 
What he had obtained though was a chance to draw for purple ranked equipment, and in terms of quality, it was far higher than her three draws for blue ranked equipment. But on the equipment list, the only purple equipment that existed in the world, the ink bamboo bracelet, betrayed Chen Ming's lucky draw result, although two jumps is an attribute that makes everyone's eyes glaze over, but it was ultimately just a bracelet with no added attributes at all. There are no excellent attributes to add. Chan Ming, what's he doing to do damage? It wasn't just Ling Yu who thought so. The same goes for all those watching the live stream. After having Ling Yu as a forewarning, no one believes that Chen Ming, whose equipment is far inferior to Ling Yu, can fight a miracle like yesterday, outside a certain novice village. The king, the world enjoys the experience value of his minions brushing the monsters, and he himself sits leisurely on the side, watching the live broadcast. When he saw Ling Yu slam down a magnificent fireball technique, but only slammed out more than 40 points of damage, he instantly laughed maniacally. Ha ha, Snow Moon is finished. The minions were immediately interested. What good thing happened that you're smiling so much? Big brother? Snow Moon is finished? What's going on here? The king, the world is in a good mood. Also explained to the little brothers. Ling Yu, a top mage, can only deal this much damage, let alone that pearl emerald white jade soup. His current equipment has been fully surpassed by Ling Yu. If Ling Yu can't even deal damage, he's even more worthless, and such a fartless guy, but by the snow moon for 100, 000 dollars to push the copy. That does not just implement my previous accusation of the words, it's only natural that the unfairness of the snowy moon would run deep. In the future, when players of Blory consider joining a guild, once they think of snow moon's unfair initiative, they will naturally be discouraged from joining snow moon. With this move, I can be said to have injured Yuki Yuki from the root. The more he said, the more the king, the world laughed happily. I can see that Ling Yu hurriedly opened this hidden copy in order to retaliate to my post yesterday. It's a pity that Snow Moon has lifted a stone and smashed her own foot. A bunch of guys who are less than level 10 challenging for an S-rank copy is really ridiculous. The juniors immediately shouted that the president was wise and that the president had predicted things like a god. And just as they were talking, Chen Ming's thief had quietly circled around behind the skeleton soldier. Come on, do it, let the world see how you, the so-called top expert pearl emerald white jade soup, are in your original form. The king, the world smiled sinisterly, although Chen Ming hadn't made a move yet. The king of kings, however, seemed to have been able to imagine how pitiful the damage that Chen Ming would deal out would be. 20 points? No, it should be just over 10 points. Of course, it's possible that it's not even 10 points. The corners of the king, the world's mouth rose higher and higher. If he couldn't even deal 10 points of damage, then Snow Moon would have been disgraced this time. That call for the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup will also be in this moment, completely fall off the altar. Swish 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 swish, the dual swords in Chen Ming's hands flew. It slashed hard at the skeleton's body. Though, his equipment was really bad and his panel damage, not high enough. But, he was the one who had the thief hidden profession, Shadow Walker. He does damage that isn't based on panel attack power at all. It is the agility. That makes him stand out. His normal attacks additionally had a bonus to his agility attribute. And his agility had reached a terrifying value close to 150 points. It's 10 times as much as a normal player. The damage, naturally, is quite exaggerated. However, the others were not aware of Chen Ming's undercard. Just through ordinary equipment to speculate on Chen Ming's damage. Naturally can't imagine exactly how terrifying Chen Ming's damage can be. These. One moment. Ling Yu almost wanted to close her eyes not daring to look at the damage dealt by Chen Ming. She knew it well. The moment the damage appeared, it was the moment when Chen Ming fell off the pedestal. It's also the moment when Snow Moon sits on the stigma. But, just when Ling Yu's heart was at the bottom and she didn't dare to look any further. Instead, she suddenly heard a shriek. How is this damage? Possible. It was his sister Ling Xue's voice. Ling Yu was stunned. Before she could react. Around her. One after another. Exclamations of shock came. The blood is gone. Skeleton monster's blood. Straight up? What's with the exaggerated damage to the white jade soup big guy? Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. What's the situation? Ling Yu finally twisted her head to look at the front that she dared not look directly at before. Saw the skeleton soldier who was suddenly left with only a remnant of blood, as well as the pearl emerald white jade soup whose double blades were flying in his hands, harvesting the blood of the skeleton monsters as if they were ghosts. Although the equipment worn by pearl emerald white jade soup was also sporadic and tattered extremely poorly sold, but his flickering and ghostly figure was paired with a pair of daggers that were as green and throbbing like ghostly flames. At this moment, he was as handsome as a heavenly god. Four more slashes came out. A series of eye-popping numbers instantly soared out from the skeleton monster's body. 
minus 94, minus 82, minus 96, minus 104. The last of the skeleton monster's blood disappeared. With a pop, it shattered into a pile of broken bones and scattered all over the floor. Snowmoon's ten-member squad, one after another, saw their experience values jump. Even Chen Ming, a level 9 guy, watched as his experience value went up by about 2. This experience, it's also too rich. Even Chen Ming couldn't help but sigh. Put on a wild map, with 2 experience. Even with his horrible monster brushing speed, it would take at least half an hour. But in this copy, just one little monster is so lucrative. That's a great reward. No, it's got to be extra. Chen Ming thought of that money-grubbing priest storyline and casually teased. However, what he didn't think about was that as soon as his words left his mouth, Ling Yu looked fiercely at him. Add, add as much as you want. I'll give you as much as you want. Ha, huh? Chen Ming was confused. I, was just kidding. True or false? You're not joking too, are you? Chen Ming twisted his head to take a look with some confusion, only to see Ling Yu staring at herself with a face full of excitement. Her usual high and cold eyes had been replaced by excitement. She was breathing heavily, and even her chest was heaving alarmingly. Chen Ming was even shaken to the point of being a little dizzy. But then the response came. This chick is for real. She really needs to raise the money. Chen Ming wouldn't explain that he was just a flirtatious remark. If you have money coming to your door, it's not worth not taking it. Then, double it? No problem. Ling Yu breathed heavily and agreed in one breath. Chen Ming was silent. It feels like it's called less. Is this chick that high? I should have known to triple it. Pity. In fact, he hadn't guessed wrong. If he himself had offered three times the price, Ling Yu, too, would have agreed without hesitation. No way. Chen Ming's performance was really greatly out of his expectations. That high amount of damage. Terrifying is not even an understatement. All the crises of the snowy moon. All in the instant that Chen Ming's set of skills hit. It's all gone. When the snow moon crowd looked at Chen Ming again, what started out as irritation and boredom is completely gone. All that was left was full of adoration. At this moment, each and every one of them were thankful that they hadn't shown any real hostility towards Chen Ming in the beginning. In the meantime, the king who had been happily watching the live broadcast, waiting to see Chen Ming make a fool of himself, was shocked and stood up violently, revealing an expression of disbelief. No way. This is absolutely impossible. King, the world's panic caused the surrounding minions to all freeze. What's the situation? Wasn't the boss calmly waiting to see Snow Moon's joke just now? Why are you suddenly so freaked out? Boss, what happened? Has there been a change at Snow Moon? The king, the world and the earth do not even have the effort to reply to the little brother. Watch the screen in total shock. The words kept coming out of his mouth. No way. Absolutely not. The minions were confused. They had never seen the boss so out of sorts. Seeing that the boss didn't answer, they could only click into the live stream one after another to take a look. On the screen, the Snow Moon crowd was starring around the pearl emerald white jade soup. Even the twin sisters that everyone called the Snow Moon twins were likewise the same. Chan Ming had suddenly turned into the centerpiece of the entire team. The minions hadn't seen the rest of the picture, but they probably already had a guess just from seeing this scene. Look to the pop-up again. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother is also too violent. I can't understand why Pearl's very white jade soup big brother, who doesn't have top-tier equipment, can kill Ling Yu in a big second in terms of damage. Could it be that Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother opened more than just the ink bamboo bracelet purple suit yesterday? It's horrible. Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother is just horrible. Just scanning the pop-ups, the minions would have been able to guess what was happening. They looked at each other face to face. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is obviously dry again to make some shocking operation. After taking several deep breaths, King, World finally stabilized his mind. However, his face was frosty and cold, very different from his previous confidence. He grunted in a grim tone. Humph. Although the damage of this pearl emerald white jade soup is exaggerated, pushing a copy, it's not like you can push through it just by relying on damage. The amount of milk of the nurse, the magic output of the mage, and the candor of the knight and warrior, one without the other. Snow Moon is definitely going to roll over. Absolutely. King, the world said in the end, already gnashing teeth. The other minions immediately chimed in. Boss is right. Snow Moon is just a pearl emerald white jade soup bowl. Sooner or later it will flip. This is a 10 player copy. It's unrealistic to rely on just one pearl emerald white jade soup to take a flight. As awesome as white jade soup is, it's still just a brittle output. Just as they were talking, the snow moon crowd had passed the second corner. In front of him, another skeleton monster had suddenly appeared. Big brother white jade soup. 
I'm going up to start the monsters? The dragon warrior knight's tone had taken on a touch of respect as he carefully asked for Chen Ming's opinion. It's not just him. The others craned their heads to look over. It was also funny to say that the team was clearly being led by the snow moon's president and vice president. Results available. Chan Ming, however, became the centerpiece of the team. With a nod of his head, the dragon warrior knight then happily rushed up and attracted the skeleton monster's hatred, pulling him towards his back. White Jade Soup Big Brother. Prepare to output. Chen Ming drew out his twin blades, Ling Yu raised her staff, the team of archers rangers, and mages, there have also been preparations for output, but people didn't take it much more seriously, after all, compared to the white jade soup big brother, their output is a drop in the bucket, probably not even a fraction of the big brother, Ling Yu's heart was even more mixed, it was the first time she had experienced what it was like to paddle around in a group and be taken for a ride, swish swish swish, Chen Ming's hand rose and fell, a few seconds later, the skeleton monster died violently once more, even though he had already seen Chen Ming's means of output. At this moment, the pop-up screen still frantically brushed up 666, all cheering for Chen Ming. Moving on, the snow moon crowd was already getting more and more confident the more they fought. Is this what it's like to be a lapdog? That's cool. Sustained depth. After taking out 7 or 8 skeleton monsters, the narrow mine tunnel opens up. The snow moon crowd suddenly appeared in a slightly open cave. The cave was fairly empty. Only a lone skeleton monster stood in the center of the mine, in a state of bewilderment that has not yet been attracted to hate. Chen Ming keenly sensed that something was wrong. Be careful and pay attention when you pull monsters. He droned on. The dragon warrior knight had obviously been convinced by Chen Ming's power and had 100% trust in his words as he nodded gruffly. All right big brother. He raised his own shield and carefully leaned towards the skeleton monster. The snow moon crowd, too, had entered battle. Although they had killed too many skeleton monsters, this one right now was clearly not right. It was alone in the middle of the empty mine. It's really not right. Sensing the knight's approach, the skeleton monster was attracted to hatred, and it jerked its head around, its hollow eyes locking straight onto the dragon warrior knight. The dragon warrior knight drew his legs and ran, pulling the skeleton closer to the snow moon crowd. Up until this moment, everything had been expected by the crowd. But, just the next second, a violent muffled sound came violently from the ground. The earth shook hard. The running dragon warrior knight didn't stand still, and threw himself out in a dog-eared fart, sprawling on the ground. Around him, four or five cracks appeared steeply, immediately following, one after another. Skeletal palms emerged from the cracks. It's over. There's really something wrong. The dragon warrior knight's eyes showed a look of despair. As the team's main tank, he knew the terror of these skeleton monsters, even if he has all blood all points, and also has a meat suit that has been put together with all the power of the snow moon can still only withstand the damage of a skeleton monster. It's even very dangerous. Needs to be shared by the subtan warrior on the team. One is still like this, let alone the seven or eight skeletons that are struggling to get out of the cracks in the ground at this very moment. Big brother, president, you guys run, the dragon warrior knight roared. Then without hesitation, he turned on a skill that belongs solely to knights. Provocation, he roared, and the skeleton monsters around him were instantly attracted to his hatred. They were all carrying drafts of mines and slamming them at him. Accompanied by the dragon warrior knight's miserable screams, his blood level fell crazily. Minus 59, minus 52, minus 73, a siege of 7 or 8 skeleton monsters. It made him instantly killed in seconds before he could even get a mouthful of milk. Swish, the dragon warrior knight exploded the shield in his hand and turned into a white light, respawning at the entrance of the copy in his soul state. The snow moon crowd took advantage of the opening where the dragon warrior knight sacrificed himself to buy time and ran away. Although everyone was not killed in action, but this copy, apparently, can't be brushed. The main titan of their team is dead, to be resurrected. He had to run with his soul next to the body, but seven or eight skeletons hovered next to the corpse of the dragon warrior knight. Even if he was stuck at a distance to revive, he couldn't escape the hate range of these seven or eight skeletons. Ling Yu's face was ugly, but in the end, she sighed helplessly. Looks like we're out of luck. Encountered this trap kill. No way. Give it up. Seven or eight skeleton monsters are not something we can mess with. With that said, Ling Yu smiled bitterly. It's my bad for rushing to open this copy. My problem. Sorry. By the way, White Jade Soup Big Brother. The remaining 100, 000 dollars of your appearance fee. I will still call you. N. Wait for our snow moon to develop for a period of time. Then ask White Jade Soup Big Brother to help. Seeing Ling Yu looking so disheartened, outside, when King, World saw the scene, a smile bloomed on his face once again. I knew that Snow Moon was not going to pass on this copy. Ha ha, 
the joy on the face of the king, the world, is not hidden, it's not just him, in the live broadcast room, countless people were thrilled when they saw Ling Yu say the words give it up, everyone remembers it clearly, before the copy opened, the system had prompted, as soon as Snow Moon and his party's trip to the replica is over, this hidden copy of the undead scourge of heaven would then open its entrance to players from all over the world, Snow Moon is ready to give up, brothers, prepare to open up, I've been brushing wild monsters all day I've thrown up, it's finally time to challenge a copy, I'm going to develop the evil gameplay of the copy and become the first person in the world to raid the copy, brothers, charge, everyone was excited beyond belief, even if they knew that this copy was extremely difficult, but they didn't expect to pass the copy, just killing the skeleton monsters at the entrance would be extremely lucrative in terms of experience, isn't that more comfortable than a field map, soon after, an attention grabbing pop up was sent out by an ID that shimmered in gold, the king's guild will open a copy of the undead catastrophe, welcome all aspirants to join the king's guild, and together we will forge the legend of the king in glory, the king's guild had recently stomped on snow moon, ruthlessly brushing up their presence, although, under Chen Ming's unexpected performance, the king guild's attack against snow moon was undoubtedly weakened by a lot, but, at least, a little bit of good reputation was salvaged, right now and then take advantage of snowman's globally broadcasted disgrace to the core, throw out the king's guild solicitation, it's even more heartfelt, it's not just the king's guild, many guilds with dignified names had taken this opportunity to use the replica as an excuse to recruit their respective troops, it's not just the Chinese server, guilds all over the world, all over the world, no way, a hidden copy of FD, DF is short for first down, meaning the first to push out a boss, worldwide, is a great honor, enough to push a guild's reputation to the top of the world, not only that, the rewards for the copies, two, peak at the first push off, this is a rule explicitly established by the official glory. Bosses when they are killed for the first time in the world, must produce a piece of equipment or item of the highest grade it can pop. 100 burst rate. This, then, is the gold of the world's first kill. Enough to make all guilds rush and go crazy over it. For a while, all the major guilds, were busy. They have begun to prepare for the next copy of the undead scourge that is about to open. Even Ling Yu, received private messages from the various guild presidents. President Ling Yu. Can I trouble you to abandon your copy in 5 minutes? I'm contacting guild members here to get up and online. So please accommodate me. I'm willing to use a green level shield as a token of appreciation. President Ling Yu, please let me know when you give up. We've been allies for so many years. I'm sure these small things won't make it difficult for President Ling Yu. Right? Sister Moon, can I have one of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother's best friend? Don't worry. I'll pay the price you agreed upon. Please tell Big Brother by Sister Moon. I appreciate it. All, Ling Yu was bombarded with a flurry of messages, she shook her head helplessly, it's a shame, such a hidden copy was wasted by her, but fortunately, she proved that the high price of pearl emerald white jade soup was not nonsense, but was worth every penny, redeeming snow moon's reputation, sort of a blessing in disguise, she consoled herself with a bitter smile, then, she found the scroll to return to the city, guys, let's go, this statement was made, players all over the world, their spirits are highly tense, it's like an athlete at the starting line waiting for the referee to call the shots, just waiting for the snow moon crowd to leave, they would then scramble to rush into the undead scourge of heaven copy, but, just then, just a moment, after Chen Ming stopped Ling Yu's teleportation, without looking back, he walked towards the group of skeleton monsters, the snow moon crowd was shocked, white jade soup big brother, what do you mean by that, could it be that big brother by Yu Tang is planning to challenge this group of skeleton monsters, this, how is this possible? The dragon battle knight, who had already transformed into a soul state, was the most agitated. These skeleton monsters have exceptionally high damage. Even I can't carry a few hits, let alone big brother white jade soup. It wasn't that he looked down on Chen Ming. Instead, it's the truth. No matter how fierce the white jade soup big guy is, he's still just a thief. The output is spare, but the damage resistance well, is estimated to be even worse than an ordinary knight. But, Big Brother Bai Yu Tang is the one who has single-handedly challenged an elite wild wolf pack he he. Ling Shui spoke out, reminding the crowd, but Ling Yu immediately shook her head. It's not the same. When White Jade Soup soloed the wolves yesterday, it was in the wilderness, an open map that was very suitable for him to utilize his thief's strengths, flickering and evading the wolves' attacks by virtue of his maneuvering, thus accomplishing his survival. This was the result of many people's discussions after Chen Ming triggered the entire internet yesterday. They all thought that Chen Ming was able to single-handedly take on the elite wild wolf pack by himself because of his bullish operation. With the thief's high agility, he plays the operation like a charm. 
weaving in and out of wolves. It's like passing through a hundred flowers without a single leaf touching you. But, such a masterful operation. It also needs to be played on terrain. Right now, such a narrow mine is congested with seven or eight skeletons. Spare the pearl emerald white jade soup operation pull full. There is no use ah. Uh. No one believed that Chen Ming could operate again. And, he looked so resigned. It also aroused the impatience of a number of players who were incredibly anxious and eager to challenge the copy. Can you make it faster? Dude's waiting to get into his copy. What else is there to try? It's hard for you, a thief, to pull off seven or eight monsters. Big brother by Yu Tang. We know you're bullish, but at times like this just resign yourself to your fate. Okay, players all over the world are waiting for you. Hurry up and get out of the copy. Don't ink it. Impatience spewed out, instantly spreading across the screen. But Chen Ming wasn't concerned. He was, at the moment, thinking of only one thing. That would be his agility points and whether he could dodge the attacks of these skeletons. Evasion was the biggest reason why he was able to solo the wolves yesterday. Instead of relying on manipulation as has been speculated, skeleton monsters are elite level monsters with hidden attribute bonuses. I don't know how much more powerful it is compared to yesterday's elite coyote that was only level 7. But, the skeleton monster is only one level higher than me. My attributes far exceed those of a normal level 9 thief. It should not be much of a problem. Between thoughts, Chen Ming had already arrived at the edge of the skeleton monster group. Take another step. He stepped into the skeleton monster's hate range. In a split second, the seven or eight skeleton monsters, in unison, twisted their heads and aimed their empty eye sockets at Chen Ming. Ho 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 ho. A mournful hiss resounded through the narrow cavern. Seeing this scene, the pop-ups rolled again. Like to rub it in? Getting targeted by seven or eight skeleton monsters at once. Ha, ha ha, skeleton monsters, hurry up and kill this guy. As the old saying goes, pretending to be a bully is struck by lightning. See, retribution has come. Even a knight can't carry a round of attacks from this group of skeleton monsters. He, a thief, will probably vaporize instantly. Good riddance, open the champagne. A group of people bloated. He couldn't wait for Chin Ming to be surrounded and beaten to death by the skeleton monsters the next second. A group of skeleton monsters, killed towards Chen Ming. They have an agility that is very different from their skeleton status. Coming, the snow moon crowd, their hearts fluttered. Even if there was a Chen Ming between that group of skeletons in them, but here and now, they still felt numb. They who were so far away from each other were still like this. So one could imagine how much psychological pressure Chen Ming, who was facing the onslaught of the skeleton group directly, should be under. But, Chen Ming, however, stood there expressionlessly. There was no semblance of panic at all. There is a certain composure that you are as strong as you are, and I am as calm as I can be. There's nothing like a fresh breeze on a hillock and a bright moon shining on a big river. Close. The skeletons, getting closer. But Chen Ming, still had no intention of moving. What the hell? Why is he still in the same spot and not moving? There was both anxiety and doubt in the hearts of the snow moon crowd. Finally, the skeleton at the forefront had already approached Chen Ming. It raised the manuscript in its hands high and ruthlessly smashed it towards Chen Ming. But Chen Ming remained standing in place. It was like a stone Buddha. White jade soup big brother. Dodge away. Ling Shui was the first to hold back and shouted. They were well aware of how terrifying the damage of the skeleton monster was. See the draft getting closer. Even the always steady Ling you couldn't help but frown and chortle. Quickly dodge. Chen Ming remained motionless. Ling Shui was anxious and hastily raised her staff. Wanting to anticipate one of the skeleton's attacks and add a bite of blood return with advance to Chen Ming. Ling Yu similarly raised her staff. Wanting the howling fireball technique to gain room for Chen Ming to maneuver. It had to be said that for Ling Shui Ling Yu to be able to manage the Snow Moon Guild and become known as the Snow Moon Twin Jewelers was not just because of their family affairs and amazing looks. The operation of the two is also definitely at the top level of the world. A glimpse of this can be seen in the details of the galloping Chen Ming. Pop. The draft. Viciously plunged into Chen Ming's shoulder. Chen Ming's blood level, however, did not move at all. Miss. A large miss floated out and looked at everyone. What's the situation? Miss? Chen Ming s luck. Seems to be somewhat good ah. Ling Shui's milk articulated just right. But it was milked lonely. Ling Yu's howling fireball technique had attracted the skeleton's hatred instead. The skeleton jerked its head around and glared angrily at Ling Yu. It steeply turned around and killed Ling Yu. At the same time, the remaining skeleton monsters also rushed towards Snow Moon in unison. It's over. Ling Yu lightly bit her lip. She knew that she had just accidentally pulled the opposite side's hatred with that shot of the magnificent fireball technique. Snow Moon. It's going to be a reunion. As for Chen Ming's miss, she didn't even think about it. It's just one miss, or a high agility profession like thief. 
Isn't it normal to be lucky enough to come across it? Eyes on the skeletons rushing in unison. The snow moon crowd hurriedly prepared for defense. The only subtan warrior was doubled over at the front of the line. In the live room, a crowd of viewers watched and clapped, especially those who hated the snow moon guild. It's even more heartfelt. Ha ha, this is a real reunion. Or Pearl Jade White Jade Soup screwed up the reunion. Although this guy is somewhat strong, he doesn't seem to have much of a brain. Indeed, how dare you pretend to be in this situation? Isn't that looking for death? Come back. Your opponent. It's me. Chan Ming. Suddenly and gently stabbed into the skeleton. High amounts of damage burst out. Follow closely. He used his feet as an axis, and his entire body rotated at high speed. The double daggers in his hands were like a storm of sharp swords, sweeping across the surroundings. <laughs> in a flash, a cloud of blood mist exploded. Immediately following, the seven or eight skeletons were all tainted with poisonous mist. Chan Ming, surprisingly, had used his high agility points to make this extremely difficult maneuver. In a split second, it hurt all the skeletons, pulling in all the hate. This wave played out. Even those who disliked Chen Ming, couldn't help but feel a shiver down his spine either. It's a gorgeous and practical operation. Tough. It's so hard. The hatred of the skeletons changed once again. All of them were focused on Chen Ming. This time, they were no longer polite. The enraged seven or eight skeletons frantically raised the mineral drafts in their hands and smashed them against Chen Ming. Snap. It's like the dragon warrior knight was hammered to death by a messy draft earlier. Chan Ming, too, received the same treatment. Miss. 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 Next, a series of misses popped up. Chan Ming, surprisingly, was unharmed. Not only that, Chan Ming, also operated again. The twin swords in his hands were unceasing. Slash frantically at the skeleton monster. Minus 82. Minus 85. Minus 112. Minus 94. A series of outputs. The skeleton monster was not to be outdone. Miss. 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 The moment. An extremely absurd scene, yet filled with violent aesthetics, played out in front of everyone. Chen Ming stood against the seven or eight skeleton monsters draft attacks, half a step back. Frantically, he returned the favor. It was as if the two boxers in the ring had abandoned all acts of defense and were attacking with every punch, every kick, like a raging storm. Non-stop offense, the snow moon crowd had completely frozen. Ling Yu stared with a pair of beautiful eyes, an expression of disbelief. Ling Shui even couldn't help but mumble. This, this is a thief? A question that asked what was on everyone's mind. Can you call this a thief? Even the most reckless warriors don't play like that. Ow. After a scream, the first skeleton monster fell to the ground. However, Chen Ming did not turn his head to attack the other skeleton monsters. He saw a light flare up underneath the fallen skeleton monster. It's the equipment. He ignored the attack behind him. Straight away, he crouched down and touched the corpse of the skeleton monster. He then picked up a piece of equipment. It's a mage's wrist guard. After saying that, he looked at Ling Yu. Ling Yu did not know what Chen Ming meant by this. However, she associated it with Chen Ming several times of sitting on her hands before, and hastily waved her hand. It's fine. I don't need it. This equipment will be for you to deal with. After Chen Ming had once again shown himself to be more powerful than anyone could imagine, the price Ling Yu was willing to give was also rising. Although it was agreed at the beginning that Chen Ming would only have the right to prioritize the selection of the thief's equipment, all other equipment would be distributed according to roll points. But Ling Yu didn't mind Chen Ming temporarily breaking the contract and asking for reliance share of the money. No way. Those who are able to do so are the ones who are treated generously. Chen Ming shook his head. The tone of voice blandly said, No, before the covenant agreed. Not a thief equipment to roll. This is the rule. With that, he threw this equipment to Ling Yu. Receiving the wrist guard, Ling Yu could not help but stare. If this were to be the case in normal times, Ling Yu would definitely give him a high look in her mind and slightly change her stereotype of thinking that he was a money grubber. But here and now, Ling Yu looked at Chen Ming's back, the several skeleton monsters that were frantically hammering him, as well as the calm-faced Chen Ming. She only felt momentarily speechless. This guy is actually so principled? But, you're a man of principle. But you're also a man of time, aren't you? Can you not dwell on these things for a while when you're surrounded by a bunch of monsters ahoy? It wasn't just Ling Yu. The rest of Snow Moon, too, fell completely silent. At this moment, their impression of Chen Ming changed significantly. At first, they only felt that Chen Ming was tough and wealthy. And at this point, they struck some goodwill towards Chen Ming from the bottom of their hearts. However, it was tangled that in addition to generating good feelings, they also developed a sense of fear towards Chen Ming. Because this guy, tough, crazy, yet there is no shortage of sanity. Solve the equipment problem. 
Chen Ming got back into the fight. That fist to flesh horror mutual combat, extreme output, is once again staged. The pop-up screen that had originally screamed and cursed at Chen Ming had completely quieted down. Countless people looked at the screen with incredulous eyes. The king, the world even showed a bewildered expression. That's right, he's not shocked. Rather, it's bewilderment. How did this happen? How is this possible? He chattered on and on, completely losing the air of the head of the party. It's not just him. Those juniors under his hand were also completely stupefied. The terrifying strength of Chen Ming has far exceeded their expectations. Between days, one or two of the henchmen had blissfully forgotten that they were hacking at monsters. A small monster took advantage of the situation and died a horrible death. Shocker. Unparalleled shock. All the big guilds in the world, obviously ready to enter the copy. But whoever thought, that thief, actually stood out and saved the day. Is this kind of miss, really something people can do? Officials, I want to report this. Someone is hanging here. Give a knee. This miss probability. White Jade Soup Big Brother is belong to Loach. Small openings don't count openings our brothers. Being able to fight and carry. This kind of talent. Snow Moon spent 100, 000 dollars to hire it. It's simply worth it. I told you how Ling Yu acted so humble in front of Big Brother by Yu Tang. So Big Brother by Yu Tang is that fierce. Giving my knees. The White Jade Soup Big Brother has once again refreshed my cognition. Although some people flirted with Chen Ming's openness. But we all know very well that with this kind of game. It is impossible for there to be hangers on. Multinational research and development. It is destined to have a very high technical threshold of the game. There is no possibility of the emergence of plugins. What Chen Ming relied on was solid hard power. 3 down 5 out of 2. Chen Ming finished off 7 or 8 skeleton monsters. Unfortunately, no more gear came out. Although the drop probability of a copy was much higher than that of the wild, it was already quite good to be able to produce one piece of equipment. But, no equipment was popped though. However, in Chen Ming's backpack, there was a cloak that had suddenly appeared. It's the mythic hand's passive trigger that steals the equipment. Chen Ming did not move. He's principled and grounded. But he's not a fool. The equipment that popped out is reasonably distributed he has no problem with it. But if the equipment that he stole is also taken out and reasonably distributed, then it is not principled. But it is pedantic. And even the brain is not good. That said, my mythical hand is almost out of cooldown as well. The first time I brought it to steal Miss Angel. I gained a SSS ranked main quest scroll, and I don't know what I'm going to use to steal the second time around. It's been in the novice village and I can't see any awesome NPCs. Maybe, could be used to steal the big boss of this copy? Chen Ming thought darkly. Dragon Warrior Knight resurrects in place. As soon as he resurrected, he hurriedly picked up the green great shield that had exploded earlier and treasured it in his arms. Looking at Chen Ming again, his eyes were no longer purely filled with only awe. Instead, it was filled with adoration. That green level equipment is something he borrowed from his buddies. And at this stage, it's probably going to be worth five figures. If it blew up, he might have to eat instant noodles for weeks on end to pay off this huge debt. White Jade Soup to defuse the crisis. It also incidentally helped him solve this big problem. White Jade Soup Big Brother. Whatever you say next, I'll do it. Only the orders of the White Jade Soup Big Brother are to be obeyed. Chen Ming was startled by this guy's rolling, fiery eyes. You're not a sister. What's the point of giving me that look? Actually, it's not just the Dragon Warrior Knights. Everyone in Snow Moon had the same thought. The Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is infinitely more elevated in their minds. At the very least, in this copy exploration session, their recognition of the White Jade Soup Big Brother had been significantly too much for the two sisters. Ling Shui Ling Yu, the head and vice president of their own family. Ling Shui Ling Yu, too, didn't bother to count. It's not that they're big hearted. Rather, they were also deeply impressed by such strength from Chen Ming. This is a green great excellent quality mage wrist guard. Ling Yu took out the equipment and prepared to open roll points. The so-called roll points are when people throw dice and spell points. Whoever has the highest number of points takes the piece of equipment. Points are thrown. By the system. Absolutely fair. Ling Yu took the lead in stating her position after turning on roll point mode. I already have a green level quality wrist guard. I'll quit rolling. You guys do it. This mage gear works just as well for priests. But Ling Shui also shook her head after a moment of deliberation. This equipment mainly adds magic damage and doesn't provide too high a healing effect. So it's better to give it to a mage. There was also a mage. And a priest in the group. However those two men after glancing at Chen Ming. Thinking about that crazy look he just had. There was a lot of shaking of heads and refusal. We didn't play any role. This equipment. How can we take it? I choose to give up. Both professions that could use cloth armor spoke so. The others. Moreover shook their heads and excused themselves. In the end, 
all nine people from Snow Moon, surprisingly, exited the roll point. Chen Ming hadn't thought that he would encounter such a situation. You're giving yourself money, aren't you? Then it's not worth it. Chen Ming pretended to click down the participation roll points, and in the end, with a full score of 100 points, he cast a super low score of 3 points, and rightfully received this equipment. Eh, hang it in my little auction later. Another small profit. Metso. Moving on, but compared to the careful and cautious one before, the snow moon crowd at this time was undoubtedly much more relaxed. No more discreet parades, no longer fully focused on staying in the fight. Ling Shui, the rosy-natured sister, even chatted idly with the priest's sister beside her. All, oh, this is only because in the team, there is a Chen Ming big brother in the cover. He was alone, a good deal ahead of the group, walking ahead, pulling monsters, kill the monsters, he alone is responsible for all of it. It can be described as a one-off. The snow moon crowd completely turned into soy sauce, following behind Chen Ming. Even the milkmaid Ling Shui is useless, there was no way around it. Chen Ming kept his blood full, she didn't even get a chance to milk it if she wanted to. All the way towards the depths of the mine, it took about 20 minutes, finally pushed to the door of the first boss. As for Chen Ming's experience bar, it had already broken through 100 and reached 104. There are still two more monster illustrations that need to be lit to break through level 10. Eh, guess there's 50 more experience to brush up on. With the richness of this copy's experience, it's almost time to upgrade after pushing through. Chen Ming licked his lips. The fight is full. Get ready to fight the first boss. Chen Ming reminded the snow moon crowd, who were so idle that they were about to pull out their melons to knock on them, were suddenly energized. It's not just them. All the viewers who were watching the live broadcast were also instantly energized. Finally pushed the first boss. The place where boss is located is a pristine mining area that is still unexplored. The mine road apparently ran into some trouble when it extended to this point. Broken track. Knocked down lamp post. Everything was signaling that the mine in front of us was not quite normal. In the middle of this mine that doesn't look right at first glance, her creeps a dog. The dog, though, was huge. Almost as good as an elephant. Simply creeping there had the feel of a small mountain piled on top of each other. And one couldn't help but feel intimidated. Hounds of the Apocalypse, Green Level Boss, HP, Attack Power, Defense, Skill, Hound Bite, Synopsis, A Wild Dog Brought Down the Hole by an Unknown Miner, Infected by the Apocalyptic Apocalypse, Turns into a Senseless Zombie, and its strong desire to attack prompts it to tear apart all living beings in the mine tunnel. The Snow Moon crowd didn't dare to be any slower and focused their attention. Everyone's faces became grave. It's actually a Green Level Boss. Ling Shui looked toward Chen Ming, though she didn't open her mouth but the worry in her eyes laid bare her concerns. We're all veterans of the game, and we all know that monster levels bring about changes in hidden attributes. This doesn't just mean enhancements to panel attributes. Various unseen attributes are added. Take for example, attack hits. Though we didn't know how Chen Ming managed to achieve infinite miss dodges when facing a bunch of elite monsters, but this green level boss was clearly not comparable to those elite minions. Can Chen Ming's 100% evasion that he relies on still really be effective? Everyone, they're not sure. The dragon warrior knight hesitated for a moment, but still went to the front, replacing Chen Ming's part-time tank position along the way. Big brother, I'll go start the boss. He was also afraid that Chen Ming wouldn't be able to top the boss and couldn't do a miss. Just Chen Ming's brittle body. Boss but if the boss touches him slightly, he will die violently on the spot. Chen Ming did not refuse. Seeing that the snow moon crowd looked like they were in the presence of a great enemy, the audience in the live broadcast room finally came to be interested. They had thought that the copy was about to be pushed straight through under the leadership of this invincible fellow, Chan Ming. I didn't expect the first boss that popped up to be so powerful. There's a good show. It feels like the white jade soup big man can continue to miss. Still miss, I think you don't know how awesome the boss is. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup's good days are over. The data crushing style of fighting is just like fighting small monsters. And you want to data crush in the face of a boss? Dream on. You can't kind of push Yukazuki now, can you? I've been upset for a long time watching this kid flat out push all the way. Boss hurry up and teach him a lesson. This pussy is finally going to be sanctioned. The dragon warrior knight approaches the side of the hound of the apocalypse. It hasn't gotten close enough. The hound of the apocalypse then snorted violently. And a pair of yellow, pupil-less eyes opened with a flourish. In the shadowy minds, these eyes, like two huge lanterns, emitted a frightening light. Crap. Dragon. The battle knight backed away in a hurry. Not bad for a green level boss. The range of this hate lock was much farther than that of a normal boss. This, the hidden attribute of a high grade boss. Attributes that are not reflected in the panel, but are actually present. Even Chen Ming revealed a grave gaze for the first time. Green level boss. 
or a boss that was one level over him. This was the strongest opponent he had ever encountered since entering glory. Boss stood up, but there was no immediate pouncing on the uninvited group before them. Instead, he paced slowly, seemingly laid back and casual. However, the eyes were deadlocked on the crowd, with an extremely humanized and cunning look hidden in them. It slowly approached towards the snow moon crowd. This sense of oppression was not at all inferior to those bosses that opened with a mindless charge. There's even more to it than that. The dragon warrior knight found the right distance and roared, attracted the boss's hate through skills. But, that hate didn't hold for long. When Shen Ming circled back and output a set of skills onto the boss, the hatred changed instantly. The Hound of Heavenly Tribulation violently twisted its head and leeringly locked onto Chen Ming. Roar! It raised a fierce grip. It was very different from the leisurely pacing of before. This claw, fast and hard. It slapped hard on Chen Ming's body. Miss! Familiar fonts surfaced. The Snow Moon crowd immediately revealed expressions of delight. But not before the smiles at the corners of their mouths spread. The huge head of the Dog of the Heavenly Tribulation jerked up and slammed straight into Chen Ming. Minus 158. Shocking numbers emerged from Chen Ming's head. A claw went down, surprisingly directly slapping away close to 70 of Chen Ming's blood. Ling Yu was slightly disoriented for a moment. Sure enough, she had expected it though, but she couldn't help but sigh when she actually saw the scene unfold before her eyes. Too bad. But that's normal. That crazy constant mist that works on elite monsters is actually pretty awesome. If it still works on bosses, that's a bit much. Bai Yu Tang. Retreat. Ling Yu once again sprouted the intention to retreat. Without infinite dodge, Snow Moon was simply not qualified to challenge this boss. After all, they were struggling mightily to fight even the small monsters. Not to mention this big boss. The Dragon Warrior Knight yelled. Run, Big Brother White Jade Soup. I'll pull the hate for you. Don't die. The penalty for death in a duplicate is lower than in the wild. But it is there. One death results in a deduction of 20 experience points. Everyone knew that Chen Ming was currently number one on the rank list. Naturally. I don't want to see him lose 20 experience points. Even the Dragon Warrior Knight has thought about it. If one person must die, he would rather die instead of Chen Ming. This solid knight old brother had been completely convinced by Chen Ming. However, before he could lean in, Chen Ming then yelled, Don't come over. Everyone else, don't output. Ling Shui, you priests keep an eye on my blood level and pay attention to giving milk. The words came out. The snow moon crowd snapped. A freeze. What do you mean? Chen Ming. So want to challenge this boss? How is this possible? 100% evasion has lost its effect. Although Chen Ming's output was high, the boss's blood volume was similarly not bad. To kill this boss, it was impossible to do so without 7 or 8 minutes of full output. But on the contrary, boss kill Chen Ming it. Just 2 cuts. From the first round of attacks, it was clear that the boss's normal attacks were extremely frequent. Each strike was a 2-hit combo. Previously, if it wasn't for Chen Ming dodging away an attack, he would have already been killed by the boss in a set of seconds. In this situation, even if Ling Shui could preemptively penetrate to give milk, there was nothing she could do. After all, the game is still in its early stages. Nurse has a single means of recovery and a long cooldown. There was no way to save the brittle Chen Ming. The snow moon crowd all wanted to stop Chen Ming, but what they don't know is that, at this moment, Chen Ming's eyes were devoid of the slightest bit of fear. There was only a burning desire to fight. Speaking of which, Chen Ming he was also a top game master. Once upon a time, the world was pretty handy with glory. It's just a pity that he entered glory too late and missed the opportunity, which is why he was helplessly buried in the rolling waves of the times. And in this life, SSS rank talent and hidden professions and races gave him super strong attributes. Let him crush it all the way. Until this moment, it was only then that he finally felt that he had a use for his gaming talents. Finally a painful fight. The heat is on. Chen Ming rushed towards the hound of natural disaster with an unrivaled aura, but the others couldn't see his confidence and only felt that his behavior was completely equivalent to committing suicide and seeking death. Still not giving up? Getting on top of it are you? How dare you go on without the attribute crush? Looking for death. But it seems pretty cool to see the boss give this guy a fat beating. That's right. This guy is open all the way. I've been looking at him for a long time. Finally, I get to see this kid suffer. The tone of the group revealed a full of gloating. Who let Chen Ming have those crazy misses before that made people look at them with a red eye? Jealous? It was only natural that he wanted to see Chen Ming suffer a defeat. The Hound of Natural Disaster watched Chen Ming pounce and did not retreat. An extremely humanized disdain was revealed in his eyes. It really looked down on it. This guy that he could kill with two slaps. The Sharp Claws once again slapped fiercely towards Chen Ming. Ling Shui and the other milkmaid girl's faces changed violently. The staff in his hand swung violently. 
The light from the healing spells spilled over Qin Ming's body, but how much recovery could a priest who hadn't even reached level 10 have by relying on the primary healing technique? Two mouthfuls of milk fell on Chen Ming's body. It only managed to recover about 60 points of life value. Blood, still not more than half. Chen Ming, a brittle assassin in a half-blooded state, was unable to carry a single attack from the Hound of Heavenly Deluge. Eyes on that sharp claw swing. Ling Xue's pretty face went white. But just then, Chen Ming's right foot powered up and slammed down on the ground. The figure that was clearly heading straight for the Hound of the Apocalypse was violently deflected, and as if its center of gravity was unsteady, it fell violently to the right. This poor, what a coincidence, just in time to avoid that claw from the Hound of Heavenly Deluge, Ling Shui looked stunned, that's okay? She was a little confused, but she didn't let that show her relation, she knew very well that the attack of the Hounds of the Heavenly Tribulation did not end there, the Hounds of the Apocalypse, always a two-parter, Chen Ming was able to dodge the first attack, but what about the second paragraph of, sure enough, next, no sooner had one paw of the Hound of the Apocalypse passed than another followed, Chen Ming had lost his balance, trying to take the second claw was simply difficult, however, has Chen Ming really lost his balance, the answer is clearly no, he appears to have fallen to the right, caused by a loss of balance, but in fact, with the help of that state of falling to the right, he rolled his whole body violently to the ground, that's not out of balance, it's just a pre-state for the tumbling action, make a tumbling motion this instant, he didn't even bother to look at the hounds of the apocalypse behind him, didn't bother to judge the range of its attack, it's just such a confident roll, but perfectly dodged the slap that the hound of the apocalypse ensued, bang, the entire underground grotto was filled with stone chips as he slapped it, smoke and dust flew, the snow moon crowd all just felt their feet shaking, and between the shaking of the ground and the mountains, they were even a little unsteady on their feet, but Chen Ming, yet unharmed, he rose from his position a few steps in front of the claws of the Hound of the Apocalypse, out of the way, both of the Hounds of the Apocalypse's outputs were dodged by him, it's on, everyone in the live broadcast room was stunned, then exclaimed in unison, how is this possible, and he's too lucky, twice, both times it was a close hit, what kind of luck is that, unbelievable, there was a lot of cursing and swearing as people watched, this one has super awesome attributes even, how can luck still be so good, that's disgusting, isn't it? Take advantage of the gap in the output of the Hound of the Apocalypse. Chen Ming twisted his head back. The quadruple chop slammed out. The Hound of Heavenly Havoc's blood level dropped once again. And at the same time, its body was also tinted with an ethereal green color. It's, uh, poisoned. Every second, it would receive damage equal to one slash of Chen Ming's output. Although it was not as good as Chen Ming's terrifying output of four slashes a second. But this output ability is still not to be underestimated either. After hitting this set, Chen Ming did not hesitate and turned his head to run, for boss fights, never be greedy with your sword, especially this kind of boss that could kill itself in two hits, a game master should be like a calm and wise hunter in general, to feel out the prey, to see through the prey, then target the hunt, Chen Ming was born with such a heart, but where can the average person see Chen Ming's calmness and composure, and the game contained in this wave of retreat, in their opinion, this wave was Chen Ming choosing to retreat, plus the toxins that flooded the hound of the apocalypse, the group of people then thought that they had seen through Chen Ming's thoughts. There was a lot of hooting and hollering. Holy shit. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is planning to use poison to consume the boss? Wow. That's a disgusting tactic too. What's with all the gimmicks this guy has? Dare you fight the boss in a dignified manner? Ha. No strength to fight head on. So you start playing dirty. Right? The whole world is watching. How dare you guys fight a boss like this? Snow Moon? Is this the so-called big brother? The tactics are so disgraceful. Ling Shui was furious when she saw these pop-ups. Immediately, I had to type and send a pop-up to rebut the guys. What these people are saying is outrageous. Isn't it the norm to fight bosses and use any means necessary? Some players have even developed wicked ways to skip class. And when they share them, they get a crowd. Pushing bosses relies on teamwork, as well as individual ingenuity. Saying fair is not fair. It's almost funny. It could be said that these people were purely jealous of the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother. Just don't want to see him help Snow Moon fight off this boss. Unfortunately, the live stream was very crowded. Even though Ling Shui carried a golden ID, her speech was quickly drowned in a sea of speeches. Sister, why don't you help me talk about them? Ling Shui was anxious, and Ling Yu just glanced at it, then sneered and turned off the live broadcast. As the head of a meeting, even though she was a woman, she still had the mentality of a lord. She doesn't give a shit about these guys. As far as she was concerned, it didn't matter what tactics were used as long as the boss could be pushed off. She doesn't care. Don't mind them. 
After Snow Moon pushes out the copies and develops far beyond the other guilds to become the world's number one guild, this group of rabble will naturally shut their mouths. The only thing we have to do is just refuel the white jade soup. Let's just wait quietly while the alabaster soup poisons this boss. However, Ling Yu's words had just fallen. Chan Ming, who had already turned his head to run away, actually violently made a U-turn. Once again, he killed the boss. Such a move. See Ling Yu is violently stunned. What's going on here? Why would he even bother twisting his head to kill back? Wouldn't it be better to just kite and wait for the boss to get poisoned? It wasn't just Ling Yu. Everyone was confused by Qin Ming's move to fold back, even the previously screaming pop-ups. There was also an eerie silence at that moment. The first ones to be greatly alarmed were the Snow Moon crowd, especially Ling Shui. Hey hey hey, White Jade Soup Big Brother. Why are you charging up again? She turned off the live stream in a panic and scrambled to pick up her staff, preparing to give milk. Though she despised the ugly faces of the guys on the air. But in her opinion, poisoning the boss was undoubtedly the best choice. Totally didn't go hardcore with the boss at all. The others also shouted their advice. White Jade Soup Big Brother. Let's play it steady. Don't worry. Don't worry. We can stay with you until the boss is poisoned. Yes. Big Brother by Yu Tang. It's fine for us to stabilize and take our time. However, Chen Ming turned a deaf ear. Take your time? How pointless that would be. He wants hot. Hard hitting. The hounds of the apocalypse struck again. Chen Ming didn't evade by rolling this time. Instead, he met them straight on. His pupils caught the message the moment the hound of the apocalypse raised its paw. Soon, the possible subsequent operations of the hounds of the apocalypse came to his mind. The left paw will shoot straight down. Its neck showed signs of probing forward. The next blow should be a headbutt. Just for a moment. Chen Ming then saw through all of the movements of the hound of natural disaster. That, in a nutshell, is talent unparalleled talent, combined with his high agility points, giving him the flexibility. He didn't choose to hide. Instead, they rise to the occasion, face the boss's attack head-on. Is he crazy? How dare this go up? This guy is looking for death. Don't hide? If you don't hide, you're looking for death. But the next second, these pop-ups are then punched in the face. Chen Ming dodged and flicked, a sliding side step, almost sticking to the boss's sharp claws. He managed to avoid it. Following closely, he leapt up. At the same time, the boss came crashing towards him just as he expected. But, Chen Ming's early leap allowed him to raise his height early, and the moment the boss took a bite, he had already arrived at a height equal to the boss. Oomph. Looking for death, Chen Ming was in mid-air, waving his dagger. Four in a row. The knife hit the boss's clear yellow eyes. Minus 220. Minus 286. Minus 267. Minus 301. This one did far more damage than before. Because, Chen Ming had hit the boss's weak point and dealt bludgeoning damage. Everyone was dumbfounded at the sight. How could they not have imagined that Chen Ming would use such a treacherous way to dodge the boss's attack? Even, it managed to hit the boss's weak point while it was at it. Even a woman like Ling Yu, who prided herself on being a top expert, revealed a dumbfounded expression at this moment, and couldn't help but murmur, can it still be operated like this? Boss seems to be enraged. A burst of refined light erupted steeply from its mouth. It's his skill. Hound tearing, it violently opened its bloody mouth and tore towards Chen Ming. If placed in the usual, this hound tear skill is not difficult to avoid. After all, this skill's forward swing is very long. A slight note shift will be able to successfully avoid. This time, at this moment, Chen Ming, unbiased, happened to be right in front of the boss's bloody mouth. It's over. Ling Yu's face changed wildly. Ling Shui also lost her color and violently raised her staff in an attempt to restore Chen Ming's blood. But, a single normal attack from the boss was enough to knock out close to 70 of Chen Ming's blood. With the damage that came from using the skill, wouldn't it be all too easy to kill Chen Ming in seconds? The more they thought about it, the more numb everyone felt. But just when everyone thought that Chen Ming would surely die. Instead, he smiled slightly. In mid-air, he stomped his feet violently. In a posture that would have made Newton curse if he had looked at it. He borrowed strength from the air and sprang upward once more. Ink and bamboo bracelet. Two jumps. This skill in the eyes of others, can only be used to scout for evil paths. However, in Chen Ming's hands, it had turned into a skill that was sufficient to drastically increase the operation ceiling. Just like at this moment, he jumped up again in the air, the boss's seemingly sure shot, came up empty, taking advantage of this opportunity, Chen Ming stomped on its nose, followed by the twin daggers in his hands, once again ruthlessly stabbing at the boss's eyes. Minus 596, another high wave of horrible damage. It even ended up hitting a blast. The boss already only had 5,500 points of blood. And after taking two sets of damage one after the other, 
His blood level dropped wildly like a waterfall. Ho 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 ho. Boss let out a heartbreaking scream as he ate the pain. It shook its head frantically, flinging Chen Ming in its face. Chen Ming didn't force himself, and complied with the frenzied boss by leaping up violently, finally landing lightly on the ground. Then, once again, he ran towards the boss. At this moment, the boss was still shaking his head from the pain, and before he knew it, Chen Ming had already forced his way up again. Where had the boss seen such a frantic pursuit? He hastily swung both claws in an attempt to hit Chen Ming, but the boss's speed is fast, and Chen Ming's speed is even faster. Let the boss hammer the ground as wildly as he could in a frenzy. Chen Ming was just able to complete the evasion in the nick of time. If once or twice, it can still be explained as good luck. Then three times, four times, or even five times and six times, all of them can be dodged. It is not as simple as good luck. It's the operation. It's a top-notch operation. A few evasions later, Chen Ming once again closed in on the boss, while juggling the dodging and dodging of damage. The dagger in his hand did not stop. Whenever you get a chance, output like crazy. One man and one beast battled together. But what is very different from before when Chen Ming faced off against the skeleton monster group is, this time, Chen Ming no longer has the rigid side. Rather, it's a way to put your own spin on the operation and embody it to the fullest. He outputs, dodges, and presses forward at the same time. The bosses were surprisingly all suppressed by him and backed up. Such a horrible oppressive force. It makes one just feel numb. Who the hell is the boss in this shit? The operation of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is as terrifying as it is, but any miss a little bit he has been soulful. Too terrible. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother is playing too extreme. Is this really an operation that people can play? Shocker. Unparalleled shock. Chen Ming conquered everyone with his maneuvers. The previous abuse, ridicule and mockery all disappeared without a trace. In the pop-up screen, only admiration for Chen Ming remained. One man, two daggers. It just suppressed a green level boss to the point that it didn't even leave a chance to catch its breath. These people have never seen such a spectacle. The snow moon crowd who watched from a close distance was as if they were witnessing a miracle. Their scalps numb with shock. White Jade Soup Big Brother is really awesome ah. Ling Shui looked at the figure engaging the boss the size of a small mountain in fascination, not hiding the admiration in her eyes. Ling Yu didn't say anything though. However, she was as mesmerized and thoroughly immersed in Chen Ming's operation, with one's own strength. The operation made the green level boss retreat back and forth. In glory, the one who can do this step has and only has Chen Ming alone. At this moment, his stunning maneuver will surely be deeply imprinted in everyone's mind. Three minutes later, under Chen Ming's furious output, the blood stripe of the Hound of the Apocalypse was finally consumed to the bottom by him. With the last slash, the Hound of the Apocalypse wailed and fell to the ground. Bang! Its mountain-like head slammed heavily into the ground, stirring up dust all over the place. Crap! Really soloed the boss? Scalp tingling operation. Mom asked me why I was on my knees watching the video. Is this the level of the big man? It's scary. This is the end? Why are you so brittle? Hound of the apocalypse. I wanted to see the big man perform a little longer. You're too weak. Hound of the apocalypse. Aren't you? That's gone? The winds of the pop-up changed. Once again. Obviously. Chen Ming had already completely conquered the vast majority of people with his strength. Chen Ming only felt a warmth in his body and his experience value soared violently. 122. Just one boss had caused Chen Ming's experience value to rise by nearly 15. As for the nine people of Snow Moon, although they all shared a certain amount of experience value, it was far, far less than Chen Ming. This was because the game Glory had purposely added an experience distribution mechanism in order to prevent high-level players from leading low-level players to upgrade by mindlessly brushing monsters. The higher the contribution of killing monsters, the more experience will be shared. The boss. The Hound of the Apocalypse, was a kill that Chen Ming had managed to achieve entirely with his own strength. He gets about 80 of the experience value all to himself. The 9 remaining Snow Moon people could only share the remaining 20 equally. The mechanism is damn good. Chen Ming was impassive on the surface, but his heart was already happy. Not only do you get to eat this full experience yourself, you can also collect money until you get a cramp in your hand. What makes Chen Ming most comfortable is that, Ling Yu's group of people, they still have to thank themselves. Winning hemp belongs to yes. When the corpses of the hounds of heavenly disaster dispersed, the ground revealed a field of copper coins interspersed with a few silver coins, and underneath the coins, there was a burst of light coming through. Green is most prevalent. It would take at least two or three pieces of green equipment to explode into that color. But the most exciting thing has to be the green light mixed with a little bit of ghostly blue light. Blue level rare equipment. When the snow moon crowd saw this light, they only felt their hearts thumping. Until now. In the whole world. 
there are only five pieces of blue level equipment, all of which came from yesterday's monster attack, and were firmly controlled by the two sisters Ling Shui Ling Yu. This shows the rarity of blue level equipment. Boss, go touch the corpse. Chen Ming signaled Ling Yu, the big boss who paid the money, to touch the corpse. Ling Yu was not polite either. Three pieces of green level equipment in total, and two pieces of blue level equipment. Unexpectedly, there were actually two whole pieces of blue level equipment. Ling Yu's expression was okay at first when she got her equipment, but when she swept over the green equipment and finally rested on the two pieces of blue level equipment, her expression uncontrollably became bizarre. What's wrong, sister? Ling Shui couldn't help but ask out loud. Could it be that the equipment has bad attributes? Or maybe no one can use it? Chen Ming couldn't help but be curious as well. See for yourselves. Ling Yu said and then shared the equipment information to the team. Chat bar. Calamity tooth. Left. Blue rare. Dagger. Grade. Attack power. Agility plus 8. Strength plus 8. Stamina. Passive skill. Penetration. When tusk of the apocalypse. Left. And tusk of the apocalypse. Right. Attack a target at the same time. Inflict a 50 armor penetration effect on the target. Synopsis. The left canine tooth of the hound that was mutated by the erosion of the natural disaster is the tooth used by the hound of the natural disaster to crush human bones, and it is exceptionally sharp. The attributes of this blue-grade equipment stared at everyone in Snow Moon. Even Chen Ming could not be an exception. A dagger that directly provided a whopping 35 points of attack power bonus. One had to know that right now. On Chen Ming's panel stats, his attack power was just a little over 40. The bonus provided by a dagger could directly double his attributes. True. One piece of equipment tops the whole body, and that's just the attack power. The genus extra attribute points of strength, stamina, and agility of 8 points each are even stronger to the point of making one's head spin. Total 24 attribute points, and all of them are attribute points of great use. This is already almost equal to the amount of points that a normal player would have only if they went up 5 levels. But what makes Chen Ming's heart thump the most is the name of the equipment, and the profile. Teeth of the Apocalypse, left, and Teeth of the Apocalypse, right. It's hard to believe that there are two of these daggers. This time, the blue equipment that popped out also happened to have two pieces, and Ling Yu's expression. It was very strange. A series of details flashed in Chen Ming's mind. His heart, thumping, tusks of the apocalypse, right, blue grade rare, dagger, grade, attack power, agility plus 12, strength plus 12, stamina, passive skill, penetration, when tusk of the apocalypse, left, and tusk of the apocalypse, right, attack a target at the same time. Inflict a 50 armor penetration effect on the target. Synopsis, the right tooth of the hound, which was mutated by the erosion of a natural disaster, is not as sharp as the left canine tooth because it was infected by the power of the natural disaster, but it possesses more bizarre powers. The second dagger doesn't do as much damage as the first, but the winners have more attribute bonuses. Chen Ming was breathing heavily as he watched. It's really a double dagger. It was literally customized for him. The two daggers merge inflicting a 50 break defense special effect on the target. In other people's hands, it might be more of a cocktail, after all. A normal thief can only use one dagger, and the other hand is either a small shield or fitted with a concealed weapon poison kit. The two daggers, which could only be dispersed in two hands, the two of them combined to hit this 50 break. But Chen Ming was different. With the Shadow Walker hidden profession, he was able to equip two daggers at the same time. With these two daggers on, his attacks would be able to trigger a 50 defense breaking effect at any time. With these powerful attributes, even Ling Yu was repeatedly scrutinizing these two pieces of equipment for a long time. Only at the end of the day did he fondly avert his gaze from them and toss them to Chen Ming. As promised, all the thieves equipment is yours. Not so. Chen Ming put it into his backpack with great care. It was a level 10 piece of equipment, and two more monster illustrations needed to be lit before it could be worn to unlock the shackles of rising to level 10. Keep dividing the spoils. The remaining three pieces of green level excellent equipment were two pieces of heavy armor for warriors and knights, and a ring that increased the blood cap. Chan Ming, who had gotten his hands on the double dagger, was already satisfied and only participated in the blood cap ring roll, only to fail to take it. But Chen Ming didn't care. He glanced at the SSS rank talent skill, wonderful hands, in his skill bar. There is just under an hour left until the cooldown is complete. It was estimated that the mythic hand had just about cooled down by the time it was pushed to the big boss of this copy of the end of the apocalypse. He couldn't help but feel a pang at the thought. The first time he stole it, it gave him a SSS rated epic quest. What can be stolen this time? Snow Moon's group, led by Chen Ming, continued to advance. The hound of the apocalypse, just the first boss of the copy. Looking at the map of the copy, they were only deep into the middle. Next, 
there was a really big boss that awaited them at the end of the copy. Let's speed things up. Chen Ming couldn't wait to meet the big boss and give mythical hands a chance to show off their skills. After the snow moon crowd had seen Chen Ming's terrifying strength, they no longer worried that an overly fast pace would lead to a regimentation. Bosses like the Hound of Heavenly Calamity had all been soloed by Chen Ming. Small monsters count for nothing. It took 40 minutes to clear out all the little monsters. Unfortunately, no more gear came out. The experience rewards are still quite generous though. Chen Ming's experience has come to 145. With just a little more effort, you can get to 150 experience points, light up two icons, and get to level 10. Come to the location of the final boss. It's a natural mine shaft completely devoid of any man-made traces left behind. And because of this, it is far wider than the man-made mine roads that preceded it. Chen Ming had just walked in when he felt a piercing chill. A layer of black oil also coalesced on the stones under his feet. Bizarre to the extreme. Compared to the huge mining cave of the Hounds of the Heavenly Tribulation, this place was obviously much smaller. Obviously, the next thing they were going to face was not a boss that was as wide open as the Hounds of the Heavenly Calamity. You guys wait outside. Chen Ming commanded before heading towards the depths himself. Didn't go more than a few steps. Those black oily things on the soles of his feet suddenly squirmed. It was as if it had been brought to life. It eventually coalesced together to form a bizarre looking humanoid monster. The Phantom Shadow of the Apocalypse, Blue Ranked Rare Boss. Attack Power? Defense? Skills? Synopsis, the originator of the mind tragedy. The filth of the undead natural disaster legion's breath buried deep in the ground. Although it has no human spirit, but has the horrible characteristic of infecting all living beings. Boss's name, which was so bright red that it looked like it was about to drip blood, was reflected in everyone's eyes. The snow moon crowd, who were originally all relaxed and incomparable one by one, changed their faces wildly in a moment. Even Ling Yu, who has always had the power of determination on weekdays. Even at this moment it was difficult to contain a light exclamation. Level 14? How is this possible? She distinctly remembered that the scroll she had obtained stated clearly that it was a copy with a recommended level of 10. According to her rich gaming experience, she presumed that the final boss would only be level 12. Because in a game like Glory, level suppression exists. Monsters whose level is equal to your own, or within a two-level gap, are shown as normal white names. Levels over 2 are yellow names. Beyond level 5, it turns red. If it is more than 10 levels, then you can only see the deep purple color. And these different colors also symbolize different attribute suppression. Exceeding his own level by 5, and it is still a blue level rare boss, let alone killing it. It is much more difficult to hit it. Before, when Shen Ming faced small monsters, miss, how cool it has to be. Then at the moment, the miss that hits the boss is how sour it makes it. The snow moon crowd looked at each other. Bitter expressions have appeared in their eyes. The difficulty of this copy is simply beyond their imagination. Can't get through. This boss, it's literally impossible to pass. It wasn't that they didn't trust Chen Ming. All of Chen Ming's previous performances had proven how terrifying his strength was. But what is in front of us at this point? Nothing to do with operations. It also has nothing to do with its own data. It was simply the rules of the game that posed an unbreakable restriction on Chen Ming. He and the boss. There was a whole five levels difference. This five level difference is like a chasm. Even if Chen Ming's operation was pulled full circle, even if his equipment exploded, he simply couldn't handle this boss. Can't even hit it. How can we talk about killing? Sure enough, Chen Ming did not hesitate to turn his head away after seeing the boss. This was the first time Chen Ming had given up so decisively. Originally, the pop up viewers still wanted to watch Chen Ming challenge this boss that surpassed his own by a full five levels. But who had thought that he would actually give up so decisively? It seems like rank suppression is still a bullseye. Even a big shot like Bai Yutang has decisively given up. Too bad. I was kinda looking forward to watching the White Jade Soup Big Guy challenge a level 14 boss. TSK TSK, this is a blue level boss. It's much more powerful than that green level Hound of Heavenly Plagues from before. It would be cool to see a big brother operate it. White Jade Soup Big Brother is not a fool. Can operate of course. Can not operate certainly have to run ah. That's right. It's hard for you guys to let the white jade soup big man go and send people's heads? Although Chen Ming decisively twisted his head to leave, but surprisingly nothing in the pop-up sees the opportunity to drop in and spray him. At most, I'm sorry that I didn't get to see the white jade soup big man battle this boss. Obviously, this level 14 blue level boss had far exceeded the crowd's imagination. The reason the pop-up was in a hurry before was because there were quite a few players in there waiting to challenge this copy. They are desperate beyond measure. Naturally, they also held a grudge against the Chen Ming who had been interfering with them. But when seeing this level 14 boss, instead, they lightened up. This stuff just isn't something players can touch at this stage. 
even if the entrance to the duplicate is opened. So what? No one can beat it. Seeing Chen Ming give up, the viewers in the live room also began to exit one after another. In everyone's opinion, Snow Moon's trip to the replica had come to an end here. Chen Ming exited the boss room. Only after confirming that he had gotten rid of the boss's hatred did he return to the Snow Moon crowd. Boss, this boss. Before Chen Ming could finish, Ling Yu nodded in understanding. I know, this boss is very difficult. Don't worry, I won't go up to the top and ask you to kill it. Give it up at this point, and I'll transfer your payment to you in full. Every cent. Chen Ming shook his head. No, boss, that's not what I meant. I'm asking if you want to pass this boss, I have a way, only at a great cost. Ling Yu was almost skeptical. Own ears. Not only her, but the Snow Moon crowd also turned their heads over, staring daggers at Chen Ming. Are you serious, big guy? This kind of boss can be passed too? Big brother by Yu Tang. Don't joke with us. How can this possibly pass? No matter how I think about it, I don't think it's possible. Ling Yu held back her excitement. What price? Help me rise to level 10. Chen Ming's face was full of seriousness. I've long since had enough experience value to level up to 10. Only that the iconography hasn't been successfully unlocked yet. Limiting my leveling up. As soon as I get to level 10, I'll be able to equip those two heavenly calamity teeth. And the level gap with the boss can be narrowed to less than 5 levels without being mindlessly suppressed. When these words came out, the snow moon crowd froze. Experience. Long enough for level 10? They looked at their experience bar that had been brushing for more than a day but had yet to reach level 9. There was a lull in silence. How can this guy Chen Ming be so perverted? How long has this service been open? Just save up enough experience points to go up to level 10 already. It took Ling Yu 2 or 3 seconds to get over her shock. That means I'm paying to help you unlock 3 illustrations, right? Eh, it's just a small problem. Not bad for a female dirtbag. Wealthy and generous. He agreed straight away. In that case, the corners of Chen Ming's mouth rose slightly, just to be on the safe side. I suggest that Chairman Ling Yu just help me unlock all the level 1 to 9 icons. More attribute points and more security in dealing with bosses. Wouldn't you say, Chairman Ling Yu? Meet the injustice. Can't we get a couple more cuts? Hearing Chen Ming blurt out these words, Ling Yu's expression couldn't help but become bizarre. Chen Ming said that he had the power to fight. After he rose to level 10 this is not true. But asking to unlock all the artifacts to give yourself a higher win rate. That's opening your eyes. The icon system. Ling Yu had seen it in the games she had played before. Know that this system is used to slowly build up. It serves as a kind of thin, thick and thin. The first few points of attributes are really better than nothing, let alone facing a big boss like this. Is it hard to believe that if you have one more stamina point, with a 10 point blood bonus, the boss won't be able to kill you in a second? Apparently not. Facing a boss, the role played by the level 1 to 9 icons, even if all of them were fully lit, would not be too great. This reasoning, Ling Yu believed that with Chen Ming's understanding of the game, it was impossible for him not to comprehend it. But he can still say it with such a big mouth. Bah! Really taking advantage of the fire. Ling Yu secretly slandered a sentence and directly blanked Chen Ming. But Chen Ming stared at his big eyes, part pretending that he did not see Ling Yu's blank stare as he reached out to Ling Yu with one hand and spread out his palm. It's all in the words. I, Chen Ming, play money. The Snow Moon crowd all tacitly turned their heads and pretended not to see it. Especially the Dragon Warrior Knights, looked straight up at the sky and even whistled. Pretend you don't see the big guy when he reaches out for money. Emotional intelligence. The corner of Ling Yu's mouth pulled. A total of 450. 000 is required for the illumination of level 1 to 9 icons. Transferred to you. Ling Yu was too lazy to argue with Chen Ming and directly completed the transfer. Chen Ming was just about to say that he had actually unlocked the most expensive level 9 iconography. But when he heard Ling Yu make such a bold statement, he silently swallowed that back into his stomach. It's been two days of spending money like water. When you do the math, you've already spent two million dollars on Chen Ming. Rao Ling you also felt a bit of meat ache. But the money is not for your own consumption. It's for the Snow Moon Guild. The monster siege battle had caused Snow Moon's strength to soar, directly surpassing other guilds by a large margin. The copy at hand is being broadcast live around the world. Achieving the first kill of FD, both the equipment you get and the fame you gain, is a great addition to Snow Moon. Combining these considerations, Ling Yu was the one who spent money so painfully. Ding! Your bank card with tail number 3831 wired $45, 000, 000 and currently has a balance of $18, 156, 200. The corners of Chen Ming's mouth couldn't help but rise. It's a real treat to work with the dog bigs. This money is making a flying start. N, and then earn a little more. Can consider in sister change a house to live in. House there is still a great need to buy. 
especially the kind of top mansion, wait until after the game reflected into reality. Monsters will also come to the real world. The ordinary residential buildings crowded, too easy to brush the monster. Security is far less than the detached luxury villa villa. Chen Ming retrieved his thoughts and directly exchanged enough coins in the system. Open the monster icon panel. Start kryptonite. Level 0 monster slime icon activated. Plus 1 spirit. Level 1 monster rabbit icon activated. Plus 1 endurance. Level 3 monster boar icon activated. Plus 1 stamina. Activation. Activate. A frantic succession of points. Special effects of various monster iconography lighting up steeply appeared in front of Chen Ming. The people in the live broadcast room couldn't help but stare in disbelief when they saw this scene. What's going on? The white jade soup big guy is constantly activating the icon? Holy crap. Started directly at level 0 and activated all the way up? Is this the start of the bill ability? There's too much money to use up you can share it with me I'll help you with it. I don't understand the world of bigots. Everyone was first shocked by Chen Ming's bold kryptonite. But soon, there were some reactions. Is the white jade soup big man in a hurry? In a hurry to cure himself? Want to rely on the attributes provided by these cards to challenge bosses? Rush rush rush. Bai Yutang big brother he's in a hurry. I can't believe he even came up with a solution like kryptonite. This attribute is simply not enough to look at in front of a boss. And the cost effectiveness of kryptonite is too low. Kryptonite isn't exactly sensible behavior at this point. That's more or less a waste of money for the white jade soup big guy. The audience shook their heads. They didn't really recognize Chen Ming's performance. Naturally, there was no belief that he could challenge the boss successfully. In their opinion, Chen Ming was a typical case of being sick and desperate, facing the boss's level suppression. This ding-dong attribute bonus is of no use, just when they were all towering over each other, commenting on how how irrational and even stupid Chen Ming's wave of operation was. Chen Ming's body, however, steeply hovered in a burst of golden light. That's upgraded special effects. Chen Ming he upgraded the pop-ups which had just been wildly commenting, instantly jammed, everyone, with eyes wide open, revealing expressions of disbelief, level 10, this, how is this possible, there are already close to two dozen level 9 players on the level list, but all of them just reached level 9 this morning, I thought that these people would catch up with the solo white jade soup big brother, but I didn't realize that white jade soup big brother was already level 10, crap, how did big brother white jade soup brush up his experience so fast? Didn't he go offline after fighting the monster siege yesterday? Nima, our guild leader's liver bursting cultivation all night until now, and he's only just level 9. It seems that the world's number 1 is no longer in doubt. White jade soup big brother took it steadily. Those spectators who had been pointing their fingers earlier burst into a sweat. His face was smashed by the white jade soup bigot. Congratulations you have leveled up to 10. You can accept the quest at the novice village headman and teleport to the level 5 main city, Qingfeng City, to transfer your job and start a brand new adventure. Turn off system alerts. Chen Ming directly opened his backpack. It doesn't really matter about Sibei City and transfers and all that. He's focused on just one thing right now. Beginner's chest. Restrictions on rating. Synopsis, players who reach level 10 can open it. Global players share the same reward pool, and those who are the first to open it get more rewards. Global players share a reward pool of newbie treasure chests. Whoever can open it first will get the best stuff. Turn it on. The novice treasure chest steeply erupted in a burst of brilliant golden light. After the light, a ring lay silently in the backpack. Chen Ming had already grinned before he even looked at the attributes. A ring? He's in luck. He is actually quite afraid to open to the weapon or the equipment on his body. After all, the weapon he already owns the blue level dagger heavenly calamity tooth left and right and the effect of the combination of these two weapons is even better than that of the purple dagger alone. If you hit the dagger, it's a wasted opportunity for this treasure chest. Of course, at this stage, it would be easy to sell a purple dagger for a few million dollars. As for the equipment on his body, he also has the Heritage Leather Armor series pre-ordered. This set of inherited leather armor, he sought to be able to use it until at least level 30 and up, unless he has access to more awesome gear. So, it's best to just focus on rings. Earrings? or skill books for what the treasure chest gives. Fortunately, he was lucky. With immense anticipation, Chen Ming tapped on the ring's attributes. Ring of flickering, purple legendary, grade required, strength plus 5, stamina plus 5, endurance plus 5, agility plus 5, spirit, skill, blinking, blink, perform a short-range blink teleportation after use, cooldown 5 seconds, consumes 50 MP. Chen Ming's eyes widened. Blinking? No. That's a nasty one. It's clearly a flashback, or the 5 second at a time kind. The only drawback is that the blue consumption is too high. But, this still does not affect the terror of this equipment. 
How precious is a flash with a CD of only 5 seconds? I'm sure all those who have played the game know exactly what to expect. Congratulations to player Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup for being the first to level up to 10. Opening the novice treasure chest and obtaining the purple level legendary equipment ring of flickering. Congratulations to player Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup for being the first to level up to 10. Opening the novice treasure chest and obtaining the purple level legendary equipment ring of flickering. Congratulations to player Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup for being the first to level up to 10. Opening the novice treasure chest and obtaining the purple level legendary equipment ring of flickering. A series of announcements jumped and flashed in front of the screens of players all over the world. At this moment, all the players were confused, especially those players who had only just left the live stream. They all wore expressions of disbelief. Level 10? And opened the newbie treasure chest? How is that possible? Isn't the pearl emerald white jade soup in the duplicate? Yeah, hasn't he all but given up? How come he's suddenly upgraded? Isn't the point how he got to level 10? The average player is still merely confused. The tycoons and guild bosses who had exploded their livers for a day and a night and gotten countless beaters to help them brush the monsters were the ones who were the most pissed off. They clearly remembered that Pearl Jade White Jade Soup chose to go offline after fighting the monster attack yesterday. Those of them who took advantage of the one night that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup was offline were frantically popping their livers just to catch up with him. The night's fierce battle had brought them up to level 9, coming to the same level as Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. They had thought they had finally caught up with the top big man, but whoever thought, with a twist of his head, he went straight to level 10. Who rattle Maru hot, bursting my liver all night and brushing up on loneliness. What makes him able to sleep comfortably and still get a fast upgrade? I'm sore. Too sore. What are the attributes of the ring of flickering? The snow moon crowd also saw that announcement and instantly inquired curiously. Chen Ming shared it casually. Just saw Ling Shui Ling Yu two sisters beautiful eyes revealed blazing desire. The whole person's breathing has become rapid. The ring of flickering, for Chen Ming, was to raise the operation ceiling, allowing his output to be more fluid and flowing, making his figure more ethereal and elusive. But for Ling Shui Ling Yu, the two brittle sisters, it was a completely different story. This is a top-notch life-preserving piece of equipment. Imagine an assassin running to assassinate them with a 5-second flash cupped in his hand. Then they'll make all the assassins' heads spin. What's more, these two sisters were very good at maneuvering, and it would not be an exaggeration to say that such a flash was able to be played out in their hands. 3 million, Ling Shui directly quoted her price. But as soon as her words fell, Ling Yu on the side glanced at her, then said lightly, 5 million dollars. Sister, Ling Shui stomped her foot in anger and urgency. She was as favored by her family as Ling Yu, and naturally, she was a solidly wealthy woman. Just a shame, her ability to pay money didn't seem to work in front of her sister. Chen Ming looked at the two women with a smile on his face. That's how much you want this equipment? At 5 million dollars, it really shows them, the urgency of it. Ling Yu nodded seriously. With this equipment, my survivability will be greatly improved. It will be much harder for ordinary thieves to cut me. Chen Ming pondered. That is to say, if I sell you my equipment, I'll have to go through a lot of trouble if I want to rip you off in the future? Eh, then I'm still selling shit. Keep it for yourself. In the future, no matter whether it is cutting you or cutting Ling Shui, it is directly flashing over. One slash one. It's good to think about it. The two sisters were confused and spoke in unison. What are you thinking of cutting us for? Chen Ming righteously said, Bosses, don't be mistaken. I was only hired by you to help you kill this copy. I'm not a member of your Snow Moon's guild. In the future, if one of your rival unions hires me to take your dog's life, I'll be next as long as the price is good. Ling Yu blushed. Ling Shui, on the other hand, unabashedly revealed an expression of gritted teeth, gave a petulant grunt, and no longer paid attention to Chen Ming, where the ring of twinkle, replaced with two teeth of the apocalypse, Chen Ming's attributes instantly reached a whole new peak, ID, pearl jade white jade soup, grade, HP, MP, attack power, defense, power, stamina, endurance, agility, spirit, talents, wonderful hands, dagger mastery, sneak mastery, dodge mastery, Poison Mastery, Skills, Hardening Poison, Ghosting, 84 Offense, 192 Agility. Just looking at the two figures made Chen Ming's heart flutter, plus the 50 armor breaking effect provided by the tusks of the apocalypse. If only he had been in this outfit when he fought hounds of the apocalypse before, there may not even be a need for him to show off his maneuvers. Straight up front and hard, it would send the hounds of the apocalypse away in one wave. I'm going to go get an orange. Oh no, I'm going to go make a boss fight so you guys just stand here and wait for me to come back. Chen Ming once again killed the boss room, the phantom shadow of the apocalypse, blue ranked rare boss, life value, 
Attack power. Defense. Skill. Scourge of heaven. Synopsis. The originator of the mine tragedy. The filth of the undead natural disaster legion's breath buried deep in the ground. Although it has no human spirit, but has the horrible characteristic of infecting all living beings. See the properties now. The name also changed from bright red to yellow. Chen Ming activated the quenching poison skill. The two heavenly calamities tooth daggers were steeply drenched in poisonous mist. Originally, when the novice dagger and wolf tooth short dagger used by Chen Ming were impregnated by the poisonous mist, they would take on a ghostly green color. But the teeth of the natural disaster were far from being comparable to those two broken daggers. As a blue level equipment, the teeth of the apocalypse came with an ethereal blue blow, plus the quenching dip. The entire dagger surfaced, a ghostly, throbbing, surfacing deep purple color. Chen Ming was fast, towards the heavenly plague phantom shadow killed. The four consecutive strikes viciously poked and stabbed atop the black mist of the heavenly plague phantom. Huge damage values tore through the black fog and jumped out one after another. Minus 301, minus 322, minus 296, minus 311. A photo op. Knock out close to 10% of the boss's blood. The people watching this scene in the live broadcast room all wore dumbfounded expressions. But, what they don't know is that, that hurt, and it's just the beginning. It was because it was only after these four slashes ended that a small mark of shattered armor surfaced on the boss's head. That was the armor shattering effect triggered by the combination of the dual daggers of the teeth of the apocalypse. 50 shattered armor. Next, Chen Ming's damage. We'll have to reach a new high. Buzz. A strange sound rang in Chen Ming's ears. He guessed that it was the cry of the celestial plague phantom after eating pain. The thing was like a black slime and made this inhuman sound. And rightfully so. Chen Ming couldn't analyze what exactly this monster wanted. According to his experience, at times like this, he should hasten to retreat and observe the monster's striking movements to determine his attack range, his output ability. After all, this boss isn't like the hounds of the apocalypse. The logic of the behavior of the dogs of the apocalypse can be analyzed in terms of dogs. Slime. In reality, has anyone ever seen a slime? You have to eat up the logic of the boss's attacks to be able to manipulate the boss. However, Chen Ming did not retreat. Instead, he topped off in front of the slime and tried to continue his output. Eh? Why isn't the white jade soup big brother retreating yet? The dragon warrior knight's eyes showed concern. He's not a top player though. But it was also clear that the most important thing about fighting bosses was to feel out their habits. This type of play by Chen Ming without retreating was a bit too reckless. Ling Yu. However, Sour Li spoke. Have you forgotten that he has just gotten his hands on the ring of blinking? With his maneuvering, wouldn't it be simple and easy to circumvent with a flash? The dragon warrior knight's eyes widened. Using flash to dodge skills? That requires a high level of reflexes, right? Is white jade soup big brother that good? As a meat shield, the dragon warrior knight really couldn't imagine this kind of maneuvering in gaming between experts. When Chen Ming had played Hound of the Apocalypse before, he had also been very showy, but at least Hound of the Apocalypse's maneuvering was traceable. It's not purely about spelling out reactions, more or less with a bit of forethought in it. But right now, Facing this extremely unfamiliar boss, that is really all about relying on reactions to operate. Suddenly, the massive black slime under Chen Ming's feet steeply transformed into a spike that stabbed towards his back. The speed of that spike, it's hard to catch with the naked eye. However, Chen Ming, in that close call, surrendered his blink skill. Swish, his figure steeply became a blur. In the next second, it appeared straight behind the heavenly plague phantom. The lightning fast spike nearly poked through his stump, until the spike fell short retracted back to the ground into a mass of black mucus. The crowd in the broadcast room, only slowly reacted to. Holy shit, white jade soup big guy flashed to dodge a skill, before I could even see it in my noggin. The white jade soup big man flashed away. What a pussy reaction this is. I'm convinced, the white jade soup big brother is also too good. The screen is full of 666. Everyone knows very well that if that wave is replaced with their own, them, they will definitely not be able to avoid this deadly attack. Falling behind the Divine Plague Phantom, Chen Ming frantically outputted. The 50 armor breaking effect was reflected in this moment. Minus 604, minus 626, minus 593, minus 682. One second. Outputting close to two. 500 points of damage. It was important to realize that the boss, the Heavenly Plague Phantom, only had 10, 500 blood. Take out 25 blood in one breath. Which, interrogative followed by classifier or numeral classifier. Fearing that the snow moon crowd, who had already known of Chen Ming's terrifying output, could not help but suck in a breath of cool air at this moment. I'm afraid we can't even fight small monsters as fast as he fights bosses. That's terrible damage. 
Incredible output. Although Ling Yu couldn't hide her shock, what was more in her eyes was a pang of complexity. This guy is really getting scary. When she thought about what Chen Ming had said before, he was just a loner who had accepted employment, and it was very likely that he would go against Snow Moon in the future. She felt an uncontrollable fear surface in her heart. She really didn't want to meet such a terrifying opponent. If you can, must find a way to tie him to the battleship that is Snow Moon. Whatever it takes, Ling Yu was in her mind, secretly determined. After this set of hits, Chen Ming no longer stayed behind and immediately retreated. Blink has a full 5 second cooldown. During those 5 seconds, he needed to keep his distance from the boss, lest he be killed in direct seconds. He always kept in mind that he was just a brittle assassin. Even if the output is exaggerated, consider your safety. Watching Chen Ming retreat to the edge of the boss, Ling Yu couldn't help but assess again. Calm down. Sanity. There was no hint of arrogance because he had just gotten his hands on three pieces of powerful equipment. The more she looked, the more Ling Yu felt that Chen Ming was terrifying to the extreme. The next battle could not have been more suspenseful. Chen Ming was as if he was the calmest of hunters. Not a single mistake. Steadily hunted the Celestial Plague Phantom. One minute. Chen Ming grabbed a total of four outputs. After four rounds of output hit, the Celestial Plague Phantom was directly bloodied. Before sending this guy off, Chen Ming hadn't forgotten that he still had a SSS ranked natural skill. Wonderful Hands is activated. A piece of equipment that had clearly landed in Chen Ming's backpack. He didn't move to scan it. Didn't look closely. However, a dense purple blow could be seen on it. Nice. Another purple legendary level equipment. After eating it dry, Chen Ming added a final cut. Click 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 click. The slime-like heavenly tribulation phantom shadow completely shattered, turning into fossilized stone and scattering all over the ground. Chen Ming's body warmed up. The experience bar for level 10 skyrocketed from the original 20, all the way up to 67. Geez, that's more experience value than I thought. Chen Ming was secretly delighted. Every time a level passes 10, it's a watershed moment. The value of experience needed goes up dramatically. After leveling up to 10, you can still eat close to 50 experience. From one boss simply don't feel good. Come on boss, touch the body. Chen Ming put away the dagger. A leisurely look of having finished getting it done and calling it a day. And at this moment, it was only a minute or so before he struck. At the boss, the heavenly plague phantom. One minute to solve a blue level rare boss. Those in the live stream who witnessed the scene. All in a state of dumbfoundedness. They didn't even bother to care about the equipment that popped out on the ground. Everyone, with shocked gazes, looked towards Chen Ming who stood with his head held high over the boss's corpse. Many people have already been able to guess that the idea of pearl emerald white jade soup will inevitably be read all over the world after this. Ling Yu was lost in thought for a while before she slowed down and took a deep look at Chen Ming before withdrawing her gaze and walking forward to touch the body. Three pieces of equipment in total. A longbow, a pair of heavy armor gauntlets, and a robe with a purple glow. The people present all possessed venomous eyes, and immediately recognized that the robes with a purple halo were the equipment of cloth armor professions such as mage priests, president and vice president, you can update your equipment again. The dragon warrior knight smiled cheerfully. Chen Ming froze. This popped out vestment. It seems exactly the same as the vestments. He stole. It seemed that this equipment was the best equipment that could be popped out of the boss, heavenly plague phantom. But he didn't speak, because he knew that this piece of equipment would definitely attract the competition from the two sisters Ling Yu Ling Shui. If they just pulled out a second piece of equipment, they would have one in hand, and there would be no value in competing for it. Still have to wait until they've cranked up the price. Take out your second piece of equipment again. That's the way to do business. Ling Yu shared the equipment information. Robe of Holy Light, Purple Excellent. Grade. Defense. Intelligence plus 25. Stamina. Passive skill, Holy, doubles the effect of the skill every time the fifth skill is used. Synopsis, the only equipment found within the filth-strewn cave of the apocalypse that was not tainted by the scent of the apocalypse, possessing an aura of holiness, suspected to have been left behind by the archbishop sent by the church to deal with the inner workings of the cave of the apocalypse. The two sisters, Ling Yu and Ling Shui, looked at each other. The eyes were full of wariness. This outfit is simply explosive. Intelligence and physical strength are both increased by 40 points, and it also comes with a buff that triggers a doubling effect every five attacks. Whether Ling Yu is used to double the damage, or Ling Shui is used to save a mouthful of big milk, is able to change the battle situation at a critical moment. Here, roll some. Yeah, but I'll never let you. Sis, the two sisters sullenly tapped the roll interface. The rest of Snow Moon consciously opted out. But, just when everyone thought that the two sisters would go head to head on roll, suddenly, roll interface, a third person popped up. 
The two sisters looked at Chen Ming in unison. Chen Ming's face did not change. What? We agreed that I would take the thief's equipment directly and roll points for the other equipment. Didn't we? Good boy. Ling Yu's mouth twitched. Did not say anything? And acquiesced to his joining role. Three people, throwing the dice at the same time. Flying snow on a clear wind. The clear wind sweeps the moon. Pearl emerald white jade soup. Chen Ning smiled with an open brow. Your vestments are great, but they'll be mine next. The roll ended and the equipment automatically fell into Chen Ning's bag. Ling Shui was so angry that her teeth itched, but she still forced herself to hold back her inner displeasure and revealed a pleasing smile. Brother Bai Yu Tang. This equipment. It had to be said that Ling Shui was more lethal than Ling Yu. Although the sister's looks were the same. Her sister Ling Yu was always holding the frame of the president and putting on an expressionless face, giving people a sense of distance that could only be seen from afar. Nowhere near as affectionate and approachable as my sister. Just a sweet, 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 brother white jade soup, made Chen Ming very receptive. Hmm, it feels sweeter than my own sister. The corners of Chen Ming's mouth lifted slightly, but before Ling Shui could finish her pleasing words, Ling Yu stepped across and spoke in a domineering manner. One million. Ling Shui Chuan dramatically changed her face. The smile that was sweet and incomparable just now was instantly replaced by chagrin. Sister, not with this. Ling Yu glanced at her and didn't say anything, as if to say, you are a stinky sister. Ling Shui clenched her teeth. One hundred. Before the price was even quoted, Ling Yu spoke faintly. I will offer 1,200,000. I know. You want to quote 1,100,000 right? Ling Shui's small face stiffened. Then a hundred. A million and a half. Ling Yu once again intercepted in a domineering manner. I know. You want to report 1,400,000 right? Don't argue with me. You don't have any other income besides dad's pocket money. What are you going to argue with me? I, I. Ling Shui finally hung her head and lowered it. She really couldn't compete with her sister. Sister In not only is the Snow Moon president and owns the guild side of the income, he also took over a number of family businesses under his father's arrangement. And she's a stinky sister. The days are spent playing around the house. Not the slightest interest in the family's affairs. Only a headache. Every year, in addition to the pocket money he gets from his dad, he also takes a cut of the family estate he's titled to, though also a little rich woman earning tens of millions of dollars a year. But there was absolutely no comparison to his sister Ling Yu. She could only look at Chen Ming and Ling Yu with a ghostly and incomparable look in her eyes as they completed the transaction. Getting the vestment, Ling Yu was satisfied and couldn't wait to level up to level 10 and change into this vestment. It was also while Ling Shui was moping around, Chen Ming suddenly pulled out another piece of equipment, the robe of holy light. With an expression of having seen a ghost, Ling Yu repeatedly looked at the holy light vestment in her bag that she had just gotten her hands on a few times. Is this? Ling Yu revealed a confused expression. It appeared in my bag after killing the boss. I don't know where it came from. Chen Ming made a bunch of nonsense. Honestly revealing your SSSS rank talent? Oh, stupid X would do that. Ling Yu was in a mess. Ling Shui on the side. However, directly cheered. Brother Bai Yu Tang. Thank you. You're welcome. A million and a half. Chen Ming laughed heartily. Ling Shui also laughed heartily. Ling Yu was the only one who gradually came back to his senses. Since Chen Ming had two Dharma robes in his hands to begin with. Then the call she just made with Ling Shui. Isn't it called a loneliness? It looks like she is the biggest winner. But really, Chen Ming is the one who really won the hemp. Ha, adulterer. Ling Yu secretly spat in her mind. At this point, the copy is completely finished. Chen Ming once again received a transfer from Ling Yu. As agreed before, the starting price was $100,000, followed by an additional charge of $100,000 for each boss that was raided and an additional $200,000 for hard work if the entire map was pushed. Afterwards, in the copy, after Chen Ming showed his hand in a small test, Ling Yu agreed to his condition of raising the money. All payoffs are doubled. This copy of the Undead Plague of Heaven, totaling two bosses, has a starting fee of 200, 000, two bosses of 400, 000, and 400, 000 for the hard work of pushing through the entire map, deducting the 100. Zero 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 dollars that Ling Yu had already paid before entering the copy. Ling Yu ended up transferring a total of nine hundred zero 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 dollars to Chen Ming, plus the three million extorted from those two purple level vestments. This trip to the undead scourge copy, Chen Ming had harvested a total of four million RMB, plus the blue grade dagger that was worth at least a million dollars, made five million dollars on one copy. After Chen Ming had done some calculations, he was so happy that he almost didn't laugh out loud. It's easy money, too. 
together with the 1. 4 million earned from Snow Moon from yesterday's monster attack, and the 100, 000 from the friend bit. In just two days, Chen Ming had already harvested 5, 5 million in real money. Oh yeah, there was also the 90,000 for the icon whoring at that time. Ling Yu had given a total of 450,000, of which Chen Ming pinched the level 1 to 8 icon to spend 360,000, and the 90,000 needed for the level 9 poisonous B icon was saved, minus the 100 dollars. 000 for my sister, $10, 000 for clothes, and $30, 000 to pay off the loan app. In his card, he still has five and a quarter million dollars. At the end of the inventory, Ling Yu walked towards Chen Ming. Although Ling Yu was being extorted to the point of flying, overall, she was very satisfied with this copy trip. Happy cooperation, and I hope to continue working together when we have the chance in the future. Ling Yu took the initiative to extend her hand. Chen Ming was also very satisfied with this little rich girl's vault. Both shook hands and left the copy. After leaving the copy and returning to the main world, Chen Ming's message bar suddenly exploded. A series of messages flashed up wildly. What's the situation? Chen Ming frowned slightly. He didn't realize that the entirety of his descent into the copy had been broadcast live. It wasn't until I clicked on the message notification that I guessed the general idea. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother. Please give a buddy seat. You set the price. White Jade Soup Brother. Beg a friend bit. People 36D. Space has private shy photos oh. White Jade Soup Big Brother. Chen Ming swept away with a glance. All of them wanting his buddy bit. There's even some foreign text IDs in there. Seeing that the conditions offered by these people were not expensive. Chen Ming obviously knew what kind of price Ling Yu plus him had paid. So he tentatively passed a few. But I didn't realize that the additions were all nifty white whore monsters. The promised conditions are simply not there. Instead, it's a bunch of bullshit. Chen Ming sort of understood. This group of guys is holding a pure attitude of chasing stars and adding themselves. Figure it out for fun and get it together. Plus afterward it's a wild lick to himself. What's the use of just licking when you don't pay? Chen Ming deleted these people with a look of disgust. He kind of realized that expecting to add a rich woman like Ling Yuan here was like finding a needle in a haystack. Directly block all messages to add friends. Only after clearing out the spam did Chen Ming see the message from the little lowly whose ID was Su Su. Sir I saw you live. Wow. Mr. Awesome. Please be careful. This boss looks particularly powerful. Wow. Worthy of a gentleman. That's awesome. A dozen messages in all. Apparently, Su Su had been watching Chen Ming's live broadcast from the very beginning. Even if Chen Ming didn't pay attention to her and reply to her, he was still happy to send messages. It was just as well, as I had already reached level 10 today, and without the pressure of impact, it was possible to take this girl to upgrade. Chen Ming was still curious as to what the situation was with this girl's occupation, a priest who can't be able to raise blood. At first glance, there's something wrong. Come, brother will take you to practice leveling. Chen Ming sent a coordinate over. Next he planned to kill his way from the novice village all the way to the level 5 main city, Xingfeng City. There, he can find his career mentor, complete the transfer advancement, and unlock more skills. And, his SSS ranked quests opened again as he reached level 10. It is also equally necessary to look for an NPC in Qingfeng City to open the next stage of the quest, waiting for Susu's period. Chen Ming threw those equipments rolled from the copies onto his little auction. There are still 4 hours to go before the top effect of the auction post ends. Chen Ming swept a glance. The price of the stuff he found was basically what he expected. Even some of them are slightly more than that. It gave him great satisfaction. Only 2 hours have passed and the price has already been raised to an extent. It wasn't long before Chen Ming saw a tiny. White-haired Loli trotting hurriedly with her new manipulative staff in her arms. The new mace she held in her arms was even taller than her person. It made her run awkwardly, stumbling and seemingly ready to fall at any moment. First, sir, little Lori hurriedly came to Chen Ming. Forehead. The bangs were a little messy, but it still couldn't hide Lori's stunning beauty. Her beauty was different from Ling Yu's and Ling Xue's. Not in terms of the showiness of her features, but a kind of innate loveliness. Let's go. I'll kill the monsters. You touch the corpses and pick up the stuff. No problem, right? No problem, Lori said loudly to show her determination. But in fact, this was the first time she had been out of the novice village since she entered Glory. Chen Ming knew the situation around the novice village inside out. He lightly led Lori all the way out for the kill. With his current damage, he didn't even need to rely on the hardened poison skill to consume it. And with his high attributes alone, he could easily kill these monsters in seconds. After all, he was the man who could single-handedly brush this copy of the Heavenly Calamity Cave. Isn't it simple to kill small monsters near a newbie village? However, Su Su, 
who had clearly witnessed how Chen Ming had single-handedly swiped a copy of the Heavenly Tribulation, still wore a stunned expression the entire time, constantly shouting 666 from the side. There's one to say, with such a cute little Lolita like Susu on the side to go crazy, it's still a pretty good feeling. Plus Su will still pick things up on his own. This gives Chen Ming a feeling that he is playing the game with a pet. In general, pets in the game. There will be automatic pick up this function to come. Chen Ming chose monsters along the way that were no more than three levels away from Su Su's level. Originally, the experience value gained from being taken through the experience was not much. The percentage of experience gained will also drop if you go three levels beyond the level. The best choice is a monster that is within three levels of your level. It took half an hour. Chen Ming brought Su Su up to level three. Huh mister, I seem to have acquired as something. Chen Ming hadn't cared. These little monsters, they can't produce anything. At best, they'll give a green suit and sell it for a few thousand dollars, topping out at 10,000. For Chen Ming, who was worth more than six million dollars, the money was no longer enough to get him excited. He just casually asked, what is it? Called, Dragonborn Sacred Words Song of Songs. What the heck? Chen Ming stopped killing with his hands and looked at Su Su in surprise. The game, Glory, is a typical Western worldview. A creature like a dragon symbolizes absolute power and might. But anything that has anything to do with such a creature is certainly not bad. Is this popping a skill book? Show me. Can't give it a. Su Su showed a resigned expression. It's not a skill book. It appears directly in my skill bar. Skill bar? Chen Ming froze, then revealed a look of joy. Lori got a skill straight away when she leveled up to 3? Nice guy. He had thought that he would have to at least bring Lori to level 10 and have her complete the transfer before he could find out her profession. But I didn't expect. 3 level lowly to gain skills. Use it and see. Lori sniffed, closed her eyes, and held up the spell. The light that surged with the aura of holiness and nobility coalesced at the top of the staff. Immediately following, Chen Ming heard a burst of low, angry roars that came from nowhere. Although he had never heard these roars before. Nor did he know what kind of meaning the roars conveyed. For some reason, a thought came rushing into his mind. The dragon roars. This is dragon roar in its purest form. Next, Lori opened her eyes. Her eyes were filled with a majesty that made people afraid to look directly at her. As her vermilion lips gently opened and her song surged forth, Chen Ming only felt his courage multiply and his strength boil over. Upon looking at the buff bar, there was an extra gain buff. Dragonborn sacred word glorification boosts output result by 10. Boosts stamina cap by 10. 600 seconds remaining. A buff that lasts 10 minutes. Boosts both attack and lifesteal bonuses. Seeing this buff, Chen Ming could finally determine that he had made a wise choice in picking up this little lowly. It was important to realize that the holy speech buff that a priest after a level 10 transfer could learn would only provide a mere 5 bonus to life value and damage results. And that was two separate and individual skills. The dragonborn holy word that Susu had learned at level 3 had an effect that far exceeded that of a level 10 priest. And the most crucial thing is that, Su Su's skills are related to dragons. There's no way a career that can be tied to this thing is weak. Chen Ming looked at Su Su with a smile on his lips. What a find. Su Su was stared at a little by Chen Ming. Originally, Su Su was still very excited because she had gained skills and felt that she had gotten rid of her status as a drag queen. But being stared at by Chen Ming so much, she thought she was too happy too soon, and cowardly lowered her head again, staring at her toes in resignation. Lori's toes hidden in her novice cloth shoes clenched and buckled, just as she couldn't help but grip her staff in her hand and hide it in her arms. She's afraid she'll be abandoned again. I'm sorry sir. I, I still haven't learned the skill of adding blood. To the simple Susu, all a priest needed was to add blood. The one who adds more blood is a good priest. Completely unaware of how exaggerated this dragonborn holy word skill of his was, it was thought that Chen Ming was disappointed in himself, just as Lori was inwardly terrified. Suddenly, she felt a warmth on her head. Su Su subconsciously raised her head, only to realize that it was Chen Ming's warm palm that was gently stroking her head. It's okay, your skills are pretty great. In the future, you'll follow me. I'll take you to practice leveling, take you to a copy, of anything, okay? Chen Ming's heart was actually slightly guilty when he spoke these words, because he's properly cheating on the little girl, even if Su Su is a novice, but with his hidden profession, just find a big guild to join. It is easy to get the tilt of the resources, by the big guild to cultivate. Chen Ming was well aware of Su Su's potential, so say something like that to bind the little girl to yourself. A dragon hidden profession priest exclusively for himself. That's more awesome than carrying 10 priests around. Really? Su Su raised her head violently, the tears that had almost flowed out earlier still lingering in her eyes. From her eyes, Chen Ming read elation, and even more so, panic and fear. It's like a stray cat that's been abandoned. 
the next owner will be nice to it, and it will worry as if it has been abandoned again. This made Chen Ming a bit puzzled. Su Su, this girl, why are her mood swings so big? Does she take this game that seriously? It shouldn't. Unless, she's also born again. Know the importance of this game. Thinking of this, Chen Ming's heart tightened. But soon, he dismissed this idea. If Su Su was a reborn, she wouldn't have panicked so much because she had no skills, and she wouldn't have been so clueless about the game after no one had grouped her, and had no idea how to upgrade at all. These manifestations indicated that Susu was not a reborn person. Never mind. Maybe some girls are just more into gaming? Chen Ming no longer thought much about it. Took Susu all the way up. It's almost lunchtime. The two of them finally killed their way to the foot of Qingfeng City. However, Chen Ming did not intend to go in. Instead going to a nearby hill. That mountain, originally, required a series of quests to be completed within Qingfeng City before one could qualify for teleportation. On the mountain. There is an NPC named Medicine Man Old Man. Players can learn the art of alchemy from him and use it to make potions. This skill, in the world of glory, has a pivotal position. From yesterday Ling Yu in the face of a monster attack. Want to break the boat to spend money to exchange the system gold. The coins, as seen when they were brought to fill the potions for the crowd. Potions that can fully boost the combat power of players. But the ones sold in the system store were the most elementary potions. The front end will work just fine. But in the later stage of pushing copies and fighting the national war, these potions, it is a little bit on the table. Players who learn the skill of medicine refining make potions that completely replace the ones peddled by the system. You can imagine what a huge market this is. Chen Ming had heard in his last life that some players and guilds that specialized in pill refining could amass millions or even tens of millions of dollars in a single month. However, Chen Ming's learning of pill refining certainly had the idea of making money, but it wasn't the whole story. Boosting your combat power with top-notch medicines is the top priority. Most of those top players in the previous generation were recruited by guilds, and not many solo players existed simply because guilds could provide so much assistance. One of the top medicines is quite an important one. Top players, after all, are on the road practicing and painting equipment every day. There's not much effort to toss around a concoction. It was only the large guilds that had large families and could raise a group of players specializing in life skills to provide logistical support for the top combatants in the guild. If he could, Chen Ming wouldn't mind finding one to hang his hat on. With his current reputation, even if he just casually put up a name and did nothing, there would be a large number of guilds that would rather spend a lot of money to hire him. But the thing is, he's the only one in the world currently level 10. He was way, way ahead of his class. With his strength, when the group of life players raised by the big public association rises to level 10 and is able to refine medicine, he may have gone straight to level 20. The level 20 self is eating level 10 medicine. This is unacceptable to Chen Ming, who is bent on pursuing the limit, instead of relying on others. Might as well do it yourself and have a good meal. Chen Ming didn't want to do the predecessor quest. Instead, after instructing Su Su to wait in place, he headed straight towards the steep cliff face. This cliff face, in the eyes of others, is an absolute rift, an insurmountable obstacle. But in the eyes of Chen Ming, who has two jumps, here, as it were, relying on the jumping height provided by the two jumps, Chen Ming easily found numerous landing spots on the cliff. Climb all the way up. Looking down at the little lowly, she exclaimed again that mister. So handsome. In less than three minutes, Chen Ming's absolute wall reached the top. On this hill there was a thatched cottage, and outside the cottage was a piece of land that looked like it had been reclaimed by itself, and it was full of flowers and plants. This place, it didn't look like a western-style metaphysical setting at all. Instead it had a bit of a Chinese-style immortal flavor to it. However, when Chen Ming approached, pushed open the door of the thatched hut, and saw a white-haired old man wearing a monocle, as well as the bottles and jars piled up all over the room behind him. The feeling of floating in the air was instantly shattered. Old man, I'm here to learn how to make medicine. Chen Ming opened the door. After paying the tuition fee of five silver coins, Chen Ming learned the art of alchemy. Jumping off the cliff was undoubtedly much more difficult, but Chen Ming had managed to return to Little Lori without any danger by virtue of his top-notch maneuvering. I've taken you to level three. You also have your own skills. I think you can completely go brush the monsters by yourself. Chen Ming said, circling a location on the map. You go to this place to practice, and with that buff of yours, it'll be easy for you to solo monsters. By the way, remember to collect the two plants, orchid forest grass, and red campion flower, when you're brushing the monsters, and I'll recycle them at the price of 50 copper coins apiece. Currently, his alchemy was still level zero, and the potions he made were better than the ones from the store but they weren't enough to fulfill his needs. He had to keep refining pills and raise his alchemy to level 10. But seeing as it was nearing noon, 
The pentagram was already protesting, and I had to get off the line and go eat. So Chen Ming directly outsourced the task of finding raw materials to Lori. The acquisition price of 50 copper coins isn't that high. Make a drug and sell it, and you can make your money back casually. It's purely just a way for Lori to make a hard-earned buck, which isn't much. But Lori listened and lit up. A heavy nod. Yes sir. I'll try to collect it. Watching Chen Ming go offline and leave. Little Lori's little face flushed red with excitement as she waved her pink fists, cheering herself up. Finally. Finally make money. As long as I can make money, dad and mom shouldn't scold me every day. At the thought, Lori glanced at her legs. A complex color flashed in her beautiful eyes. If she hadn't had that accident, with her leg she would have had a bright future. Instead of only being able to stay at home every day. Even the money for the gaming helmet was saved up over a long period of time with various online part-time jobs. Forget it. Lori shook her head fiercely, clutched her staff, and hurried on her way. Calculating how much Langmolen grass and red campion flowers I'll have to gather for Mr. To make back the $3.000 for the lowest rated helmet. Sis you are getting better at your craft. Don't go to school. Specialize in cooking at home from now on. And I'll pay you $100,000 a month. Chen Ming said half seriously and half jokingly. With a full stomach he leaned back in his chair comfortably and cozily. Although what was made was all home cooked food. It made Chen Ming eat to his heart's content. Such a compliment flattered her sister. And the corners of her mouth could not help but rise slightly. As she cleaned up the dishes, her sister asked, seemingly offhandedly, Brother, do I get to do whatever I want with the 100, 000, 000 dollars you gave me yesterday? That's for sure. Chen Ming smiled and asked curiously, Have you figured it out? Sister, are you planning to buy something? I want to buy a game. The younger sister finished, but as if she felt that the game was something playful. Fearing that her brother would misunderstand that she didn't study properly and ran off to play a game. She went on to explain, This game is different from ordinary games. It seems like you can make a lot of money in it. I heard from my girlfriend Bear today that there was a very powerful game master yesterday who made 5 or 6 million dollars in the game in 2 days. I thought you wouldn't let me go out to work part time. Brother, saying it's hard out there. Then I thought, I'll try working part time in the game. I also want to make some money so you don't have to stress so much. Brother, as she spoke, her sister observed Chen Ming's face. If her brother didn't want her to buy games for fun, she dropped the idea immediately. After all, it was only yesterday that she had made a big deal in front of her brother about her financial sense and how she wanted him to save money. But then you twist your head the next day and want to spend $3.000 on a gaming helmet. That's a slap in the face. But when she thought of her girlfriends touting the super game master, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, two days wildly earned 5 or 6 million. Her heart cannot help but thump straight jump. The temptation is too great. The younger sister quietly glanced at Chen Ming. Instead, he found that his brother did not have any expression of impatience and anger. But instead, he showed a very odd face. My sister wore a puzzled expression. She somewhat failed to understand what her brother meant by this look. If you want to buy it, buy it, anyway, those money brother gave to you. So it's at your disposal. Chen Ming controlled his expression. But I suggest, don't buy the 3000 helmet. That helmet has a mediocre design. After wearing it for a long time you'll get a sore neck and swollen and sore eyes. If you want to buy one of the 30,000. Kind. Let's do it this way. I'll place the order for you. My sister was even more puzzled. How does a brother know about these things? But without waiting for her to continue to understand. Chen Ming found an excuse and slipped away. Strange. My sister muttered. But didn't look deeper. Instead. I was slightly excited to envision the marvelous world described by my best friend Bear. As well as. The Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Shot who accomplished the legend of overnight wealth. On the line, Chen Ming habitually opened the rank list and glanced at it. Well, everyone but him is still level 9. Among them, Ling Shui Ling Yu was the one who chased him the most. After all, he was the one who had followed him to mix up a monster siege, as well as a copy of the Heavenly Tribulation, and ate experience like crazy. My first, the position is still unbreakable. Invincibility is fucking lonely. Chen Ming Versailles made a remark. Opening his friends list to take a look, Su Su hadn't gotten offline yet, and his location was the same place he had marked before, which was a bit surprising to Chen Ming. This girl, doesn't she eat? Send a message over to inquire about the progress of the collection. Su was excited to reply. Look, sir. With that, she sent the item information. Bluegrass. Sweet pot our yam. Even Chen Ming could not help but freeze. So much? He's only been offline for a little over an hour. Ghost. Did this little lowly go and grow liver all over her body? Or did she simply grow a person on her liver? 
Chen Ming went to Qingfeng City and purchased some city return scrolls before returning to the novice village through the teleportation array. Hurry all the way to Lori's neighborhood. It took like 10 minutes total. And in those 10 minutes, Lori collected another 30 each of the flowers and plants used for red and blue medicine. You're also too hepatic. Chen Ming looked at Lori's level, then frowned. In order to pick herbs, you haven't practiced leveling at all? Lori lowered her head in shame. This kid, is he short of money? Chen Ming helplessly shook his head. Picking medicine can have a few money ah, uh, the most important thing for you is still the level, the level follow up, after the person becomes stronger, how much money do you want to earn can't you earn, you little girl, why are you so short sighted, seeing the way the little lowly nodded her head and conceded as if she was a chicken pecking at the ground, Chen Ming felt amused, perfunctory, pure perfidy, this little lowly nodded her head for a while on the surface, but her mind definitely didn't listen to him, such a hidden career potential. Chen Ming didn't want her to just give herself up to waste. After pondering for a moment, he opened his mouth and said, Let's do it this way. After I finish refining and selling this batch of herbs, I'll share 10% of your profits, enough to cover some daily expenses. At that time, you should practice well and keep up your level. Is that okay? Little Lori looked up a little confused. How much is 10% ah? Can, can it be more than the current one? Chen Ming lost his smile. This girl, actually still resting there thinking about the price of 50 copper coins for a flower. Chen Ming took stock of the situation. At this stage, the demand for drugs for all should be very high, especially the top guilds. After all, after Snow Moon cleared the copy of the natural disaster, the copy was opened globally, and the big guilds had all gathered their hands and were raiding the copy. Chen Ming, on the other hand, was the only person in the world who could come up with an overriding system potion. But anyone who has studied a little economics knows that. The most profitable thing in this world is never any gold or oil. Rather, it's a monopoly. Chan Ming was the one who could monopolize the entire pharmaceutical market. At 10%, it's not much. I guess it's like 4 or 5,000. Chen Ming casually quoted the price. These herbs would only be able to refine 4,000 or so bottles of medicine. 10 bucks a bottle. Sells for 40 or 50 grand almost. After all, it was a consumable. And Chen Ming couldn't possibly raise it to the extent of 50 or 60 dollars a bottle. It's a pretty high price to be able to sell it for over 10 dollars a bottle. If it wasn't for the fact that Chen Ming needed to rely on pill refining to raise his alchemy level, he actually wouldn't even look at these small amounts of money. But just because Chen Ming can't see it doesn't mean Lori can't see it. Can't see it either. She wore a shocked expression. As if in disbelief. The rhetorical question was, 4, 4 or 5 thousand? I'll. I'll just pick this much medicine and get four or five thousand? Sir, this, isn't this a little too much? I don't dare to ask for it. Lori panicked in a needy way. As expected, he's a poor kid. Chen Ming shrugged. It's fine. This four or five thousand. Not only is your payment for picking medicine, but it is also a reward to encourage you to practice leveling. N, strive to rise to level ten within two days. By the way, I'll throw you into Snow Moon's side so that Snow Moon can take you upgrading. Otherwise it's just too slow for you to upgrade on your own. Chen Ming believed that with the several times he had worked, knocked, with Ling Yu, scammed, she wouldn't refuse this small request of his. Lori's eyes flashed with disbelief. She opened her mouth as if to say something of thanks. But in the end, he didn't say it. A great favor is not appreciated. Lori eventually just mentally admonished herself. Mr. Is so good to himself. Himself. From now on. Is Mr. Born a Mr. Man. Died a Mr. Ghost. Chen Ming was completely unaware that little Lori was already dead to herself. Otherwise, even with his level of thick skin, he would feel a bit ashamed. A few thousand dollars in the district. It bought a hidden profession dragon shepherd little Loli to be dead to himself. It is the ma person who shouted 996 as a blessing who saw it and had to be ashamed. Getting the herbs, Chen Ming immediately began to refine them. In five minutes, the herbs were all used up. Looking at the 2090 bottles of primary alchemy life potion and 2,120 bottles of primary alchemy magic potion lying in his parcel. Chen Ming smiled with satisfaction. His own alchemy, as a result, had risen to level 3. It was necessary to reach level 10 to be able to refine the next stage of potions, but according to the upgrading speed of the alchemy art, it wasn't difficult to rise to level 10. Opening his friends list, he found Ling Yu and asked if she could take a lowly to practice leveling with these two drugs attached. The next second, Ling Yu replied, Bringing people? No problem. But you have to sell all these medicines to Snow Moon. You can't trade with other guilds. Talking to smart people is just comfortable. Chen Ming clearly hadn't even stated his conditions yet, but Ling Yu had already comprehended it. No problem. Potions are 10 bucks a bottle. 
pack it up and remove the change for you, make it 40,000 whole. As for bringing someone, I'm asking you to get her up to level 10 within two days. Is that okay? No problem. Ling Yu simply agreed. Done. Chen Ming looked at Lori with a smile. Let's go. We've already found a good buyer, and we found you a substitute trainer. Snow Moon Guild. Familiar with it? Snow Moon? Although she had known for a long time that Chen Ming and Snow Moon had a strong relationship, but still, he didn't expect that Mr. could actually ask a big guild like Snow Moon to take him to practice leveling. It's really worthy of being a sir. Little Lori's heart felt a few more points of admiration for Chen Ming. It didn't take long to wait at the appointed place. The tolerant Ling Yu then walked distantly. When little Lori saw this, she subconsciously shrank behind Chen Ming, but then poked his head out again. The crowd of that legendary guild, Snow Moon, wore expressions of both some anticipation and some trepidation. That's her? Ling Yu sized up Su Su for a few moments. Even Ling Yu, who was a popular goddess, after seeing Su Su, had to admit that this little lowly was indeed born handsome and cute. If Ling Yu's beauty was that of a perfect and flawless face, then Su is just another style of endearing. In terms of the delicacy of her facial features, Su Su could only be considered excellent, completely unable to compare to the perfect Ling Yu. But because of this, Su Su will not give people such a strong sense of distance, so that people only dare to watch from afar, not dare to get close to them. Even Ling Yu felt a sense of pity when she looked at it. Can let this white jade soup this cheapskate to her arrangement Snow Moon Substitute Service. What is the relationship between these two people? Inexplicably, Ling Yu's mind popped up. There was even the urge to open his mouth and ask, but soon she reacted. It's not half about her. After withdrawing her gaze, she completed the transaction with Chen Ming, and a smile appeared at the corner of her mouth as she received the potion. With these medicines, at least 10 of Snow Moon Guild's teams will be able to push their way to the first boss. This copy of the Undead Plague of Heaven has an entry CD limit. Each person can only swipe a copy once in 7 days time. If it wasn't for Chen Ming entering the CD state, he would have definitely been added to the explosion by those big guild bosses, frantically asking for a high price to request for him to substitute for a copy. Similarly, Snow Moon mainstays such as Ling Yu Ling Shui could not enter the copy. It was naturally impossible for the Snow Moon Guild's remaining team to beat the first boss. You can only count on brushing up on small monsters and earning some experience. Get lucky with a piece of equipment or two. But even fighting small monsters was hard enough for the Snow Moon team. But after Ling Yu buys this batch of medicine, everything will change. Here, here's your share. Chen Ming got the money and turned around to distribute more than 4,700 to Lori. Su Su was so excited that her little face turned red, and she repeatedly promised that she would upgrade properly, striving to help Chen Ming in the future. Seeing this scene, Ling Yu gave Su Su a deep look. It's so wrong. That guy, how could he willingly give away the money he earned? These two, what is the relationship? Ling Yu's eyes narrowed slightly. Perhaps, even she herself did not notice that she seemed to be a little overly concerned about some things, about Chen Ming, sending the little lowly away. Chen Ming crushed the Qingfeng City teleportation scroll he had purchased earlier, a flash of light passed. Chen Ming returned to the middle of Qingfeng City. After opening the map and determining the route, Chen Ming went to the Adventurer's Guild on the west side of the city. Qingfeng City was not big, and after three minutes of stepping on the gravel-paved town road, he saw a building that was piled up with stone and wood like the taverns in those otherworldly brave anime. Chen Ming sized up the place and lifted his foot to enter. The room was well lit and did not rely on additional tools such as candle flames or kerosene lamps to get light for illumination. Chen Ming searched around and saw a wooden door carved with the likeness of a dagger. Pushed the door in. The room was not large, but it was unusually empty, there was actually no furniture in here at all. Only one figure, clad in a cloak with a hood covering his full face, sat perched in the center of the room. Although the hood was wide, Chen Ming still relied on his many years of driving experience to inspection. A glance locked in on certain amazing curves of the front and back. Mentor, I'll do the transfer. The face under the hood finally raised slightly, and Chen Ming couldn't see the full picture, but he was able to notice a pair of deep violet eyes, gazing at him. Soon, good, you are perhaps the best adventurer in recent years. The NPC's voice was quite light, very different from the deadpan appearance, and the answers are quite human. She actually appreciated Chen Ming's leveling speed. If it were anyone else, they would have exclaimed that Glory had done a truly awesome job. Even the AI intelligence of the NPCs had been done in such a subtle manner. But only Chen Ming knows that these NPCs, in a sense, are actually living people. At a later stage, reality and online gaming intersect. And these NPCs will walk the earth just like the monsters that are mapped into reality. Speaking of which... Chen Ming couldn't help but think of that angelic sister who had been stolen by his own wonderful hands in the opening screen. 
The moment she had finished creating her own quest, her return smile was still fresh in Chen Ming's mind. I also wonder if there is any follow-up with that angelic lady. Go to the west of the city and slaughter 33 demons and 30 ogre flowers. After completing the task, I will give you the junior medal of the thieves' union. Taking on the quest, Chen Ming did not rush to complete it, but instead knocked on the door of a residential building as he walked to the eastern side of the city. Here, a follow-up to his SSSS rated mission. He handed a letter of introduction from the village chief to a bearded middle-aged man in the building. Warrior, I am aware of your great achievements, but Qingfeng City is not like a village. The demons nearby are even tougher. If you are ready, please go to the west of the city to clear out the five tree people camps, and bring back the beads of life that the tree people have kept in each of the camps, and I will give you a generous reward. Please take these two pieces of equipment with you before you depart. You have obtained inherited leather armor to top. You have obtained heritage leather armor lower. Even Chen Ming could not help but be stunned. Two pieces of inherited leather armor gear straight out of a conversation? Or is it quite a critical top and bottom? Chen Ming was slightly surprised, but quickly relieved. This quest appears to be just completing a conversation. But actually, lurking in the background was the condition that he rise to level 10 and come to Qingfeng City. The difficulty of rising to level 10 was far higher than the wolves and swarms he had killed before. The rewards are great and rightfully so. Beautiful. Chen Ming opened his backpack and checked the attributes of his equipment. Inherited leather armor, top, green excellent, one sixth, required level, 10, defense, agility plus 5, stamina, 2 piece effect, 1 half bludgeoning rate, 4 piece effect, 1 quarter bludgeoning damage, 6 piece set effect, January 6th trigger buffs, throat slash, backstab, cut throat, the next hit after ending your stealth state is bound to hit with a bludgeon, backstab, 50 extra damage when attacking from behind, synopsis, a suit of leather armor inherited from the ancient times, with the blood of the top front runners still on it. Heritage leather armor, lower, green excellent, 1 sixth. Required level, 10. Defense. Agility plus 8. Stamina. 2 piece effect. It just so happened to be a level 10 equipment. Chen Ming did not hesitate and decisively equipped it. Although the inheritance leather armor series equipment was only green grade excellent, the additional genus had a considerable gap compared to blue grade rare. But the effect of that 6 piece set was enough to crush a bunch of blue level equipment. If Chen Ming's Heavenly Calamity's teeth didn't have the special effects of left and right enchantment, it would probably be far inferior to Chen Ming's Inheritance Leather Armor series set. Replace these two pieces of equipment. Four piece effect. Storm damage increased by 50 triggers. And his attributes, too, had skyrocketed by a large margin. Especially the defense. It's almost doubled. But what makes Chen Ming happiest is, he finally didn't have to run around in his novice village issued leather pants anymore. On the upper body of the leather armor. The slim and flattering tight cut outline Chen Ming's long and slender body, as well as the muscle lines underneath which concealed infinite explosive power. It made his entire body resemble a black panther ready to strike. With what he's selling at the moment, throwing it into a random novice village would make a crowd of young girls viciously commit a wave of nymphomania. Out of the city, to the west, without taking a few steps, Chen Ming found one of the mission objectives for this trip. Cannibal flower. HP. Attack power. Defense. Synopsis, the huge cannibalistic flower. Qingfeng city every year to run out of soldiers to purge the object. Otherwise it will be brutalized on the road merchants passers by. Seeing such data, Chen Ming even felt that it was somewhat unreal. This is too weak. Chen Ming, who had only just finished following the snow moon crowd down the undead play copy, couldn't help but mutter. Charge up. Hands up. He didn't even finish four slashes. Just three slashes passed, and the cannibal flower collapsed in an absent-minded manner. Seconds up. Move on to the next head. This time, it didn't even take three cuts. Just poked a dagger up. A big bludgeon number popped up on the cannibal's head. 635. The bludgeoning damage bonus effect of the inherited leather armor four-piece set is manifested in this moment. Ghost. I'm too strong. Chen Ming secretly lamented. A way to kill. Although there was less of the previous battle of wits with the wolves and swarms of bees in the novice village. But straight up seconds provide an alternative thrill. Let Chen Ming brush with joy. Kill the tree demon after killing the ogre flower. Soon enough, his transfer quest had been completed. However, the SSS level quest required was to clear out the tree demon camp. So Chen Ming didn't immediately return to the city, but continued to go deeper. Just then, his message board lit up. It's an email from the system. Notify him that his six hours of top privileges have ended. Chen Ming then slapped his head, and almost forgot that he had also organized a top auction to come. Although the top privilege has ended. The auction continues. If Chen Ming did not take the initiative to stop, the auction would automatically end two days later and the transaction would be completed. Since the topping has ended, 
It shouldn't be possible to raise the price much subsequently, so let's just end it. Holding this thought, Chen Ming opened his auction post. Just after looking at it, Chen Ming then instantly froze in place. What the hell? The first piece of equipment in his auction page was a level 3 heavy armor leggings that he had exploded from a monster he had swiped earlier. Just white level equipment. In Chen Ming's opinion, this piece of equipment was usually only two to three hundred dollars when taken to trade. Even with the added publicity from your own top posts, it's a premium of one hundred at best, coming in at around four or five hundred dollars. After all, it's not like people who buy things are stupid. In the early stages of equipment scarcity, can accept a premium, but won't go out of my way to be an ingrate. But here and now, Chen Ming saw, the selling price of this equipment, has reached a terrifying 14,050,000 yuan. That's right, 140500 RMB. Chen Ming repeated the confirmation several times. It really is 140, 000 dollars. Chen Ming had a feeling of absurdity. This can't be some tycoon who lost the wrong price. Just as he muttered, the price in front of you, violently refreshed, the original 140, 500, 000, 000 steeply changed to 14, 100, 000, 000, the price went up another 500, what the hell, Chen Mingren was dumbfounded, swish, prices are once again refreshed, no more of the previous 500 and 500 dollar markups, this piece of equipment, Hera changed, it became a 15, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 price, 150,000 whole. It's up close to $9,000 in one breath. Chen Ming sucked in a breath of cool air. He actually felt at this moment that someone was deliberately messing up the bidding and messing up his auction. But it was only a fleeting thought on his part. Quickly, he dismissed the idea. Because he knew that this was the official forum's auction. Any bidding was guaranteed by the official backed trading system. And there would never be an instance of bidding but then not paying. That portion of the amount on the card has been frozen while anyone is calling the price. 100% assurance that the transaction will go through. Chen Ming scanned the circle. It was discovered that the crazy price hike wasn't the only thing that had increased the price of that one piece of white grade equipment. All the equipment he threw up, all skyrocketed to sky high prices. The price of 150, 000 for this warrior leg guard was considered low. The high ones, over 200, 000 or so are not uncommon. What in the world happened? Although the tycoons are rich, they are not stupid ah. How to call the price like this? Really just sprinkle the coins? Chen Mingren went numb. He clicked on the detailed auction record. Just sweeping. Just saw a lot of familiar IDs. South Wind North, bid $150. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 one second ago. Sword 9, bid $14. 100, 000, 000, 000 four seconds ago. Pity, bid $140. 500, 000, 000, 000 seven seconds ago. Isn't this the president of Wind and Cloud World? Jian Jiu, the president of the 10,000 Swords Pavilion, Pathfinder, on the other hand, is the president of the Buddha's Word Guild. It's all guild leaders bidding. These IDs were all quite familiar to Chen Ming. After all, in the previous life, these people had made a big splash in the later stages, and each of them was a hegemon who had cut off a place and occupied a mountain. But why did this group of people have nothing better to do than to come and grab this white level equipment? Could it be to raid a copy of the Undead Plague of Heaven? But it shouldn't be. The DF first kill of the undead scourge copy has already been obtained by the Snow Moon Guild, and the boss's one blood explosion has also been accounted for in the hands of the Snow Moon Guild. Although the copy of the undead plague of heaven still had a considerable value, it definitely did not reach the point where these bigwigs would pour all their money into it and play crazy to raise the price just for a piece of white level equipment. Chen Ming was confused, totally didn't understand how his broken equipment had fetched such a sky high price, and it was even rising. Doubtful. He can only run to the forum to look for answers. And he expected right. Those players who are keen on gossip, naturally will not let go of the discussion of this kind of anticlimactic auction. Just a little bit into the forum, to see a large number of related posts. Crap, the big boys have gone crazy. A white level equipment. It's been auctioned for over 100, 000 dollars. Geez, are these bigwigs fans of white jade soup, holding out like this? I'm convinced. I can only sell the same equipment for 200 dollars. But the white jade soup big brother can sell it for over a hundred thousand dollars. Could it be that there's a hidden agenda with all this equipment? It's not as simple as it seems? Everyone was going crazy. After searching for a while, Chen Ming found the content he wanted. Chasing after alabaster soup? Equipment with a hidden agenda? Wrong. 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 I'll tell you the real reason why white jade soup's big brother's equipment has gone up in value like crazy. There's something dry. So hurry up and click. Though the man has come up with a gimmicky headline that makes it a little hard to trust at first glance, 
but Chen Ming still clicked in, casually scanning his ID. Chen Ming's face turned steeply serious for a few moments. This guy, surprisingly, was the vice president of Sword Whistling in the Nine States. Although, Sword Whistling Kyushu wasn't a top guild, it was second only to the batch of top 10 guilds such as Snow Moon. This person, more than likely, knows something about the inner workings. Thinking about this, Chen Ming's level of trust in this post was undoubtedly going up quite a bit. Click on the post to start browsing. The vice president spoke eloquently for a while. Did a lot of people watching the auction think the prices were unexpected? There are even people I see who think it's the guild bigwigs who are out of their minds. Running around giving pearl emerald white jade soup the stink eye. It makes me want to laugh. Do you really think the guild bigwigs are stupid? To tell you the truth, Big Brother's crazy raised the price. In fact, begging is not at all pearl emerald white jade soup Big Brother set out the items, but is giving pearl emerald white jade soup Big Brother to express a kind of attitude. Everyone wants to get the friend spot of Big Brother pearl emerald white jade soup, but Big Brother has friend blocking turned on. So, this auction, it became a conduit. Whoever can buy the props will have a chance to hook up with the pearl jade white jade soup Big Brother. When Chen Ming saw this, he came to a realization. So it is. No wonder that group was screaming at the top of their lungs. He himself had charged the ingrate Ling Yu $100.000 for a buddy spot yesterday before he had even come into his own. The price has naturally risen after today's single swipe off the copy of the undead scourge of heaven. But what makes Chen Ming a bit puzzled is, it's not like he ever said that the person who auctions something gets his buddy bit. He's simply posting and using the top to sell his own stuff. These guys are just going to sit there and read too much into it, aren't they? Sure enough, Chen Ming quickly realized that someone below had posted back with such a query. Isn't this just a normal transaction? How could it involve the buddy bit? Big Brother White Jade Soup didn't say anything about giving the buddy bit either. You brats aren't over-interpreting, are you? Good question. Chen Ming also wanted to know how they had analyzed that they still had that deeper meaning. The poster spoke eloquently. Our guild leader has analyzed this auction, and it's clearly a channel that Big Brother by Yu Tang has deliberately arranged. Think about it. A big shot like White Jade Soup who can make millions in a single day. Does he care about the tens of thousands of dollars these equipments are auctioned for? Definitely don't care. What's more, he used the top privilege that can only be used once a week. For a mere few tens of thousands of dollars, is Big Brother by Yu Tang going to all this trouble? You know, he's the current number one in glory. A top bigwig like that wouldn't do something that dropped the ball. People seem to be selling equipment, but they're actually selecting bosses who are qualified to work with him. Otherwise, how could the White Jade Soup Big Brother have just trashed the auction and then immediately followed Snow Moon down to a copy of the Undead Scourge of Heaven? The only reasonable explanation is that all of this is in the calculations of Big Brother by Yu Tang. It's a tacit understanding between smart people and another screening of collaborators by the big man of White Jade Soup. If you can't even see this layer and you're still trying to find ways to add by Yu Tang Big Brother's people, even if they're giving away money, Bai Yu Tang Big Brother doesn't bother to work with such people. After everyone read it, there was a sense of realization. So it is. After reading it, Chen Ming similarly revealed an expression of dawning realization. Turns out I still have that arrangement. I'm so fucking smart. Not. Chen Ming Ren was dumbfounded. I still have that kind of journey? How do I not know? Hasn't anyone come forward to refute this guy? It's nifty full of bullshit. Chen Ming incredulously scrolled down to watch the responses from the crowd. The analysis is really good. I told you. White Jade Soup Big Brother so awesome people. How could put the top privilege to use for the auction? Original is hidden deep meaning. I thought that Big Brother by Yu Tang was greedy for money to the extreme before, but now it seems that I was wrong. I'm at the first level, and Big Brother by Yu Tang is already in the atmosphere. Give a knee. Is this the tacit understanding between smart people? So it looks like I'm just a pig's nose. Completely missing the point of the white jade soup big guy. No wonder those people can become guild presidents. This wit alone directly killed me cleanly. Worthy of being a Bai Yu Tang big brother? The person who sends him money he also has to pick the smart ones. Just this compulsion alone. It's already pulling all the stops. Chen Ming. Really Buddha. Chen Ming was helpless to the extreme. But really want him to come out to clarify. He also did not have this idea. He clarifies a chicken feather when people rush to give away money. No one will be too rich for their own good and this post inspired him, the person who can drop a lot of money and come out on top in this auction battle, not to mention other things, at least the financial strength is certainly able to pass the test, previously, Chen Ming had lamented that finding an ingrate like Ling Yu was as difficult as finding a needle in a haystack, but here and now, the wrongdoers, aren't they just lining up to get in their faces, a proper top tier big grudge breed, thinking of this, Chen Ming silently gave up the idea of stopping the auction, shoot me, giving me price gouging, the higher the better. 
Thinking about it, Chen Ming also hung up the two pieces of equipment he had previously scored in the undead plate copy, and when everyone saw that two more new pieces of equipment had appeared, it was as if the wolves had seen two fat little sheep, each one of them, red-eyed and clutching large sums of money, scrabbled at the two little lambs, I'll give you one hundred thousand dollars. You want to get into the eyes of the white jade soup bigwigs even with one hundred thousand dollars? Ha! I'll give you a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Straight up raise the price that high? I'll give you one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Sorry, this qualification. Our famous sword villa is determined to win. I offer one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Swiping through the forums along the way, Chen Ming also arrived at the first tree people camp. Tree people camps, as the name suggests, are locations where groups of tree people are stationed. In a camp, there were easily 20 to 30 tree demons, and there is a clear division of labor. Melee tree demons, long-range archer tree demons, and even one or two magical shaman tree demons. For an ordinary player to raid this camp, you would need a squad of five people at least, and it has to work well together. Advance slowly, pulling and killing monsters in small groups. Step by step, you can successfully clear the entire camp. But Chen Ming was different. Carrying his twin daggers, he swaggered straight into the tree people camp, instantly pulling all the hate from the entire tree hugger camp. All at once, those who charged with guns, those who drew bows with full strings, those who chanted spells to gather magic, a series of attacks greeted towards Chen Ming. Chen Ming didn't care and even wanted to laugh. Boom boom boom, a series of misses popped into his head. Chen Ming missed all the attacks, followed by a burst of counterattacks. Tree people were falling down in front of him. Although the number of tree people was far less than the wolves that had been brushed before, the individual experience was exceptionally rich. After clearing out a camp, Chen Ming directly gained three experience points. Come to the deepest part of the camp. A kick to open a treasure chest. Inside lay the goal of this quest, life essence. This item was not only a quest prop, but also a prop that could be used in several life skill areas such as medicine making and alchemy. Even if you take it to a store and sell it, you can sell it for a high price of 20 silver coins. It's almost equal to two. Zero 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 bucks. Chen Ming was just about to reach out and pick up the life essence in the treasure chest when he felt a flash before his eyes. In the next second, the life essence inside the treasure chest disappeared. A strange black shadow flashed before his eyes. Chen Ming, who was familiar with thieves, recognized this flickering black shadow at once. It was the thief who had used the sneak skill and entered a stealthy state. Chen Ming raised an eyebrow, then revealed an expression of great interest. Someone stole from me? Interesting. Chen Ming didn't rush to chase after him, but instead stood in place and looked at the mass of black shadows with interest. Although a thief's sneak skill could be invisible, it would still leave some traces after all. It's for the fairness of the game. Otherwise the whole transparent stealth then. Other professions will be abused to the head. You have to give people the means to fight back to do that. And that black shadow did not leave. After taking Chen Ming's life essence, it stood in place. And as it reached out with one hand and lifted the hood on its head, its sneak effect was then lifted. Under the hood, a short black hair that only came down to near her shoulders slipped out. Plump forehead, deep set eye sockets, high nose, and thin lips, sword brows and starry eyes. Plump and handsome. That's a word that should be used to describe men. But it's not at all an overstatement when it comes to this sister. She has a heroic aura that is difficult for a woman to possess, but does not have the weirdness of a girl's male appearance that allows people to see her gender at a glance, and also gives people a feeling that she appears to be quite high and cold. Mysterious and fascinating. It was even more bratty than Ling Yu, the head of the council. It was as if a towering queen was looking askance at Chen Ming. After removing the hood, Chen Ming realized that this girl's hood was not integrated with her clothes, but was simply a shawl-like contraption, along with a cape behind her. She wore tight leather armor on her upper body, which only came up to just above her belly button, revealing her wheat-colored skin and vaguely contoured mermaid line. Of course, the fullness above, too, outlined the amazing curves. As for underneath, it was a pair of equally tight leather armored pants, plus a pair of boots that wrapped tightly up to near his calves. This sells, even better than Chen Ming. Chen Ming, with the experience of an old colorful batch. Oh no, it's the experience of an old money fan. He could tell at a glance that the set of equipment worn by this girl was bound to be not bad, even if it was nowhere near as good as his own inheritance leather armor set. It was definitely green level excellent equipment to start with. And what surprised Chen Ming the most was, this girl is only at level 8. At level 8, you run near Qingfeng City, which is full of level 12 and 13 monsters. You have a lot of guts. Chen Ming smiled as he looked at that queen girl. The queen revealed a contemptuous smile. Without guts how would I dare to snatch something from the hands of the famous pearl emerald white jade soup? You know me? Chen Ming was a bit surprised. 
you know me and still dare to rob something. It seems that your guts are even bigger than I thought. The queen seemed somewhat dissatisfied with Chen Ming's calmness as she played with the life essence in her hand and said with a provocative tone, don't want to snatch it back? Of course I want to. Chen Ming's words were like that, but his face still had a breezy look. If you know me, you should know that I have a skill similar to Flash. Right. Not afraid that I'll teleport directly behind you and finish you off with a slash? Just you? Put. The queen scoffed unmercifully. I find it laughable that those people say you're the world's number one thief. A mere mangaka who piled up with equipment, talent and luck. The operation of the thief. The essence of the thief. You simply do not understand. Think you can catch a thief by virtue of blinking? Meh. You could have tried. The queen said. The mockery and disdain on her face. Becoming more and more obvious. It seems that she is very confident in her operation. Chen Ming repeatedly scrutinized this girl for a few moments. He was certain that this girl was definitely not one of the top thief players in his previous life. And I don't know where this guy came from. But the fact that she was able to steal the life essence from her own hands. Even if she stole it while she was defenseless. Was enough to show that she had something on her. It's just a shame. What she met. Was Chen Ming. No more bullshit with her. Chen Ming violently handed over the blink skill. The corner of the queen's mouth revealed a contemptuous smile, and with a flip of her jade hand, she recaged the hood over her face, while at the same time, her entire body disappeared into the shadows. Following that, she violently rolled towards her right side. She's very fast. Coupled with the fact that she directly entered a sneaking state to hide her figure, it was absolutely impossible for normal people to catch her movements. Ha! So what if there's a blink? I can play you to death even if I operate. The queen's heart laughed darkly. But... Just as she finished a tumble and was about to get up, as soon as she stood up, she slammed into a firm chest. The queen blushed furiously. Subconsciously, she tried to take a fish leap forward to avoid the guy behind her. But she was fast. And Chen Ming's speed was even faster. The arms tightened violently. It was as if a pair of iron jaws had imprisoned the queen in death. Her sneak effect disappeared at once. She struggled incredulously. But Chen Ming let her toss and turn in his arms however she wanted and even backhandedly pulled out a dagger and viciously stabbed himself in the stomach without a care in the world. All the hits come out as misses anyway. After struggling for a few moments, the queen realized that she had no way to escape, and her pretty face was suddenly as if it was shrouded in frosty cold. Her previous pride and complacency no longer existed. You're lucky, she said through gritted teeth. She decided that Chen Ming was able to catch her directly because of good luck, and just happened to blink into her evasive position. Just ran headlong into it myself. Chen Ming skimmed his mouth. What a hard mouth. Understand the gold content of prejudgment, ah? Ha! Prejudgment? The queen reared her face full of disdain. You're already a prisoner and you're still so mad. Chen Ming lazily ignored the bastard, drew out his dagger, and slashed directly towards her neck. Dry. Sharp. Not the slightest hint of a drag. Put. The queen's girl was killed by a slash. The entire person was directly transformed into a graveyard, with the life essence being burst out and falling nearby while a pair of leather boots fell into place. Yo, it even exploded equipment. Chen Ming hemmed and hawed. He's not going to have mercy. This woman had come to steal her own things. If he were to treat her nicely, wouldn't he become an iron-licking dog? It's not like he's a guy whose brain is controlled by his lower body. It's natural not to do something so brain-dead. It's only normal human behavior to simply kill and take back what's yours. Picking up the equipment and life essence, Chen Ming continued towards the next camp. Three minutes later, the grave mom left behind by the queen was suddenly infused with a soul-clearing light, and the queen's sister appeared out of nowhere. Pearl emerald white jade soup. You wait. The queen pronounced the name through gritted teeth. Obviously, she wasn't convinced. She was seen taking out a jar of powder and spreading it in the air. The powder rose up with the wind and unexpectedly fluttered in the direction Chen Ming had left earlier. This is clearly a tracking device. After glancing at the powder, the queen followed without hesitation, but after only two steps, she couldn't help but frown. Having her boots popped off, she could only step her pair of white jade feet on the gravelly, jagged ground, and the high degree of anthropomorphism brought her a burst of stinging, scratching pain, but that wasn't what made the queen's head spin the most. She's ticklish, especially the soles of the feet. While the pain kept coming from the soles of her feet, sometimes one or two gravels would stab and scratch the center of her feet at a weird angle, making her feel numb, and the whole thing couldn't help but burst out in laughter. It hurts and itches. It caused her to frown one moment and then she couldn't help but burst out laughing, living like a mentally disturbed patient. Darn. Darn. Put. The queen forced herself to endure the painful itching on the soles of her feet, angry and laughing, limping, and set out on the road to vengeance. Get your hands on another one. In a few short minutes, 
Chen Ming exterminated another camp and kicked open the treasure chest, revealing the life essence inside. Just as he was about to continue picking up this life essence, his ears keenly caught a strange sound. It was a weird pfft sound. It's like reading a novel in class and seeing a funny part, and not being able to hold back a laugh before remembering that you're in the classroom and hastily trying your best to suppress that laugh. What man? Chen Ming didn't hit the hay, but pretended not to hear it. In the moment of bending over to pick up the essence of life, he was silhouetted and disappeared into thin air, blinking. In the next second, he shifted to a position three steps behind himself, and then slashed out. Put. As the blood mass burst open, a figure with a hood appeared out of nowhere. She was sticking the dagger that Chen Ming had just sent out in her back waist. It's you. Again. Chen Ming was a bit surprised. I didn't realize this woman was quite persistent. Chen Ming, if you say you assassinate, then assassinate. Somehow what are you laughing at? Can't figure it out. The queen was aggrieved. She didn't want to laugh either. It wasn't you dog thief who popped my shoes. However, she had been killed by a single slash. The dead. They have no right to speak. With intense unwillingness, she looked back at Chen Ming, then hiccuped in place with both legs. I don't know if she was unlucky or Chen Ming was too lucky. Her top leather armor was exploded right out. This woman is deliberately coming to give away equipment, right? Chen Ming muttered, picking up the leather armor. Like the previous boots, they are of excellent green grade. This surprised Chen Ming. This woman's means of getting equipment is really unusual, and I don't know if it is stolen by stealing everywhere. Collecting his equipment, Chen Ming once again set off on his journey. After the third camp was cleared, he deliberately looked around as he opened the treasure chest. There's no variance. It's hard to believe that the woman has finally given up. Chen Ming muttered and put away the third life essence. But, right at that moment, the sound of a harsh breaking wind came from his back. Oh, it's not stealing this time. Sneak attack instead. Chen Ming did not dodge and let her hit her. Miss, Chen Ming, who had his dodge pulled full, was naturally unlikely to be hit. As the blow ended, the queen was not greedy for the sword and directly retreated back and jumped away. As the attack caused her sneak to end, she appeared in front of Chen Ming's eyes once again, but compared to the first time when she was selling out and pulling all the stops and being cool as a whole, now she's just a little bit funny to watch. The hood is still the same hood, the leather pants are still the same, but the only thing left of the upper body was the system's own burlap wrap. Underneath the pants were even a pair of muddy, filthy little feet. It looks really miserable, but she didn't seem to feel miserable at all and still had that disdainful queenly look on her face. Grace, no matter how miserable one is in private, still have to hold up a queenly appearance in front of outsiders. Ha, <laughs> actually not dodging? Also, how can you dodge my attack? Still the familiar mocking tone. I tell you, it's impossible to win over me with miss. You know, you've been poisoned. Chen Ming looked down. Sure enough, a poison debuff appeared on its own, but it's only one drop of blood a second. Chen Ming bristled. A mosquito can suck more blood than this. The queen's old face flushed, but then it was replaced by that disdainful arrogance. Ha! <laughs> Hard mouth. Don't think you can do whatever you want just because you have high evasion. I'm going to show you today what a true thief player is. As long as I hold you off for six minutes, you're just as likely to wear me down. Based on her own blood bar, she surmised that Chen Ming probably had around 350 points of blood. But in the next second, Chen Ming snapped his bloodstained detailed attributes onto the queen's little face. Sorry. I have over 700 blood. Since changing into a new set of equipment, Chen Ming had gained an extremely high stamina point bonus, and his blood level had also risen. The queen's pretty face changed. Then, that'll slow you down. Eh, let me count. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. With each count, she picked at a toe that had stepped on the ground. Finish counting by tens. The queen ran out of toes too. She was a little embarrassed. Chen Ming silently looked at the queen's tightly gouged little toes. Cuckoo cuckoo. Chen Ming burst out laughing. Well, the queen's math grades aren't exactly stellar. The queen's pretty face reddened as she snapped. In short, you're dead. Classic diversion. Chen Ming was somewhat amused by this fellow and also intended to play along with her. Dagger unloading. Show both fists. A touch of ghostly green lingered and flowed in the fist. This is a poison quenching skill. But, it's with a punch. He was going to show this woman what a true tantrum was. One point of damage in one second. What a pinch of shame for thieves. I don't use blinks or daggers. Come on. Fight. Just what I need. The queen's words had not yet fallen. Chen Ming then stormed out. In just a few steps, he rushed to the queen's side. A punch slammed out. Originally, Chen Ming thought that this punch was bound to hit. But unbeknownst to him, the queen dodged the punch with a light twist of her body. If he had merely dodged it, it would not have surprised Chen Ming. Next, the queen crossed her feet 
and with a sideways slide, her entire body directly killed Chen Ming from his front to his right side, rushing into the blind spot of Chen Ming's vision. This pace, could it be a Z-step? Chen Ming's heart was slightly shocked. He hadn't expected at all to be able to see such a skill in a girl he didn't know. The Z-step, however, was a melee footstep with considerable difficulty. Utilize pace and go for the wild card of the opponent's field of vision in the tight spaces of a close fight. One moment it was in front of him, the next it was to his right. If you go after her blindly, it would be in a constant state of being led. Something, for the first time, Chen Ning was impressed with the queen. He didn't fall into the trap and go spinning after the queen. Instead, he threw a hard punch, toward his left rear. There, where the next kick of the Z-Pace tactic would land. That, in a nutshell, is how to break the Z-Pace. Anticipate your opponent's position. Bang! Chen Ming threw a punch. The queen really did run headlong into it. Ying Qi's face was smashed by Chen Ming's fist. She only felt a sore nose, and her whole body took a few steps back. Finally snapped. The queen sat on her ass. She looked up stubbornly. A red fist mark branded on her pretty face. The queen's nose was sore from the beating, and tears sprang physiologically. Ha! Pearl emerald white jade soup. Not bad. Goddamned pearl. Jade and white jade soup is not bad. Queen, you pretentious attribute branded to the bone, right? If you didn't have such a big fist print on your head and were still crying and talking, I would have thought you were some kind of Jedi master. Chen Ming rolled his eyes, didn't wait for him to speak. But, but, hardened toxicity strikes one after another. Although Chen Ming did not carry a weapon and only used his fists, his high agility points allowed him to still explode in damage. The queen simply rolled her eyes and fell headfirst to the ground, transforming into a tiny graveyard bag. Along with it, the last of her leather pants, which were bursting out. What a scatterbrain. Although Chen Ming spat on his lips, his heart became even more curious about the queen's identity. The high-end tactic of Z-pacing was made clear to myself early in the game. This woman should be very strong. But why? In her last life, had she never heard of this woman? Oddly enough, after clearing out the fourth camp, Chen Ming didn't leave immediately, but waited in place for a while. Sure enough, a slender, perfectly formed figure limped over. What? You don't even need to sneak this time? Are there any new tricks? Chen Ming looked at the queen with a smirk. What kind of equipment are you planning to send me this time? Scatter good. Scatter gories? The queen's handsome face was as if a touch of frost had enveloped it. It's a strange shame. She took a few deep breaths, and the ups and downs were so great that she looked a little dazzled by Chen Ming. After all, having her clothes blown off left her with only a layer of the system's own covering. Give me back my gear. The queen gritted her teeth and opened her mouth. Chen Ming was happy. Is there such a shameless guy? Could be. A hundred thousand dollars apiece. Take the money. The queen's pink fists clenched and her willowy eyebrows rose. Why don't you go grab it? Why don't you go grab it? Chen Ming choked back. If you're less skillful than someone else and it explodes, if I pick it up, it's mine. The queen actually didn't retort this time. It seems that she also recognizes that the winner takes all. So she spoke slowly. I can share a piece of information with you. Information about something quite good. What is it? I don't know. Chen Ming smiled and lifted the dagger. The queen's sister's face changed, and she subconsciously stepped back. I'm not lying to you. I really don't know what the stuff is. The talent I've awakened is an A-rank talent. Treasure hunting. I can find locations with buried treasure through my senses. The object is in a deep cave, which I have explored. But there is a rather difficult puzzle before the treasure. I couldn't crack it even after trying for a long time. But I'm certain. Definitely has a treasure when the decryption is complete. Very precious treasure. Chen Ming sized her up with suspicion. This woman, obviously, is a loner. Instead, she, who is a solo traveler, has gotten a set of green excellent equipment at level 8. This shows that her words still have a few credibility, but it's only a few credible points. Chen Ming wouldn't be naive enough to trust her without reservation. You take me there, and when I've cracked the puzzle and gotten my stuff, I can consider giving you your gear back. No, one hand pays the other. I don't trust you. Oh well, Chen Ming said. Lifting his two daggers again, the queen's sister revealed a smile that was worse than crying. After all, it is the famous pearl emerald white jade soup. I know that experts like us are all very trustworthy. N, I believe that you will not go back on your word. Chen Ming silently put away his dagger. Heroes see the same thing. Seven turns below the cliffs at the junction of Qingfeng City and the novice village. At a time when Chen Ming was all a bit close to being turned around, the queen finally stopped. In front of them was clearly a cave covered by weeds and dead branches. Seeing this cave, Chen Ming's heart had already gained two or three more points of trust in the queen, to be able to go that far around to find this cave. It would have been hard to find it if it hadn't been guided by the gift of treasure hunting. This is it. The queen, 
secretly glancing at Chen Ming, an expectant expression appeared in his eyes, I'll tell you the truth, the decryption in here is very difficult, if you haven't succeeded in five attempts, you'll have to pay me, Chen Ming did not reply, but instead glanced down at the queen's mud and dirt covered yet still appearing round and small toes, the queen's old face flushed and she hurriedly scrunched her toes, what to look at, never seen counting on your toes before, does bad math have anything to do with deciphering or not deciphering, enter the cave, as soon as Chen Ming stepped in, the originally pitch black cave lit up violently, on the floor and walls, many lines of shimmering ethereal blue light appeared, illuminating the entire cavern, the cave was small, the size of a single room, with a small table made of stone placed in the center, the table is dusty and mossy, looking closer, there were horizontal lines etched into the table, though the stone table has survived the ages, the lines are unmistakable, and you can see that the carving appears to be of a chessboard, in the next second, the blue light on the wall blossomed steeply, and a chess piece appeared on the board as if it was a holographic projection, go on, play chess, if you can beat the opposite side, you can solve the puzzle, the queen excitedly egged Chen Ming on, it seemed like he was eager to see Chen Ming suffer defeat, and Chen Ming was unmoved, hide the shock in your eyes extremely well, he recognized the chess game, in his previous life, this chess game was known as the seventh of the top ten unsolved mysteries in the world of glory, it has taken a total of two years since it was discovered and then two years for players around the world to try, and still no one has broken the game, this is not an ordinary game of chess, but a game created by the customized rules of the world of glory, similar to quintessence from the witcher, in the beginning, chess masters of all types, were challenged, it all ended in failure, many real life grandmasters have been alarmed enough to buy a gaming helmet specifically just to decipher the game, but the result was that the masters were killed to the point of skepticism, humanity is all but extinct, some people naturally think of artificial intelligence, the rules are then fed into the AI and the AI is allowed to train day and night, unfortunately, no artificial intelligence, no matter how brilliant, can crack this game, at first people were very puzzled as to why the opponents were so terrifying that even the invincible AI regrettably lost, until the game was reflected into reality, they only reacted, to the fact that what was hidden behind the glory was far beyond everyone's imagination, and this chess game containing the computing power of the glory could naturally easily crush a group of artificial intelligences, at this moment, he no longer doubted the queen's sister's awakening talent, it's not bad for an A-level talent to find this, but, that's not helpful, so many people have tried in previous lives and couldn't crack it, did he, a Chen Ming, suddenly become enlightened and break this chess game that symbolized the arithmetic of glory, what a brainless dragon pride episode, I can't get this thing, so it doesn't count, Chen Ming decisively chose to give up, the queen froze, ha, huh, aren't you going to try, I felt like I was going to win it all before, in order to get Chen Ming to take the bait and see him suffer, the queen began to talk nonsense, Chen Ming glanced at her with a look at Bean, just you, and almost won, the queen instantly had the feeling of being seen through, but she still kept her mouth shut, hey, 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 you're not being reasonable, I've brought you here and exposed my biggest secret to you, you're not keeping your promise, if you sneak back and crack this thing and take the treasure, who am I going to find? Chen Ming left the cave without looking back. Don't worry, I don't have the ability to break the puzzle. If you don't believe me, you can just announce the location of this cave to the world and try to see if anyone can do it. The queen frowned slightly. How do I feel like pearl emerald white jade soup isn't lying? But what makes him so sure that no one can break the game? Oomph, since you're going to break the contract, don't blame me for flipping out. Isn't it just a public address? Since I can't get it. I'm going to make sure you can't get it either. The queen is a grump and does what she says she's going to do. Immediately, he opened the forum and edited the content. Revealed, decrypted levels hiding super treasure. The location is just below the Radigan Mountains. It coordinates 5,625, 1,285. Chan Ming, who was striding away, suddenly froze when he heard this coordinate. Below the Latigayan range, the Latigayan range, and so on. Chen Ming violently opened the map and immediately after, his pupils contracted violently, then, a flash of ecstasy surged out, so it is, he knew how this glorious unsolved mystery, once ranked 7th in the world had been deciphered, Chen Ming controlled his expression, not letting his excitement flow out, he dragged the map, soon, a mountain range was found deep to the north of Qingfeng city, the Marika mountains, seeing this familiar name, Chen Ming's mouth could not help but reveal a smile, right, he had indeed remembered correctly, the chess puzzle that had stumped countless people in his previous life was not at all in this Latakangan mountain range at the moment. Instead, it was at the foot of the Marika Mountains, where he was locked in at the moment. As a native Chinese, 
Chen Ming had the faults of the vast majority of Chinese, he was not sensitive to foreign names. Coupled with the fact that he entered glory in his last life, it was already very, very late, and every day he was desperately rushing to level up, and he only heard a little bit about these strange gossips around the edges, and he simply didn't have the leisure to find out what was going on. Therefore, at first glance, he didn't even recognize that this chess puzzle he was in was different from the one he had been found in his previous life. He snapped to attention after hearing the queen's chatter. It's not even the same game. In the world of glory, there are two different chess games, and this is the key to break the formation. How about attacking an opponent on his own petard? This, then, is the answer to the riddle. Fighting the game of chess the hard way ends in a lot of effort and bloodshed, trying for years and getting nowhere. Open both sides of the game at the same time. Let them fight each other. The party is cracked. Unfortunately, this secret chamber, hidden at the foot of the Latagayan mountain range in a previous life, was not discovered at all. It's hidden too deep, too deep. If not for the queen's A-class treasure hunting talent, she wouldn't have been able to find this chess puzzle at all, and the queen will appear in this neighborhood. Is estimated to be the butterfly effect caused by this change of Chen Ming that appeared in this life. After a round of calculations, Chen Ming could not help but have a smile appear at the corner of his mouth. Providence, did you send out the address? Chen Ming turned around and asked. Humph, I'm not like you, going back on my word. I've already sent it when I said I would. When the queen finished, she burst into a triumphant smile. She had thought that Chen Ming had backtracked and wanted to monopolize the puzzle to crack it herself. He was gloating over the fact that he had been extremely quick with his hands and had revealed the secret, causing Chen Ming to lose his chance to crack it. Good job. That way I won't bother marking another coordinate myself. Chen Ming smiled faintly and turned his head to throw the queen's post to Ling Yu. Queen? It's not the same as promised? Ling Yu received the message and quickly replied. Decryption? Need my help? Needed. But not for you to decipher. Rather, I'm asking you to schedule a time to take Susu to practice. I'm going to use her for half an hour the day after tomorrow. And you're going to have to keep her available while still not falling behind in rank. Chen Ming made an appointment for the day after tomorrow because the Marika mountain range was a long way away. Even if it was him, he would have to run for at least 20 hours or more before he could reach the area that was filled with level 30 monsters and was far from being an area that was open towards players at the current stage. It was also because the Marika mountain range was in such a distant landmass that Chen Ming wasn't worried about exposing the chess game on this side of the Radagon mountain range and letting someone get the jump on him. No one will be the first to find that chess game than him. Then, in that case, Ling Yu at one end looked at Chen Ming's reply and couldn't help but frown slightly. Just asking yourself to pass on a message? Ha! Is this looking down on her intelligence? Ling Yu twisted her head and glanced at the well-behaved and cute little lowly who stood beside her paddling and eating her experience, and a touch of dissatisfaction appeared in her eyes. Pearl emerald white jade soup for this little lowly to solve the puzzle? Does he think that his intelligence is still not as good as this little lowly who is good and naive at first glance? I'd like to see what the puzzle is. A wave of defiance surfaced in Ling Yu's heart. Here, your dear. Chen Ming threw a set of leather armor to the queen girl. The queen girl revealed an incredulous expression. You, what do you mean? I get the treasure and give you back the equipment. This is our trading rule. Have you forgotten? Chen Ming replied calmly. Get the treasure? Ha, are you that confident? The queen habitually used a mocking tone. The words were not finished. Then he saw Chen Ming's hand inadvertently touch the dagger hanging at his waist. The queen immediately shut up obediently and crouched down to pick up her equipment like a little whiny bitch. By the time she finished dressing, the gallant queen reappeared. She habitually wanted to open her mouth to mock, but glancing at Chen Ming's dagger, she silently changed her topic. Are you that confident in cracking the puzzle? Chen Ming didn't bother with her. She couldn't help but be curious as she recalled how she had been tormented by the chess game for two or three hours ago and still had no clue. This chess game is really hard. Didn't you almost pass? Chen Ming looked at her with a smile. The queen almost broke, forcing herself to stabilize. Ha, it was almost too much for me, but quite difficult for you. You're hardly going to try to compete with my old lady? I don't care about you. You scum. Chen Ming bristled. Add a friend. In the future, if you find a treasure and notify me, I have the operation and the strength to help you get the treasure, and we'll split it 50-50, just like a treasure hunter and a treasure hunting dog. The queen was furious. What a retriever. What do you take me for? Chen Ming silently scratched his thigh, one accidentally touched the hound's tooth at his waist. As a thief who often hangs the dagger on his waist, it is reasonable to accidentally touch the dagger. When scratching an itch, the queen's handsome little face face changed violently, forcing out a smile that was worse than crying. It's not impossible. Through a body. Only then did Chen Ming realize the queen's ID. The king of devouring gods who walks in the darkness. The corner of Chen Ming's mouth pulled. It's too damn shameful. 
This kind of ID you can also obtain out? Chen Ming glanced at the queen's sister who was full of disdainful eyes, as if she was quite satisfied with her ID and felt that she could ruthlessly deter Chen Ming. He twisted his head away silently. Hmm. It is indeed the ID that this one can take out. After returning the equipment, Chen Ming parted ways with her and crushed the teleportation scroll to return to Qingfeng City. He had done the quest before he went ahead with the queen's sister to find the treasure. Return to the city to deliver the quest, complete the transfer, and then run through the Marika Mountains. And just as Chen Ming was busy with his own affairs, that thread the queen's sister put up in the forums has already attracted quite a bit of discussion. The heat, it's climbing. A puzzle level that hides a super treasure? What's the deal? The title party is being alarmist? Look at the location. Seems to be not far from our novice village. Why don't we go take a look and try? Looking at the screenshot in the post, it appears to be a chessboard. So could it be a chess game? Playing chess? I'm the best at it. I've beaten every kindergarten in the neighborhood with my one-handed five-in-a-row game. The powerful headline attracted countless people. Plus the location of the treasure was not far from the novice village. And unlike the usual boss gatekeepers, the difficulty here is in the puzzle solving. Everyone is equal before the puzzle. Even if you're a level 1 newbie, you can compete with the big boys in front of the puzzles. All the reasons add up. It instantly made countless people curious. Some of the players who were in the vicinity of the Radagon Mountains were even rushing over without stopping. Fortunately, the queen had labeled the location of the game in great detail in her post in order to scheme against Chen Ming at the time, which allowed those who admired the game to find it. But even so, they were a little dazed by the extremely deep hiding place. But the more so, the more certain they were that what was buried in this place must be an extraordinary treasure. Many people are exploring and sharing on the forums as they go. There is no shortage of good people who have turned on the live stream. This place is so deeply hidden. I'm sure there's definitely a big treasure here. Geez, how the hell did we find this place? There's nothing good in here I'll wash my hair upside down live. With factual updates from several explorers. More and more people are drawn to this mystery. Even the Pearl Jadeite White Jade Soup Auction, which was the hottest auction before, was crowded out. Finally, the first player arrived at the cave, just as he leapt into action, wanting to rush into the grotto and show off his skills. Instead, he suddenly realized that there were already a few figures in the cave. He glanced curiously, then froze in place. How come the president of the Clear Wind Range Moon, Snow Moon Guild is also here? The live players were a bit surprised. By Ling Yu's side, there were seven or eight players standing but without exception, they were all frowning with a worried look on their faces. President, I don't think this is the right move. Nonsense, clearly the last step shouldn't have gone that way. I'd say you should have listened to me and opened with a kill from the right. Kill through on the right? Forget how I was tricked into a trap on the right in the first game and ate all the minions? Argumentative. Ling Yu got a bit of a headache from the noise and couldn't help but reach out and hold her forehead. She didn't t realize that the puzzle was really hard from her confident kill to the point where he was killed and left in disrepair, and had no choice but to call for help from a few intelligent members of the guild, and then a bunch of people who are all beat up and skeptical. It only took 10 minutes. They were abused by the system in a fancy way. It was then that Ling Yu saw the guy poking his head outside the cave, president of the Clear Wind Range Moon. Me? I just came to take a look. You continue. Don't mind me. The young man was taken aback. I can't blame him for being timid. Many big guilds, always as the rampage is accustomed to. All sorts of chartered field practice, chartered field bosses, which can be a common occurrence. Right now, this kind of big chance that looked like it was buried with important treasures, could people possibly give it away? Of course not. However, after hesitating for a moment, Ling Yu took the initiative to step aside. It's fine. If you want to, you can come and give it a try as well. Ling Yu was helpless in the face of the puzzle. Doesn't it help to hog the seat? At this time, she somewhat understood why Chin Ming had taken the initiative to make this mystery public. It must be that he can't decipher it either. Ling Yu thought darkly in her heart. The lad on the air approached the board at Ling Yu's invitation. The rules are simple. Even simpler and easier to understand than games like Go, Chess, or Chess. And you can understand the gameplay and rules after a little bit of reading. The boy leapt to his feet and began to play. The pop-ups are starting to come out of the woodwork as well. Five minutes later. The young man sat with his eyes lost and empty in front of the chess game. A large portion of the pop-up gods have also disappeared. Those five minutes may not seem long, but the lad had already played ten games against each other. Own an inning. Played nine innings following pop-up commands. Results. All gone. Ling Yu sighed even though she had expected it. Sure enough, everyone was cleanly and dryly crushed. And as time passed, more and more hilarious people came to the outside of the tiny cave themselves. Outside the cave, a long line formed. 
It was expected that people would have to take turns going up one by one to get a chance to play against each other. But unexpectedly, the blue light inside the cave bloomed violently. Light shot out of the cave and enveloped everyone. A chessboard appeared in front of everyone. The scene doubled everyone's surprise. And those who saw the scene through the live stream felt even more heartfelt. They also want to try to see how difficult this puzzle that is difficult for a group of heroes and heroines is. But the problem is, that they are all afraid of the queue that is like a long dragon. People are here to play games. Wouldn't want to be in a silly queue inside a game. So, although everyone has no small interest in the game, and even watch the live broadcast, while brushing monsters, they did not come to the scene in person after all. But when they saw the scene of blue light being thrown around, the last vestiges of concern in their minds dissipated. Holy shit. Something for everyone? Then I'm going to give it a try. Punchy punchy punchy. What's more brushing AF asterisk king monster? Isn't it much better than brushing monsters to be able to crack this puzzle and get the treasure? Almost zero threshold. Coupled with a super high degree of participation. All the factors add up to make this gimmicky puzzle solving hot all over the internet. In the beginning, it was just a bunch of little people who got together. By the end of the day, many dignitaries were alarmed. Hiss. You guys look. Isn't that Southwind North? The president of Wind and Cloud World. I remember he seems to be a senior graduate from North University. Right. He's here to decipher the puzzle too? Wow. The female streamer. She's a super popular anchor and a top student. Seems to have graduated from Tsinghua. More and more big shots are coming. Many of the guys who had been taught a lesson by the system in three different ways stopped trying and turned to the other big boys in anticipation. Above the cave. A screen formed by floating blue light was clearly branded with the results of the first 100 challengers. In the first place, Ling Yu who had come to the study at the earliest opportunity and had a good intellect, was ranked first. She lasted 15 moves in the game, already the best so far. But soon enough, a name surged up the charts. South Wind North, this senior student graduated from Beihang University, showed the strength to match his IQ and lasted until 16 hands before losing unfortunately. But before anyone could lament South Wind North's greatness, another name jumped out violently. The women's man, she won up North and South Wind who had only just broken the record, and killed her way to the top spot on the leaderboard before losing to the system in 18 hands. The foodies were so excited to see it. Do even talents like the North and South Winds bigwigs and the ladies of the stream stop here? Ghost, it looks like this puzzle is far more difficult than we thought. Can anyone really crack it at this level of difficulty? I don't know. I can't manage it anyway. I can only expect the big boys to play. Inside Qingfeng City, Chen Ming took the lead and ran to deliver the SSS ranked quest. As he expected, he gained a decent amount of experience, 8 silver coins, and a piece of inherited leather armor equipment. Heritage leather armor, cloak and hood, required level, 10, defense, agility plus 6, stamina, 2 piece effect, 1 half bludgeoning rate, 4 piece effect, 1 quarter bludgeoning damage, 6 piece set effect, January 6 trigger buffs, throat slash, backstab, cut throat, the next hit that ends the stealth state is bound to hit with a bludgeon. Backstab, 50 extra damage when attacking from behind. Synopsis, a suit of leather armor inherited from ancient times, with the blood of top stalkers still on it. Finally a cape. Chen Ming had a strange fondness for cloaks. It always seems like putting on a cape makes the whole thing a whole lot more handsome. Put on a cape hood. Chen Ming's attributes gained another surge. The whole thing sells itself up a notch. Handsome as ever. Chen Ming was very satisfied with this outfit. All that's missing is a pair of shoes to complete the set. Come to the Adventurer's Guild and find the Career Mentor. After delivering the quest and receiving the Thieves Guild's Junior Medal, Chen Ming had finally managed to transfer into a Junior Thief, and the NPC Mentor finally revealed his name. Darkwalker Sophia. Talking to Sophia, Chen Ming could learn two brand new skills. One is a Thief's Watchword. Sneaking. The same skill that the Queen's sister had used before. Although this skill was learned at the Qingfeng City Tutor, as long as one was lucky enough, it could also be exploded in the early stages. Just like Chen Ming's hardened poison. The second skill, on the other hand, was a moderate output skill for thieves. Backstab. Each skill requires a tuition of 5 silver coins. It must be needy as hell for the average player. But rich man Chen Ming did not even think about it and completed two studies. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, sneaking. Ding racial, ghostly specter, talent skill, stalking mastery, triggered. Stalking, skill upgraded to, specter. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, backstab. Ding Profession, Shadow Walker, Talent Skill, Assassination Mastery, Triggered. Backstab, Skill Upgraded to, Sword Blade Storm. Two beats jumped backward. It caused Chen Ming to almost freeze in place. His own hidden profession and hidden race. Triggered passive skills in unison? Really fake? Is that okay? Chen Ming revealed a look of ecstasy. 
though he had known for a long time that some of the thief's skills would be upgraded by his own talents, but that's limited to skills learned from skill books, he had never imagined that the skills he had acquired from his mentor, by way of conversation, could also receive such an enchantment. Hurriedly, he opened the skill bar and took a look. Ghostly Shadow, Purple Level Legendary The natural skill of the ghostly ghostly shadow race, it can vanish into nothingness and hide itself. The outside world will only leave a shadow of what it was a second ago. Bladestorm, Blue Great Rare controls the daggers that fly out with a unique technique, allowing the daggers to form a storm of steel that strangles nearby enemies. Purple level legend, Blue Great Rare. There is. Chen Ming couldn't help but grin. These two skills, they're just awesome. Especially, Phantom Shadow. A normal thief's sneak would leave a not-so-clear black shadow, revealing the thief's location. Top thieves need to rely on the help of terrain to be able to truly come and go without a trace. The Phantom Shadow skill that Chen Ming had obtained directly ignored this restriction. He left a shadow of where he was a second ago. Although it couldn't achieve complete invisibility, it was still too much better than ordinary sneaking. Chen Ming had an itchy hand and tried the skill. He disappeared in an instant. And only after he'd taken a few steps out did the dark shadow he'd left in place a second ago appear silently. Unfortunately, there's still the delayed black shadow that appeared a second ago. It would be nice if I could be completely invisible. But just think about it. That would simply be too unbalanced. Chen Ming was smiling and shook his head to deny his thoughts. Next. Instead. His eyes suddenly widened. And so on. The black shadow that appeared from the phantom shadow skill was exactly the same as the black shadow that appeared from the sneak skill. Does that mean he can use this black shadow to deceive others? Thinking of this, Chen Ming was immediately convinced by his flexible brain. You're so damn smart yourself. This time, the tiny bit of incompleteness of the phantom shadow skill was completely made up for. It's worthy of being a natural skill brought by a hidden race. It's so strong. As for the blade storm, as the name suggests, it is an AoE skill. Thief is a profession with terrible single damage, but lacks an AoE. The skill blade storm doesn't have a high enough damage factor, but it's strong in that the range is pretty good, and it could also be paired with Chen Ming's poison hardening skill. In the future, he would no longer need to run around and stab monsters everywhere to hang on to the hardened poison skill. A blade storm in place. Done. Comfy. Chen Ming was very satisfied with the harvest this time. After taking care of that, he went to the stables near the adventurer's guild and splurged 50 silver coins to buy a good colt. According to the owner, this horse has an ancient magical beast bloodline. Sure enough, it was quite a bit taller and stronger than a normal horse, and had a pair of bull horn-like things sprouting from its forehead. It's not like a mundane thing. The Marika mountain range was a long way away, and without a horse, Chen Ming was afraid that he wouldn't be able to get there in 7 or 8 days. Mounting this bull horse, Chen Ming rode off at a fast pace. The whole road trip takes 20 hours. Chen Ming did not intend to burst his liver all night. That means it's going to take about 2 days. We won't reach our destination until tomorrow night. In the next 2 days, someone might rise to the occasion and catch up with his rank. However, after opening the novice chest, there is no substantial reward for being ranked first. It's just a vanity. Chen Ming didn't care about false names. What he cared more about was what kind of treasure was hidden in the chessboard puzzle that had plagued the whole world for several years in his previous life. That treasure, he was sure, was far, far more important than an upgrade. What's more, with Chen Ming's strength, it would be easy to recover the rank. And I wonder what this contraption reward actually is. Chen Ming's heart was filled with anticipation. The, in front of the puzzle cave, the number of players who were each sitting on their own, frowning in thought, had grown. The number one spot on the leaderboard. On the other hand, remains unchanged. It's still the same goddess schoolmarm, the woman of the world. But unlike before, her grades have improved. For half an hour, she kept gaming over and over again. From losing in just 16 hands at the start, it climbed all the way to 32 hands. It's safe to say that she gets something out of every game she plays against. It was not until the end of the 32 hands that, instead of failing and immediately moving on to the next round of wrestling as she had done before, she closed her eyes and thought carefully. As time passes, the others, too, slowly caught up, but there are no exceptions, all at 32 hands and stopped. Originally, when the melon eaters initially saw the bigwigs taking over one after another, they thought they could easily take the game, but whoever thought, the big boys, actually stopped in unison at hand 32. What's going on? Is this hand difficult? It seems like ah, all the big boys are stuck here. Biggie is so awesome, I can't even walk 10 hands. Let's hope the big boys can break through soon and let's see what treasures are inside. Just as everyone was talking. Finally, the female streamer sitting on the ground opened her eyes. The big female streamer has opened her eyes. Is she about to start a new challenge? The big female streamer has made new strides every time she strikes. 
and I'm sure this time will be no different. It's really worthy of being a Tsinghua scholar. You thought of a way to decipher it so quickly? Truly a woman of honor. Awesome. Everyone marveled at it. However, to everyone's surprise, the female stream did not move on to the next game. Instead, he stood up. His eyes complexly swept the cave in a circle, and finally shook his head. No one can break this chess game. Among us present, one comment. Shocking everyone, the woman's words were uttered, and immediately drew the eyes of countless people present. Is talking like this, really not afraid of offending people? Although I know you're a Tsinghua scholar, there are quite a few cowboys in the room. As expected, there were quite a few players who had been persisting in their attempts, and after hearing these words, they immediately revealed a look of displeasure. There were even hot-tempered ones whose faces directly changed, as if they wanted to open their mouths to dislike each other back. But, just then, Nan Fong Bei, who was ranked second only to the female streamer, opened his eyes and revealed a bitter smile. Female streamer sister is right. This puzzle, it's even harder than we imagined. And with just us, we can't get through it. Seeing quite a few people with unconvinced looks, Nan Fong Bei explained, This chess puzzle seems simple, but as the steps are deduced, the difficulty and complexity of each step will be layered and superimposed. At 32 hands, the difficulty changes even more qualitatively. As chess amateurs, we can't do anything to break through that level of difficulty. Ling Yu had been stuck in the fourth position for quite some time. She had always felt that something was wrong, but she couldn't tell herself exactly what was wrong. It wasn't until the two spoke that it dawned on her. So it is. It wasn't just Ling Yu. Almost everyone in the top 10 ranked players showed a thoughtful expression. This scene, Looking at those players who originally still had some indignation in their hearts, were the ones who revealed shocked expressions. All the top 10 ranked players actually had the same idea? It seems like it's just the masters who can feel the real pressure of the puzzle. Thinking of this, those players who were still upset before all shut their mouths. I'm going to ask for outside help. The female streamer said this to Southwind North alone. Apparently, the two knew each other. Nan Fong Bei smiled faintly. I knew you wouldn't willingly give up, but if you want to hire outside help, I'm going to do the same. The female stream nodded her head and stopped replying, and then her entire body entered the temporary departure protection state, a function set up for players who encountered trouble in reality and needed to leave for a short period of time but didn't want to go offline. For five minutes after entering the staging area, the player is in a state of invincibility. Of course, it can only be turned on in a non-combat state. Nan Fong Bei also painted a picture of wanting to leave temporarily, but Ling Yu took the first step to stop him and asked, Uncle Nan Fong, what is the foreign aid you are talking about? Nan Fong Bei was already over 40 years old, and Ling Yu was not wrong to call him an uncle. Although he was from the same prestigious school as the female streamers, this uncle was obviously much gentler than the high and silent female streamers, and he was willing to answer Ling Yu's questions. The one the ladies want to invite is Old Elder Plumstone. Old Timer Plumstone? A flash of dismay passed through Ling Yu's beautiful eyes. Sher Lao, the titan of the chess world, deserves to be the first. Although many people present had never heard of this name, they were shocked by Eldershire's reputation after a slight search. The female stream went and invited Eldershire. What about you? Uncle, who would you invite? Ling Yu couldn't imagine what other person could be more powerful than Eldershire, unless one is a master in another field. Ling Yu couldn't help but feel some anticipation. Is it Go? Or Chess? Nan Fong Bei, however, revealed a confident smile. I have a classmate who happens to be in the doing research on artificial intelligence. I want to ask him to help me train an AI specifically for this puzzle. And you can hire this kind of foreign aid? Ling Yu was momentarily speechless. And the others who heard these words also showed complex expressions. Artificial intelligence? That's totally cheating all right. In this world, it is impossible for any master in any field of chess to win against an AI. Everyone was in an uproar. What's the point of playing? This is too much for Southwind North. You said you'd get outside help, but you just turned it on. It looks like we'll find out what the reward for the puzzle is tomorrow at the latest. Heartbroken female stream sister. It was hard to invite Eldershire, only to turn her head and see an AI coming from the opposite side. The crowd whispered, but North and South Wind had an old, calm expression. In his opinion, to solve the puzzle everyone is eight immortals to show their skills. There is no cheating or not cheating to speak of. It was a moment when almost everyone agreed on one thing. The game of South Wind North Decipher Chess has been finalized. The rest is just a matter of time. Seeing that Nan Fong Bei had also entered the temporary departure protection state, all the people present shook their heads and even dispersed. People are bringing in artificial intelligence. What the hell are they still doing here? Ride the bulls and horses all the way. Fortunately, this game had an automatic navigation system. Otherwise Chen Ming would have to die of exhaustion sooner or later if he concentrated on riding a horse for 20 hours. 
It's quite pleasant to open the game's built-in browser and brush up on the forums while hanging out and running. Soon enough, Chen Ming saw the board puzzle that everyone was discussing eagerly and unusually. The female generation? This person I know ah, a super high and cold female school bully. Intellectually unparalleled. Once with a scheme, pitched a hundred thousand people in foreign service. Also because of this was remembered as a grudge. Pitched with insidious tricks. After death, the head is still hung in the main city of foreign countries for more than a month long. South Wind North, is also quite a famous guild president. Also quite a lord potential. Only a pity that it was later betrayed by his subordinates. It was also that battle that Hua Xia lost a city, and all the players retreated for 300 miles. Chen Ming was quite emotional. These two are both great heroes of China, but it's just a pity that they ended up in a terrible situation. But that's also after the game is mirrored into reality. The world landscape changed. The balance between countries was broken. Plus the birth of monsters invaded. It was a chaotic time. In this life, he was going to form his own force in the game and protect everyone. As for his family, he is not in a hurry to pull into the game. Wait until he is firmly established in the glory. And then it is not too late to pull the family in. It's like the young man who goes to the city to struggle. He has to have a place to stay before he can pick up his parents and relatives. And it's a good thing that my sister has already bought a gaming helmet. Chen Ming planned to let her familiarize herself with it first, and then bring her around when she understood it more or less. There's no rush now anyway. And so it went, leisurely, for the entire afternoon. Near meal time, Chen Ming found a safe location to get offline and ate the meal his sister had prepared. Halfway through the meal, there was a knock on the door and it was the delivery boy delivering the helmet. My sister was thrilled and heartbroken as she held the top of the line helmet worth $30,000. Listen, it says that the opening of this game can awaken different talents, and I don't know if I can awaken SSS ranked talents. Well, it has to be at least S ranked, right? After all, I bought the most expensive and top of the line helmet, Chen Jiajia said longingly. Chen Ming smiled and didn't open his mouth to strike her. The awakened talent has nothing to do with the helmet. It's all about luck. Anyway, as far as he knew, the strongest of those windfalls in his previous life was just an S-ranked talent. But anyone with an A-ranked talent can make a name for themselves. SSSS level? Sorry, really never heard of it. After dinner, Chen Ming once again went online to run. Discussions about chess puzzles in the forums are once again active. The reason is also simple. That claim that the Chinese chess world the front is not seen and the back is not seen the old predecessor of the titan may sure, was defeated, and the old timer had only taken 10 more steps than the woman. It was said that each of these 10 steps had made the old timer take a long test for at least half an hour before he dared to make a move. For the last step, the old timer even sat withered for an hour, but even then, it fell to a defeat. In the end, the old timer dropped the sentence this game is unbreakable by manpower and fled. Such an ending, naturally, it was beyond anyone's imagination. In the forums, the players were already in a state of shock just from the defeat of the Maesher oldtimers. What kind of face would this group of people have if they knew that not even an AI can win a game of chess? Of course, what makes Chen Ming feel even more anticipation is, after the AI are defeated, he strikes again to break the game, and what a stir it will cause. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but rise slightly at the thought. It's not a pretense. It's called manifestation before men. Cow horse, run faster. Chen Ming fiercely clipped his horse's belly. It looked a little impatient. Day 2. Afternoon. Southwind North finally announced that after a full night's time and millions of targeted training sessions, the AI had reached a level of near perfection. Further targeted training and deep learning won't improve much, unless a better performing machine can be found. But Nan Fong Bei was in reality a big shot in the top research circle with a successful career, and the equipment he used was already top of the top, unless it's one of those supercomputers run by the state. Otherwise this AI that Southwind North took out is the top of the current level. All eyes on the world. Utilizing artificial intelligence. Southwind North began a battle against the system's chess puzzles. 42 hands. It's the location where Master Umeshi fell. However, in accordance with this AI's way of dropping the seeds, according to the map of the Southwind North here, but it is easy to break through. Barely with thought. One drop a second. Both sides killed back and forth. Only magic can defeat magic. This is really cheap for Nan Fongbei and I don't know what kind of goodies I can obtain. This puzzle is so difficult. The treasure must be worth a lot. However, the two sides played to the full 72 hands. The south wind north. That had been landing fast but suddenly got stuck. This jam, it's weird, because AI is not a human brain. It does not need to think or deliberate. All the pieces fall are the result of hundreds of millions of calculations in the blink of an eye. There is only one possibility of lag. That's artificial intelligence. Can't find a solution. Sure enough, 
North and south winds face changed wildly, this middle-aged uncle, who was good at raising chi and always had a gentle look, for the first time revealed an extremely shocked expression, the AI, lost, it has no children to fall, this, how is this possible, Nan Thangbei's mutterings clearly reached everyone's ears, both the scene, and the live broadcast, were completely blown away, holy shit, seriously, an AI can lose, Naya, there's such a thing, the AI has lost, who else can solve this puzzle, glory officials, explain what's going on here, more than shocked, people are more incredulous, it was inconceivable that even that AI, which was claimed to be invincible, could lose, it is important to realize that the world's top players of all types of board games only end up losing when they encounter artificial intelligence, even the AI is gone, who else in the world could win this chess game, Nan Fengbei had a disoriented look on his face, how confident he had been before, how woefully bewildered he was at this moment, and just when everyone thought that this puzzle, would become an impenetrable unsolvable puzzle, Ling Yu, appeared, she walked straight toward the cave, a look to challenge the game of chess, only then did Nan Fong Bei come back to his senses, and looked at Ling Yu with a bitter smile, President Ching Fong rang Yu, don't blame me for speaking harshly, about this game of chess, it's true that no one can win, and it's just futile for you to go and challenge it again, who said I want a challenge, Ling Yu looked behind her helplessly, the person to challenge, is her, is the challenger someone else, they're going to do it, since thought that Ling Yu had moved in to save the day as well, hastily, he craned his head to look, but when a timid little lowly appeared before them, they were all confused, what's the situation, is this the rescuer Ling Yu invited, but how old is she, just 16 or 17, 2, what can she accomplish, is it even better than old timer Meishur and the AI, Southwind North searched his mind, it was finally determined that he did not know this little girl at all, excuse me little sister, who are you, the older man asked suspiciously, it was the first time Su Su had been watched by so many people, for a moment there was some nervousness in his hands, half a day's worth of stammering didn't result in a complete sentence, Ling Yu looked and secretly sighed, this little sister is also too sociopathic, this is obviously just a game, and I don't know how she is in reality, Ling Yu replied in Su Su's place, it's not her challenge, but the pearl emerald white jade soup, so it's just operating in his place, pearl emerald white jade soup, seven short words were uttered, but it was like dropping a bomb into the crowd, the crowd instantly boiled over, pearl emerald white jade soup, holy shit, this big guy is going to challenge this game too, there is one to say one, glory opening service just two or three days, made a big thing all have his share, this big brother does not come to mix a little strange, but this is after all a test of intellect, pearl emerald white jade soup big brother is no stronger, but also useless, that is, by Yu Tang big brother fights invincible, but the intellectual aspect, is better to save it, it's not that I'm looking down on Big Brother by Yu Tang, it's just that the AI has lost, so Big Brother by Yu Tang is useless even if Zhuga is reincarnated, speaking of which, why didn't Big Brother by Yu Tang come in person, could it be that he knows he can't pass and is afraid of losing face, so he's secretly instructing, eh, it's quite possible, no one believed that Chen Ming could solve this puzzle, even some of Chen Ming's hardcore fans thought the same way, combat power and intelligence are two completely different things, Listening to the crowd's discussion, Ling Yu gave Su Su a somewhat worried look. She knew the girl was incredibly shy and seemed to be a little social introvert, worried that she would be in a bad frame of mind listening to the crowd's comments and affect the next operation. But what surprised Ling Yu was that originally timid little lowly, at this time, actually no longer feared the gaze of the crowd, and even glared furiously at those who said that the pearl emerald white jade soup did not work. That stance was almost like a kitten protecting its food. Where is there any semblance of social panic? I forbid you to speak ill of monsieur, Lori grunted and whispered, she was sure that no matter how difficult the dilemma, it would be solved in the presence of that invincible gentleman, she was going to prove in a moment that mister, had it in him, Ling Yu revealed a surprised expression, she really didn't expect that this relatively timid little lowly would undergo such a drastic transformation after hearing something related to the pearl emerald white jade soup, it seems that pearl emerald white jade soup is really important to her, hoof, don't know what he did to a little girl of others either, Ling Yu grunted darkly, her heart unexpectedly slightly rising a trace of displeasure that even she herself did not notice, Sister Ling Yu, I'm going in, with a surge of wanting to prove something for Mr. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, Su Su took his short legs and killed his way into the cave with a huff, and below the Marika Mountains, 10,000 miles away from here, Chen Ming wiped the dust off one side of the stone table, revealing the chessboard engravings underneath that had been honed over the years, almost at the same moment, the Latagayan and Malika ranges, heavy with blue light, the chessboard, floating in front of Chen Ming and Lori's eyes, sir, 
I'm ready. What should be the first step? Little Lori sent a message asking Chen Ming. The game on Chen Ming's side was a systematic first move. The opposite of Lori's side of the system's backhand. Chen Ming decisively relayed the location of the system's first hand drop to Lori. Little Lori played her first hand as Chen Ming had said. This hand is a huge difference from the previous AI with the best challenge score. Looking at the people in the room, they couldn't help but shake their heads for a moment. It's a gross play when the first step is down the wrong way. Although people AI lost in the end, they were killing it in the front. But what about pearl emerald white jade soup? The first hand was nonsense. One has to wonder if this pearl emerald white jade soup is claptrap. That's right. Somehow coming up here and messing around with his hands. I thought he really had some countermeasures. Just the first hand alone made everyone shake their heads. After all, whether it's AI, or Maysher Oldtimer, or the women of the stream, south wind north of these big men, the top 10 hands are almost always fixed. All of these bigwigs are unified. You're the only one who's going to make a difference with your pearl and jade soup. It's not just the eaters. Even Ling Yu couldn't help but frown when she saw this hand. That guy, what the hell is going on? Trying to force a pose? Though whether or not pearl emerald white jade soup would be ruined by forcing her hand had nothing to do with her. But she still couldn't help worrying a little. President Qingfeng Range Moon. This pearl emerald white jade soup's desire to perform seems a bit strong. Uncle Nan Feng Bei, who was on the side, disparaged Chen Ming in a very subtle manner. As for the high-flying schoolteacher of the female stream, she was rather nonchalant as she chortled. Performing personality. It is naturally self-evident who is being referred to. Ling Yu had the intention to argue a few sentences, but the words were too much for her. What can she say? As far as the current situation is concerned, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup this guy, it seems to be doing just that ah. Chen Ming received a message from Su Su and followed the response from her side of the system to land upon. I don't think about chess games. I'm just the chess mover. Chen Ming smiled to himself. Next thing you know, he's working with Su Su, frantically porting both sides of the AI boogie. That said, wouldn't there be only one winner if it went down like this? Then if there is only one winner, wouldn't the other chess puzzle never be solved? Becoming an unsolved case for the ages? Chen Ming was scattering his thoughts and rambling as he thought. The exchange of hands has already passed 50 hands. If everyone still looked disdainful just now, well here and now, they couldn't help but show a stony expression. Brothers, how does it feel not quite right? Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup seems to be something. Holy shit. It's actually down to 50 hands. This has already surpassed Elder May. Could it be that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is not only brave and invincible, but also wise and resourceful? Objections were also raised. No. You guys look closely. Some of the subsequent downward strokes of the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup are somewhat similar to the path of the AI challenge. Indeed. Although there seems to be a subtle difference, the general idea is similar to the AI. I'll just. No wonder. How he can get down to 50 hands. It turns out that he borrowed the idea of AI. He doesn't think that this will prove that he's better than Elder May. Does he? Sure enough, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is selling out. Nanfong Bei smiled bitterly and touched his nose. Suddenly a little bit regretted spending more than 200. 000 to smash down a buddy bit slot in his auction. This kid, although his strength is good, his heart does not seem to be too good ah. I kind of don't want to cooperate with him. Nanfong Bei also participated in Chen Ming's friend's auction. There's only the last half hour left in this auction. He now regrets that he expects others to raise the price to take over the estimate is unlikely. The expression of interest in the eyes of the female streamer had disappeared. And what remained was only indifference and disdain. Shook his head. She was ready to just leave. However, just as she was about to leave, the crowd, however, suddenly created a commotion. Eh? This new hand is completely different from the AI mindset then. Ghost, this hand is too standardized. Could it be that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup knows that we've seen through his copying of the AI's mindset and is forcing a change of heart? How many hands can he play without copying the AI's ideas? I don't think he'll lose in less than three hands. People, always believe in what they decide. As it is, at this very moment, they still identify the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup as plagiarizing the AI mindset. One hand, two hands, three hands. The game of chess played by Susu on his behalf was a hard kill. The crowd's faces changed slightly. Five hands, Six hands, seven hands, the game gradually reached a stalemate. Everyone breathed a long sigh of relief, but just the next hand, Su Sua Sun, landed in a position that no one could have imagined. There is no way out of the mountain. The dark side of the world is a different place. A burst of essence erupted in the eyes of the female streamer, and she even forgot her thoughts of wanting to leave, gazing at Su Su's piece with an unbelievable gaze. It still goes down like that? God, Uncle Nan Fong Bei reacted a little slower. But after the female streamer revealed such a shocked expression, 
he also realized that something was wrong, and hurriedly tasted it, and then, the shock also slowly swept away on the uncle's face, so it is, the breakthrough turned out to be hidden here, wonderful wow, really wonderful wow, after that, the game went against the grain, Sue, it turned out to be the offense, close to 60 hands of defense in front, in exchange for the rest of the time, a furious attack, 70 hands, approaching AI results now, 80 hands, successfully surpassed the AI, 90 lots, 100 lots, finally, at 100 moves, as if the game had reached the upper limit of the combat it could withstand, it violently collapsed after a violent shaking, the game was not decided, it turns out that when the game reaches 100 moves, you are considered to have passed, Sue looked up, the blue light exploded, it's like a big fireworks display in the mountains, streams of light and color dilated in everyone's pupils, Eventually these rays of light fell in unison and coalesced in the cave, forming an object that rested on an ancient stone table. Solved the puzzle? This trouble that even the AI can't solve is messed up by the pearl emerald white jade soup. Settled? My god, what the hell is in there? For the first time, an unprecedented admiration surfaced on the high and cold face of the female streamer. Without hesitation, she twisted her head to look at Nanfong Bay. You said earlier that you regretted bidding on the qualifications for the buddy position of the pearl emerald white jade soup, right? transfer to me, I'll go to the bank right away to get a loan and make the payment tonight, the women of the stream, though extremely capable, were intoxicated with research and study, and regarded the yellow and white things of the world as dung, and were therefore rather poorly off, she couldn't get more than $200,000 even if she searched all over her body, loans only, but even so, she desperately longed to add the legendary pearl emerald white jade soup, however unfortunately, uncle north and south winds up with a straight wave of Sichuan opera, what regret plus pearl emerald white jade soup? Why don't I remember saying anything like that? Such a young talent. Even if I were to add another hundred thousand dollars, I wouldn't hesitate. The older man had a look of pity on his face. But then, his words changed. Unless, you join my guild, and I'll consider giving up the spot to you. Ling Yu glanced at the older man without moving, lying to the women streamers into their guild and then giving the women streamers places. Isn't that just left-handed backhandedness? Anyway, in the future, Uncle would be able to rely on the women to contact Chen Ming, and you can earn such a talent as a woman of the world for nothing. What a business veteran. Moving around with empty gloves, the female streamer gazed at the shameless uncle for a long time. Sure enough, Ling Yu thought to herself, with a woman's superior intelligence, there was no way she could not see that uncle was so calculating. Yet the next second, the female streamer surprisingly nodded. Deal. Ling Yu couldn't help but freeze. Deal? She'd rather be left empty-handed by her uncle and add pearl emerald white jade soup to the list of best friends? At this moment, Ling Yu suddenly had an unreal feeling. It's only been a few days. The pearl emerald white jade soup buddy bit, just from her purchase of 100, 000 yuan, premium to this extent? It's really scary as hell. The little lowly, Su Su, excitedly entered the cave and picked up the treasures. Of course, the reason she was excited wasn't because of the acquisition of this treasure, she had no concept of such things. The reason she was excited was for Chen Ming. Humph. Mr. Sure proved himself. She made a point of looking at the group outside before entering the cave. How arrogant those guys were before. How beaten up their tone of voice was. Then at this moment, how beaten up they were. Humph. Let you look down on Mr. This is what happens to all. Who looked down on Mr. Lori was in a soothing mood as she picked up her treasure and put it in her backpack before walking out of the cave. At this time, she clearly saw that a few people showed their greed. Some people leaned toward her whether consciously or unconsciously. Apparently they looked at the baby Lori got. Ling Yu had long guessed that there was such a situation, and immediately waved her hand, and all the people of the Snow Moon Guild appeared, silently blocking the middle of the group of eyewitnesses and the little lowly. The person who is entrusted with the task is the person who does the task. Although Ling Yu also longed for that treasure for some reason, she valued Snow Moon's reputation and the possibility of friendly cooperation with Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup next more. However, she still seemed to have somewhat underestimated the greed of these people. Even though the snow moon crowd had appeared, there were still quite a few thieves. After all, that's a puzzle that even the AI can't solve. The difficulty is a testament to how golden the treasure is. And Glory, a game that has exploded across the globe, is not at all lacking in tycoons who are willing to spend money, only in some exotic treasures. There is a price for it. Just like the purple vestments worth millions on the two sisters, Ling Shui Ling Yu. There are a lot of dirtbags who can pay that kind of money. The equipment, however, is only two pieces. Grab Lori's baby, and get rich, seeing that the atmosphere in the venue is not right. The smooth uncle north and south wind immediately stepped forward to take a stand. 
Wind and Cloud World Guild and Snow Moon have traditionally been on good terms, saying that, he faintly swept a circle around the group of red-eyed people, his always gentle gaze unexpectedly became harsh, the aura of a long time in power was instantly on display, another group of people were scared into sobriety, but, is still not enough, greedily emotions are contagious, moreover, this place is crowded, even if the Snow Moon Guild and the Wind and Cloud World Guild are added together, the number of people can't compare to these scattered clusters, the older man's face looked a little less than stellar, he didn't think that he would have much use for standing up and trying to go along to give a favor to this big brother of pearl emerald white jade soup, seeing that the atmosphere was one of saber rattling, and that a gun could go off at any time, suddenly, the woman who had been silent stepped forward, there are so many of you trying to snatch this treasure, and if you were united, you could really snatch it, when these words came out, Ling Yu and Nan Feng Bei's faces changed, what does this woman mean, advising the enemy, getting them to unite and rob things, it's hard, to believe that she is also greedy at heart, the expressions of that group of casuals also became subtle, those who were previously shocked by snow moon and wind and cloud world were also revitalized, Ling Yu looked warily at, towards the womanizer, as long as she made an attacking move, Ling Yu would not hesitate to raise her staff and give her a big fireball, oblivious to Ling Yu's hostility, the female streamer frankly turned her back to Ling Yu and continued, only have you ever wondered what you're going to do with the treasure once you've got it, glory has an equipment list system, so it's clear which equipment is in whose hands, when you get your hands on it, do you use it for yourselves, then you must always remember, yourselves that this equipment was stolen from the hands of pearl emerald white jade soup, the supreme thief, you are, at all times, on the kill list for pearl emerald white jade soup, trust me, messing with a thief will hurt you, the moment these words came out, countless people's faces changed slightly, being targeted by a Jedi thief, they have a shitload of ability to keep this equipment, not only can't you keep it, but you'll even be remembered by the pearl jade white jade soup and hitch a ride on more stuff instead, you should know that the game glory cannot be deleted and retrained, once bound, you're tied to the character for life, the cost of messing with the pearl emerald white jade soup could be more serious than they had imagined, then we can sell it to the boss even if we don't use it ourselves, suddenly someone retorted, the female streamer immediately revealed an expression like looking at a retard, isn't the boss afraid of being targeted by the pearl emerald white jade soup, ask uncle north and south wind, would he dare to mess with pearl emerald white jade soup, with a few light words, the female streamer pushed the older man to the front of the stage and set him on the fire, this is a question to which the uncle is not pleasing, whether he answers yes or no, saying that if you dare to mess with it, then you might get a pearl jade white jade soup to hold a grudge, saying that you don't dare to mess with it, you've lost the prestige of being the head of your own club, the older man blushed in embarrassment and glanced at the womanizer, retaliation, this is naked revenge, he himself had tricked a guild member like the ladies merry-go-round with empty gloves, only to be backstabbed by her right away, uncle had no choice but to admit, I dare not provoke the pearl emerald white jade soup, this equipment, in the hands of other people, is a hot potato, at this moment, the longing in everyone's hearts dissipated quite a bit, Ling Yu also couldn't help but take a deep look at the female streamer, in three words, he hit the group's key points and completely dissolved their greed, this overwhelming intelligence is truly awe-inspiring, thanks a lot, Ling Yu rushed to thank the older man and the woman, if her equipment was robbed, she would not have the face to face the pearl emerald white jade soup who entrusted her with the task, no need to thank me, the female streamer responded indifferently, you should be thankful that pearl emerald white jade soup possesses an extremely high reputation, which is his merit and has nothing to do with me, a crisis that nearly erupted was diffused, the name of pearl emerald white jade soup has managed to shock everyone with ease, Ladagayan range, Chen Ming similarly experienced an explosion and coalescence of blue light, what eventually came to hand was a small carving knife, it's not an outfit, instead, it's a very rare prop, mainstone's carving knife, stage 1, orange epic, effect, can be used on equipment, used to port special properties from one piece of equipment to another, usage, 1 slash 1, replenished once a week with a maximum of 1 usage, forged stone carving knives and completed promotions can increase the number of usage, introduction, legend has it that in the ancient times, the dwarves abounded in skilled craftsmen, this is a once dwarven artisan of the god of the forging apparatus, the god of the artisan died, buried his treasures in the design of his heart and soul in the organs, non-capable people cannot get it, good stuff, Chen Ming revealed a look of delight, it was something that didn't take him two days to acquire for nothing, in the past two days, his rank had been caught up and he was no longer number one on the rank list, but getting the mainstone carving knife, makes it all worth it, porting special properties of equipment, his first thought was of his ink bamboo bracelet, the ink and bamboo bracelet was a purple equipment, but its attributes weren't good, 
and it wasn't even as good as some green level bracelets, but it's strong in having the attribute of a two-step jump. This is an attribute that will last a lifetime. If Chen Ning replaces his equipment, the two-step jump will disappear with the replacement of the ink and bamboo bracelet. Without replacing his equipment, the disadvantage of the ink and bamboo wrist attribute shortboard will become more and more obvious as his level increases. His purple ring, ring of flickering, was the same thing. They were all equipment that possessed special effects, but their intrinsic attributes were not considered excellent. Don't say keep two sets of equipment for replacement. In glory, it is not possible to change equipment while in a combat state. However, the appearance of the mainstay engraving knife solved this problem perfectly. In the future, when faced with the special skills carried on his equipment, Chen Ming would no longer need to make entangling choices. It's the little kids that make the choices. I want it all. It's worthy of being an orange level epic prop. It's awesome. Chen Ming has been able to imagine his own full body equipment with full special attributes. Attributes and strong, tricky and flexible moves look. It's truly mesmerizing. At this time, Lori also sent the props obtained over there. Cultivation Furnace, Stage 1, Orange Epic. Effect, when placed in the backpack, you can suck the essence of the monster's flesh and blood into the furnace forging after killing the monster, transforming it into an equal proportion of experience value to be stored. And after opening it, you can gain all the stored experience. Current conversion efficiency, 30, forging a cultivation furnace and completing a promotion increases the conversion efficiency. Introduction, legend has it that in the ancient times, the dwarf clan was full of skilled craftsmen. This is a dwarf artisan of the god of the forging apparatus. The god of the artisan died, buried his treasures in the design of his heart and soul in the organs. Non-competent people cannot get it. Chen Ming looked on with a smile on his face. 30 experience conversion rate. It's the same as having a 30 experience bonus when you bring this equipment. And that, is just the first stage. This equipment, like the, mainstay engraving blade, was capable of being upgraded. These two days delayed the time, so that he was caught up with the level by others. But now it seems that all this hard work and effort is worth it. Su Su, you're already level 10 right? Has the Qingfeng city map opened yet? Received an affirmative reply from Su Su. Then go back to Qingfeng city and wait for me. I'll be right there. Later I'll take you to a copy. This copy that Chen Ming was talking about was naturally not the hidden copy of the undead scourge that Snow Moon had previously opened. Instead, it was set up within the main city of Qingfeng City, a replica open to players from all over the world. It is also the first copy that all players will be exposed to following the normal route. The difficulty was not small, and the monsters inside spanned from level 15 to level 20, with numerous guilds organizing to advance without getting anything too good. However, Chen Ming didn't intend to fight through the copies this time. At a mere level 10, he wasn't worthy of raiding a copy with a maximum boss level of 20. He was planning to go in and steal something, because the best thing, popped out by the most powerful boss in the copy is said to be a pet egg. He couldn't help but feel a pang of anticipation at the thought. His wonderful hand, has long been hungry and thirsty, but before he can do that he has to be sure of one thing. That was whether or not the little lowly Susu had learned that very crucial skill after she had risen to level 10. The reason why he didn't go down to the copy alone before was because he was waiting for Su Su to learn that skill. With anticipation, Chan Ming, crushed the Qingfeng City's teleportation scroll. Qingfeng City. Chen Ming waited for Su Su's arrival in the center of the small town. The city wasn't big, but it was a lot busier than the novice village, but there were only two or three people coming and going. Although the highest level in the world has now come to level 12, while about 10% of the players have risen to level 10, the total number of players is still not too many. Dropping, a message came through, and Chen Ming clicked on it to see that it was definitely the announcement of the end of his own mini auction. The three day auction was something he had barely cared about, and it was only when the time reached the upper limit of the auction's time, which automatically ended in the form of the highest bidder winning, that Chen Ming remembered that he had also messed with such a thing. Click on the auction to take a look. Although he had already made some predictions about the total amount, he couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air after seeing it. 32063443 3,200,000. On average, each piece of equipment sells for around 250, 000 to 300, 000 dollars, whether white or green. With such a high premium, the value of the equipment itself is completely irrelevant. Equipment and whatnot has been automatically traded out through the system. However, Chen Ming also knew that these people were not drunk. What they wanted was their buddy position. Open the auction system. One by one. Find buyers and send over friend requests. These bosses wrongdoers Chen Ming cannot spare. Every single one of them is a fat goat yet. It might be time to go up there and slaughter them hard. And within this string of names that had been successfully auctioned off, Chen Ming saw a familiar name. Almost all of them were big names in their former lives. 
one by one, they were all existences that he needed to look up to, but now, the two sides have swapped identities, those existences that had once required Chen Ming to look up to them were at this point lowering their voices and spending money to beg him for a buddy spot, it's fucking awesome, Chen Ming cheerfully added up this group of tycoons, adding to the list, suddenly a familiar name came into view, King, the world, aha, uh -huh, he's adding me too, Chen Ming was slightly surprised, if he remembers correctly, this guy from the King's world even AOE him at the beginning when he was shading Snowmoon, saying that he is a useless person, and that Snowmoon spending a lot of money to hire him is a waste of financial resources, though not name calling himself, but it also made Chen Ming a bit upset, should we add him? Chen Ming subconsciously recalled an old saying, that the customer is God, and the one who pays is the master, the thought, however, only flickered, whether it was in his last life, or in this life, he had always been a hard-working laborer, and this idea that giving money was a big deal was more or less ingrained, but from this moment on, he is going to discard such thoughts, after glory, he'll be on top of the world, does such a character need to be concerned about what it means to give money to a master, care for your grandpa, Chen Ming directly ignored the king's world, as for a refund, that's not possible, you had a good blowjob earlier, so this is a little compensation, I, Chen Ming, am kind-hearted, so I won't bother with you that much, in this life, he not only wants to earn money, and step on the horse to stand and make the money again, one by one, the big boys come through, buddy, soon, all sorts of warm greetings were sent, Chen Ming responded politely, of course, these bosses were still very measured, knowing Chen Ming's habit of taking money to do his job, and not thinking of maliciously whoring for nothing, and honestly agreed with Chen Ming that if something came up and he was asked to do something, he would pay a considerable amount of compensation, overall, it was all talked about very well, only one sister's speech made Chen Ming a little surprised, woman of the stream, how did you solve the chessboard puzzle under the Radagon Mountains, how did you come up with a starting move like that, and those subsequent desperate moves, Chen Ming couldn't help but mutter, how do I know this, if you want to ask go ask the higher civilization that dropped glory into our world, aren't you a top student at Tsinghua, highly intelligent people who spend their days behind closed doors tinkering with all kinds of high-end research, you came to ask me, well, all I can tell you is that my secret is to drink more water and read the newspaper, snack less and sleep more, casual spitballing, his viewing of the sisterhood of women was not particularly favorable, because she's too sensible and calm, one could even say it's not human, although in her previous life she had the great achievement of killing 100, 000 troops of foreign invaders with a folded scheme, the cost was, personally hoodwinked his men, take 20, 000 living, breathing people and push them into the fire of certain death, let them die, it wasn't a game back then, instead, it's a real bloodbath when mirrored into reality, the dead or cold kind, although she had exchanged these 20, 000 men for 100, 000 troops from the other side, buying a breath of fresh air for Huaxia, it also made the world evaluate her as a lordly reincarnation, but Chen Ming, just instinctively could not afford to like this woman, but the female streamer didn't even know that Chen Ming held some malicious intent towards him, she looked at the line and analyzed it critically for a moment, with her beautiful eyes flashing, soon, she revealed a thoughtful expression, I understand, what he means is that I have been diving into academics, shutting the door of my room every day to study, is behind closed doors, or maybe it's that I'm straining myself too hard, I need a more relaxed lifestyle to unlock more of my brain's potential, n, makes sense, and a number of foreign academic journals have made similar claims, obviously, after witnessing Chen Ming break open the Radagon Mountain Range puzzle chess game, she had reached the point of being convinced of Chen Ming's intelligence, whatever Chen Ming said blindly, she would go crazy interpreting it, I see, thank you, the female streamer responded so, Chen Ming looked at the message that the female streamer had replied to and revealed a confused expression, ha, huh? what do you understand, no, is that what I said, how does this schoolgirl's brain circuitry feel out of place, subway cell phone for the elderly, waited close to 20 minutes, Chen Ming had thought that something had happened on Lori's side, Lori was finally late to the party, sir, sorry to keep you waiting, Lori ran panting, the strenuous exercise made her speak up and down, you ran back, Chen Ming revealed a surprised expression, don't you know that you can buy return scrolls in Qingfeng City, Lori blushed and stammered, there, is a little expensive, I cannot afford to buy, expensive, Chen Ming was dumbfounded, the scroll of return is the most personal prop in this game, you can buy one for 5 coins, converted to RMB, it's only 50 cents, you can trade for it by fighting a few monsters in the wild, what's there to save, didn't you get a share of 4 or 5 thousand from pill refining before, Chen Ming asked suspiciously, in fact, 
with the value of Lori's labor. It's not worth that much at all. It's just gathering. After all, if Chen Ming really wanted to find someone to do this job, he estimated that he could get it done for $500. He gave Lori a tenfold premium because he could see that Lori seemed to be a bit shy, and felt that since he was going to take Lori as a dedicated priest, it was only natural that he should pay her a little bit of a salary. But it's only been a few days. Four or five thousand and it's all gone? Lori, I withdrew all the money mister. Gave to mom and dad. After all, I've been spending their money by living at home and not going out to work. Then why don't you go to work? Chen Ming casually returned. Lori blushed. I, I have a leg disability since I was a child. I can't walk. So, but lately it's much better. I've been saving up for a few years on a part-time job online, and I was able to get a gaming helmet for glory. Not only can I walk now, I can make money. Chen Ming was silent. No wonder Lori was so lost and helpless when she realized at level 1 that she had no skills and was disliked by the crowd. No wonder she was so happy to be dead to herself like that after she gave her that little sweet. Glory is a game to the vast majority of people. For Lori, it was the hope of life, and the new experience of being able to walk. When today's copy is done, why don't you go pick up some more herbs and pay you according to the previously discussed price? Although Chen Ming said that it was according to the original price, he actually secretly decided to give more in his heart. Treating a good, self-supporting child like Lori with respect is far better than going over there and manifesting your own pity. Yes sir, I'll be sure to collect the herbs carefully. It was wonderful to meet Mr. Since I gave dad $4, 500 the day before yesterday, he hasn't hit me in two days, and mom hasn't scolded me much in two days, and I get to eat meat when I eat at the table. The little lowly raised her head and flashed a coy smile at Chen Ming. Chen Ming read pure happiness and joy in her eyes. Fight? Cursing? Meat? As Chen Ming listened to the harsh words and then looked at the innocent smile of the little lowly, his heart unexpectedly ached for no reason. He suddenly understood somewhat why a powerful dragon priest like Lori hadn't made a half-decent name for herself in her previous life. It's not even easy to live in a family like that with a lot of commiseration. If Lori hadn't met herself and found out that the game was completely unprofitable, then would her mom and dad have let her keep playing? The answer is no. Chen Ming was silent for a long time. But in the end, he had no words to respond to Lori's innocent smile. In the end, he took the orange epic prop cultivation furnace that Lori had traded. Then silently, he punched $10,000 into Lori's card. He was going to hit a million in one breath. But the fear that this naive little girl would take all the $1 million to her unworthy parents and cheapen those two for nothing, making them double their greed and thus do some unimaginably bad deeds to the little lowly. Whether it's squeezing Lori for money, or getting yourself in trouble by finding yourself through Lori, none of it was what Chen Ming wanted to see. Sometimes it takes brains to do good deeds. This 10. 000 is your hard work fee for helping me take this prop. Don't reject it. This prop can be sold for tens of millions of dollars to say the least. To give you a draw 01, you can just sneakily enjoy it. Chen Ming deliberately showed himself to be mean. Hearing this, the little lowly let go of her heart and beautifully thanked Chen Ming repeatedly. She's never seen five figures in her life. You rise to level 10 and have learned that priests. The skill, enhancement? Chen Ming didn't want to continue that heavy topic and cut to the purpose of the day. Enhancement, a buff that priests can learn at level 10. The effect is to enhance the effect of a certain skill of a teammate. For example, the thief's sneak skill. The black shadow left behind by a thief's sneak is considerably lighter if blessed by the enhancement spell. If Chen Ming wanted to go to that copy and steal the treasure of a level 25 boss, he had to have the blessing of enhancement technique. Moreover, it couldn't be the blessing of an ordinary enhancement technique. It has to be more advanced. Take for example the enhancement technique that Long Mu Loli possesses. You can learn enhancement technique from your mentor but I didn't. Lori stammered a bit as she spoke. Chen Ming understood as soon as he heard it. This little girl must be heartbroken about the 5 silver coins for learning skills. After all, 5 silver coins is equal to $500. The little lowly can't even afford to buy a 50 cents return ticket to the city. Letting her learn a $500 skill, wouldn't it be killing her little life? You're my dedicated priest. I'll cover all your skill costs from now on. After all, I'm the one enjoying your buffs right? Go on. Learn the skills. Chen Ming directly traded over 10 silver coins. Priests are level 10 and can learn 2 skills as well. Soon, Lori came to the Adventurer's Guild and completed the skills. Unsurprisingly to Chen Ming, after she learned the skill, the same thing as herself happened the skill, produced a mutation. Sir, I, I seem to have problems with my skills again. Lori panicked. With a crying voice, Enhancement Technique became Dragonborn Holy Word Enhancement, and Holy Light Technique became Dragonborn Holy Word Holy Light. I'm sorry sir, I didn't mean it, I, I don't know what's going on, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, 
for wasting another 10 silver coins on Mr. Listening to Chen Ming caused another pang of heartache. You really don't have to be so humble. Chen Ming revealed a gentle smile and rubbed the little lowly's head. Don't be afraid. These skills are just because you're a hidden profession and have gained evolution on your own. Instead of wasting my money, you've given me a windfall yet. Lori settled down a bit then, nodding heartily. Let Lori try the skill effect. Sure enough, just as Chen Ming had expected, both skills had received a rather high increase. It's a big difference compared to the skills of an ordinary priest. The Enhancement Advancement version of Dragonborn Holy Word Enhancement Paired with my Sneak Advancement version of Phantom Shadow, Chen Ming revealed a confident smile. He believed that he could get what he wanted from the copy. Take Lori to the west side of town. There is a notice board here. From time to time, some bounty quests given by Qingfeng City would be posted on it. And at the very top of the notice board hung a bright red bounty. Poisonous Swamp and Dark Marsh, reward for the purge. Offer a reward for warriors to go to the Poisonous Swamp Dark Marsh to clear out a bunch of poisonous creatures. And you can receive a generous reward upon completion. Replica type quest. Limit, 10 people. Here at the bounty notice board. There would have been a crowd gathering. As soon as Chen Ming showed his face, he attracted countless gazes. And when he reached out and touched the bright red lettering of the reward mission at the top of the notice board, the light flickered. Chen Ming and Little Lori were instantly sucked in. At this, the people around them gasped. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother is going to challenge this copy? Ghost, how come he's only got one person with him? A double challenge for this copy? Isn't this looking for death? The difficulty of this copy can be far better than the previous end of the apocalypse. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother this is not a death wish? Although Qingfeng City was the lowest level 5 main city, it still covered at least 4 to 500 players from the surrounding novice villages. Almost all of these players who were able to come to Qingfeng City at this time were experts, and were the backbone of certain guilds. And after being witnessed by such a group of players, Chen Ming with a small lowly, the two killed into the poisonous swamp dark swamp, copy of the news, then spread. Soon enough, it reached the ears of the major guild presidents. When Chen Ming opened his eyes again, there was a dark swamp in front of him. The sky was gray, accompanied by rolling thunder. The miasma was so thick that a green mist could be vaguely seen filling the air just with the naked eye. Through the thin green mist, a garrison of human soldiers could be seen, a few simple tents with the emblem of Clearwind City emblazoned on them. Two campfires with embers still burning. As the firelight swayed, the tent reflected the shadows of several soldiers sitting or lying down. Su Su was frightened by the weird atmosphere, and somewhat nervously leaned in close to Chen Ming. Mister, there seems to be someone over there. Let us lean over and take a look. There's someone over there? Chen Ming revealed a somewhat complicated expression. This map. He was impressed. In his last life, when he entered this copy, he was also startled by the eerie atmosphere, and held the same thought as Su Su, thinking that there were NPCs stationed at the bonfire where the embers were burning. It's only after you go over there with that thought in mind that you realize it was a monster ambush. Follow me. Chen Ming brought Su Su in a big circle to avoid that camp. Although Su Su was puzzled as to why she had to deliberately avoid that only seemingly safe place and walk in the land full of mud and swamps, she didn't open her mouth, but obediently followed behind Chen Ming. Soon they circled around to the back of the camp, changed the angle, the shadow reflected by that swaying campfire, he turned into another look, there were no soldiers sitting or lying down at all, there was just a whole bunch of buggy-like things hugging each other in a peculiar way, forming a couple of figures at a frontal angle, Su Su just looked at it and turned her little face pale, creepy, it's so weird, anyone would never have expected that those seemingly normal shadows were actually a mass of bugs and insects surrounding the formation, bugs with super high IQs that also make lure traps, at the thought of this, the little lowly shivered and pressed a few more points tighter towards Chen Ming's body. Actually, it's not just the shore. In the swamp, there is also crisis. If you weren't careful, you would step on some shrimp and crab-like magical creatures. But the monsters here are full of creepiness. For example, it's obviously a crab, but there's a shrimp head inexplicably growing at the pincer, or possess a shrimp body at each link, where the shrimp feet should grow, but crazy split, grow a new shrimp body, a shrimp as if a string of ordinary, bloated, disgusting, if you ask Chen Ming to comment, this copy, on the other hand, is only worthy of the word netherworld, even if the replica experience was rich, he didn't want to brush the monsters here, according to the experience summarized in his previous life strategy, Chen Ming had a thrilling journey, circumventing the vast majority of the trouble, and brought little Lori to a dilapidated wooden house, the cabin was corroded and crumbling, but it was the only safe place in this weird, poisonous swamp, Su, buff my enhancement, before Chen Ming's words fell, his entire body quietly disappeared, as if an eraser, it erased his figure out of thin air, buzz, 
The holy light once again bloomed on Lori. The majestic dragon text was chanted out. Chen Ming felt a majestic force enveloping his body. His phantom shadow skills are augmented. A one second delayed black shadow becomes three seconds? Triple the effect. It's really worthy of being a hidden profession dragon shepherd. If I were to replace it with an ordinary priest, it's still a toss up whether or not I can enchant the special phantom shadow skill of mine. Chen Ming's face showed excitement. Triple the effect. Plus, phantom shadow was already a rather special skill. He fooled a level 25 boss with a level 10 ability. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? Su Su, wait here for me. I'll be right back. Lori she subconsciously glanced at the horrific surroundings and couldn't help but tighten her grip on the staff in her arms. She wanted to say that she was afraid, but fearing that she would delay the gentleman's business, she fought back her fear and nodded meekly. It's so knowledgeable it hurts. Chen Ming told her to be able to pull up other sites in the game, check out the forums, or brush up on her videos to more or less ease her fears. Lori nodded obediently and opened the game forums. Chen Ming left with the effects of Phantom Shadow all the way. He tentatively approached the weird-looking monsters. As he expected, these monsters didn't even notice his approach. Even when the Black Shadow with a three-second delay approached, they ignored it. Apparently, the Dragonborn Holy Word enhancement was so powerful that it didn't just strengthen the delay time of the Phantom Shadow shadow, but it also strengthened the concealment effect of the Dark Shadow. This little lowly picks up also smells too good. Really can't help but want to pick her up and take her home to nurse her. Don't. Dangerous thoughts need to be put to rest. They're not orphans without parents. What's wrong with me picking them up? Trafficking women and children, right? Rambling all the way. Chen Ming kept pushing his way through the swamp. And while Chen Ming explored the swamp, outside, a group of guild bigwigs had already appeared near the notice board on the west side of the city. Some of the players who were planning to take on some small quests revealed shocked expressions. What's with all the bigots all of a sudden? That uncle? Isn't that Southwind North? Ghost? The Snow Moon Double Jedi are there too. The one with a big sword on his back. Could it be that Berserker Jin Jyo? The big boys are gathered. And when they opened their mouths, it was a pearl. Jade in white jade soup. How long has the pearl emerald white jade soup been in there? Who did he bring with him? Did someone shortcut him and ask him to raid this copy? A group of bigwigs were nervous as hell. And when they learned from their ears that the pearl emerald white jade soup had only taken one person in, they all breathed a sigh of relief. Luckily, it wasn't pearl jade white soup taking over someone else's mission. They all wanted to imitate Snow Moon and raid this copy of Poisonous Swamp Dark Marsh with the help of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, but the highest level boss of this copy was as high as level 25, and they didn't think that even if they believed in Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup anymore, they didn't think that he would be able to raid this copy. Didn't you see that when he was clearing Undead Scourge, he was all kryptonite pinching monster iconography and rushing to level 10? This shows that even the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup cannot break through the limitations of the grade. As a result, the bigwig's expressions became puzzled. What's a level 10 pearl emerald white jade soup? Running to this copy for? Could it be that he wants to brush up his experience and rush his level in the copy? But the lowest level monsters in this copy are all level 15. Pearl emerald white jade soup has trouble even hitting. Nanfong Bei didn't participate in the discussion of the bigwigs. After pondering for a moment, he looked at Lingyu. President Qingfeng rang you. You're the most familiar with pearl emerald white jade soup. Do you know what he's going down to the copy for? When these words came out, everyone looked at Ling Yu, and let everyone is a little puzzled. Ching Feng Rang Yu this always quite a city heroine, even at this time showed a slightly flustered expression. Damn. What does uncle mean by this ah? What do you mean I'm most familiar with pearl jade white jade soup? This is very easy to make people ambiguous okay. Ling Yu spat in her heart. Apparently, though, she was overthinking herself. The big guy didn't even think about it in that way. Uncle is also simply just talking about a few deals with Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup and Snow Moon. However, when everyone looked at Ling Yu's expression like this, they were convinced that Ling Yu knew certain insider information and asked questions, and Ling Yu had actually pondered this. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup to enter the copy at the level of 10. What exactly is the purpose? She had just heard that Su Su had followed her into the copy, so she had secretly and quietly asked Su Su about it. Unfortunately, Su Su, the little girl, was very tight-lipped. Half of it reveals the purpose of the pearl emerald white jade soup. It is like a little loyal dog with pearl jadeite and white jade soup. No matter how Ling Yu tried to lure them, it was useless. Obviously, she was a little lowly who seemed soft and easy to bully on a regular basis. But once she encountered something related to the pearl emerald white jade soup, she became quite tough. There was nothing Ling Yu could do about it. One can only think for oneself. And the result of thinking is that she cannot help but look at the purple vestment she is wearing. This vestment on her sister Ling Shui, also had the exact same model. 
It was the pearl emerald white jade soup tricked out of the bag. She didn't believe Chen Ming's perfunctory bullshit at the time. What hit the fan and realized there was one more piece. When she analyzed it afterwards, she felt more and more that the pearl emerald white jade soup was nonsense. And the only explanation lies in the occupation of the pearl emerald white jade soup. Thief. After a moment of silence, Ling Yu analyzed. I suspect that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is planning to enter the copy, to steal something valuable. When faced with an opponent you can't beat, try stealing something. That's the usual way thieves play, isn't it? The crowd nodded. This is indeed a playstyle that thief players are keen on, and it often comes with unexpected rewards. Only the probability isn't that high, but a bigot like Pearl Jade White Soup might be different. When they thought of this, the tycoons, they couldn't help but discuss it. After all, the height of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup's battle power was also somewhat related to them. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup was bullish, so that they could comfortably hug their thighs, wasn't it? It feels like it shouldn't be too hard to steal the first elite monster with the strength of the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup big guy, right? Not necessarily. The first elite monster is a full level 17, the highest ranked foreign guild, which organized 10 level 13 top players, couldn't defeat that boss, and the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup will be discovered as soon as it passes by. That's not necessarily true. That's a pearl. Jade and white jade soup. It feels like the white jade soup big guy can definitely steal the first elite monster. Just as everyone was excitedly discussing it. Ling Yu, however, coldly spoke. Elite monsters? I feel like with pearl emerald white jade soup's vision. Surely it's not just this much. I doubt it. He'll just steal the first boss. This statement was made. The crowd wore shocked expressions. Ching. President Wind Ranging Moon. Are these words true? The first boss. That's a level 20 monster. Only that strongest foreign guild in the world has seen it. Yeah, in front of a level 20 boss. A level 10 thief stealth is like a game. It'll be seen through casually. President Qingfeng Rongmu. I know you're on good terms with the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup bigwigs, but you don't have to brag about it so much, do you? No one believed Ling Yu's words. Even Uncle Nanfeng Bei, who has always been friendly with Snow Moon, spoke up and retorted after asking the thief players in the guild. I asked the thief players in the guild. And they all said that it is impossible for a level 10 thief to steal a level 20 boss. Ling Yu didn't retort anymore. Instead, he raised his eyebrows slightly. Obviously, she didn't believe the crowd. Although with her own gaming experience, she agreed with the words of these guild bigwigs. But somehow, she always felt that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup would not do such a common thing. Going down to steal an elite monster that isn't even a boss? She doesn't believe it. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup this guy. If he wants to do something, he will only do something great. Chen Ming didn't realize that his small action had attracted the attention of quite a few guild bigwigs. He was deep into the swamp's hinterland at this point. With the Dragonborn Holy Word Enhanced Phantom Shadow Skill, plus the Ink and Bamboo Bracelet's two-step jump, and the rings included Blink Skill, Chen Ming possessed terrifying maneuverability and stealth. There was no danger along the way. Came near the boss. The boss here is a giant spider with a human face pattern growing on its back, eight long legs, each comparable to a large man. It hangs overhead in a net over the valley in the hinterland of the swamp. Even though Chen Ming had a smooth journey before, he still couldn't help but feel a little nervous at this moment. After all, it was a boss that was a full 15 levels higher. In the place of an ordinary thief, the figure would be detected just by looking at it from afar. Instead, what he was going to do was to climb up the spider web and get close to the huge sphinx. Carefully climb the spider web. Chen Ming's movements were already very light. However, that human-faced demon spider, which was originally curled up and hovering on the spider web, made a steep movement. It seemed to sense something. Somewhat puzzled, he looked up to where Chen Ming was. The eight scarlet eyeballs that were covered in black fluff swept sternly towards where Chen Ming was. Fortunately, Chen Ming's calmness far exceeded that of ordinary people. He forcibly restrained the urge to escape, and steadied himself on the spider silk without moving, his eyes staring directly at the terrifying eight scarlet spider eyes without flinching. This, the basic training of a hunter. In any case, one should not fear the prey. After a number of seconds, Spider withdrew his gaze and fell into a deep sleep once more. Only then did Chen Ming silently look at the cobwebs on the bottom of his feet. Apparently, cobwebs improve the perception of spiders. Spiders in reality are able to determine the location and size of their prey through the vibration of their webs. The ones in the game seem to have this ability as well. That's going to be tough. The spider web was simply restraining against his sneaking, and the spider hovered in midair. In addition to accompanying the web forward, Chun, Ming was unable to get close to the spider. Even if he had a two-step jump and the blink skill, he couldn't get close to the spider hanging in midair. What can be done about this? Chen Ming frowned slightly. In his previous life, he entered the game too late, 
and this copy all belonged to the level of casual leveling, and even if there were cheats, it was just a run-through cheat to avoid everyone being disgusted by the weird creatures, no one has really looked into how to steal this boss, yet, after all, who would idly research stealing a boss that could be fucked in two slashes, just as Chen Ming was somewhat at a loss, suddenly, the bottom right corner of his queue flashed, a familiar ID lit up, wandering in the darkness the king of divine devouring, heh, I heard that you embarked on a forbidden treasure hunt, heh, worthy of being a companion that my old lady has her eye on, I'm sure you share the same exciting idea of wandering on the edge of danger as I do, speak human, Chen Ming was getting annoyed, and grumpily interrupted the middle-aged queen's nonsense, who would have thought that the queen of the middle two would not care, and was still there, intoxicated, making strange and bizarre remarks, Chen Ming couldn't hold back and sent over his sky shard tooth double dagger icon, like the day he touched the dagger when he inadvertently scratched his thigh, sure enough, the queen of the middle two resumed the function of human speech, to break the news to you, I've already explored, poisonous zephyr dark swamp, and the most important treasure of this copy is not in the boss, but in the pile of spider eggs behind the boss, if you find the treasure, remember to give me a cut, I trust your credibility, eh, I've taken a screenshot of this conversation, if you flip out, I'll post it right away and your reputation will be ruined, gee, despite the threats, you're still doing your job as a treasure hunting dog, after replying with the word good, Chen Ming raised his head to look behind the sphinx demon spider, there, piles of countless spider eggs, in there, there will be real treasure, more valuable than the pet eggs that bosses can pop, you know, that boss's pet egg, but in the previous life, glory players recognized that the strongest baby in the first 30 levels, there is no one, more precious than it is, what would that have to be, overall, Chen Ming still quite believed in the queen of the middle too, after all, when he ran away two days ago, he had watched as the level of the queen of the middle two rushed from the initial level 8 to level 12 like a roller coaster, before slowly dropping back to level 10, at first glance, it looks like he's running off to explore a map with monsters far above his level, it can be matched with the information she's revealed at this point, more importantly, the queen set herself up, there is no reason ah, he didn't team up with her, and in an absolutely independent space like a copy, even if he, Chan Ming, was all out of equipment, she wouldn't have a chance to pick it up, try believing her once, Chen Ming did what he said he would do, in order to avoid causing vibrations on the spider web and drawing the attention of the sphinx demon spider, Chen Ming didn't hesitate to surrender his blink skill, vanished from the spider's web out of thin air, after landing, he immediately pulled out a blue pill and took a sip, what he had disposed of to Ling Yu before was only the vast majority of it, and he had left himself nearly a hundred bottles in stock, only after the blue pill was consumed and the blue amount was fully restored did Chen Ming carefully crouch and quietly advance, he showed considerable caution, after all, you have to go underneath a spider that big, it's impossible to say there's no psychological pressure, the whole canyon is very quiet, Chen Ming looked at his buff duration, n, there was still enough time, if this were a normal priest, the enhancement spell effect would have been gone long ago, no, if it was a normal priest's enhancement spell, he'd have just gotten close enough to the spider that his head would have been twisted off and turned into crunchy chicken flavor, Chen Ming thought wildly, and with an extremely slow speed, he passed through the canyon and came to the end, it's here, piles of countless spider eggs, but it's not vivid, air dried and crushed, it seems to have been something left over from countless years ago, Chen Ming suspiciously scanned the circle, dilapidated, is the dominant tone here, don't say baby, it was the things that could be slightly useful that Chen Ming had yet to see, to say that this place is a pile of crap is not even an understatement, what kind of treasure can there be here, did the queen of middle childhood sense wrong, the treasure is not in this pile of spider eggs, but underneath them? Ming Chen remembered that this map also had a very netherworld cave. Entering through the cavern can lead you straight to the underground dark river, which is filled with things that are several times more disgusting than those bugs, crabs and shrimps. Fortunately, there was only one elite mini-boss in there, and there weren't too many lucrative rewards for normal people to go in. But if the treasure that the queen senses is in the underground river field, at this location, then Chen Ming will have to harden his heart and enter the underground river map of that netherworld. Just as Chen Ming was having some headaches, suddenly, he noticed a gain icon in his buff bar that was flashing wildly, Dragonborn Holy Word Enhanced, time remaining, 7 minutes, 49 seconds, just a second passed, the duration of Dragonborn Holy Word Enhancement was then violently reduced, only 7 minutes and 39 seconds remain, what the hell, 1 second to 10, Chen Ming was startled, how did the buff duration of Dragonborn Holy Word Enhancement start decreasing by a factor of 10? He was able to run amok in the poisonous swamp of darkness thanks to the Dragonborn Holy Word Enhancement, BU, FF. 
If it's gone, won't it just be mailed? Chan Ming, who had originally planned to stay on this side of the spider egg for a bit longer to take a closer look, dismissed the idea. He doesn't have that much time. It was too late to even think about why the buff time produced such a change. Chen Ming immediately retreated. Just then, out of the corner of his eye, he caught a glimpse of gold. That gold color was faint. Chen Ming almost didn't notice before. That faint golden color actually formed something like a band of light, overflowing from his own body and slowly drifting towards those spider eggs. Taking a closer look, Chen Ming was unexpectedly momentarily dazzled, feeling that the faint golden band of light seemed to be flying like a tiny, golden dragon. Dragon? Chen Ming instantly associated himself with the dragonborn holy word, buff on his body. Add to that the sudden accelerated flow of buffs, and this band of light was a muddy picture of being drawn out of one's own body. A bold idea came to his mind. Could it be that there is something related to dragons here? That thing that was drawing power from the dragonborn holy word buff on itself? Ghost. What a find. Chen Ming's heart skipped hard. He never knew that there were such good things in this copy. No wonder so many teams had explored this copy in previous generations and turned it upside down without finding anything precious. Even the queen of the middle too, who possessed the talent of one in a million, only sensed that there was a treasure in the vicinity, but never managed to find it. Without the power of the dragon, everything is just talk. Unless it was like Chen Ming, both have information given to them by the queen of the middle too. Another dragonborn buff given by dragon shepherd Lori, plus the phantom shadow sneaking skill that came from his own top-notch talent. All three in one. It's what possesses the qualifications to find this baby. Chen Ming followed the golden light radiating from his body and slowly approached the pile of spider eggs. Where? Was it buried inside a spider egg? These spider eggs are taller than a man. Years have passed and the area is littered with the remains of spider eggs. Trying to flip through and find the treasure buried underneath the spider eggs without disturbing the spiders is not easy. Plus the crazy shrinking duration of the enhancement buff. Chen Ming knew that his time was running out. No. If we keep looking so slowly, we don't know when it's going to end. If I deplete Susu's increased buff, I'll be spotted straight away just the same. Spell it out. Chen Ming ruthlessly gritted his teeth. The hand movements were no longer careful. Jerking up a piece of dried and cracked spider egg shell he simply tossed it away. Frantically digging towards the ground. Without a doubt. Chen Ming's actions instantly drew the attention of the Sphinx Demon Spider. Even if Chen Ming still maintained his sneak state. Available at. The Sphinx Spider was a level 25 boss. In this situation that was comparable to self-detonation, the Sphinx Demon Spider naturally noticed the difference at a glance. Squee! High-frequency sound waves slammed into the air. The Sphinx Demon Spider was shocked and furious. Its eight spider legs spread out violently, allowing it to dart swiftly across the spider's web, heading straight for Chen Ming. Even if Chen Ming didn't turn around, he could still feel the huge. A great deal of pressure came to bear. No. Or not. Where? Where the hell is it? Chen Ming's heavenly calamity teeth flew in his hands, and the spider eggs on the ground had already been overturned by him for the most part. Blade Storm. Since he had put up a fight, Chen Ming no longer hesitated and directly threw a sword blade storm towards the bottom of his feet. The powerful sword chi swirled and stirred. Countless spider eggs were frantically cut and torn apart. The ground, covered by spider eggs, gradually reveals itself. But, there is nothing more than half a dozen hard stones and moss all over the ground. Where's the stuff? Chen Ming frowned. The human-faced demon spider has killed behind him. Whoosh. It's the sound of cobwebs spraying. As long as you are wrapped in a spider web, you will surely die. Chen Ming violently leapt up in a two-stage jump, managing to dodge the attack behind him. But the spiders of the Sphinx demon spider spewed out more than just once. A second round of spiders followed. Unable to maneuver in mid-air, Chen Ming could only rely on blinking to climb up into the air again. Once again dodging the spider web spray from the Sphinx demon. Two jumps. Blinking. Chen Ming's bottom card had been exhausted. As he watched, the Sphinx Demon Spider's third and final spider web spray was ready. Chen Ming could only helplessly wait for his death in midair. But Chen Ming had no time to care about his own death. He frowned. Where the hell is that so-called baby? Just as he was at a loss. Suddenly, he looked to the patch of rocky ground that had been exposed after being cleared of most of the spider eggs. His face suddenly changed. Standing on that rocky outcrop before, he hadn't been able to see anything yet. But after delivering a two-step jump as well as blinking in order to avoid the Sphinx Demon Spider, and almost pulling up to a mid-air position, and then looking down, he just snapped to attention. That's not even a rock. Instead, it was a large, massive egg born of some creature. It's huge beyond belief. The entire valley crevice was filled with it raw. It was covered in cracks. It was as if it had long since dried and petrified, and no longer had any life in it. No wonder those spider eggs are rooted here one by one. 
They're drawing some kind of power from the egg. Shocker. How could Chen Ming not think that the treasure that he had so painstakingly sought was so blatantly displayed outside, not knowing the true face of MT? It's just a matter of being here. Pop. The spider silk of the Sphinx demon spider once again bound Chen Ming. As he expected, he was killed in direct seconds. But on the temporary occasion, the corners of Chen Ming's mouth, however, revealed a satisfied smile. Swish. Chen Ming was resurrected in his soul state at the entrance of the duplicate. Phew. This is still my first death in glory I guess. Still, it's no loss to me to find that thing. Saying that, the corners of Chen Ming's mouth lifted slightly, unable to suppress a smile. Dragon eggs, that massive size, that special effect that interacted with the dragonborn holy word buff, nothing is a reflection of the identity of that huge egg. And the most critical thing is that, Chen Ming tried to steal the dragon egg with his own wonderful hand on the temporary occasion, and the tip he got was that it can be used, but the distance is too far please use it close to him at that time. He was flying in mid-air. I'm choosing to just resurrect and not run the body. Chen Ming was reborn in place, deducted 50 experience points. The death penalty in the duplicate is lower than in the wild, but it exists. If you run near a corpse in soul state to revive it, only 20 experience will be deducted. But Chen Ming's corpse was right next to the Sphinx Demon Spider, and if he resurrected himself directly there, he wouldn't be able to beat the Dragonborn Holy Words buff given by Su Su. You can only choose to respawn in place, at the cost of 50 experience deduction. At the entrance of the copy, Pop, his experience value dropped violently. He hadn't done much to brush up on his experience after he originally rose to level 10. This experience drop sent him straight back to level 9. Glory doesn't show mercy by docking experience to zero, as much as it should be. If this level is not enough, the previous level will be used to compensate. Fortunately though, as long as Chen Ming didn't take the initiative to remove the equipment on his body, even if he was only level 9, he could continue to use those level 10 equipment. Sir, you, how did you drop your level? Lori sent a timely message. Apparently, although Chen Ming had told her to browse the forums and paddle around, she was still paying attention to the progress of her copy's advancement, and had sent a message of concern just as soon as she died. Small problem, after I come to you later and give me another buff, you can just leave the copy. Next you can go and keep picking herbs until I rush medicine refining to level 10. Chen Ming remembered that many copies of bosses have the setting of provoking anger, especially since the thieves touched their treasure. Once enraged, then the entire copy would be in a state of madness, and the safe position that Su Su was in could become no longer safe. After finding Su Su and regaining the Dragonborn Holy Word buff, Chen Ming once again set off on his journey. As for Su Su, although she wanted to accompany Chen Ming on his adventure, she knew that she was not strong enough, and after silently wishing Mr. Good luck, she obediently chose to leave the copy. Swish. White light flashes. So back outside the copy. And as soon as she appeared, a group of people jerked their heads toward her. That's the little girl that Pearl Jade White Jade Soup's big brother brought with him. Isn't it? Yes. It's him. She was also the one who broke the chess puzzle in the Radagon Mountain Range earlier instead of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. She's out. Does that mean the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is going to give up too? N. Look at them into the copy is not long. It is estimated that did not get any benefits. Intends to give up it. Hey. Or on the pearl very white jade soup overly trust. He is strong. But also to comply with the basic principles. It's a shame. I thought pearl emerald white jade soup could do something great. The group shook their heads inside. Although there were no overly aggressive remarks. Su Su still couldn't help but pout and huffed. I forbid you to look down on mister. In Su Su's opinion. As long as they don't believe in pearl emerald white jade soup. They are looking down on him. Lori is usually very soft. However, when faced with matters related to Chen Ming, he was quite tough. The group of bigwigs didn't get angry when they were disliked by the little lowly. Instead they were happy. Little sister. Don't think we don't know that Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother has just been killed when he dropped from level 10 to level 9. And it's still the kind where you don't even dare to pick up the corpse. This little sister is quite cute. Are you Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother's sister in reality? Defending him so much? Cute little girl. Too bad you have to recognize reality sometimes. That's right. We watched the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup big guy drop one level. That already says a lot. The big men were very amiable. But what they said made Lori furious. However, Lori really doesn't know what to say in return. Because she didn't know exactly what Mr. was doing in there. Humph. In the end, Lori huffed and puffed and turned her head away from the group of bored uncles. Clutching her staff herself and staring straight at the notice board. Even if Ling Yu came to strike up a conversation. She didn't want to take care of it. She was convinced. Mister. Will definitely make it. Just like when the monsters attacked the city. 
The entire village did not believe in Chen Ming, but she still believed in it. She stubbornly turned her back on the crowd. Chen Ming made light work of the situation and once again killed the Sphinx Demon Spider's position. The Sphinx Demon Spider, who had been furious before, had once again fallen into a semi-sleeping state at this time. Chen Ming carefully passed underneath it. Come to the location of the pile of spider eggs. Extend your palms and aim them at the ground. Chen Ming held back his excitement. Wonderful hands. Ding mythical hand used successfully. Congratulations on obtaining the dragon's essence. Not dragon eggs? Chen Ming was slightly disappointed. But the whirlwind perked up. Think about it. This dragon egg was something left over from some ancient time. It has weathered into this shape. And can even be ridden on by a level 25 spider to draw power like crazy. Even if they are still alive. They must be in pretty bad shape. It's only natural that you can't steal a dragon's egg. It's pretty nice to get other dragon related stuff. Tap the backpack to take a look. Dragon's essence, the dragons that ruled the continent in ancient times possessed the strongest physical bodies, and unrivaled souls, and were the most powerful and deservedly strongest existences on the continent. Even if the flesh fails to hatch and the physical body is not constructed, the pure soul essence can continue to survive for a long time. Carefully cared for, there may be unexpected surprises. Carefully cared for, maybe there will be a surprise? Chen Ming muttered, and then a flash of joy appeared on his face. That's a hint. That's obvious enough. Plus detailed text in the blurb. It has been made abundantly clear that this thing is a dragon. However, it was the disabled little dragon whose physical body had failed to nurture and was empty of a spiritual body. But it's enough. Chen Ming remembered that in his previous life, even those top bigwigs around the world were not necessarily qualified to harness such epic creatures as dragons. Strongly holding back his excitement, Chen Ming put away the dragon essence and turned his head to run. Didn't wait for him to run out far. Suddenly, he heard the sharp hissing of a sphinx spider at ultra-high frequency from the other side of the valley. Ding area boss sphinx tarantula has been enraged. All creatures in the dark marsh copy of the poisonous swamp fall into a berserk state. Sure enough, enraged. It was right to let Susu out before. Chen Ming ran furiously all the way, relying on the dual enchantment of phantom shadow and dragonborn sacred word increase. He managed to avoid the rampaging variety of monsters and escape from the copy. As soon as he exited the copy, Chen Ming realized that the surrounding area was already filled with people. Su Su, on the other hand, was eyeballing herself. Mr. Sir, did you, you succeed? Chen Ming had no intention of hiding it and directly nodded. It worked. It wasn't that he didn't understand that money doesn't come in handy. Rather, the copy boss enters an enraged state, which can be as long as half a year and a year, or as short as three days and two days. He couldn't hide it at all. Instead of hiding it, we should admit it graciously. Susu instantly laughed happily, then looked triumphantly at the group of uncles who looked down on Mr. But what Susu doesn't know is this. In the eyes of the group of older men, this kind of ambiguous answer from Chen Ming was not a sign of success at all. Instead, it's more like it's just something you force out to save your dignity so you don't lose face in front of your sister. Although the bosses had some guesses in their minds, they had after all paid for Chen Ming's best friend's seat, so they couldn't say it to his face, and only waited for Chen Ming to leave with Susu before discussing it with a lot of talk. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup just went in for like half an hour, probably didn't even encounter the first boss, right? Mostly, there are still quite a lot of elite monsters along the way, and his level is too low to fool the elite monsters with sneaking. Then it looks like he's got nothing. It's a pity. I was hoping that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup would get something out and surprise us. The bigwigs had expressions of regret. At first, when they heard that the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup killed into the copy, they are ready to be full of money waiting for the pearl emerald white jade soup to slaughter their own it. After all, for this group of bigots, money can be made, but the top equipment props, but there is a price, thousands of gold hard to find. Just as they were about to disperse, suddenly, there was a flash of white light in front of his eyes. Ten people were sent out of the copy in unison and landed in front of the notice board. Eh, isn't this compassionate? Uncle Nan Fongbei gave a light eep. Pathfinder, a leader of a nice guild in the country. But it belongs to the technical guild president who is a good game player and has a strong personality. But, has little silver in his hand. He had also participated in Chen Ming's mini auction. Unfortunately, they were squeezed out because they couldn't afford the high bid. This time, when exploring the poisonous swamp dark marsh, copy, the Buddha's word guild, led by this president, belonged to the group that was ahead of the curve in terms of progress. When he saw him come out, Nan Fong Bei, the sociable uncle, smiled faintly and leaned up to greet him. President Compassion. Your exploration progress for this copy should be good, right? I remember you guys pushed to the elite monsters before. Did you finally kill them this time? Upon hearing this, 
Many guild leaders revealed complicated eyes towards the Pathfinder. That elite monster was killed? Wouldn't they, the guilds, be greatly behind schedule then? They felt the pressure multiply for a while. At the same time there was some regret. How did you come to come over to the Pearl Emerald White Jade soup side of the show yourself? If we took those 30 minutes of watching the show and pushed the copies, maybe we wouldn't have been ahead of the progress of the advancement of the copies by the guild led by the Pathfinder. For a while, many bigwigs had mixed feelings in their hearts. They're still too brainless to believe in Pearl Jade White Soup. Thought he was bound to make a big deal out of it once he struck. But calm down and use your brain to think. About it Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is only level 10 even if it is strong. What could he do against a level 15 to 25 copy? Miscalculation. Miscalculation. Hey, we're still a little overly mythological about Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Indeed, we should just get down to pushing copies like President Pity. It's really a bit of a slap in the face that we, the top guilds, are actually not as far along as that second tier guild that Pity is leading. A host of bigwigs, reflecting on the situation. For the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup of excessive myths, excessive trust, so that they wasted valuable time, lost the first strategy to take the lead in the fine. English monster's chance. But just then, instead, Pity gave a strange look. I didn't say I defeated that elite monster. Uncle Nanfong Bei, who was about to congratulate the compassionate man, froze. Not defeated? Then how did you guys come out so fast? Didn't you defeat the elite monsters and come out to refresh your copies? The refreshing mechanism of the copies is once a week, but the prerequisite is that you must clear the copies in one breath. The copy will not go into cooldown CD if the final boss is not killed. As soon as the whole group comes out, the copies will be refreshed once. Previously, the guilds led by Pathfinder were hardened to exhaust the 3 hours of copy rating time, were judged by the system to have failed, and were then teleported out. Only this time, they left the copy of their own accord. Uncle Nanfong Bei was the one who thought they were raiding off the first elite monster. What refreshed copy? We were beaten out by a monster. Pathfinder revealed a rather complicated expression. I don't know what's going on. It seems like the successive challenge copies accidentally triggered some mechanism right. Suddenly prompted me for the monster to enter a berserk state. Various attributes increased by 50, and a small monster directly wiped out our group. When these words came out, several guild leaders revealed a look of gravity. Berserk state? What the hell is going on? Is there a limit to the number of raid copies in glory? Hiss. Actually have such a hidden setting? Then it looks like you can't make a brainless copy. You have to plan it. The words just fell. Suddenly, another flash of white light. Another team was sent back, without waiting for the crowd to inquire. The ten men revealed expressions of heartfelt horror. Crap. What the hell is a berserk state? I got slapped in the face. My 50 experience points. The bigwigs were shocked. Even Pathfinder looked at the men in surprise. Berserk state. They actually encountered a berserk state as well? And these ten were as if they were a beginning. Follow up. More and more white light flashed. Countless players were sent back near the notice board. And all they discussed was one thing. Berserk status. Copy. Inexplicably went into a berserk state. Several guild elders had also received messages from their guild members. No doubt about it. The copy, indeed, has changed dramatically. What is Glory doing? What's the point of adding Berserk status when this copy is obviously hard? Purely trying to disgust the players huh? That's too gross. Several guild bigwigs spat out. And one even wanted to use his banknote ability to go directly to the official Glorious to raise hell. You don't have to make copies if you don't want to. Do you have to be so disgusting to the players? However, Uncle Nanfong Bei was unexpectedly silent at this time. He subconsciously turned his head to look at Lingyu. Only then did he realize that Lingyu actually looked at him as well. Two smart people didn't need to say much. Just a look. They guessed each other's thoughts. Do you suspect him of doing it too? The two opened their mouths almost in unison. It was only after these words came out that the bigwigs came back to their senses. What are you talking about? He did it. Who did it? Could it be? Bigots aren't stupid. After calming down, it was a quick reaction. But their Riddler's attitude confused the players who were killed by the Berserk State monsters. Pity couldn't help but frown. What are you talking about? As things stood. Ling Yu no longer needed to be skeptical. She's 100% certain who started this whole thing. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Word for word. She reported the name. Can do this kind of thing. Who else but him? Upon hearing this name, the crowd, which had been clamoring and boiling just a moment ago, instantly quieted down. Pearl Jade White Jade Soup. At this moment, the guy that no one in the world of glory knew about emerged in everyone's minds. Surprisingly, it's him. I can't believe it's him again outside of Qingfeng City. Chen Ming scrutinized the dragon's essence and fell into deep thought. What exactly does this thing have to be to be considered well cared for? There are no hints and no progress bar display. 
However, the one thing that slightly reassured Chen Ming was that ever since he had left the copy, the dragon's essence had automatically become bound. No matter how many times you die, the dragon's essence will not drop. This is a binding effect that only occurs with fairly rare props. This showed that the dragon's essence would definitely not be a useless thing. Forget it, in the absence of clues, it's useless to think about it anyways. Chen Ming intended to put the matter of the dragon's essence on hold for now. Although he was a reborn, the only people who could tame a monster like a dragon in his previous life were those few people. With the kind of mole-like status he had in his previous life, how could he possibly know the inside story? Shaking his head, he reorganized his thoughts. He has quite a bit to do at the moment. The first thing is your own rank. In order to decipher the chess game puzzle, he wasted two days rushing, plus one death. From going down the copy caused his level to have lagged behind greatly. The current highest level on the world leaderboard is a European and American girl, a level 13 warrior. The hordes are also around level 12. While Chan Ming, the player who was originally the first player in the world to rush up to level 10, was now only at a pitiful level 9. Catching up with the rank is the most important thing. Fortunately, Chen Ming possessed a luxurious outfit, as well as experience brushing skills like hardened poison and sword blade storm, plus the bonus of 30 extra experience from the experience melting pot. It's only a matter of time before we catch up with the rank. Not too difficult. And in addition to his own rank, the rank of alchemy, too, was in dire need of improvement. As of now, he was still the only player in the world who possessed the art of alchemy. After all, he had bypassed the prequests and directly learned the art of alchemy at that time through the ink bamboo bracelet's two-step jump. And normal players are estimated to reach level 15 before they can complete the prequests for alchemy. He had to maintain his leading rank in alchemy. That's two. As for the third, is his SSSS level mission? After delivering the quest earlier, he was automatically given the next quest to go to a nearby monastery to investigate the undead infestation. As long as he completed this quest, his inherited leather armor set would be assembled. Although the Inheritance Leather Armor series only had green quality, as a set, they possessed a quality that was not inferior to that of blue level equipment when assembled. At this stage even the tycoons are mixing and matching green plus blue equipment. Even many dirtbags can't even buy blue gear. Only green all over. Chen Ming was able to have the Inheritance Leather Armor set, and could definitely crush a bunch of tycoons. After analyzing the three current primary tasks clearly, Chen Ming gradually had a thought process. Su Su, recently when you are free. Go over to the novice village and collect herbs, still orchid forest grass and red campsis flower. As for the purchase price, it's just 10 copper coins a plant. When the herbs are sold, I'll split 30% with you. Su listened with a shocked expression. It wasn't that Chen Ming had promised to give 30% profit after selling something, little lowly Su Su had absolutely no idea what the concept of 30% profit was. She's surprised. It's Chen Ming's purchase price, 10 coins a plant? At that time, when she gathered the herbs, the gentleman had given a price of 50 copper coins per plant, a whole five times hey, sir, with such a low price, will anyone sell it? Lori revealed a worried look, she was worried that she wouldn't be able to collect the herbs and delay mister, however, Chen Ming smiled faintly, don't worry, 10 copper coins is quite a reasonable purchase price, when alchemy is flooded in the future and the prices of ordinary herbs are suppressed, black-hearted merchants will be able to have a good market by purchasing them at a price of 5 copper coins, the reason why Chen Ming was clear, it was because he had once done the nigger work of gathering herbs for 5 copper coins a plant. Sue was suddenly silent, because that's when she reacted to the fact that Mr. turned out to be taking very good care of himself from the very beginning. The purchase price was given 5 times outright, and when the deal finally went through, there was quite a bit extra attached to her. The little lowly wanted to open her mouth to thank her, but Chen Ming was the first to see through her thoughts and grabbed her before she could open her mouth. No need to thank me. If you really want to thank me, you should just practice leveling. Now that you are fully capable of mixing up the team on your own, and of course, it's fine to find Snowy Moon to ask for a spot. As long as you show your strength a little bit, they'll definitely be itching to pull one over on you while practicing. Lori was a little less convinced. How could the so powerful Snow Moon Guild look at themselves? It must be that Mr. Secretly gave that pretty twin presidential sister a shout out. Su nodded curtly. Chen Ming stepped onto the path to the monastery to investigate the undead and complete the SSS ranked quest. Along the way, he was getting fed up with the news of the big boys. Although this group of people all put him end to end, a burst of bragging about him, and then sidestepped to ask what happened inside the copy. But no matter how much he is being bragged about, the moment there are more people who do this, it becomes a little obnoxious. In the end, Chen Ming could only reply with a no comment. The bigwigs are hot and cold, but they don't dare to have an attack. He could only silently close the dialogue box and stop bothering Chen Ming. 
spending money and being so humble. Let's just say that in the world of glory, strength reigns supreme. It was only Ling Yu, who was on slightly better terms with him, that Chen Ming revealed a little bit of information. Berserk doesn't last long, as short as two or three days and as long as a week. Of course, there are exceptions. The exact length, which varied from monster to monster, he couldn't say. Half an hour later, Chen Ming came to the place called the Scarlet Monastery. It is littered with level 12 to 14 monsters. Originally, Chen Ming thought that this place would be cold and quiet, but what he didn't expect was that as soon as he walked over, there were actually already two or three small teams here brushing monsters and practicing. It's also, now that the big troops are leveled up to level 12, and the ordinary casuals are also level 11, come to brush the level 12 to 14 monsters, the experience is just right to pull it all together. Chen Ming had some regrets. I'm afraid that kind of scene from the novice village days, where one person packs in monsters by himself, won't be there anymore, at least until the level rushes up, before approaching those teams, Chen Ming hesitated slightly, then put on the hood on his cloak, shrouding his face in shadows, followed by also concealing the ID and turning off the equipment shine effect, leaving the whole outfit flat, after all, he was only level 9 now, although he wouldn't be afraid of those level 11 or 12 players, he was worried that he would encounter some greedy minded iron bean who thought he was easy to bully because he was level 9, there aren't really a lot of people like the queen of the middle two who know they're bullshitting and still want to come and cause trouble. Chen Ming just wanted to quietly do quests to level up, didn't want to be bothered by the guys. Only after hiding his identity did Chen Ming lift his leg and walk towards the monastery. Along the way, there were quite a few people who looked toward him, but seeing his appearance of a stranger, there was no follow-up. It wasn't until he was about to walk up to the gate of the abbey and enter its midst that a straight man called out to him. Bro, come to brush up on your leveling. Right? Our team just lacks a DPS. You come to us. As for the monastery, I advise you not to go in. What do you mean? Chen Ming curiously looked at the straight man. The inside is wrapped up by the Grand Guild. The Han Yu gave a distant glance at the abbey gate, with both envy and resentment in his eyes. But more than that, helplessness. Us stragglers, we can only pick up the small monsters outside. The Grand Guild? Small problem. I know the vast majority of the owners. Chen Ming inquired. Which guild is it? The King's Guild of Kings, Chan Ming, that's okay, the world map of glory is so big, it's amazing that you can even meet it, it's a real frenzy, Chen Ming had a bit of a headache, it's not that I'm afraid of the King's world, just simply don't want to waste time, thanks for informing, after Chen Ming thanked the straightforward man, he walked straight towards the monastery, the Han Yu looked at his undying determination, and wanted to open his mouth to persuade him, but his teammates beside him did not have the same kindness as him, and opened their mouths, Brother gang, just leave him alone. What's the point of stopping us if he's willing to die? That's just it. Good words damn ghosts. It was nice of you, gang, to kindly remind him and invite him into our team. The man called gang scratched his head, and in the end, he could only watch helplessly as Chen Ming walked step by step into the door of the Scarlet Monastery. After entering the gate, Chen Ming made a twisting turn, sticking to the wall and entering the blind spot of his vision, isolating himself from the sight of everyone outside. It was then that he took a step towards the interior of the Scarlet Monastery. With each step he took, he was as if his figure had been erased by an eraser. Little by little, it's disappearing. Only a ghostly black shadow remained fluttering behind him. It's a typical western-style building. White marble, white candles, white sculpture of the kneeling Madonna praying for blessings. Everything in sight was white. However, when the sunlight threw the top of the abbey arched colorful glazed dome, after pouring down, the original holy sunlight has turned into a bizarre blood red, tinting all white with a chilling shade of red, who knows where the red came from, but it does exist, the abbey was small, and there were no monsters in it, there was only the sound of shouting from outside, Chen Ming stepped on the gentle carpet and walked silently toward the pulpit, on which there was a priest with his head bowed and eyes downcast, clutching his crucifix, after conversing with him, Chen Ming got the first stage of the quest, go to the outskirts of the abbey and kill the roving bandits to get the key to the abbey's lost crypt, does the first phase of the mission need to be completed in the periphery? Chen Ming glanced at the back of the convent, where there were shouts and killings, clearly people from the King's World Guild were inside wrapping up their leveling, he had thought that his mission was to go to the abbey's backyard to finish up and touch base with the King's World Guild, anyway, the King of the World at the beginning of the Yin and Yang Snow Moon when even AoE scolded him, he directly swallowed the guy's 200,000 or so, is also considered to be torn face, if you're going to do a quest in the backyard of a monastery yourself, the big deal is to kill in and fuck all these guys up, and then take your time to brush up on the monsters yourself, it's just a matter of wasting a little time clearing the field, but now the quest was actually to go to the periphery and kill monsters first, 
The periphery was a group of casual players who had no grudges against him, if he drove all of these players away, then what was the difference between his behavior and this kind of pack of the king's guild? In his previous life as a casual player Chen Mings was very clear about the pain of casual players, he didn't want to fall from a dragon slaying warrior to an evil dragon, forget it, go out there and mix up a random team. Chen Ming walked out of the Scarlet Monastery and lifted the stealth effect. Seeing him come out, the casuals twisted their heads in unison to look at him, but didn't say anything. Apparently they all decided that Chen Ming had been driven out in disgrace. That's the same guy who was there before. Straightforward man. Still willing to greet Chen Ming. Little brother. I told you that the inside was wrapped up, but you still didn't believe me. The Han Yu wasn't mocking. He was just a bit gung-ho. And after he laughed, he threw Chen Ming a group invitation. Come to us, it's not good for us casuals to survive in the first place, only by grouping together can we barely get a piece of the pie from under the hands of the big guilds, seeing that Kong had issued an invitation. A short-haired, valiant girl in the squad couldn't help but frown, what are you pulling him for, Kong, he didn't even bother practicing with us in the beginning, she made no effort to hide her displeasure, it's not just her, a few others in the squad more or less showed such a look, in their opinion, Chen Ming had initially stunk to high heaven, rejecting their invitation and running hard inside the Scarlet Monastery. Now that they had come out in ashes, it was already good enough that they didn't laugh at Chen Ming, and invite him to team up? A level 9 thief. What can he do in the team? The monsters are probably all misses, and you can only enter the team to share the experience and paddle. Chen Ming ignored the group of unkind people and nodded his head in agreement with Gang's invitation. I'll brush up on one of the mission props, and I'll leave when I do. The valiant short-haired sister rolled her eyes directly. Mission props? Swipe and go? Oh, in a world where quests were scarce, how could a level 9 thief receive a quest? And still far above his level, a quest in the Scarlet Monastery area. In her opinion, Chen Ming's words were nothing more than an excuse to make herself look slightly more decent when she entered the team to paddle, accept the invitation to join the team. Because Chen Ming had chosen to hide his character information, even in the ranks, his name would not be displayed, only a simple thief icon, and his level would be displayed. Kong's ID is a bit funny. It's called, my wife only allows me to play for two hours, but judging by his rank, he's obviously broken his promise to his wife. And the handsome short-haired warrior girl is called Folded, a rather overbearing ID, more like a name owned by a handsome leading man. The monsters here are generally around level 12. The squad level was almost at level 11 as well, with only that straight Han Yu, Gang, and the handsome sister with short hair in her ears reaching level 12. Kong is a knight and is responsible for pulling monsters. The handsome sister is a warrior but not a tank type. She held a thick, huge sword comparable to an NPC in her hand and wielded it with a whirring sound. The DPS professions in the team, hunters and mages, didn't have as high an output as her. How violent. Chen Ming mentally muttered, drawing out his own right-handed dagger in order to prevent being recognized. He had only used his right-handed dagger. Double daggers, after all, had become the standard for pearl jade white jade soup. However, just as he was about to lean forward, Gang turned his head to yell at him as he lowered his head to avoid the monster's attack. Little brother, don't come up here. Level 9 thieves simply can't carry the damage of these monsters. Just wait and eat the experience. Chen Ming could not help but stare. Oh, is this being protected by big brother as a munchkin? It's a bit weird. Just as he froze, one of the mountain bandits looked at him and violently threw the flying axe in his hand. Chen Ming captured the attack, but he didn't bother to circumvent it, because he was aware that with his agility points, this kind of monster would just hit a series of misses, but others don't know that. Kong's face changed and he shouted for his little brother to hide, and that's when it happened. Chen Ming saw the short-haired girl spit, then her calf muscles tightened and she leapt up, shooting towards himself. If it was Chen Ming's speed that was fast, it was as ghostly as a shadow. Then this sister's quickness is as if a cannonball has been discharged, as if it were thunderous. The moment the flying axe was about to hit Chen Ming, the big sword in the girl's hand slashed down. The strong wind that was kicked up caused Chen Ming's hood to hunt. Bang! The ear-piercing sound of metal clashing was accompanied by a cloud of sparks of metal impact bursting in front of Chen Ming. That flying axe, even by the sister's big sword hard split into two halves, from Chen Ming cheeks on both sides of the shooting out. Not hurt, little brother. The girl flipped up her greatsword with one hand and slung it over her shoulder. Even though you're trying to save me, your tone really owes it to you. Chen Ming was expressionless. No injuries. The girl raised her pretty willow leaf eyebrows, quite a bit surprised. You can ah, uh, actually not be scared off. It seems that you are not as useless as I thought. Chen Ming didn't bother with her. Kong rushed over to round up the crowd after taking care of the mountain bandit. Little brother. Sister Sandy has this character. Don't take it to heart. 
And you too. What's the point of bullying someone a little brother? Quickly come back to brush the monsters. Work harder. We will be able to trigger that mechanism. The mechanism? Chen Ming looked at Gang curiously. Is the. He's talking about the thing he's imagining? Chen Ming, who possessed memories of his previous life, knew that the Scarlet Monastery was, in fact, a budding upgrade mecha. This is because it possesses a special mechanism if one swipes enough monsters, they will attract the attention of the successive priests buried within the monastery, or even descend, due to the overpowering scent of blood and killing. In other words, that is, if you brush enough, the system will automatically refresh a boss out. Although the rewards of this kind of boss, are not as good as field bosses, but it wins in stability and durability. Even if Chen Ming had entered the game quite late in his previous life, Scarlet Monastery, also still being held by some medium-sized guilds, want to go in to brush the monsters have to pay the ticket money. As for whether or not you can touch the boss, it's more of a matter of chance. This mechanic that has been figured out by the players? Seeing Chen Ming reveal a puzzled look, Gang kindly explained. Previously, the King's Guild had two fierce battles erupt inside the monastery. We secretly went to see it. It was two consecutive bosses that appeared. Let's just suspect that bosses can appear here through brushing. Counting now. We've been brushing for almost four or five hours. According to the progress, the boss is about to appear. Saying that, Gang revealed a look of anticipation. It's not just him. All the casual players in the neighborhood. That is. That's a boss. They've never even seen it. Thinking about this, everyone's hearts were on fire. And they killed the monsters with more and more vigor. Only sister Sandy frowned slightly. Why are you telling this guy that? It's even if this guy paddles and eats experience. Can't it be that the boss wants to give him a piece of the pie? Gang brother naive smile. Anyway, we are so many people. One more does not matter well. See the share. See the share. All are scattered people. Don't bother. The big deal is that I'll share my share of the reward to him a little bit. San sister frowned more deeply. Seemed to want to say something, but finally opened his mouth but became helpless. You are you. Forget it. Just brother Khan you are happy. I don't care about you. As she passed by Chen Ming, she lowered her voice and said, If you still have a bit of conscience, take the initiative to take a stand and quit. Just eat some experience. Don't rob brother Gang's loot. After saying that, without giving Chen Ming a chance to reply, he raised his head and left. Chen Ming looked at her back and couldn't help but mutter a little. Who cares about your bosses? I'm really just here to mix up a quest prop. However, Chen Ming did not open his mouth. After all, although this sister is hot-tempered and her character is straight, but her heart does not seem to be bad. Suddenly, right in the center of the entrance to the abbey, a golden light exploded out. All the casuals looked over almost simultaneously. It was a projection of a holy priest, but when it opened its eyes, it erupted in a burst of dark, deep red light. It was both full of holiness and mixed with filth, full of contradictions tumbling out, sweeping across the entire field. It's coming. It's the boss. It really is a boss. Ha 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 ha. Kong was right. All the casualties showed excited expressions. At this time, Gang raised his arm and called out, Brothers, knights and I will charge together. Top up, the warrior is ready to get stuck in the T position. And with the, when ready to take over the hate to prevent OT, meaning the hate is not pulled and the monster's primary target of attack changes from a blood bull rider to a back row brittle, Kong seems to be very reputable. A series of commands went down, surprisingly making all the casual players follow his orders. Chen Ming watched in wonder. He had thought there would be infighting within the scattered here when the boss appeared. I didn't realize that Kong had actually suppressed the whole scene with his own power. This reputation. Even some small and medium-sized guild presidents are not as good as patting their horses Ah, Soon, the casuals lined up and started raiding the boss. Chen Ming also swept a glance. A level 12 normal white level boss is just that. It really didn't interest him. He will honestly act as a budding good boy here to watch on the line. Just when the time comes. He can also find a reason to find their own paddling excuse to excuse not to reward, and smoothly let the boat to gang. Scattered people don't have a high output, but white level bosses are really not that strong either. A minute passed and the boss's blood level dropped by like 10. At this rate, we'll be done with this thing in 10 minutes. However, just as the crowd was frantically outputting like chicken blood, an arrow with the light of thunderbolt shot from afar. Bang! A precise hit on one of the blood bull knights in front of the boss. Bursts of lightning jumped across the knight's body instantly dealing high amounts of damage. Minus 249. Blitz. The Blood Bull Knight was already carrying the boss and was not full of chi. After taking the blast, the blood bar disappeared and he died violently on the spot. D. Gang's face changed wildly. Who is it? Who shot this arrow? Kong was in a state of shock and anger, but there was no way to distract him, because D was the first hate bit just now. 
He was killed in seconds and the boss's hate was instantly dispersed. Sure enough, hate is lost. In the next second, the boss looked towards the high output crunchy mages and hunters. The books on his chest floated up out of thin air. The pages of the book were windless, turning pages frantically. At the same time, holy light erupted in the back row of the casual team. Crap, help me, I'm running out of, help help help, just a blink of an eye. Seven or eight brittle outputs were killed. Kong was in a rage. Fortunately, just then, Sister Folding Sand topped it off. A heavy sword slashed down horizontally, hard by high damage pulled back the boss's hate target. That's when Kong had time to turn his head, only to see that at the entrance of the Scarlet Monastery, a hunter wearing top-notch equipment was twirling his bow with a smile on his lips, as if it wasn't attacking the player. Instead, they were hunting ordinary monsters in general. Disdain filled the corners of his mouth in a smile. The sharp arrow that flashed with a cold light pointed impartially at Gang himself. King? Ho E? What do you mean by that? Gang faced the arrows without retreating and shouted in a stern and angry voice. Your king's guild chartered inside the Scarlet Monastery. Our casuals are practicing outside. Well water. What do you mean? Before you king's guild brushed out bosses. And we casuals never had a. Overstepping the mark. Right? The disdain at the corners of Wang Ho Yi's mouth became even more pronounced. Passover? How dare you? Our king's guild is something you mongrels can touch? To tell you the truth. Letting you guys brush outside is just to let you help brush out the bosses. If you know what's good for you, just get out of the way and let the bosses go, so we can still let you brush outside the pack for a little while longer. If you don't know better, it wouldn't hurt to exterminate you all. The other party's tone was breezy. Gang's face was so bloomy that it was about to drip. Does he dare to call the king's guild's bluff? He wouldn't dare. He's just a loose cannon. Then hard to just, and then be all killed by the king's guild to finish clearing the field. Be more literate. Hand over the boss. Exit here. Wait until the other party kills the boss. They can still eat some small monsters in the periphery. Brush the experience. And drink the leftover leftovers of the King's Guild. It's pretty stifling though. But Kong is no longer the hot-headed, light-hearted teenager he was. The trials and tribulations of society have taught him that many times he really can't help himself. He slowly lowered his head. He's ready to give up. When Chen Ming saw this, his left hand clenched. Just as he was about to equip his left hand dagger and hold the double dagger. A figure that leapt out faster than him. It's a toss up. Sister Sandy. Her seemingly slender arms dragged her own giant sword, which slashed across the ground, erupting with the ear-splitting sound of metal clashing and sparks splattering in all directions. Her healthy wheat skin color under the sunlight made her as eye-catching and dazzling as an ancient Greek god, with an unrivaled aura. She killed the king. Hoey. Dogs. Go to hell. The gods just opened their mouths, and the compulsion collapsed. Sister Sandy. The Gungans were dumbfounded. Isn't this getting tough with the king's guild? Looking for death? King Hoey's expression did not change. And his hands moved quickly. Arrows flew between the flicks of the bowstring. Sandy's sister looks reckless. However the operation is not bad. Facing the arrows, she wielded the giant heavy sword that was as big as her person with a strength that was unbelievable. She pulled out a cloud of sword blossoms. It was like a shield against all the arrows. Dogs? That's the level? Sister Sandy revealed a mocking look. King? Hoey's face sank. The bowstring in his hand pulled faster, and the arrows flew with a violent burst of acceleration. But no matter what, it couldn't break through Sister Sandy's defense. This woman is also too violent, right? Chan Ming scared. See, the Sand Sister is about to approach the king. Ho Yi, being approached by such a violent woman, it was obvious that victory or defeat would be straightforward. However, just then, a bolt of thunder and lightning slammed down on the back of Sister Sandy. Sister Sand who was concentrating on fending off the arrows, couldn't react as well as she should have, and was hit directly, hitting with a period of stiffness, taking advantage of this opportunity, the king, ho e continuous shooting, sans sister even heavy armor warrior, blood volume also a burst of wildly decreased, fold and sink, sandy chan, scattered people exclaimed, sister sandy struggled to get up, but just then, a foot, viciously stepped on her stomach, that foot was wrapped in ornate battle boot leg armor, his body was even wearing a set of domineering and incomparably heavy armor. This is a warrior, and a warrior whose strength far exceeded that of Sister Sandy. King, the world, with only one foot, he held the monstrous Sister Sandy down on the soles of his feet, and the whole thing scanned the casualty disdainfully. Within three breaths, roll, or die, his voice was flat, but it carried an unquestionable dominance. Gang's face changed several times. Finally, he lowered his head, but just then, a man tapped him gently on the shoulder, asked softly, do you want this boss, or not? Kong craned his head to see, the one who spoke was, surprisingly, 
the hooded youth he had casually helped. He wouldn't think that this guy could have any ability to save himself from the fire, and thought that he was a rash person who didn't understand the situation. Little brother, this boss, we can't have it. The opposite side is the king's guild. You may not realize how much the king's guild is. The words were not finished, and he was interrupted. I'll ask you if you want or don't want the boss. As soon as the words left his mouth, Kong saw the corners of his perfectly shaped lips under the little brother's hood, rising slightly. It seems to be quite a confident smile. Kong hadn't wanted to answer him, but after seeing the confident smile, he couldn't help but freeze. The confidence was inexplicably infectious. He nodded furtively. How can you not want to? Good. The man just faded back. It was quite a bit of a puzzle to gang. Okay? What does good mean? What did he promise? It's not going to help us grab the boss, is it? Such absurd thoughts rose in Gang's mind. In a whirlwind, though, he ignored the thought. How is that possible? At this point, the scene was awfully quiet. The boss is out of combat and wandering alone on the outskirts of Scarlet Abbey. The King's Guild and the Scattered faced off at the entrance to the Abbey. And just then too, Chan Ming, stepped out. The eyes of the entire room were instantly focused on him. Hey, Kong reached out his hand to pull him back, but for some reason, his confident smile from earlier came to mind. Not far. Sister Sand, who had been stepped on under the feet of the king, the world, also saw Chen Ming walking towards the king's guild crowd, and a touch of admiration showed in her eyes. Then he cursed and looked up at the king who was stepping on him. Hoomph, if you want a boss, then kill all of us casuals, these brothers of ours, although the dish is a little dish, but not a coward. The moment Chen Ming stepped forward, she'd come to think of the unimpressive looking rookie as a good buddy. The king, Tian Xia, was expressionless, as you wish. He waved his hand. Descendants, F. A. Shen, you guys slaughter all these guys who don't want to die. It was as if the king, the world had just given a trivial order. It's as if you're asking someone to help you catch a glass of water. Nature is immense. In his opinion, with the two people he had focused on cultivating, the Dharma god and the descendant, it was enough to exterminate that rabble. No problem boss. Don't worry boss. We'll slaughter this bunch of trash in three minutes. The two men gave cruel looks. King, the world nodded in satisfaction, then glanced lightly at the struggling halberd at the bottom of his feet. He raised the long sword in his hand. It was about to chop down hard on Sister Sandy's neck. The Sand Sister is also tough. Until now also still showing disdainful smile. Contemptuous gaze at the king, the world. The butcher's knife was raised high. Just the moment it was about to fall. Suddenly, a commotion came from the king's guild. Double. Double dagger? Who is he? Who is he? The king couldn't help but frown as he looked up. At that look, his heart nearly missed a beat. I only saw that the guy with the hood, but he was actually holding two daggers on the left and the right. Holding two daggers. Double dagger. The image, almost, has taken hold. Pearl emerald white jade soup. It wasn't just people from the king's guild. All of the scattered people, too, revealed dumbfounded expressions at this moment. Pearl emerald white jade soup? Is it really him? They looked to Gang, hoping to get an answer from him. But what I didn't expect was the shock on Kong's face. Only more, not less, than theirs. It seems Gang doesn't know either. But that didn't stop a burst of hope from rising in the hearts of the dispersed people who had originally despaired. What if, really is that godlike man? Just a guess. Just let the King's Guild be like an enemy. Finally, King, Ho he couldn't stand the depressing atmosphere, clenched his teeth fiercely, and violently pulled back the bowstring. Hiding rat. Don't pretend to be here. Five consecutive star kills. Five shots of the bow shot out. The man, not dodging, eat them all. Five huge misses that fluttered up. At this moment, everyone in the king's guild only felt as if they had been hit by a heavy hammer. It's him. It's really him. Chen Ming took off his hood as he walked. As the hood fell down, the handsome features with sword brows and starry eyes appeared in everyone's eyes. His officially certified, dragon flying and phoenix dancing golden ID also gradually waved out. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. As he approached towards the King's Guild crowd step by step, he slowly opened his equipment gloss, rings and bracelets that erupted with a noble purple glow. On the dual-wielded daggers, a deep blue color formed a razor-sharp blade of teeth that sent chills down one's spine just by looking at it. The whole body, moreover, was wrapped in a touch of ghostly green. That green color seemed to form an eye. That was indifferently watching all beings behind Chen Ming it was just a little fuzzy and not too obvious. The Heritage Leather Armor series is still missing a shoe. The special effects aren't pulled full ah. Chen Ming was outwardly aloof and muttered in his heart. But even so, his compulsion is absolutely crushing the king. The world. The guy was flamboyant as hell. His whole body equipment was on full of glossy special effects. 
almost as if he was a character running out of a completely differently drawn page turner, but it's just some few green suits, mixed with a blue suit, in front of Chen Ming's two purple suits, two blue suits, and a green suit, the king, the world instantly became a younger brother, crap, pearl emerald white jade soup, it's really him, we are saved, quick, hold on to the big man's leg, scattered people were ecstatic, even sister Sandy, who had always prided herself on not losing to men, actually showed a rare look of infatuation, the king's guild side was like an enemy, the king, the world even the bottom of the feet of the halberd sinking sand do not dare to step so hard, but immediately retract the legs and a little embarrassed face, he looked at Chen Ming with a stiff expression, very reluctantly squeezed out a stiff smile, white jade soup big brother, if I remember correctly, you have not yet given me a friend bit, right, the buddy bit, how dare you mention it, you really think I don't remember when I was shady before, Chen Ming looked at the king, the world with a smile, other people I give, you, I do not want to give, although the king, the world had expected, but the face still cannot help but gloomy a few points, that is more than 200, 000 ah, you are considered fraud, I didn't say I was selling buddy bits, Chen Ming laughed heartily, he never felt like a moral perfectionist, in the case of the king, the world before the inexplicable Yin and Yang pull stomping on their own wants, but also to be nice to add his friends, or honestly choose to refund money, that's like begging on your knees, you were shading Laozi before, and it makes sense for Laozi to backhand you, give you two choices, Chen Ming maintained his smile, first, release sister Sandy and leave the Scarlet Monastery, this place will be chartered by gang with his men, second, kill sister Sandy, then fight back negatively, and eventually I'll kill them all and drive them out, take your pick, this statement was made, whether they were casuals or players from the king's guild, their faces changed wildly, bully, it's too bossy, even the king's guild, which had always been known for its dominance, had never said anything so arrogant, good boy, the king's world laughed in anger, although he had done something to apologize to Chen Ming, he felt that $200,000 was enough to set things right, isn't it just a bit of a loss of face, I paid $200, 000 for your face, no good, he didn't expect that Chen Ming would actually be even more domineering than him, then there's nothing to talk about, King's Guild, prepare to get him killed, he snapped, the long sword in his hand was raised once again, this time, he didn't hesitate to slash at sister Sandy's head, Sandy was looking like she was about to turn her head and say something weepy like leave me alone or shoot me, all she felt was a flash of light, a figure, unexpectedly, appeared directly beside her, it's Ming Chen, is that the blink skill? Sister Sandy reacted instantly. She was one of Chen Ming's thousands of fangirls and naturally knew that he possessed the blinking skill. But soon, she blushed. Idiot you, a thief blinking in front of a warrior? Aren't you looking for death by sticking your face to a warrior? Thieves fighting fighters have always been about flexibility and roaming. It is not true to say that thieves dance on the tip of a knife. A thief PKNG a warrior will likely fight for three minutes to kill the warrior. And although the warrior was passive and kept taking hits, he could cripple the thief in one set if he seized an opportunity. It's not impossible for a skillful bull to directly connect a set of thieves to death. All careers, all fair. And what Chen Ming was doing at this moment was striking the long with the short. Seek death. The sharp blade in the king's world's hand had indeed changed its target, stabbing straight toward Chen Ming. Above that sharp blade, it was colored with a yellow halo. It's a warrior skill. Critical strike. Not only does it have higher damage than normal attacks, but it also has a stun effect that lasts up to 5 seconds at a time, he knew that Chen Ming's evasion was extremely high and physical attacks were difficult to hit, available at, what about skills, you can't possibly dodge skills, can you, a touch of cruelty flowed from the corner of the king's world's mouth, as long as they could stun Chen Ming, the others could then follow their skills frantically and control Chen Ming to death, get out of the way, sister Sandy became anxious and struggled, wanting to slam a fist into Chen Ming's face, smashing him out of the king's world's attack range, how can this woman even be so violent in saving people's lives? Chen Ming secretly spat out, ignoring the king's world skills, bullying his way closer, and slashing his twin daggers fiercely towards the king's world's throat. Put, skills from both sides, hit at the same time. The king of kings was also a tough guy, and ate a set of damage from Chen Ming. Fortunately, there were seven or eight priests behind him who had been milking him, barely maintaining his blood level, otherwise this blow would have been enough to kill him in seconds. That was close but the adventure was worth it, the king grinned, but then, he realized something was wrong, Chan Ming, not stunned, a big miss, once again, popped out of his head, the king's world was confused at this moment, skills, can miss too, this is a horse, it's not scientific, 
Chen Ming could not help but grin as he saw the shock in the king's world. Ghostly Spectre, is the dodge talent of the race playing with you? Physical magic. The miss is only worthy of this 15-star top hidden race status ah. Taking advantage of the king's world's opportunity to freeze, Chen Ming wrapped his arm around Sister Sandy's waist and scooped her up. I didn't realize that this brute force woman's waist was quite thin, and it feels pretty good in the hand. Not much exercise at first glance. Should have a waistline. No, 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 I'm in a fight. What's the point of thinking about this stuff? Sister Sandy, steady on. As Chen Ming roared, using his left foot as an axis, his entire body violently spun around, and then like throwing a lead ball. He flung Sister Sandy out fiercely and threw her toward the scattered man's side. Instead of exclaiming like a normal girl, Sandy San giggled. Nice arm strength for a young man. Sis likes it. The corner of Chen Ming's mouth pulled. If he hadn't felt it wrong, Sister Sandy had ruthlessly ruined her pectoral muscles on her chest before she was thrown off. You're a real hooligan, aren't you? Scrambling to mooch. Chen Ming had a lot of thoughts, but the movements in his hands did not stop. After sending off Sister Sandy, he was also enveloped by various sword reins and magic. A series of skills came down, and he lost most of his blood. After all, he had a high miss, but he wasn't 100% evasive. Dozens or hundreds of skills slammed down will still eat two or three of them. He didn't need to be reminded. Kong had already organized the good guys to give him back his blood. As the holy light fell, Chen Ming's blood level returned to full. He went straight to the king's world. The king's world didn't dare to make a hard contact and backed up, then yelled in command. Ranger archers, turn on the eagle eyes, aura, eagle eye. This is a skill that ranger archers learn at level 10. The effect is to give fellow teammates an aura of 3 bludgeon chance, and 10 hit points. Sure, the effect is also increased when the priest is enchanted with enhancement. Soon, a single eagle eye aura unfolded. The priest's augmentation spells also fall. Chen Ming knew that he couldn't mindlessly pretend anymore. This, then, is the beauty of the world of glory. Thousands of strange skills. Countless players match, no matter how powerful you are, you can eventually be found a way to crack, after all, lone wolves can only show off for a while, it seems that the matter of my forming a force should also be on the agenda, in this game, the rally order to create a guild is only popped on bosses after level 20, Chen Ming had planned to start forming his forces again at that time, but I didn't expect my reputation to grow like crazy, already not losing to those big guild presidents, there is no need to gather orders to create guilds, just need to raise their arms and call out, they can pull in countless players, between thoughts, Chen Ming had already evaded a round of set fire by virtue of his maneuvering, coupled with a high level of agility, with the addition of eagle eye, the probability of him being hit became significantly higher, so the prime targets, have to be the archers with the eagle eyes on, Chen Ming scanned the circle and quickly locked onto his target, the blinking then used out, approaching towards the archers, however, who would have thought that the king's world had anticipated this, scatter, just in order, the archers immediately scattered. It had to be said that the king's guild was truly worthy of being one of the top guilds, and these people were really well trained. When they heard the word disperse, they immediately separated. This, then, is a response to the, the best way to pay off thieves. Decentralize the station. The corner of the king's mouth surfaced a smug smile. Although the thief is strong, but it is only strong in a single point of explosion. This kind of profession is the most lacking is the means of one to many. I have so many archers, spread out, to see if you catch and kill them first, or if we finish you off first, it's just a lone wolf who's just trying to be brave, the king's world revealed a chesty smile, on the other hand, on the side of the dispersed people, they all revealed a look of anxiety, brother gang, what should we do, the king's guild's base is too thick, pearl emerald white jade soup big brother is afraid that he's going to roll over, shall we go up and help him, but, we can't even charge past the king's guild's blood bull knights and warriors, Khan's face was ugly, big deal, We'll fight them. Sister Sandy exasperatedly brandished her greatsword, living up to her reckless remarks. Extinction. This was undoubtedly a desperate situation with no way to break the situation for Chen Ming. However, what everyone doesn't know is this. Chen Ming looked at the archers that were scattering and fleeing, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Who says thieves don't have AoE damage? Since learning that skill, I haven't really used it except for experimenting with it on the spot. Unexpectedly, this first time I used it, it was so charged. Chen Ming slammed down a bottle of blue pill, recovering the amount of blue that Blink had used up earlier. Swords, blades, wind, storm, a storm that appeared out of nowhere. It then spread out in a wild and rampant manner, frantically rampaging. The moment, among the crowd, sword chi is all over the place. Blade storm doesn't have a high damage factor. Instead of Chen Ming's normal attack, 
Those brittle skin could eat two rounds of flat A and not die even if he had thick blood. But two damage hits from Sword Blade Storm and not a single person had fallen to the ground yet. Fortunately, Blade Storm doesn't do much damage, but there are enough segments. It can instantly burst six damage in 15 seconds. Looking at the blood spray erupting from the soles of his feet, Chen Ming silently assessed his skills. The damage isn't very high. I guess it takes four damage hits, which means it takes a whole second to kill these crisps. Well, after all, it's only a blue level skill, and it's still an AoE. It's normal to spend one second to second a piece of crunchy skin. Ming Chan really wasn't in Versailles. For the average player, one second may not be enough time to react. But in front of the top masters, one second is already enough to make a countermeasure. If you can't spike someone in one second, you can't call it a fucking spike. Just as Chen Ming's thoughts were like electricity. Analyzing the pros and cons of the sword blade storm skill, suddenly, a prompt came to his ears. Ding, wonderful hand, was used successfully. Item, oak shortbow, stolen. Chen Mingren was dumbfounded. He had always known that all of his damage triggered the mythic hand skill. But what he doesn't know is that, fighting by yourself also triggers the skill. Even players can steal. How else can you say it's a SSS ranked talent? Chen Ming's heart jumped hard. Although the mythic hand's passive skill has a low trigger probability and basically won't trigger in a typical fight. But the problem is, Glory is a game that will see guild wars and national wars in the later stages. Thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of pandemonium. Throw a blade storm in there then. Baird. Chen Ming sucked the saliva from the corner of his mouth. The picture is too beautiful for me to look at. Pfffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffff
when facing a guy like Chen Ming, you should use a thief to catch him. Watching the seven or eight thieves disappear in front of his eyes, the corners of Chen Ming's mouth lifted slightly. Thieves hard? He hadn't really been afraid of anyone. When the hood is on, no one loves it. Chen Ming also opened the ghostly shadow skill and dived into the darkness. After stealthing, the first thing he did was immediately retreat, circumventing a wave of skill set fire from the king's guild. Give me an augmentation. Chen Ming's words had just fallen. The cleric player in the group then immediately waved his staff and gave a boost. Chen Ming swept the buff. Has spectral shadow as shadow delay increased from 1 to 2 seconds? This effect, it really isn't as good as Su Su's dragonborn holy word. Chen Ming was somewhat emotional. If only Su Su could carry it with her. But even with only a 2 second delay, that's enough to set up a trap. After Chen Ming withdrew a few steps, he violently handed over Blink and once again pulled away for a distance. The King's Guild crowd didn't know Chen Ming's location, but Gang and his party, who were teamed up with Chen Ming, could see it clearly. The Chen Ming blinked to a remote corner, successfully evading the King's Guild's covering fire set. That's a good choice of location. A bigot is a bigot, and they all have such a sharp eye. Kong couldn't help but compliment. Just as he was anticipating what the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Man would do next. Chan Ming, but stopped, that's right, he stopped and didn't move a muscle, it was as if the line had dropped, it wasn't until 2 seconds later that Chen Ming rolled backward and left the place where he had just hung up and stopped, although he was only stuck for 2 seconds, but in PK, this second can be quite deadly, in particular, the King's Guild had also sent out 7 or 8 thieves who were looking for an opportunity to take out Chen Ming at any given moment, a 2 second lag was enough to expose Chen Ming's whereabouts, what's the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup big guy doing? PKs and desertion? Wasn't it said that Bayou Tang Big Brother's operation was awesome? How come it looks so stiff today? It's probably too much pressure to face that many people. Gang and the others were talking about it. Couldn't help but frown. They are not complaining that Chen Ming is not playing well, but they are worried and resentful. Worried that Chen Ming would be killed for standing up for them. Resenting himself for not being able to help Chen Ming at such a critical moment. However, the concern was completely lost on them. The faint black shadow left behind by Chen Ming's sneak was not quite the same as the black shadow of an ordinary thief. The black shadow was delayed for two seconds. Only after Chen Ming left the location where he hung up for two seconds before, the black shadow, did he faintly emerge? And stopped motionless, as if it were a tempting trap, waiting for the prey to take the bait. The thieves of the King's Guild weren't exactly the top of the world, but they were definitely at an expert level. From the moment the war started, they were then capturing Chen Ming's position always looking to strike. However, Chen Ming did not give them any breaks at all. From stealth, he was on the move. He was so fast that people couldn't catch up with him. Ink and Bamboo Bracelet not only provides a 2 jump ability, but also a 20 movement speed bonus. This made it difficult for the King's Guild Thieves to find a chance to strike. Until, they watched as Chen Ming's Black Shadow violently moved a large distance away, suddenly stops dead in its tracks and doesn't move a muscle. Crap. Guys. Opportunity. A few people's eyes glowed. Let's all strike together and try to send him away in one set. The opponent is Pearl Jade White Jade Soup. Be sure to give it your all. Everyone strikes together to ensure a chance of a hit. Almost instantly, the figures of eight thieves emerged from the shadows on all sides. The daggers in their hands, either stabbing or stabbing, were all in a deadly stance, ruthlessly heading towards the still black shadow. Everyone in the King's Guild looked at this scene, and they were all energized. Gotcha. Caught the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. This kind of pincer attack, even if it is a pearl jadeite white jade soup, it is bound to drink hate on the spot. However, the moment the dagger hit the dark shadow, the figure of pearl emerald white jade soup, however, was not forced to interrupt its invisibility and emerge because it was attacked. Instead, the black shadow, quietly drifted away. The eight thieves, who were originally confident, revealed expressions of disbelief. What about people? There's a black shadow here. In the next second, Chen Ming gave his answer. He lunged out of the side in a hunter's stance. Daggers flipped in his hands. Just a wink. He took a hit on the four assassins right in front of him. Four cuts a second. One for each person. It's not over yet. The eight people on the other side had put their best foot forward in order to assassinate Chen Ming's black shadow. It was the awkward moment when the force had been used up and could not be changed. However, Chen Ming was able to adjust his stance with ease and strike another round of attacks. Four more cuts. The remaining four, two, were hooked up to the hardened poison debuff. After doing so, he immediately backed away without the slightest hesitation. Sure enough, he had just retreated on his front foot when the area on his back foot was covered by a flurry of skills. Chen Ming perfectly predicted the timing and range of the King's Guild's fire coverage. Early circumvention. In that short period of time, 
Chen Ming chose to hang the hardened poison buff on one person instead of desperately trying to finish off the four. Seeing such a choice, Kong was puzzled. White Jade Soup Big Brother obviously can kill these guys. How did not do it? The others were confused too. That's right. Why don't you do it when you can obviously kill the four in advance and reduce them by half? White Jade Soup Big Brother this wave of misjudgment ah. The opposite side has more than 20 nannies brainless push blood. These thieves can certainly save. Obviously so beautiful wave of booby traps. The result of their own judgment error did not second people. Hey. Pity ah. Fig. Random jottings. They choke on it. But what they don't know is that. This. Then. Was Chen Ming's purpose. These people are dead. But they are able to be resurrected. But hang on to the quench buff. That'll be enough to keep them tossing and turning for a while. They were panicking as their blood dropped wildly. Not just on crazy drugs. And constantly requesting that the nurse keep an eye on the blood. The nannies didn't think much of it. Continuously waving his staff. He frantically returned blood to those eight thieves. Chen Ming walked and dodged skills while calmly scanning everyone in the king's guild. His focus. On the milkmaid. 3. 4. V. X. 11. 12. 20. 21. For a short time. 21 milkmaids. Frantically pushing the blood. Managed to hang on to the thieves' lives. Everyone in the king's guild showed expressions of relief. Many of them even laughed with glee. They were laughing at Chen Ming's greed. In complacency with the king's guild's deep heritage, it had hardened the situation of those eight thieves' certain death. They looked at Chen Ming in unison. Wanted to see the dismay, shock and regret on his face. But in the end, instead, they saw a smile on Chen Ming's face. Gang, bring your men in charge with me. Rip through their defenses. Don't be afraid of their blood bull riders. They can't top that. Because, all their milkmaid, holy light spells have entered the CD time ah. One comment. It's like a deafening bell. The people of the king's guild, who had been complacent before, changed their faces furiously. That's right. Holy light spell. Entered the CD time. In the early game, people have almost no CD reduction equipment. And even more so, only the most basic healing spell, holy light. Going into the CD window, the priest is basically useless. Normally, priests have their own formations. When giving milk, it is also done in batches to prevent awkward weaning situations. But just now, the situation was critical. Eight thieves were in crisis at the same time. How could they have the time to think about that much? Saving people was the most important thing. But this save. The eight thieves were saved. But they have a complete window of opportunity for treatment. 2. It's over. King. The world's face changed wildly. Drew up his big sword to go to the front row. To help the guild members to share the impact of the scattered people. But the speed at which the scattered people launched their charge was faster than he had imagined. The resentment and anger that these people had in their hearts towards the king's guild were all turned into a drive to move forward at this moment. What a great man to have cracked the riddle of the chess game. The white jade soup big brother is unrivaled in force and wisdom. Charge. Tear the defense apart. And give the white jade soup big man a hand. This is an opportunity that big brother by Yu Tang has created with great difficulty. Brothers. Seize it. I've long been displeased with the king's guild. What's wrong with casuals? Aren't casuals also people? The group is excited. Gang and Sister Sandy were in the lead. Their equipment was not as good as the King's Guild though. The number of people, too, is not as good as the King's Guild. But they have an unstoppable aura. Although the King's Guild's Blood Bowl Knights were very meaty, without replies, they were ultimately just a pool of dead water and isolated. Soon, one by one, the Knights fell. The defense was torn apart by a gaping hole. The King, the world was in a rage, and scolded in a stern voice. Where are the archers and mages? Output for me. Turn your head. It was only then that they realized that Chen Ming had, at some point, rushed into their back row once again. The front line of defense was attracted by the casuals. So of course Chen Ming had to take this opportunity to cut into the back. At this moment, he was like a wolf entering a flock of sheep. It rushed the originally well-organized crowd into scattering. Shit. Shit. King. The world forehead corner veins wildly jumped. You guys are afraid of a hare. His AOE skills have not turned well. You guys against his output to give me a second front row of casuals ah. Even if pearl jade white jade soup bursts in. There's only one of us. And when we stabilize our position. We'll still be able to drive him out. But if all of our formations are broken up. That would be a total disaster. He cursed in frantic rage. It must be admitted that although the guild leader. King of the world. Acted in an arrogant manner. He still had a brain. He clearly judged which side had the more serious problem. Being yelled at by him like this. Quite a few people actually reacted and began to stand up to Chen Ming's pressure. Throwing skills wildly to the scattered man's side to stop their attacks. Crap. The king's guild's firepower is a bit fierce. Gang. Help me. 
Sandy Chan, watch your back. The casuals are starting to get tight. After all, it was a rabble, and the gap was not really small compared to the King's Guild. Seeing that the Scattergood's attack was about to be stopped, Chan Ming, however, suddenly leapt up high and stretched out his right hand towards the most concentrated position of the crowd. I'm sorry, my big move. It's cooled down. Blade Storm. Familiar sword Chi appeared at first among the crowd. Originally in the front line of the fight against the king, the world cannot be contained to turn his head to look at the massive lethal force contained in the storm that makes him feel frightened. Cooled down? How is that possible? This kind of top big move is just a dozen seconds CDs? The shock in his eyes hadn't completely rippled out. It was then replaced by harshly interlaced sword chi. Sword chi was rampant in storms raged. The miserable screams of the king's guild players came one after another. Although they had already dispersed their positions according to the orders of the king, the world, there was a degree to which they could be dispersed. Chen Ming's sword blade storm effect this time could be greatly reduced. Killed only half as many as before. But for this stage, such a record is enough. Obstacles blocking the casuals from attacking were cleared. After feeling the overwhelming skills become less, Sister San did not hesitate to charge, chopping off the dog's head of the Blood Bull Knight in front of her with a single slash. Brothers, follow, she yelled in a domineering manner. The casuals were demoralized, and they followed Sister Sandy's lead and launched themselves into a charge. At this point, the King's Guild's defense line completely collapsed. There is an onslaught of casual players ahead. The latter was followed by Chen Ming's massacre. The King, the world was in a rage, but there was nothing he could do but watch his guild members die horribly under the swords. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Wang popped out these seven words through his teeth. The words just fell. The crowd suddenly flew out of a female Valkyrie. Comparable to the NPC's huge sword slammed on the head of the king. The world. Knocked him down to the ground. And then a foot stepped on the chest of the king. The world. Sister Sandy replicated the previous behavior of the king in the world towards her. It doesn't do much damage. But the insults are extreme. King. The world is so angry that the veins on the corners of his forehead are bulging. As the head of a meeting, when had he ever been stepped on? He's never been the only one to treat people this way. Fold and sink. He growled angrily. Sister Sandy, however, grinned. What's the point of calling your father? The other people in the King's Guild had already been cleaned up. And Gang also came over. Just in time to see Sandy's sister humiliate the king, the world in this scene, and hastily coughed twice, and said in a serious manner, Sandy's sister, you're a girl. Pay attention to the quality of ah. Sister Sandy skimmed her mouth and looked towards Chen Ming who was wiping the blood from his dagger and leisurely pacing towards him. Hey, Bai Yu Tang, do you hate it when girls curse and swear? Chen Ming froze and subconsciously replied, it doesn't matter. What's it to him if he curses or not? Sister Sandy nodded in satisfaction. It's okay then. Then he turned his head and gave a burst of output to the king. The world at the bottom of his feet. The richness of the vocabulary. Rao Chen Ming felt that it was an eye-opening experience. King. The world was scolded red in the face, and in anger, even chose to commit suicide to end his life. Resurrection is not an option to run a corpse for resurrection. Resurrecting in this neighborhood would only result in Chen Ming and the others guarding the corpses and killing them again. It can only be resurrected directly in the main city at the cost of dropping a level. It's not just him. Everyone in the King's Guild did. Although these people weren't the entirety of the King's Guild, they were definitely a fairly elite portion. Collectively, they dropped a level. That's a pretty heavy loss to say the least. In the resurrection point of Qingfeng City, the king, the world appeared with a gloomy face, surrounded by members of the king's guild, who didn't dare to utter a single breath as they looked at their own boss. It drew a flurry of attention from passers-by. How did so many people die? Hiss, isn't this the king's guild? That, a king's guild that was once one of the top 10 guilds in China? Seriously, how did they get beaten like this? Wow, even the president of the king's guild, king, world, is in there. What the hell happened to them? Suddenly, King, world swept over with a furious gaze. The passers-by were immediately scared into silence by the King, the world, and hurriedly turned their heads away, not daring to stare at this side. Boss, are we going back for revenge? Someone asked tentatively. Not that he was eager for revenge. Instead, they fought fear. They were afraid that the boss's brain was about to call on his brothers to seek revenge on the pearl jade white jade soup. King, world took a deep breath. Revenge? No way. We're not enough to kill him. Said. The king. The world thought of the wave of fighting just now. He couldn't help but wince. It's horrible. How can a person be so strong? It's outrageous. Wait a little longer. When our brothers in the king's guild reach level 10, more and more of them will enter Qingfeng city. We'll find another opportunity to go after the pearl emerald white jade soup. 
When the people of the king's guild heard this, they were letting out a long sigh of relief. Luckily, the boss didn't have his head in the clouds, but while celebrating, their hearts were more or less mixed. After all, the king's guild has crisscrossed so many games, and eating a defeat like this is still the first time off. The outskirts of the Scarlet Monastery, Chen Ming casually picked up some of the equipment that had exploded, but it's basically a white suit. After all, glory burst rate is touching, even the king, the world, the head of a meeting, can only green and white mix, not to mention these minions. Let's have Susu take it to the novice village and sell it later. Chen Ming didn't want to continue with the online auction. The first time something like that gets done, the premium must be super high, but if you engage in a lot of times, it will be boring, and the price will continue to go down. This will, on the contrary, make his pearl emerald white jade soup's reputation continue to decline. This kind of behavior of giving away a big head for a small profit was not something Chen Ming would do. White jade soup big brother. Kong walked over, but compared to his previous straightforwardness, he was clearly more formal and worshipful at this point. This is the equipment that the brothers exploded from the king's guild. After all, it was you, big brother by Yu Tang, who led us to succeed in our revolt, and it is only right that you should be the one to distribute this equipment. No need. Chen Ming waved his hand. Kong took a deep breath. He guessed that the white jade soup big brother couldn't look at these equipments. Then white jade soup big brother you kill this boss that the abbey swiped out. We won't rob you. Kong took on a pleading flavor in his tone. He was really worried that big brother by Yu Tang would refuse again. In that case, wouldn't they get nothing out of it? Kong will have a bad conscience. Chan Ming, however, still shook his head. That normal white level boss, he really couldn't bring himself to be interested in it either. It wouldn't hurt to give it to Gang and the others. Most importantly, Chan Ming, looking at something else, I'd like to form a guild. I don't know if you, Gang, are, guys, are there any interest in joining? Chen Ming opened his mouth with a tentative attitude. In his opinion, the strength of Gang's group of stragglers wasn't bad, so if they joined the guild, someone would definitely want them, but they chose to be a loose cannon, obviously for a reason. It's hard to tell if you can pull them in or not, it would be a bit humiliating to be rejected. Chen Ming couldn't help but touch his nose, fearing an awkward situation. However, his words had just fallen. Gang and the others froze at first. The excitement that followed was simply overwhelming. Really? Really? Big Brother White Jade Soup invited us to join his guild? Holy shit. I'm going to wake up laughing in my dreams tonight. Especially Sister Sandy. Her beautiful eyes erupted in a burst of light. As if a hungry tiger looking for prey in general. Up and down to look at Chen Ming. See Chen Ming a burst of inexplicable fear of heart. How could we not say yes to an invitation from Big Brother by Yu Tang? I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Gang on behalf of all the casuals, agreed in one breath. Chen Ming was slightly pleased. That's good. Although the strength of this group of casuals wasn't top-notch, the ones he valued the most were Sister Sand, whose operating ability wasn't bad, and Brother Gang, who had a superb leadership temperament. By taking these two under his wing, he had already achieved his goal. Boss, what's the name of our guild? Kong changed his name straight away. Everyone looked over in unison. Chen Ming pondered slightly. In this life, he should be the strongest person above the world. The guild name, naturally cannot be left behind. Let's call it the Nine Heavens. Simple, direct, but overbearing. Everyone brightened up as they listened. Nine Heavens? Good. That's great. Gang heatedly smiled. From now on, we'll be guild members of the Nine Heavens. Hearing this, all the casualties couldn't help but exude expressions of pride. From this moment on, they became members of the Nine Heavens Guild. Became subordinate to Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. They hugged the thickest thigh in the world of glory. There isn't one. Chen Ming had never been a guild leader, and in his previous life, he had only added a small, half-dead guild, the kind where almost no one was online every day. Don't know much about how the guild works. Fortunately, he had Kong as his right-hand man, take these equipments and distribute them to the brothers. Chen Ming knew that he wasn't a material to be a president, so he had the idea of being a shirker from the very beginning. Don't bother handing out rewards yourself. A brain tossed the white equipment that had popped out earlier to Kong to take care of. Thanks boss. Boss is awesome. Chen Ming was treated like a star. After seating the boss, Chen Ming brushed up the monsters on the outskirts of the monastery himself. Having been stirred up earlier, he had been unable to find the key to the basement of his monastery. He hadn't forgotten he was here on a mission. Pull monsters. Blade storm clear monsters. One and done. Soon the monsters fell like mowed wheat. Chen Ming's efficiency in brushing monsters was very high. Experience is also going up fast. After all, it was soloing a level 12 monster at level 9. 
It just happens to be a monster that is over level 3 and gets a full amount of non-decaying experience value. One sword blade storm down is 5 to 6 experience points. 10 minutes later, Chen Ming's experience value had already risen by around 40, and he would soon be back at the level 10 mark. Mainly, it's more time consuming to pull monsters. Otherwise, with Chen Ming's efficiency in brushing monsters, the experience value would have risen even faster. Blade Storm, another skill thrown down. This time, a sudden prompt came to his ears. Ding, myriad hands, triggered successfully. Obtaining the prop, Scarlet Monastery's basement key. In those 10 minutes, Chen Ming had already stolen quite a few things, but it's all broken copper coins and the usual little rags that fall out. Seeing the mission props burst out, Chen Ming could not help but stare. That's okay? He actually managed to steal a mission prop? This is really unexpected, but it's also mythic stealing judged to be the most valuable thing on the monster. And this monster came out with this quest item in the burst rate pool when it was refreshed. So since it triggered the stealing, it's a sure bet that it will steal this item. Get the mission props. The next thing he had to do was to deliver the mission. Snap up all three copper coins on the ground, and pocket all the normal props. Even if he is already worth close to 10 million dollars. But still, the traditional virtue of not wasting is upheld. After tidying up the mess, Chen Ming greeted Gang's crowd, who were still fighting the boss, and walked into the Scarlet Monastery. Find the priest and submit the key. The quest was completed, granting Chen Ming 12, 500 experience points, as well as 10 silver coins. Swish, golden light rose and flew as Chen Ming returned to level 10, with such a full set of equipment and skills, and SSS level quests to add support. Upgrading is really fast. Unfortunately, there is no attribute bonus after this upgrade, but come to think of it, if dropping a level and upgrading again could regain attributes, anyone would be stuck at level 1 frantically swiping attribute points. This mission, Chen Ming did not obtain the last piece of the inherited leather armor that he had been longing for. Obviously, this indicates that the mission continues. Sure enough, the priest, who had been lowering his eyebrows and dropping his eyes, finally looked up when he received the key. Beneath a head of silky blonde hair were gentle eyes filled with compassionate mercy. He was clearly expressionless, but when he gazed at Chen Ming, he gave Chen Ming the impression that he always carried a gentle smile. Brave adventurer, please do one more thing for me. The basement of this place is sealed with unnameable evil. I need to make a trip to the basement. When you come out, you may be corrupted by foul breath and need to obtain divine baptism. Adventurer, please prepare me for holy baptism. He spoke gently and handed the cross in his hand to Chen Ming. Obtained prop, Scarlet Cross. Scarlet Cross, a cross filled with an eerie aura that can be acquired to use the skill blood blessing to baptize a priest. After delivering the props, the priest clutched his turned up peeling and worn Bible and headed for the basement. Chen Ming followed behind. The moment the priest opened the heavy iron door to the basement, Chen Ming only felt a flash before his eyes. The original Scarlet Monastery is filled with a spooky atmosphere is good, but at least it still retains a certain air of holiness, modesty and sanctity. However, at this moment, Chen Ming suddenly discovered that the white and holy wall decorations and the colorful glazed domes in front of him had all changed. The holy white walls became decayed and broken and reeked of scarlet. The seven-colored glazed dome is even turned into a pile of countless corpses and bones. That the sunlight refracted from outside is not through the glaze of the dome, but the eye sockets of the countless human skulls. Crap! Chen Ming was taken aback. By the time he came back to his senses, though, it was gone, and the eerie and the holy returned to his vision. The priest, too, was no longer known, and the iron door in front of him reclosed. It's still the same Scarlet Monastery. What the hell? How come I've never heard of this abbey in this weird scene? Scarlet Monastery, as a mecca of leveling for budding newcomers in the previous world, had always been high in popularity. Yet he had never heard of anyone noticing anything wrong here. At best, it's a spooky atmosphere at the Scarlet Monastery. It was not at all comparable to the unnameable fear that he had just experienced. Where is this Scarlet Monastery? It's clearly a monastery of corpses and bones. Could be the reason for the main quest? Chen Ming had a vague guess. Now that's the pushiness of a SSS ranked main quest. Previously, this quest wasn't too special except for the fact that the rewards were so rich that it was scary. Right now, it's only finally touching on the main plot a bit. Kind of interesting. Through the ghostly iron door, Chen Ming looked into the basement. Unfortunately, it was so dark inside that he couldn't see anything for himself. Three minutes later, the priest returns. Again the moment he opened the door, illusions appeared before Chen Ming's eyes once again. It seems like I guessed correctly, that everything just now is related to this basement. Chen Ming secretly analyzed. I also wonder what exactly is inside. Please baptize me with divine baptism. The priest once again lowered his eyebrows and lowered his eyes, his tone filled with devotion. 
Chen Ming raised the cross and aimed it at the priest, used the skill, blood blessing sacrifice, a weird red light flashed, in the next second, the priest's skin was suddenly flushed with bursts of red, it was as if he had been bitten by countless mosquitoes, immediately after that, the red dots underneath his skin unexpectedly scurried wildly, it was as if there were countless bugs scurrying under his skin and through his veins, the priest shuddered in pain until he fell to his knees with a plop, put, he spurted out a mouthful of blood violently, interspersed with some shredded entrails, stained his white priestly robes red, minus 20,518, bright red five-digit numbers jumped up from the priest's head, directly dropped over 20, 000 blood, but looking at the priest's blood bar, it seemed that this 20, 000 plus life value was just a drop in the bucket for him, it's not even like 1%, Chen Ming's eyelids jumped hard, he really didn't expect that this priest, who looked ordinary, was a top-notch big shot behind his back, the bloodstain is at least 2 million up, this Nima, in the end what level of existence ah, just as Chen Ming's heart was pounding, the priest, who fell to his knees in pain, actually prostrated himself devoutly on the ground and, with the most humble attitude, licked up the ground's crushed entrails and swallowed them a little into his belly, didn't take more than a few licks, he let out another moan of pain once more, spewing more blood in broken pieces, over and over and over again, minus 29,561, minus 25,931, minus 30,519, Chen Ming's scalp went numb as he watched, not only is it disgusting, and spooky, just as he somewhat resisted twisting his head away, suddenly, a prompt rang in his ears, ding, wonderful hand, triggered successfully, congratulations on obtaining the prop, Scarlet Monastery's basement key, seeing this tip, Chen Ming's heartbeat nearly missed a beat, the key to the Scarlet Monastery, is actually back in his hands, he looked to the bloody cross in his hand, that's it, the series of damage that the priest received all came from the skill, blood blessing, that came with the, Scarlet Cross, in the system's view, the priest's continuous injuries and constant blood loss originated from Chen Ming, naturally, mythical hands also has the possibility of triggering, that's okay, Chen Ming's heart thumped, but he lifted his head expressionlessly and fiercely looked at the depths behind the iron door, a strong curiosity rose in him, but in a whirlwind, he forcefully suppressed such thoughts, an NPC of the priest's level was so embarrassed by the erosion, what could he, a small level 10 thief, do, even if this is just a game, he has countless opportunities to start over, but he doesn't t want to die for nothing, wanted to try and see what kind of information I could get from the priest, I guess, he searched his mind for a large memory of his past life, but he really hadn't been able to find any hidden messages related to the Scarlet Monastery, after all, He'd gotten into the game too late back then and had been so bogged down leveling that he'd barely learned much about it. Finally, the red dots scurrying across the priest's body subsided, and he finally stopped suffering. After standing up, and without seeing him make any movements, the holy light rose up around him, and the blood stains that were originally all over the place, and the blood-soaked priest's robes all became clean and dry. After returning the scarlet cross, the priest's gentle voice rang out, Thank you for your help. The merciful Lord will protect you. Please pass this letter on to the captain of the kingdom's guard, and tell him that it's business as usual on the Scarlet Abbey side. No questions asked. Business as usual? No questions? I'll believe the hell out of you. You're a bad old man in a bad way. After receiving the envelope, Chen Ming pondered for a moment and asked in an aside, Father, how did this key fall into the hands of the roving bandits, with their strength? Can they also loot the Scarlet Monastery? That's a big guy who's been knocked out of over 100. 000 blood in a minute and is still alive and kicking with no ass. How could that group of scum out there possibly take something from him? If it was placed in another game, Chen Ming definitely wouldn't have been so superfluous to ask. After all, the game is well. Some of the logic is not right place is also very normal. Service players, let players cool is the most important. Minu Shi, don't worry about it. But Chen Ming, who knew that glory was not simple, did not dare to take this game lightly at all. The priest replied gently they cannot harm me, and I cannot harm them, the Lord said that no one should kill, are you just going to watch them loot the monastery and take your things, Chen Ming was dumbfounded, the priest shook his head slightly, all things are gifts from the Lord, all encounters are ordained by him, that's a real fanatic, Chen Ming had expected to find a clue on the bizarre loss of the key, the results were not expected, the bizarre thing is not why the key is missing, the bizarre thing is this guy fr, Chen Ming continued to sidestep the issue, but the priest always manages to muddle through, complete with, the whole thing did not give Chen Ming half a bit of information, I've been asking for half a day, but I haven't gotten any information, count your blessings, Chen Ming had no choice but to sigh, in this state of complete lack of intelligence, he could only abandon his risky quest, 
After all, if you die once, your experience drops, and many times, it will meet with encounters worse than death. For example, in the previous life, someone had encountered being cursed by an NPC. The lifetime experience value gain rate decayed by 50, and from then on, brushing experience was half the effort. Others are trapped in some sort of prison cell, couldn't get out anyway, can't even delete the number and rebuild it. At that time, Shen Ming also felt that the game had gone too far. Fooling the players in this way was simply shoplifting, but now it seems too normal to encounter these encounters in a real world. TV shows, games, and novels require logic, but reality doesn't require it. Be sure to stay alert, especially in a spooky place like this. Chen Ming secretly put away the key to the basement, intending to wait until a later time when he was more sure of himself to come back and explore. Next, Chen Ming only needed to return to Qingfeng City and deliver the letter, even if he had completed the mission. You also get the last piece of equipment in the Heritage Leather Armor series, but he's a big red name now, going back is only a beating. Why don't we just practice leveling here for a while, and by the way, get the big red name down. Both the length of time you are online and the monsters you kill mitigate the sin value. Chen Ming went to the periphery and greeted Gang and the others who had already defeated the boss. First, he instructed Gang and the others to pay a little attention to the Scarlet Monastery while practicing to see if there were any abnormalities. Chen Ming wanted to get some information through this method, but Chen Ming didn't hold out much hope. In the last life, Scarlet Monastery served as a big hotspot for leveling, with countless players practicing here every day. So many years, no news has trickled in yet. Gang and the others would have to change locations after practicing here for two or three days at most, and the probability of being able to obtain information was just too small and too small. A word of caution though, it's better than nothing. Next I'm going to brush the monsters in the inner courtyard of the Scarlet Monastery for a while. Follow me if you feel you have the strength to brush the inner courtyard. Upon hearing this, Gang revealed a look of ecstasy. Hurriedly, he pointed out the seven or eight players led by Sister Sandy and joined Chen Ming's team. These people are considered the elite of the dispersed. As for the other unsuccessful candidates, their eyes were filled with envy. Chen Ming slightly contemplated, opened his mouth to motivate. Brothers, cheer up to practice leveling. In the future encounter copies and whatnot, I will not forget to bring you, but your level can keep up with it ah. His light words instantly agitated everyone. Make a copy with pearl jade white jade soup big brother. That's a deal that costs millions to have. These people who had lost the election were all like chicken blood at once and they all patted their chests to ensure that they practiced well. Even the ones that were chosen couldn't control their heavier breathing. Chen Ming looked at everyone excitedly and was smiling faintly, though he hated nothing more than people white knighting themselves, but it's the brothers in their own guild. He is a member of the council. Long, to take his own brother, and instead of being bored, he was quite happy to do so. Take a few people to the inner courtyard of the monastery. The monsters here are on average two levels higher than those outside, but under Chen Ming's terrifying damage. It's still like chopping up a melon and cutting up a vegetable. In the beginning, Gang and Sandy Sister, both doing their own thing Gang Angola Monster, Sandy Sister Output and Vice Tan, the others were at full output, but when they realized that the crowd gathered fire for half a day and killed a monster, Chen Ming's side had already mowed down seven or eight monsters after, they are in a daze. What was the point of them working so hard to kill monsters? Finally, Sister Sandy figured it out. If I'm outputting here, I might as well go pull monsters for boss white jade soup. Gang also realized. Yeah, wouldn't it be better for us to pull monsters for the boss? What's the point of bothering with output? Eventually, even the team's priest transformed into a fierce man and went up with his staff to knock on monsters, pulling in hate to guide Chen Ming's side, got chased all the way up the ass. Though, but it's heartfelt joy hugging the lap and going up one in experience value in almost as little as 5 minutes. At this rate, it just takes off. All these paddlers are yet to do so. Chan Ming, the main output, was even more experienced. In particular, he also possessed the experience melting pot, a prop that could give him an additional 30 experience bonus. Just two hours passed. His experience value went up by 60. Together with the experience gained from completing the quests earlier, he was currently at level 10 with 83 experience points, and with just one more hour of brushing, he would be able to upgrade. But it was late at night and early in the morning. Chen Ming was already sleepy. Anyway, He'd only just scrubbed off a third of his sin value, and he'd obviously have to keep popping his liver tomorrow, so he wasn't chasing the hour or two. Guys, it's just too sleepy, I have to slip away. Everyone was obviously not tired yet, and the feeling of being taken flying was cool enough to offset any exhaustion. Sister Sandy, good night, boss. Kong glanced at her in surprise, you actually say good night? Didn't you say it was pretentious as hell and you'd beat up anyone who said it to you? 
Sister Sandy's old face reddened when she was exposed, but immediately shot back. So what? It's better than some people who don't dare to go offline and sleep. Gang's face changed wildly. Chen Ming froze. Afraid to go offline and sleep? What's there to worry about when you're having such a great time sleeping? Sister Sandy looked at Gang's embarrassment and laughed. This old brother told his daughter-in-law at home that he could earn money by playing the game, so that he could explode his liver every day. Otherwise how could he play with us until so late? You have to pay a couple hundred bucks to go up there for a day of gaming. Miserable as hell. But this guy also used playing games as an excuse. Every night at 3 or 4 o'clock when the wife sleeps and then offline. As for the reason why well. He he he. Sister Sandy flashed an old CG's bad smile. Chen Ming understood in seconds. Dodging rations ha. Huh? He cast a sympathetic look towards Kong. Kong, pay attention to your body. Don't blush. By pay attention to your body I mean you don't stay up too long. Don't think too much about it. Really. Chen Ming still couldn't hold back, laughing out loud, down the line. After washing up and lying on the bed, recalling the recent full harvest, Chen Ming soon fell into a comfortable and deep sleep. When I woke up, the sun was already high and blazing. What's the situation? Didn't Chen Jiajia come to call me today? Chen Ming lazily climbed up from the bed. This sleep was so comfortable. Livered until one or two last night and slept in one breath until high noon. I'm a little hungry, but gauging the time, Chen Jiajia should have already made lunch. Push open the door to the room. Chen Ming froze. The house was incredibly quiet. Chen Ming lives in an old neighborhood. A very small two-bedroom apartment. The set area is only more than 50 square feet. The kitchen. But where there is a bit of movement Chen Ming is unlikely to hear. Knocking on the door of his sister's room. He called out softly. With no response. What's the situation? Chen Ming pushed open the door to the room. This look revealed that his sister was in bed. Leaning against the bed with two pillows behind her. Wearing a helmet obviously having a good time. I thought the game was a bit of a plaything before, but it's really fragrant so soon? Chen Ming happily looked at his sister. It's a good thing that you like to play games. At least there was no need for Chen Ming to find additional ways to lure his sister into the game. Originally Chen Ming envisioned waiting for a few days. His sister will report to the university, so that she will fall in the wave of young people are playing glory. Fortunately, it is not necessary now. As for the parents who are far away, he was ready to get ready and then bring his parents over. His recent goal was to save up around $10 million to buy a villa located near Castle Peak. Although the villa area near Castle Peak wasn't the top of the city's rich neighborhoods, and the supporting facilities were somewhat unworthy of the $10 million price tag, that wasn't what Chen Ming valued. He remembers very clearly that the terrain on the green mountainside is quite good, and in the modern world, it is a feng shui land with mountains and water. And in wartime, it's a natural moat that's easy to defend and hard to attack. By the time the game entered reality, Constructing a defense there was the easiest of the locations Chen Ming knew, and most importantly, as the game enters reality, all sorts of in-game stuff will enter in tandem, and at Castle Peak, an elite army of humans who have been lost for hundreds of years will appear straight away, extremely capable but not very brainy, a little fooling around and it can be put to your own use. In his previous life, there was a lucky man who got that army, and relying on the terrain of the green hills, occupying the mountain as the king, in the midst of that chaotic world somehow stood out, mixing with the wind and water. Supposedly, that lucky guy was also one that never played the game. Rise, just overnight. It all depends on that one heavenly opportunity and creation. This was the reason why Chen Ming was trying to find ways to make money even though he knew that the game would come down and the money would eventually turn into waste paper. The money will eventually be useless is not false, but the money exchanged for a variety of resources. Indeed real control in the hands of Chen Ming Ah, making money is just a means to an end. Obtaining resources to prepare for the game's entry into reality is the real goal. Chen Ming looked at his sister and couldn't help but think out loud, thinking of many things related to his family. In his previous life, he failed to protect his family. In this life, he wouldn't make the same mistake. Walking over to his sister's bedside, he called out softly, My sister was immersed in the game and naturally, is not able to hear Chen Ming voice, but the helmet comes with the function of automatic detection. Recognize the vicinity of there is a movement immediately will prompt the game players, and give a camera that can observe the outside world. Sure enough, it didn't take long for my sister to take off her helmet with a look of disbelief. What's up, brother? Chen Ming laughed lightly and took out his cell phone and shook it. It's already lunchtime. Ha, huh? so soon? My sister exclaimed, then hurriedly got up from the bed. Brother are you hungry? Oops, it's a bit too late to cook now. I'll just put down a bowl of noodles? My sister was a little embarrassed. I can't believe I'm addicted to the game. Chen Ming waved his hand, there's no need, just go out to eat today and save yourself the trouble. 
my sister had wanted to refuse, but thinking to herself, cooking, eating plus washing dishes and cleaning up, this set down less than an hour or two, and she still had her heart set on going back to the game to poke rabbits with her girlfriends, trying to hurry up and get fed and go back to playing games she felt even more guilty, but finally, he nodded, glory, that smells good, 20 minutes later, my sister looked at the sign landing and was a bit confused, the landing, a private dining room, the decor looks understated as well, it seems to have a bad reputation, but that's only because people don't bother with marketing, after all, they're a restaurant that only serves the top tycoons, reserve a spot, basically, for a starting price of 5, 000 ahead, Chen Ming had made a lot of money recently, so naturally he wouldn't treat himself poorly, these treats, enjoy them when you can, and wait until the game enters reality, and many of the goods unique to the modern world will slowly disappear. Chen Jiajia carefully surveyed the interior decor of the store while looking at her old brother with a complicated expression. She wondered more and more if her brother had done something bad. Money seems to be coming in too fast these days, doesn't it? Especially these days, despite spending every day in the room. But noticeable dark circles are aggravated. A look of overindulgence. Plus his brother's already notably handsome face. My sister couldn't help but think of many strange things in her mind. Brother Woon. T take any shortcuts. Would he? There was a pang of mixed emotions. Where did Chen Ming know his sister's inner activities? It's the first time though. But he walked through the understated, but not overly luxurious store with the waiter leading the way. If it were before, even if he had money, there might be a hint of nervousness and humility in his heart. But having stood at the top of glory, his mindset had changed dramatically. He already vaguely possessed an abstruse and calm demeanor. Take your seat. There's no menu. Start pouring tea and serving appetizers straight away. This restaurant creates dishes based on different ingredients every day. And with the chef running the entire process, diners have no idea what they're going to get until they see it on the table. The chef was quite capricious. It was a novel experience. It's also a symbol of his strength. Brother, when did you book this one? The younger sister immediately asked with a serious face after seeing the waiter leave. This store is particularly expensive. I heard that it's a starting price of $5,000 a person. $5,000 is the start. And your brother ordered today the most. Expensive meal. The kind that costs $88.88 a head. Chen Ming asked rhetorically. How did you know about this store? It's only logical that my sister wouldn't know about this rather low-key store. I heard it from Xiong Xiong. The younger sister continued to scrutinize Chen Ming. Don't change the subject. Brother, what the hell have you been doing lately? However, as soon as her words fell, she saw Chen Ming look behind her. Xiong Xiong. You mean the sister sitting there? Still trying to change the subject? My sister raised an eyebrow but still subconsciously turned his head. Then she was confused too. Hey, bears? Xiong Xiong often appears in his sister's circle of friends. Chen Ming has seen it quite a few times. For this kind of beautiful sister. Oh no, it is for the sister's friends. Chen Ming still has some memories. One of them said a bearish phrase, which was not very loud, but it drew the attention of that sister. As her twin ponytails flew, a well-behaved doll's face twisted over and presented itself to Chen Ming's field of vision. Yay, jia jia. The next thing you know, the two tables are naturally seated together. Bear's side also brought a sister named Cha Cha. The color is not bad either. Listening to their exchanges, they learned that this girl was also their classmate, but compared to her innocent sister and the cute looking bear, this girl was obviously a lot more mature. Big waves, mature makeup, deep V strapless dress, at a glance like a bimbo who hangs out in the nightclub, but she had a good base of her own, so she didn't look too tacky. My sister and Bear were obviously pleasantly surprised to meet here, and the two girlfriends were talking a lot. T was the only one who didn't join the conversation. She looked Chen Ming up and down for a moment, then with a slight smile, Jia Jia, is this your boyfriend? It's really nice ah, he's quite handsome, he even brought you here to eat, and ordered the most expensive set meal, TSK, at a glance it's very lovey dovey oh, you must be quite pleasing to your brother's liking. Chen Jiajia the girl didn't hear that something was wrong and hurriedly intended to clarify. However, Chan Ming, who had been a man for two lifetimes, had heard some strings. This girl speaks. A little bit of yin and yang ah. It seems that. It's a sarcastic comment on the sisters being a big spender. Chen Ming did not reply, but his eyes narrowed slightly. He's a brother. Chen Jiajia was more innocent and didn't hear the yin and yang of the others. Xiong Xiong didn't hear it either, and looked at Chen Ming with wide-eyed surprise. No wonder you often bragged to us about your brother being handsome. So it's true. My sister smiled smugly. That's true. Chen Ming silently glanced at his sister. I didn't expect this girl to give me so much face out there. What a good sister I have. Seeing that her sister was not a big spender, 
Ti Ti immediately lost interest, and although she still sized up Chen Ming from time to time, she didn't say anything more. Chen Ming now understood. Cha Cha is one of those typical green tea girls. Maybe the family has a little money and is more proud. After seeing her younger sister, a girl who was usually better than her in every aspect, except for her family, suddenly appearing in this kind of rich restaurant, and being able to compare with her in terms of her family, she was instantly a little unbalanced in her mind. Talent tea art pulls full. Yin and Yang a wave. These little girls, their minds are so complicated ah. Chen Ming picked up his tea and took a sip. Since Cha Cha had tightened up, he was too lazy to bother with a little girl. He's here today to enjoy the food. A few of the girls chatted idly, and Chen Ming was too lazy to chime in, but politely listened from the sidelines. First on the table were appetizers and desserts, homemade iced noodles, freshly cooked sweet potato pancakes, very Chinese. The quantity is small, but the win is exquisite. A tiny piece of the boss's plate was the dish, the kind you fix in one bite, often taking a bite in switching plates. It's not that the restaurant is skimping, but it's that it only takes the best of each dish and samples it superficially in order to get more types of dishes for its guests. Chen Ming ate happily. The girls had a great time chatting. Soon the girls were chatting about the smash hit game Blurry. Look at this. Sooner or later the conversation is going to come to me. Chen Ming lowered his head to eat, secretly thinking. Sure enough, didn't say a few words. Xiong Xiong then said excitedly, By the way, I heard that last night Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother did something big again. He defeated more than 30 elites from the King's Guild by himself, killed them all back in Qingfeng City. Saying that, Bear's eyes revealed the kind of adoration unique to little girls. Cha Cha heckled. Bear, your intel isn't right ah. I have a big brother who mixes in the online gaming circle. He told me that yesterday, Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup was killing more than a hundred players from the King's Guild. It's not the 30 or so you said. Your big brother is afraid that his math score is not good. Chen Ming secretly spat. My sister revealed a puzzled look. When I was mixing up the team today, I heard everyone discussing it, talking about killing more than 300 ah, and it's still the kind that goes back and forth and kills all night long with red eyes. Chen Ming almost choked on the fine shredded dragon beard noodles in his mouth. The god Tama killed more than 300 also killed back and forth back and forth back and forth killed a hole all night. Do you really think that your brother is the bull and horse that ran through the Marika Mountains for more than 10 hours without stopping? Treating your brother like an animal. Chen Ming was busy taking a sip of tea to suppress his shock. These people, when word gets around, the rumor mill goes too far, but I like it. Please increase your efforts. The topic of girlfriends is always, not borderline, they didn't dwell much on the exact amount, and soon enough, they were talking about something else. I heard that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother is so strong. It's because he has a great talent. Looking at Big Brother's analysis, White Jade Soup should be an absolute S-class talent. Xiong Xiong chatted about gossip that he didn't know where it seemed to come from. An S-ranked talent is the only one? Chen Ming smiled without saying anything. Bear. Small. The grid is small. Say Jia Jia. You're at least an A-ranked talent. Right. Why do you feel like there's such a big gap between you and Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother? It even feels like your A-ranked talent isn't as good as my C-ranked talent intelligence increase. A-level talent? My sister is a class A talent? Chen Mingren was dumbfounded. In his last life, both he and his sister entered the game at a late stage, awakening all the stinky talents. He himself had inexplicably lucked out in this life and awakened SSS ranked talents, and he blamed it on the special nature of his rebirth. Ku's sister. Surprisingly, it's become European too? Jia Jia. What is your talent? Chen Ming immediately asked. Ha, huh, why are you asking this? Brother, do you want to play the game too? Chen Jia Jia revealed a puzzled look. Bear and Cha Cha looked over as well. Previously, their game chat was so hot that Chen Ming didn't get involved in a word, and everyone thought that he didn't play the game, just playing around. Chen Ming perfunctorily said, Say, what's your talent? Called Bionic Teardrop. Chen Jia Jia skimmed her mouth. It can summon a bilocation of me to assist me in battle, but that bilocation is really stupid. It can't fight monsters, it strolls around a lot, and several times I've been about to get killed and it's still slowing down next to me to buff and change weapons. The most detestable thing is that the bear gave me a lot of potions. I can't even afford to drink it. It's good. A little bit of blood drop. Just gulp 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 gulp. Chen Jiajia said, a picture of aggression. Obviously suffered greatly. Chen Ming also fell silent as he listened to her description. Why is this bionic teardrop so retarded? Is it really an A-level talent? Look at how much benefit people's queen dogs, with their A-rank talent enhancement, had brought to Chen Ming. Why is this bionic teardrop like an iron beaner? Sister. However, Chen Ming believed that there were no misjudged talents, only players who would not use them. 
It's like Lori Su Su, looks like a waste, but really, it's the hidden big brother. Sis, when we get home later, you come online, I'll add you as a friend, and I'll take a look for you. Chen Ming decided to look into it himself. My sister, however, smiled. No need ah brother, I've already made an appointment with Cha Cha to have her big brother help look at it. Big brother? How big a man? Better than me? Chen Ming looked at Cha Cha. This green tea sister rather pretentiously held up her teacup and took a shallow sip. My brother plays the game well enough to help decipher talents. Easily. Who is it? Maybe I know. Chen Ming pursued. The green tea sister visibly hesitated. For you to care. Based on Chen Ming's observation, he was almost certain that the green tea sister was bragging. This kind of sister. Favorite left mouth I have a brother. Right sentence I have a sister. They are triple X. X this classic sentence. You wouldn't be unable to remember your good brother's name. Would you? Chen Ming laughed absent-mindedly. Who? Who said that? A flash of panic flashed across the green tea sister's eyes, which was seen through by Chen Ming. The acting sucks. The segment is too low. Putting it in the community is easily seen through. But it's true. After all, only graduated from high school. Not even in college yet. Even if it's more green tea. More scheming. How powerful can it be? Chen Ming didn't bother pressing her. But Xiong Xiong and Chen Jiajia, the two dull girls, did not realize Cha Cha's dilemma at all, and still looked like curious babies, innocently pursuing the question. T's panic was becoming more and more apparent. In a pinch, she suddenly raised an eyebrow. Don't ask. I'm afraid I'll scare you all to death by saying it. But not before Bear and his sister reacted. She then continued to speak to herself. I didn't want to say anything, but you guys kept pressing me and I had to say it. The brother who has always taken me is the pearl. Emerald and white jade soup. Xiong Xiong and Chen Jiajia both froze. Green tea struck the iron while it was hot and continued. In fact, I promised brother Bai Yu Tang to keep the secret. But you guys keep pursuing it like this. I really can't help it. The naturally nerdy bear was anxious. We didn't know this was the case either. Wow. I'm sorry. You revealed the secret. You won't make big brother Bai Yu Tang angry. Right? The green tea sister sighed. It's possible. But not a big problem. Who made me brother Bai Yu Tang's favorite girl? He always thought I was the most understanding of all the girls he knew. That's the difference between me and the other girls. All they do is get jealous. And I'm not like them. I'll only heart Gigi. Chen Ming almost put down the chopsticks in his hand to applaud the green tea sister. Wonderful wow. This wave of acting is a big breakthrough. Not to mention those two sisters. Even I was almost fooled by you. That's nice. It's just a shame. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is sitting across from you. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother can meet a girl like you. It's really a hero with a beauty. A precious sword with a good sheath. It's perfect. Chen Ming rushed at Green Tea Sister and gave her a thumbs up, praising her without mincing words. He's not going to jump in and admit that he's Pearl Jade White Jade Soup at this point. How boring is that? Catch the fish a little longer. Fool the Green Tea Sister a little. And then reveal her identity when the time comes to give her the perfect social death. So that at a young age she will know the evils of society. This kind of B asterisk TCHY girl just gives people a natural desire to bully. Anum. Cuckoo. Sooner or later, Chen Ming would have to play the game with his sister anyway, and his identity would be exposed sooner or later. It's fun to use it to bully this little sister. Sure enough, being blown off by Chen Ming, Cha Cha instantly raised her little chin proudly. It had to be said that Chen Ming's ass kissing was still very powerful. Even if what Chen Ming said was just a few words, he was after all a handsome young talent with a lot of money, and a girl like Cha Cha who thought highly of herself couldn't help but think highly of Chen Ming. With that kind of status added to it. Anything Chen Ming casually said made Cha Cha very receptive. Cha Cha's sister. You're so close to Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother. He's been bringing you along. Your rank should be very high. Right? That's for sure. Is there a level 10? Well. No way. Not even level 10? Chen Ming was shocked. That's the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother who repeatedly massacred the King's Guild's 300 people for a whole night in Mighty and Famous. He actually didn't bring you to level 10? T explained in a panic. That's because I didn't want to hold him up. Yes, I forgot. TT you will only be heartbroken Gigi. But he is so cold to you. You are not afraid that he ran away with someone? There are a lot of girls next to Bai Yu Tang. Are you not afraid that he is a sea king? Chen Ming had a serious look of concern for his juniors. No, I trust him. So you guys are very affectionate then? That's for sure. Have you met offline? Not yet. Chen Ming painfully and fiercely accused. That counts for shit good. By Yu Tang this is not an iron scum man? This. Cha Cha was a little confused by Chen Ming's series of questions. Nice. The idea is to make you confused and dizzy. Suddenly, Chen Ming's words changed. 
I've never seen you offline and you're still so affectionate. So you're in an online relationship? Did you do something indescribable in the game with the white jade soup big guy? Ever held hands? T vaguely felt that something was wrong. But after a series of conversations, Cha Cha had already been rushed by Chen Ming and forced into a position where she had to answer. She glanced at Xiong Xiong and Chen Jiejie who were looking at her curiously, and nodded her head stiffly. Of course, what's a good relationship if you haven't even held hands? The corners of Chen Ming's mouth rose slightly. Oh, so held hands with the pearl emerald white jade soup ah. Then when it's time to get into the game and pearl emerald white jade soup comes over to hold your hand, you don't seem to have a reason to say no, do you? What about cuddling? I'm sure we've done that too. After all, we're all grown girls out of high school. Well, sure yeah. What about kissing? Never mind. No need to ask. Must have done it too. Otherwise you wouldn't have been relieved to have such a suave and handsome guy like Bai Yutang mingling with the women. You must have tied him down hard right. Ah, this, right. We also kissed. Cha Cha's voice suddenly became a little tiny. The naturally nerdy bear looked at Cha Cha in shock. Cha Cha what's wrong with you? Didn't you tell me the other day that you still have your first kiss? T's scalp tingled. Instead, Chen Ming was a bit surprised. This girl who dresses so bitchy, like a nightclub playgirl, is actually so pure behind the scenes? Gee, still not waiting for the dizzy TT to think of an explanation. Chen Ming took the lead and answered for her. People TT and Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup love each other to death. It must be the two days of kissing. That's the way it is with young people. Speaking of this, Chen Ming couldn't contain his bad smile. His purpose had been accomplished. Not that he's going to rely on these tripe to threaten little girls and trick them into kissing and hugging. He's not that underhanded. It's just a simple matter of wanting to take a little revenge for my sister and bully this one a bit. So many handles were held by Chen Ming. The moment it's revealed, this sister will surely die a social death to the point of scalp numbness. It's not too much to ask for a three bedroom, one bathroom kind of thing when you're stubbing your toe. It makes you happy just to think about it. That's what you get for poking and prodding and shading my sister right off the table. Chen Ming stopped interjecting, with a honeyed smile on his face. He lowered his head to enjoy his meal. He was looking forward to the moment of the reveal. The process of private dining is very complicated. A meal that Chen Ming and his group ate hard for almost two hours, but the food was good for the price. After eating and drinking, Chen Ming was going to go back online to start brushing his level and brush his sin value. My sister was addicted to glory as well, but since she was out meeting her BFF, she naturally made a date to go shopping and get her nails and hair done. Chen Ming knew that Xiong Xiong and Cha Cha were both girls from extremely good families. Fearing that his sister would not have enough money, he transferred another hundred thousand dollars. Seeing that he was so glib, T couldn't help but raise her assessment of him by another point, and the dark complexity in his sister's eyes was much deeper. Chen Ming didn't bother to explain. The game need is just a couple days away anyway. When he saw it, all the mysteries could be solved, and there was no need for him to take any more trouble at all. After arriving home, Chen Ming put on his helmet and logged into the game, reappeared in the Scarlet Monastery. As soon as he came online, Chen Ming heard bursts of shouting and killing sounds coming from all around him. He fixed his eyes. The number of people in the inner courtyard was quite large, contracting almost all the brush points densely. Another other guild coming to bash the scene? Chen Ming's first reaction was to frown slightly. However, he soon dispelled this thought among the crowd of players. He instantly saw Folding Sands, who mingled in the crowd as if she was a big sister. Sister Sandy, these people are. Chen Ming walked over and asked out loud. Originally, the halberd was operating at a high level, and after being interrupted by Chen Ming, she couldn't help but frown a little. But before she could have a seizure, as soon as she twisted her head around and saw Chen Ming, the displeasure on her face evaporated. White Jade Soup. Just in the moment when Sister San was distracted, the monster seized the opportunity and sneaked towards Folding Sands. Chen Ming subconsciously tried to pull out his dagger to help Sister Sandy evade this wave of sneak attacks. Then, just as he was about to make his move, Sister Sandy, as if she had eyes behind her, violently slammed her huge sword behind her. Snap! The monster was slapped headfirst into the dirt. Chen Ming's eyelids jumped as he watched, but Sister Sandy smiled as if nothing had happened at all. These are all casuals who want to come and practice leveling, as well as some members of small guilds. I'm thinking that our nine heavens can't be like those big guilds and dominate the venue. If we really do that, what's the difference between us and the other guilds? So just let them in. Even though we get less experience this way, everyone is happy to do it without complaining. Chen Ming nodded in agreement. Right. As if she suddenly thought of something, Sister Sandy pulled Chen Ming's hand and hurriedly tugged him towards the middle of the crowd. Brothers, look who's here. Hey hey hey, what are you doing? Chen Ming somewhat wanted to break free, but Sister Sandy was a monstrous power warrior, so hell knows how she had so many power points. 
The hand that grasped Chen Ming was delicate and warm though, but with the strength of a treadmill iron jaw, grabbed Chen Ming to death. No matter how much he struggled, he didn't move. As Sister Sandy roared out this voice, countless people turned their heads. Chen Ming hadn't hidden his ID since yesterday, and at this time, the big words with the golden light and dragon flying were hanging on his head. Holy shit, what a pearl in jade white jade soup. They're actually telling the truth. Unbelievable. Shock was pervading. Chen Ming looked at Sister San in confusion. What's the situation? Before, when we tried to pull these casuals into the guild and told them that Nine Heavens was created by you, they didn't believe us at all, and that we're committing fraud. Thinks we're up to something else. Chen Ming was dumbfounded. What's so fraudulent about this? These people are just too exaggerated. Can't I just form my own force? Sister Sandy was suddenly silent. After a while, she spoke. They don't believe it. Mainly because they think that with Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup's character, it's impossible for him to commit such a generous act. It's out of character with Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup to give away such a nice piece of ground for casual use. Chen Ming was also silent. Your own win rating seems a bit skewed ah. It's true he likes to slaughter dog dudes fine, but that's only dog dudes. For the truly vulnerable, like this group of casuals who had been bullied, he was still willing to lend a helping hand. After all, he had been a bullied loose cannon in his last life. That's a windfall that will have to be salvaged a little bit. Chen Ming looked towards the crowd and revealed a professional fake smile. Nine Heavens welcomes all casual players to join us. We are different from other guilds. We never pack the venue. So don't worry. After saying something like that, cheers did come from below. A call to arms. Soon, there were casuals who expressed their desire to join the guild. In the world of glory, the more people in a guild, the more powerful it becomes. As long as the players weren't too over the top, Chen Ming was here to stay. However, just as everyone was reacting fiercely and rushing to sign up for the guild, suddenly, a voice drifted out weakly. White Jade Soup, Big Brother. You're letting us use this venue to practice for free now. It's not like you're trying to make us rely on and get used to the Scarlet Monastery's monster swiping speed before turning it into a fee-based model and ripping us off, is it? My years of gaming experience have taught me that free is the most expensive. This statement was made. The scene, which had just been bustling with activity, instantly became quiet. Countless people stared blankly at Chen Ming with various expressions of shock, doubt, fear, disbelief, and so on. Chen Ming, he would have opened his mouth to explain, but then suddenly it's like forget it. It's better not to waste your efforts. Anyway, the reviews have gotten this bad. So what's the point of explaining? Chen Ming rolled his eyes and waved his hand airily. Whatever you guys. Sister Sandy, I'll leave this place to you. I'm going to change places to practice. Sister San sympathetically patted Chen Ming's shoulder. Boss go well, don't worry, as long as our guild's original intention remains the same, your popularity will still turn around, thanks for filling me in again, turn your head and leave, just didn't get a few steps out, Chen Ming received a message, woman of the stream, the Southwind guild needs to ask you to step and wants to complete a task, I wonder if you're interested, come alive, Chen Ming was energized, what mission, fine, I was just about to change places to brush up on my experience when someone came to set myself up, that's what's so great about connections. Chen Ming was a bit thankful to the guy who had once interpreted the auction for himself. Without him, he wouldn't have somehow gained so many connections while making $3 million in real money. Woman of the Stream, President Nan Fong Bei has received a level A quest. The specific content of which is to escort goods and escort them from Qingfeng City to another level 5 main city, Yen Yang City, which is 6 hours away. Originally, the president intended to keep a low profile to complete the mission but I didn't expect his coordinates to be publicized directly after the mission was accepted. All players can compete for this cargo. Whoever can take over the goods will have snagged this A-class mission. Plus there are several other rival forces of Qingfeng City that have enacted quests against us with equally generous rewards that are not at all inferior to the A-ranked quests that the chairman has received. This has caused quite a few guilds to unite and prepare to target us. So it is. Chen Ming had seen this kind of escort-type mission before. It's usually well rewarded. But correspondingly, it was only the top guilds that were qualified to do such a task. Although Uncle Nan Fong Bei was wealthy and had formed his own forces, he wasn't exactly on top of his game. As a successful man in reality, he was in semi-retirement, but he still had quite a few things to distract him. For him, the game is like calligraphy and tea. He likes it very much, but it is just a means of pastime, and he will not inject all his heart and soul into it. As a result, South Wind North Uncles, South Wind, Guild is only considered a second-tier strength in the country. And it is only because of South Wind North Uncle's strong personal charisma that South Wind Guild's popularity is comparable to that of a first-tier guild. 
It was only in the later stages when the game entered the middle and late stages that Uncle Nanfong Bei realized that the impact of the game was beyond imagination, and only then did he seriously manage his own forces, and only then did the Nanfong Guild gradually gain strength, and finally became a first tier guild. Right now, the South Wind North Uncle received such a task, which was indeed a bit tricky. No problem. See you at the gates in a bit. Chen Ming could only make it to the city gates. After all, it's still topped with a bright red name. Going into the city will only bring trouble to Uncle Southwind North. As for the pay, let's talk after the mission. Based on the havoc and difficulty encountered along the way. No problem. The female streamer ended the communication briefly, blowing his whistle. His own ox horse lifted its hooves out of the void, and Chen Ming rolled over and rode on top of the ox horse. Go, go to the entrance of Qingfeng City. Chen Ming clipped his horse's belly. However, the oxen and horses that cost him a large amount of silver did not gallop up as he expected, but stood still. No, not a single movement. It's trembling, although it is very slight. But Chen Ming on the back of the horse, but clearly felt it is not right. What's the situation? All is well with the cattle and horse attributes. That crooked boss wouldn't have fixed me up with a Putian horse, would he? Chen Ming frowned slightly. The other day he had run through the Marika Mountains on his oxen and horses without any trouble at all and the oxen and horses ran as fast as they could. What's going on right now? Chen Ming gently smoothed the back of the cow's neck, of his mane and tried to soothe, but to no avail. It's scared, uncontrollable trembling. It was as if a wild creature had encountered a natural enemy and was subjected to a suppressive force originating from its bloodline. What could have scared him so much? Could it be that there's some top-tier boss around here? That can't be right. This is only a level 10 out of the novice area. I rode it all the way to that level 30 monster surrounded land in the Marika Mountains and it didn't even appear to be in this condition. Is there something wrong with me? Is there any difference between my state at this moment and the state? I was in those two days when I went to the Marika Mountains. Suddenly, Chen Ming's eyes lit up, snapping out an item from his bag. Dragon's essence. If I have to say I'm different from before. This stuff, just is the biggest difference. Sure enough, as soon as Chen Ming took out the dragon's essence, the cow horse's trembling became even more intense. A suppression that stems from the bloodline. It made the cow horse poof to his knees. Crap. My cow horse. What happened to you? Chen Ming panicked. That's a lot of silver. The dragon's essence lit up violently and flew out of Chen Ming's hand. Then projected dots of blue starlight in midair. Finally branding itself onto the back of the bull horse. Before Chen Ming had a chance to see the mark. He realized that his parcel was flickering. And hurriedly opened it. Only to find that the war flute used to summon the bull and horse had a rolling heat and a mark exactly like the one on the bull and horse had actually been branded on it as well. The original ordinary, spirit horse battle flute, had also changed. Spirit horse war flute, dragon seal activation. Synopsis, a hybrid bloodline mount that can summon both bull horns and a horse's body. It is unknown what kind of bloodline flows in its body, but the sleeping ancient dragon senses a trace of a dragon vein aura from it that is so thin as to be almost undetectable. After activating the dragon seal, Dragon's essence will continuously take in life force through the dragon seal to repair itself. But the ancient dragon's dignity would not allow it to be a shameless reaper. It also bestows its own favors and gives the object a certain amount of enchantment. The effect of the enchantment is determined by the thinness of the bloodline. Oxen and horses, physique increased by 20, stamina increased by 20, speed increased by 20. After reading the instructions, Chen Ming was relieved. Cows and horses will be fine despite being parasitized, and instead get buff bonuses. Instead of parasitism, it's more of a mutual benefit. It's okay. It's okay. If something happened to the cow and horse, even if this ancient dragon hatched out, he would have to give the dragon cubs vegetable leaves every day to abuse them for a while. Of course, if it's strong forget it, the good brother of the cow and the horse will have to be forced to rest in peace. Fortunately, all are happy. I didn't realize that bull horse actually had a trace of ancient dragon bloodline, but yes. Dragons are born with an extremely inquisitive and practical attitude in this regard. Ancient for dragons, often preaching to other creatures and pouring out their fluids. There was even a chuckle for a number of brave challengers. Formed good pipe ball partnerships with countless creatures. Oddly shaped, four-legged creatures like bulls and horses, possessing dragon-like blood, are also quite. It's normal. Chen Ming stopped worrying and joyfully straddled the oxen and horses. In the future, take good care of the cows and horses. Perhaps it could also be fed back to the dragon's essence, which drew on the life force of bulls and horses, all the way to the top. Inside Qingfeng City, hearing the female stream's reply, Uncle Nanfeng Bei was instantly relieved. It's good that he agreed. This time the mission won't be afraid of any problems. The female streamer didn't answer, but with a rather solitary nature like hers, not answering or retorting was, for her, acquiescence. 
They all recognized Chen Ming's strength. They all recognized this statement that the mission would be successfully completed once Chen Ming arrived. Soon, Southwind North relayed this news to the members of his guild, the people of the guild, who were still cloudy and felt that this mission was stressful, instantly revealed a look of joy, invited the pearl jade white jade soup big brother, then this mission, with a hand in it, comfortable, I can also experience the feeling of lying down and winning, many people, even more proudly, ran outside the city to spread the news, after all, there were a lot of people eyeing this mission, they'd been blocking the gates, just waiting for Southwind North to intercept him after he left the city. But when the news spread that Pearl Jade White Jade Soup had been invited, all of these people hesitated. Who doesn't know the prestige of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, especially since he just did another big job last night? The King's Guild Elites were exterminated as much as possible. Although the King avoided talking about it, their flush dropped level 1 rank could not be faked. What's more, there were some good casuals who had taken screenshots of Chen Ming's one man rush to kill the King's Guild that night. And so the word spread. And everyone knew that Chen Ming had done such a feat all by himself without even realizing it. The King's Guild is still getting their asses handed to them. Not to mention them, the casuals. For a time, countless people were discouraged. It's not just the casuals. Even many guilds showed hesitation. That's Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Isn't it looking for death to go against him? I'll moisturize first. Brothers, bye. I'll watch from here. But if anything happens, I'll be the first to run. Many chose to give up. Straight back into the city no longer planning to intercept, and as more and more people give up, many people's hearts were also shaken beyond belief, and they eventually favored giving up completely, with white jade soup here, who can move the south wind north guild, it's so cool to be rich, you can even invite a big shot like pearl jade white jade soup, just a few minutes, half the people outside the city, then, dispersed, the remaining half wasn't trying to head iron hard against chen ming, it was simply holding on to the idea that they wouldn't die until they reached the Yellow River, maybe Southwind North was scamming them? They must see the man with their own eyes before they are willing to give up. Ten minutes later, Chan Ming, who was riding a tall bull horse, galloped out of the forest. See his figure. This last remaining half of the people also dispersed at once. It's really him. What's the point of playing then? Let's go let's go. Brothers, go brush the monsters and don't think about robbing Southwind North's A-rank quests. Kryptonite cheats. There's really no way around it. I see the crowd dispersing. The, the South Wind Guild's player immediately sent word back with excitement. What? The Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup just appeared and everyone scattered? Ha 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 ha. Well well well. Truly a hero from ancient times. Uncle Southwind North laughed a few times. It was obvious that he was quite satisfied with Chen Ming. Only after he laughed did he look at the stunningly beautiful young girl by his side. Vice President Ching Feng Fei Shui, as you've heard, this time, the crisis of the Southwind Guild has been lifted. I'm really sorry for making you make a trip for nothing. That's right. Southwind North also requested support from Snowmoon, who had always been his friend. Originally, Ling Yu had planned to send out her entire nest to help Uncle. But when she heard that Nan Fong Bei had invited the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, she changed her mind and only sent out the 10-member squad led by Ling Shui, plus a little lowly, Su Su, who can't walk away from hearing the words Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, 11 in a row. And the reason for this, it was because Ling Yu had already anticipated such a situation. It's really worthy of being a sister, guessing that there's that guy in a flash. We only need to go through the motions when we come over, so that uncle owes a favor. Ling Shui secretly sighed in her heart. That's right, this was Ling Yu's purpose. She knew that uncle's crisis had been resolved, yet she still insisted on sending Ling Shui just to send a favor along. The fact that she can step in when uncle is in real trouble shows that she is a reliable ally. The fact that she doesn't miss opportunities when she can also go along for the ride and wool gathering and giving away favors shows that she is a qualified leader. The two are not in conflict. Since we're here, let's just help Uncle Escort until the end of the mission. Ling Shui carried out her sister's mission. The uncle understood and didn't refuse. Happily nodding his head once, then thank you Snow Moon. Just as the crowd was talking and preparing to head out of the city, suddenly, a member of the Southwind Guild ran back in a panic. President, something big is wrong. Those who left before have regrouped, and there are more people, than before, there are even a few big guilds that have their eyes on us, Nan Fengbei and Ling Shui's faces changed in unison, really, Ling Shui was a bit disbelieving, Uncle Nan Fengbei also narrowed his eyes slightly, and his tone became grave, tell me specifically what's going on, as a matter of fact, although my 1A ranked mission is tempting, it's far from being able to make them be able to fight for their lives with the pearl emerald white jade soup, isn't it, the informant's face turned strange as he listened, Chairman, you actually analyzed it correctly. They didn't come for the A-rank quest. Their target, the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup itself. 
King, the world has just spread the news that the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup has a high sin value. It's one of those kills that will explode his entire body's equipment. Hearing this, Nan Fong Bei immediately sucked in a breath of cool air. Full gear blowout? According to his understanding, Chen Ming had two purple suits, two blue suits, as well as other green suits that he didn't know the exact attributes of. But at a glance, they weren't bad. The allure of these outfits, far more exaggerated than his A-ranked mission. Those people are so red-eyed that they want to take the plunge. And rightfully so. Nan Fengbei's expression suddenly became very complicated. He clearly asked Pearl Jade White Jade Soup to come and defend himself. How come the trouble seems to be getting worse instead? Come on, get out there. Southwind North made an immediate decision. Soon, the group of people left Qingfeng City and arrived outside the city. Chen Ming sat alone on the back of a tall and robust horse with bull horns. Around him, countless people looked at him as if they were enemies. There was longing in his eyes, more scorn and fear. However, Chen Ming, who was in the middle of the crowd, had a breezy look on his face. The highs and lows are immediately apparent. Yo, uncle. Chen Ming nodded and smiled at Nan Feng Bei, then saw Ling Shui behind him, and he froze before distinguishing that this was the younger sister from Ling Shui's ID name. I have to say, the sisters are truly so much alike. Ching Feng Fei Shui, why are you here too? Ling Shui smiled sweetly, sister sent me to help. She was quite fond of Chen Ming. After all, it was because of her that Snow Moon was able to befriend Chen Ming. Coupled with the fact that Ling Shui was quite a bit more childish than her sister Ling Yu, she was a typical little girl with a typical little girl's temperament and had an innate hero worship complex. She was still a little excited to be alongside the legend that was Pearl Jade White Jade Soup this time. But I didn't expect Chen Ming's face to crumple as he looked like an enemy. Snow Moon also took on uncle's job? Come to steal the business huh? A flash of confusion flashed through Ling Shui's beautiful eyes. Meow meow meow? I idolize you. And this is how you treat me? Nasty. Ling Shui pouted. I was sent here by my sister to volunteer to help. Who robbed your business? So it is. A vivid smile surfaced on Chen Ming's face. Sister Ling Shui hasn't seen you in a few days. You've gotten prettier and prettier. Ling Shui grunted and brushed her head away, indicating that she wouldn't eat this. N. Feel quite a bit prettier than even your sister. Mainly because she doesn't have your kind of temperament. Chen Ming said blindly with his eyes open. A smile instantly blossomed on Ling Shui's face. And she was busy twisting her head around. Really? Sure enough. That's the one this girl eats. Chen Ming nodded sincerely. I never lie. Uncle Nan Feng Bei tasted the conversation between the two with a strange look on his face, and couldn't help but mutter, how do I feel that this kid has a bit of scum potential ah? However, as soon as the words fell, the woman who had been silent beside him let out a heckle. What scum? That's just the flirtation of a teenage hero. The older man blushed even more strangely. He looked the female streamer up and down. Isn't this girl always poisonous? Why are you praising that kid? Mister. Mister. Only when Chen Ming finished his greeting did Lori seize the moment to pop her little head out. Level 11 already? It's fine. The level has surpassed me. Chen Ming casually rubbed the little lowly's head, and the little lowly instantly lowered her head and hid her flushed face. The uncle's eyes became meaningful as he looked at Chen Ming. Penalty. Lad. Just as the crowd was exchanging, the crowd around them had grown. Some of the players that had clearly left earlier also returned at this time. People. More and more. Uncle Nanfong Bei showed a grave expression. Bai Yu Tang, are these people, you sure you can deal with them? If it was before, I might not be sure. But now that I have a professional priest, it shouldn't be difficult to fight one against 100. Chen Ming said with a smirk and turned his gaze to Ling Shui. Su beside me. Ling Shui was originally still stealing a laugh, and only after realizing that she was being teased by Chen Ming did she huff and puff and turn her head away. One against a hundred? What a big mouth. However, Associating it with the fact that this guy had just cleaned up the king's guild yesterday. Uncle Nan Feng Bei no longer said anything more. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Just please be good, boss. Chen Ming cheerfully turned his horse around and turned towards the group of enemies. After the turn is done, the smile on Chen Ming's face also completely disappeared. In its place, it is cold without emotion. He scanned the crowd. If you don't go away, I'm going to acquiesce that you have bad intentions. As he spoke, Chen Ming drew his own dagger. Everyone's face changed, but, not a single person stepped back. After all, each of them thought that they wouldn't be the unlucky one to be targeted first by Chen Ming. Everyone's heart is in the right place. Since this was the case, Chen Ming no longer hesitated. Little Lori immediately waved her staff, and the dragonborn holy words increased buff landed on Chen Ming. Chen Ming didn't even bother to turn on his poison quenching effect. Straight away, the skill was thrown. Blade Storm. Those guys with covetous hearts only felt a flash before their eyes. 
and then a terrifying storm violently lifted up on the flat ground. Misery. There were screams all over the place. Only after they had recovered from their shock did they realize that what had been a densely packed piece of land had been cleared. It was as if those people had been vaporized out of thin air. Crap. Crap. What just happened? Could it be true that Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup slaughtered the King's Guild for an all-nighter in one day? Scared. Everyone was scared from the bottom of their hearts. They had thought they could fish in troubled waters and see if they had a chance to get a piece of the action. But who had thought that the terror of the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup had far exceeded their expectations? A skill that kills dozens of people in the blink of an eye. That's still a lot of fun. The crowd dispersed. Chan Ming, on the other hand, had never even dismounted from his horse since the beginning. That light-hearted look was a sight to behold for the players of South Wind Guild and Snow Moon Guild. Although I have heard of the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup for a long time, but this was the first time they had witnessed his terror with their own eyes. It looks like the president's escort mission was done casually. Yeah, with Bai Yu Tang's big brother escorting us. Isn't this a direct bailout? The Snow Moon crowd sighed even more. It feels like there's nothing left for us. Suddenly I feel a bit redundant. Keep up, gentlemen. Chen Ming rode the oxen and horses and opened the way in front. Wherever he went, the crowd automatically avoided and retreated to make a wide avenue. However, didn't go more than a few steps. A large group of people suddenly appeared in front of them. Chen Ming's eyes narrowed slightly, and finally laughed softly. Who do I think it is? It turns out to be the defeated general. Right, the king of the world? The ones blocking in front of them were clearly the group of people from the king's guild. But there were significantly more of them than yesterday. Obviously, king's world should have shaken more guild members to help themselves. Think about it. Yesterday made such a big enemy. Today encountered such a situation. The king? The world do not come to take advantage of the fire. It would be strange. You don't think you can beat me with a couple dozen more people. Do you? Chen Ming was still smiling. King? World did not get angry. Instead, he also grinned in the same way. Of course I won't be so naive. Dozens of people are no threat to you. I still know that. Available. What if I call in a couple hundred? The words were not yet spoken. In the forest, footsteps burst. Then, one batch of figures after another appeared. The corner of the king, the world's mouth rose slightly. Money moves the heart. Pearl, jade and white jade soup you should know this very well, right? If you can get someone to pay you to hire you, naturally I can pay someone to hire me. Today, is the day you die. Chen Ming swept a glance at the group. Then, he couldn't help but frown. It's not that he's intimidated by the battlefield that the king, the world has created. Rather, he was a little puzzled. The group of people called by king, the world is completely inadequate. In one sweep, it was almost clear that they were level 10 and 11. There were even quite a few level 8 and 9 guys. To Chen Ming, dealing with these guys was a complete chopping block. Other than being able to waste a bit of Chen Ming's time, it didn't do anything at all. If the others expect these rabble to stop them forget it. But the king, the world was beaten up by himself yesterday. Can he not understand his own strength? Unless he is dizzy in the head and eager for revenge. But if this is really the case, how could he forcefully endure the breath when he was defeated just last night? In the most uptight moment? There's definitely something wrong here. Thinking of this, Chen Ming's eyes narrowed slightly, put the oxen and horses away, put his hood up, and dived into the shadows. Brothers, prepare for battle. Uncle Nanfong Bei announced in a stern voice. All of them were instantly in a state of being as if they were on the verge of an enemy. However, Chen Ming violently raised his hand and stopped them. Don't be in a hurry. Let's slowly advance and see what tricks the King's Guild is trying to pull. Chen Ming stopped them from wanting to chase after and storm the King's Guild. The people from the South Wind Guild immediately revealed puzzled looks. So careful? Is that necessary? The group of level 8 and 9 spammers that the King's Guild had pulled in were in their eyes. A top expert like Chen Ming who could take on the King's Guild alone. How can you be afraid of this bunch of mongrels? There was also confusion in the eyes of Uncle Nan Fong Bei. But experience had taught him that it was always right to listen to professionals at times like this. He nodded at his guild members. Listen to the white jade soup big brother and advance slowly. Thus, the whole team under the leadership of Chen Ming, stood by, as if facing a great enemy, slowly advancing toward the opposite side. This scene, which fell in the eyes of the king, the world, made him frown uncontrollably. So cautious? This pearl emerald white jade soup, is really tough. Knights, fighters on top. Nurse keep an eye on Bai Yu Tang's blood level. DPS cover Bai Yu Tang. Everything is centered on white jade soup. Uncle Southwind North is quite aware of the key points of this battle. As for Ling Shui and the others, they didn't need to be directed. They knew that they had to match the pearl emerald white jade soup. For a time, all sorts of enchantments fell upon Chen Ming, the warriors and knights. Two, covered up. On Chen Ming's side, 
there were only a hundred people out of a full count. The number of enemies on the other side is at least twice as many, but Chen Ming and the others, however, advanced towards those two hundred people. By a hundred, to two hundred, it was slow, but the pace was firm. Be careful, the King's Guild likes to do saturated fire coverage. I can miss, but you have to be careful of yourselves. I'm not going to be able to get away with it. With his experience from last night's encounter, Chen Ming opened his mouth to remind the knights and warriors of the nearby Southwind Guild. However, what Chen Ming did not expect was, surprisingly, the King's Guild didn't take this opportunity to baptize them with a round of focused skills. Instead, they stepped back in unison. Hmm, what's going on? Chen Ming raised an eyebrow. Sure enough it's perverse. Even if they didn't fight back in the face of their advance, they actually kept retreating. It seemed that his previous guesses and concerns were correct. Everyone be careful. On Chen Ming's side, continued to push forward. The King's Guild also maintained a constant retreating stance. It's as if there's a considerable tacit understanding maintained. Chen Ming was in no hurry at all. Anyway, the goal of their mission was to escort the cargo, and by advancing slowly, they would also be able to complete the mission sooner or later. Instead, it was the King's world, and he couldn't keep going backward all the time. There will always be a moment to stand up for yourself. Both sides went in and out. Not long after, Chen Ming and the others had advanced to the location where the King's Guild was previously located. Suddenly, several black shadows emerged violently, attacking and killing towards him. The appearance of these black shadows had startled the knights and warrior players around Chen Ming. They hadn't noticed at all when these dark shadows had sneaked by. Crap! Protect the white jade soup! Don't let Bayou soup get cut by an assassin! They yelled out in droves. However, almost the moment their words fell, Chen Ming had drawn his sword. It slashed hard at one of the black shadows, just one cut, then he directly killed the thief in seconds. The crowd showed shock. This reaction is also too fast, right? They hadn't even realized what had happened before the other Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother had already made a move to slaughter a guy. These guys, they were ambushed here in advance when the King's Guild's large force retreated, not moving. It's normal that you guys didn't realize it. Chen Ming saw through the tactics of King, world with a single glance. Feign retreat. The truth is that the thieves were ambushed in place, waiting for Chen Ming to throw himself into the net. It's really a good tactic, but unfortunately, met Chen Ming. Kill them, don't let them go back. Chen Ming commanded as he pulled out his dagger and prepared to kill the next person. But just then, one of the men in that group of thieves violently drew out a copy of the scroll, and then viciously tore it open. The light, steeply erupted. The players of the South Wind Guild had never seen this kind of thing before and were a bit at a loss for words. But Chen Ming has been a man of two lives, and with just one glance, he could see the origin. Magic scrolls. Surprisingly, it's a magic scroll. This stuff is a pretty rare disposable prop. Just rip. It will release the sealing magic within the scroll once. The magic levels vary, ranging from the lowest level white normal level magic to the top level red god level magic. Is this the king's world killer? Chen Ming reacted extremely quickly. Instantly used his blinking skill, although he did not know exactly what that magic was but pulling away in advance. It would be correct. Ding, blink, skill use failed. You have been locked. Suddenly, a prompt popped up. Chen Ming's face instantly became gloomy. Locked? A skill with such a high displacement priority as blinking is forced to interrupt. The skill that the opponent released with the scroll was clearly not simple. Sure enough, blue light erupted from the scroll. It fiercely wrapped Chen Ming. Next, the blue light dissipated. Chen Ming's figure also disappeared into thin air along with it. The knights and warriors of the Southwind Guild were suddenly wide-eyed. Holy shit. Where's the white jade soup bigot? The white jade soup big brother is gone. Chen Ming was grouped amongst Uncle Nan Fongbei's team, and the female streamer who was also in the team immediately opened the map, and soon, found the blue mark that belonged to Chen Ming. At this moment, even a woman who was always calm like the female streamer couldn't help but show a shocked look. Not good. White jade soup. Teleported within the King's Guild siege. What? Nan Fengbei's face sank violently. Quick, get help, Lori shouted in panic. It startled Ling Shui. This was the first time she had seen the usually shy Susu so excited. Uncle Nan Fong Bei. Ling Shui looked at Nan Fong Bei. Nan Fong Bei didn't hesitate and directly nodded once. Save the people. Although he was the boss and the hired hand, he was clear that his relationship with Chen Ming was a matter of lips and teeth. He could indeed dodge a bullet by standing idly by now, but his A-level mission, and don't finish it again, this Chen Ming, he had to be saved. Under his leadership, all of them immediately rushed to the rescue. However, even the ones who originally had unparalleled confidence in Chen Ming were stony-faced at this time. No one believed that Chen Ming would be able to survive the siege of hundreds of people. You can only do your best. 
The moment Chen Ming saw a large pile of enemies appear before his eyes, he instantly realized what had just happened. Insidious. It's just too insidious. Pretend to fall back and lure the enemy in, then ambush the thieves at the same spot. Finally, a teleportation scroll was used to transport him into the crowd. This kind of point-to-point -point directional teleportation magic scroll at least can be worth tens of millions. The king, the world has made a great deal of effort to use this kind of thing against me. Chen Ming surrendered his blink without hesitation. However, although he flashed out a distance, the enemies he faced this time were no longer just the dozens of people from last night. It's the whole 200. They have plenty of firepower to anticipate all their blinking landings. Boom boom boom. A series of skills slammed down. Miss alerts floated madly above Chen Ming's head. But as much as misses, there are eventually hits. Chen Ming's blood level suddenly fell violently. That's tough. Chen Ming was not in danger. While walking to avoid skills, he slammed down a mouthful of red potion to restore his blood. At this time, Chen Ming just couldn't help but think about his own alchemy. If he could rush to level 10 and make better potions, the pressure on his blood wouldn't be so great. While walking and dodging, Chen Ming threw out a round of sword blade storm. He didn't even need to go and specialize in picking the location where the sword blade storm would be released. A casual throw can reap a huge wave of lives. It's a bit ridiculous to say the least. Those people looked at Chen Ming's ability to exterminate a large group of people with a light touch, and their hearts were unexpectedly in a state of panic. That's right. It was clearly them who surrounded Chen Ming alone, allowing Chen Ming to only continue to roll over and seek evasion. But the one who feels great psychological pressure is surprisingly not Chen Ming, but them, the people who surround and kill. It's horrible. It doesn't even die like this. I knew it. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup isn't that easy to kill. Hit me over the head. These players who had been recruited at the King's World's expense, each and every one of them revealed a look of shock. Chen Ming frantically got high on medicine to hang on to his blood level. A potion has a 5 second CD time. Chen Ming always keeps his potion in the CD state, and fiercely knocks a bottle as soon as he has the opportunity. But even so, his blood level kept decreasing. White Jade Soup, can you still hold out? Uncle asked in the team channel. After taking another fireball spell, Chen Ming's blood level dropped once again, already down to 30. It can still last a little while, but not for too long. Chen Ming calmly returned. Repeat. Then you must hold on. We're being held up by the King's Guild. They don't even fight us head on. They just keep wandering around and stalling for time. Nan Feng Bei replied while his sharp sword slashed out and stabbed at the black shadow that floated around him. Unfortunately, he didn't have the operation as well as maneuverability that Chen Ming had. A sword fell short. Damn it. Southwind North's expression was ugly. And that's when it happened. Behind him, there was an exclamation of surprise. It's Ling Shui. A thief appeared steeply in front of her. And that thief, in his hand, he was actually holding a scroll that was exactly the same as when he dealt with the pearl emerald white jade soup before. Another teleportation scroll. But this time, their target became Ling Shui. It was also true that Ling Shui was, after all, a top priest expert on the list. And her presence alone could bring a huge increase to the entire team. Teleporting her over to kill her is apparently quite a good choice. Just as Ling Shui's pretty face turned pale and she was somewhat helpless, a small figure rushed out violently. As soon as he pushed away Ling Shui, who was locked by the light, he rushed in himself. It's Su Su. Ling Shui froze. This girl gave her life to save her own? No. Is not right. Ling Shui did not see a generous and righteous expression on Su Su's face. Only a glimmer of anticipation was visible. That's right. Expectations. In the face of being teleported into the crowd by the other party with a magic scroll, such a situation of certain death, Su Su actually revealed a look of anticipation. Just when Ling Shui thought she had misread the situation. Instead, Su Su opened her mouth and shouted, Just a moment, sir, I'll be right over to help you. The words just fell. Teleportation magic activated. Su Su also landed in the crowd just like Chen Ming. This scene was a sight for all to see. Crazy. This milkmaid, completely insane, sacrificing himself just to give Chen Ming a mouthful of milk? Among the crowd, the weak Su Su was like a little sheep that had fallen into the wolves. In the face of the overwhelming skills, Su Su's small face went pale for a while. But, but firmly, he waved the staff in his hand. Dragonborn holy word, holy light. The green light fell violently. It landed on Chen Ming's body, lifting his blood level, which was only 30. Violently, soared straight back up to 80. One sip of milk. 50 blood. Although this had the reason that Chen Ming's own blood bar was short. It was more because the Susu Holy Light technique was too powerful. It possesses a healing effect that far exceeds that of an ordinary priest. Sir, please do hold up. Su hadn't finished her words. The spread of skills then hit her. There was not the slightest surprise. 
Su Su turned into a ball of white light with the words he hadn't finished yet, and went back to the city to be reborn. Chen Ming looked at the blood level that had risen violently by a large margin. He was expressionless. The heart, however, was raging with emotions. The moment. He finally. Angry. The king's world. He mentally mumbled the name. Although he didn't deal with the king's guild, he never really took the king's guild to heart. Think of it only as a friction encounter in the game. An object with a fault. He could kill and bully if he could. But if the other party didn't come to mess with him, he didn't bother to. Got to go actively seeking revenge. But it's different now. He had the idea of destroying the king's guild outright. However, Chen Ming did not go up to kill the king, the world. Right now, he was out of the encirclement was what mattered. He couldn't waste the mouthful of milk that Su Su had sent to him with his life for no reason. Blade Storm. Chen Ming killed Red Eyes. He's going to carve a bloody path through the crowd. Ling Shui said anxiously as she stepped out of the way to dodge a sinister and tricky cold arrow. Uncle Nan Feng Bei. I've already relayed the message to my sister. And she'll immediately bring a large snow moon force to reinforce her. Before Uncle Nan Feng Bei could say anything. The female streamer had already said with an expressionless face. It's too late. No matter how swift snow moon is. There's no way she could have arrived before Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup died in battle. What? About that? Ling Shui's pretty face was filled with panic. There's only one way. You're just like that priest named Su Su. Taking your life for the blood of Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Ling Shui immediately revealed a hesitant look. She. It really doesn't have the same kind of determination that Su Su has. Even though she died nine deaths. Ah. Seeing her hesitation. The female streamer then guessed the idea of the heart. No longer say anything more. But a turn of phrase, with his sin value, being killed is the end of bursting a piece of equipment, and level zeroing. However, for his kind of people, the East is just a simple matter of time. Although the words of the female streamer were not unreasonable, the crowd only felt a low feeling in their hearts after hearing them. Levels cleared, equipment all exploded. Just thinking about it makes your heart hurt. But in this current state of affairs, there really doesn't seem to be a chance. However, just as everyone was feeling the despair weighing them down, the forest sighed. Suddenly there was the sound of disorganized footsteps. The sound, from far away, grew louder and louder. It seems that a large group of people arrived. South Wind North revealed a look of surprise. Is it Snow Moon? Is it President Qingfeng Range Moon who brought Snow Moon? Ling Shui revealed a puzzled look. No, it shouldn't be ah. Sister and the girls aren't nearby. It's not just them. Even the side of the King's Guild looked over as if they were on the verge of an attack. The first thing they saw was not a person but a terrifyingly huge sword comparable to an NPC. A sword sweep. A row of large trees broke from it and fell straight down. Boom. The tree smashed into the ground with a deafening roar. Wait for the rolling dust to clear. A woman with wheat-colored skin, carrying a huge sword on her shoulder, like an ancient Greek goddess of war, proudly swept the entire room for a week. It's a toss-up. Bullying our boss. Ha. Huh? In the end, her eyes landed on the king. The world. How come it's you again? You unknowing dog. Sister Sandy's tone was steeply icy to the extreme. Sister Sandy? He really didn't expect Sister Sandy to bring her own brother over. After all, in Chen Ming's opinion, the trouble he had encountered this time was extremely great, and the danger factor could be said to be quite high, as he himself had almost been undermined by the King's Guild, not to mention those guild members whose strength was almost similar to that of the casuals. Chen Ming was truly treating them as his own. Don't want them to come over here and be cannon fodder. That's why they weren't notified. But eventually, they came. Chen Ming had some inner feelings, but time waited for no one, so he didn't have the time to think too much about it, and immediately notified Nan Feng Bei in the team channel. Uncle, that's my guild. Cooperate with them and wrap up the king's guild. The older man froze. The pearl jade white jade soup is also in the guild? It was a pity, or else he would have thought of tricking the bruiser into coming under his command. Yes, after uncle agreed, he immediately lined up his troops and cooperated with Nine Heavens who appeared on the left side, to launch a strong counterattack towards the king's guild. This group of guys, already with the pearl jade white jade soup were the same pants? King, the world faced gloomy as if about to drip out of the water. He hadn't expected at all that after just one night had passed, Chen Ming had taken these loose cannons under his wing. The situation on the battlefield now took a sharp turn for the worse. Originally, the king's guild was having a tough time fighting right now, they had to surround the pearl jade white jade soup in the crowd and they also had to split their manpower to block the South Wind Guild's advance, preventing them from rescuing anyone, facing both at the same time. The King's Guild was only supposed to hold a delicate balance, but after the Nine Heavens appeared, this balance, then, is completely broken. On their flanks, they were subjected to an unprecedented onslaught. Sister Sandy is riding high, 
A single sweep of the huge sword in his hand could topple a circle of enemies. These level 8 and 9 rabble rousers, used to throw skills to harass Chen Ming, could still be that useful, but when they faced an elite player like Sister Sandy straight on, their vulnerability is then exposed to the fullest. Withdraw. The king, the world does not hesitate. At the word of command, everyone backed up en masse. The pressure on Chen Ming from the set fire was instantly reduced by a large amount. Taking this opportunity, he rushed headlong out of the opposing circle. The king's guild also took this opportunity to regroup in the distance and adjust their formation. The two sides that had just been fighting each other were at this moment in unison in a truce in stoppage. Boss. White Jade Soup. The crowd rushed to meet them. Chen Ming was already covered in blood at this point, but it didn't look like it was in a mess. And the murderous aura that flickered in his eyes as if there was a real intention was instead like a murderous god that came out of hell. Where's Su Su? Chen Ming's eyes softened slightly when he asked about Su Su. This place is not far from the resurrection point in the city. Su Su has already run the corpse to resurrect. Hearing Chen Ming immediately naming himself just as soon as he came back, the little lowly was instantly a bit flattered. Sir, I, I'm here. Looking at Su Su, who had been killed at level 1, a cold light flashed in Chen Ming's eyes. Just a moment ago, he had complimented Lori for suppressing himself by one level, which was nice to come by. Damn the king's guild. Dropped anything but experience? I'll find it for you all together. Come back. Did not drop anything la. I look at it, said Su Su, who was rummaging through the small purse on her waist, suddenly gave a start, and then her small face changed violently, the voice became shaky as well, it's gone, yesterday, I helped Mr. Collect up more than 3000 orchid forest grasses, and they were all blown up, that cost Mr. 3, 000, 3000 dollars gone, the little lowly's little face was white, and she raised her head in panic, I, I will compensate first, the words were not finished, Chen Ming then cut her off. Compensate my ass. It's just a small amount of money. Come on. Give me your staff. Hearing this, not only did Su Su not feel sad, but instead she let out a long sigh of relief. Is it the intention of the gentleman to make me pay for it with the mace? Can can can. Lori hurriedly traded the staff. However, did Chen Ming really want Lori to take the staff to cover her debt? Of course not. In his mind, he flashed through the scene of picking up Lori a few days ago, and then just now when she fought for her life just to give herself a mouthful of milk, Susu already had all but unreserved trust in him, he, also didn't t want to let down this piece of redemption of the little lowly, he took out his own spirit horse battle flute, take out your own stone carving knife again, this was an idea that had occurred to him in a flash of insight after he had seen the oxen and horses branded with the imprint earlier, since the, dragon's essence, was able to brand a bull or horse with such a thin dragon descent bloodline with an imprint, and what? He was just thinking about it at the time and had no intention of practicing it. After all, the dragon's essence was so precious. If he were to do more than this and instead interrupt the opportunity to awaken the dragon's essence, then it would really be more than worth it. But now, he wasn't going to think about it that much. Just as before, without any hesitation, Su Su ran headlong into Ling Shui just so that she could teleport over to give Chen Ming a mouthful of reply. Mainstay carving knife, transplant effect activated. The carving knife in Chen Ming's hand abruptly erupted in a burst of brilliant golden light. The aura of that orange epic prop surged wildly at this moment. It was a sight to behold for everyone around them. What is White Jade Soup doing? Ling Shui's beautiful eyes were filled with doubt. The older man shook his head. I don't know. He plays too high end. It was also just the female stream that faintly opened her mouth. Although I don't know what he is doing. But I always feel that the king's guild is going to be in bad luck in a while. The branding on the spirit horse's war flute was replicated by the mainstone's carving knife carving in mid-air. With the formation of the dragon seal in mid-air, the seal on the spirit horse battle flute also dissipated, and the attribute bonus possessed by the oxen and horses completely disappeared at this moment. It reverted back to the cow horse it once was. If a cow horse could type, it would be banging out a series of question marks right now. Chen Ming held the carving knife and moved it slowly, until it was aimed at Su Su's staff. Branding. This carving knife from the dwarf clan's divine artisan violently erupted with majestic power. With an unshakable stance, he inscribed a horizontal and a vertical on the top of the staff until it formed an imprint identical to the dragon seal in midair. Pop! With the collapse of the dragon seal symbol in midair, Susu's staff, finally taking shape. Traveling mage's scepter, white grade common, dragon seal activation. Grade. Magic attack. Synopsis, a scepter left behind by a traveler mage. It can be used as a walking stick to scout out paths and to cast magic, but travelers generally use it to blow the heads off of their enemies' dogs. Dragon seal activation effect, unknown. Effect unknown. I. E. Have you not yet encountered a relevant user of the dragon bloodline? 
Chen Ming returned the staff to Su Su, take it with you. Hey, Su Su wondered why the staff had come back to her hand in a circle. Still, she obeyed and equipped her staff. Also at this very moment, a dragon roar that made everyone's hearts tremble erupted from behind Su Su. Chen Ming's hanging heart was also completely relaxed. He didn't guess wrong. The dragon seal imprint grafted onto Su Su's equipment was really able to have an effect. I just don't know what actually does. Chen Ming couldn't help but look forward to it. The sound of the dragon's roar was extremely loud. Those who were close were shaken to the core. Even the group of people from the king's guild hundreds of meters away felt deafening. Crap. What the hell? What's happening over there? Why it doesn't feel right? A few people from the king's guild had shocked looks on their faces. King, the world also could not help but frown. His mind was, inexplicably, a little flustered. A thought of trying to escape subconsciously surfaced in his mind. But, just then, he thought of the guys. The panic he had in his heart had calmed down quite a bit at this moment. Don't be afraid. Anyway, our mission, it's not to kill the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. As long as we can drag them over, we are considered to have accomplished our merits. When they heard the king, the world say this, several people from the king's guild looked at each other. There was still a rather obvious concern in his eyes. That said, can they really cure Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup? Yeah, that guy was really scary. Boss, we're not going to lift a rock and smash our own feet, are we? Even the magic scrolls you got at great expense. Boss, didn't manage to snare that guy. They spoke with palpitations. The scene just now where 200 people surrounded the pearl emerald white jade soup and also let him run away was really a scene that made their scalps numb and their hearts tremble. However, the king, the world is mysteriously smiled. If I say, that magic scroll is not I get it. Is they gave it to me? So that I come to test the real strength of the pearl emerald white jade soup? This statement was made. The core few people of the king's guild all revealed shocked expressions. Giving out that kind of incredibly precious scroll just to test the strength of the pearl emerald white jade soup? This, this is how big a deal this is. They all sucked in a breath of cold air. That magic scroll is not only expensive. The most important thing is, that it is really difficult to get it at this stage. It's still the same. In the early days of the game, a lot of waste. Although the tycoons have a lot of money in their hands, but there is no goods on the market ah. So, even if you are rich, if you don't have a brain and only buy buy buy. You can only be a second tier player in this game. A tier 1 player who must be strong. Have the strength to get your hands on some rare props and equipment yourself. The dirtiest of dirtbags are only worthy of what they have left. The elite players of the king's guild knew this. And the guy who can pull out those magic scrolls at will. Obviously. It was going to be even more terrifying than what they had previously imagined. If that's the case. Then we're relieved. No wonder boss you invited this group of level 8 and 9. Originally to use them as cannon fodder to stall the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup and wait for the arrival of that group. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. This time, you are absolutely bound to die. A smile also surfaced at the corner of the mouth of the king. The world. What happened? Nan Fengbei looked at Chen Ming with a confused expression. As that dragon's roar would rest, a clear aura surrounded Su Su's body that was visible to the naked eye. The cloud of clear chi seemed like a small dragon circling around her body. Perilla frutescens, Chinese basil or wild red basil eyes slightly closed. It seemed to be immersed in some kind of marvelous state. It seemed impossible to wake up for a while. Chen Ming could be sure that Su Su wasn't in trouble. This was because the dragon's essence in his parcel was similarly in a state of clear chi. It seemed to be coming to a tacit agreement with Su Su. I don't know what happened either, but it's safe to assume that it wasn't anything bad. Wait for her to stay a little while. Chen Ming withdrew his gaze, then looked distantly at the king's guild not far away. Our top priority is to exterminate the king's guild. Chen Ming spoke these words lightly, but only those who were familiar with him knew that this was a sign of Chen Ming's true anger. He had charged out earlier and killed at least 70 to 80 people, although they have been resurrected. But from this, it could be seen how terrifying Chen Ming's killing power was. If he is not alone and has no backup, he can even slaughter everyone on the opposite side with his own strength. As long as the milk is managed, sooner or later he'll be able to kill it all. Right now, Chen Ming has reorganized and brought his own brothers from the Nine Heavens and Ling Shui, the top-ranked top nurse player, wants to solve the king's guild, it is not easy, this time, Chen Ming was no longer careful, after exchanging a glance with sister Sandy, the two of them were almost side by side, killing towards the king's guild, the crowd behind them, too, followed, uncle Nanfeng Bei looked on and smacked his lips, young people are just energetic, soon, the two sides were once again engaged in battle, Chen Ming was like the sharpest blade of all, stabbing hard into the king's guild's hinterland, only the king's guild had learned their lesson this time and had been constantly retreating. And fight and retreat. Their idea is simple. Just stalling. 
as long as they can pester Chen Ming and support them until the arrival of those they are expecting, it will be enough, but even then, their defense was a little shaky, no way, Chen Ming was just too quick to kill, the 10 second CD sword blade storm is off the table, one skill goes down and the whole circle is turned into a vacuum, even without sword blade storm, Chen Ming, who possessed, phantom shadow, and, blink, was still a terrifyingly powerful assassin, as soon as he shows up, someone is bound to die, seeing that the king's guild side was slaughtered to the point where they were pissing in their pants, the king, the world also became red-eyed, don't be afraid to die, if you die, immediately resurrect and run over, I'll compensate 500 for dying once, I'll pay the original price for the exploded equipment, money makes the world go round, that's half true, where is one life worth 500 for these casual players, the king, the world opened such a high price, immediately let them humongous up, soon the group of nine heavens brethren led by Chen Ming had already dyed their names red, especially sister Sandy, she swept her greatsword across the room, easily harvesting a large number of heads, it's so cool, I've never PK'd so well before, it's a good thing I came early, it's too bad that Kong didn't get to experience it, sister Sandy shouted as she chopped off the dog's head in pieces while woohoo woohoo woohoo, eh, come early, Chan Ming, who was fighting alongside her, froze, what's gang doing, called people to go, yesterday a lot of people all night, just brother heard that the boss you encountered trouble, immediately offline run to call to urge people to get up, estimated to wait a while just brother can also bring a group of people to come, and bring a group of people, Chen Ming was shocked, sister Sandy brought at least 50 or 60 people with her this time, he thought that this was all the players of the nine heavens guild, but whoever thought, I can't believe it's only part of it, sister Sandy, just how many people do we have in the nine heavens now, 150, 106, I'm not too sure, this you have to ask gang, he is especially well liked, there are a whole lot of brothers playing with him, these people are all pulled in by him, of course, boss, after your great achievement of destroying the king's guild yesterday spreads out, there are also a lot of people who come here, anyway, there's a lot of people just like that, Chen Ming suddenly fell silent, turns out there are so many more people, I, the president, was actually the last to know, the map of this game, glory, is quite vast, this could be seen from the fact that Chen Ming had run hard for as long as two days just by running to the level 30 map, and because of that, the king's guild also possessed a considerable amount of retreat, it kept backing up, although Chen Ming has killed one batch of fallen people after another, the opposite side died quickly, and resurrected quickly, they brazenly stood in the way, it's unbearable though, however, it also gave king, the world a chance to keep retreating, these guys are like cowhide, can't even finish killing them, sister Sandy couldn't help but sputter, Chen Ming on the side heard, but could not help but frown slightly, he always felt something was wrong, when Ling Yu with a large number of people, hurriedly arrived, but only to see Chen Ming a horse first, with brothers chasing the king's guild all the way wildly killed when, Ling Yu froze, what happened to the promise that Chen Ming would not be able to hold out, what about the promised need for emergency support from Snow Moon, what's going on here, fortunately, Uncle Nan Fong Bei immediately gave Ling Yu an explanation, after hearing this, Ling Yu's heart was somewhat mixed, actually formed their own force, thought he was a lone wolf who didn't care to cuddle with people, it's a shame, was going to pull him into the guild, Ling Yu sighed, but he quickly pulled himself together and led the snow moon crowd to join the siege, she also hated the king's guild with a passion, since she can have the opportunity to beat the water dog, she naturally will not let go, soon, snow moon joins the siege, south wind, snow moon, and nine heavens, three guilds, besieging the king's guild, the king guild was already in the downside, and at this time, it was then stared at by a top guild like snow moon, at once, it was that even the last trace of the possibility of struggling had disappeared, to say that they were beaten up would not be an exaggeration at all, but, while everyone was having fun killing, Chen Ming's frown, however, grew deeper and deeper, something's not right, it's so wrong, if the king's guild was still holding out before, it was because they were thieves, but after snow moon joined in, they still didn't retreat, this is outrageous, as long as one was a person with a little bit of a normal brain, they wouldn't have the luxury of facing the three major guilds and still being able to forcefully kill Chen Ming, but the king, the world, did just that, does, he still have a setup, Chen Ming frowned in thought, and just then too, in the sky, suddenly the storm clouds changed, what had been a blazing high sun was suddenly shrouded in bloom, then Chen Ming felt a coldness that seemed to pierce into the bone marrow, this familiar change, it made him stare in disbelief, a blizzard, mage's purple level skill blizzard, he had the experience of two lifetimes and recognized the source of the dissimilarity at once, and as far as he knew, 
There was no one in the King's Guild who possessed such a top-tier skill. Who is it? Chen Ming's thoughts were like electricity. But at this moment, there was no longer any time for him to think about it. Retreat! He yelled, tell the surrounding players to evacuate in a hurry. However, still a step too late. A cold wind like a sharp blade kicked up. A layer of frost and snow floated on the soles of everyone's feet. Except for Chen Ming. Everyone else was losing blood like crazy. Chen Ming's heart was burning with anxiety. But in the face of this situation, there was nothing he could do. He could only pull up Sister Sand beside him, leap up, and forcefully get out of the range of the blizzard with the super high maneuverability of a two-step jump. Sister Sandy was saved. Others aren't so lucky. In an instant, countless people's blood bars plummeted crazily. Although the damage was far inferior to Chen Ming's sword blade storm, it can be a win with a wide range. Nurses desperately threw out skills to restore the blood of those in the storm, and the high amount of healing surprisingly allowed quite a few people to stand their ground. But just when everyone thought the storm would pass without incident, a rain of arrows, again, drifted down in waves. Whoosh! Countless people have been shot through a sieve. The little bit of blood that was hanging on by the nannies was also gone in this moment. Countless players fell to their knees and turned into a cloud of white light, going back to the city to revive. Boss, this, this isn't right. Sister Sandy's eyes widened in disbelief. Silly sister you can finally realize that something is wrong ah. Chen Ming helpless. He had sensed something was wrong from the beginning, but the information he had was too little, and he really couldn't analyze what exactly the King's Guild's credentials were. Now the answer is revealed. Chen Ming looked towards the middle of the King's Guild's crowd and slowly walked out a group of people. Yellow skin, black hair, black pupils, no different from the Chinese, but what they were carrying on their heads was not a Chinese character made up of a single stroke. Instead, it's filled with circles, more backward, more hieroglyphic like square letters. At first glance, it's a country near Huaxia, stick country. Chen Ming's eyes clouded over a little. At the beginning of the game, between countries, there are main cities that are able to connect but there are very few of these main cities, and they require a player from their country to lead the way and turn on teleportation in order to briefly build a bridge for a single teleportation. Under normal circumstances, no one would bother to build such a teleportation bridge. After all, if it's not my kind, it's not my heart. But the king, the world has done so. At the first moment when the group of sticks appeared, king, world greeted them with a compensating smile. Brother Candle Dragon, this is the pearl emerald white jade soup you're looking for. As previously agreed, I'll be responsible for opening the portal, and all the equipment after Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup is killed will be yours, but you must make sure that he and the forces that help him are cut off and all snuffed out in the cradle. The game comes with a translation device. Chen Ming heard these words spoken in Mandarin by the King of Kings, the world. It's not just Chen Ming, the expressions of the others, too, changed instantly. King, the world this behavior is simply tantamount to selling the country. It is important to realize that with this kind of large-scale game, in the end, the national war will definitely become a key element in relation to the distribution of resources of each country. When the country is strong, it gets more cities and more resources, no different than the real world. Even if the country fights to the death, when it comes to the national war, everyone will still be on the same page. But what about the king? He actually called in people from the stick country directly to harvest pearl emerald white jade soups equipment and to suppress top guilds like Snow Moon and South Wind. In the event that, they actually made it. On the world's top equipment list, there will be a large number of equipment signed. From the country of China, to the country of the stick. This is something the crowd must not accept. Damn. This dog, I'm going to PK him offline. Sister Sandy gasped as her chest size shrugged. Even the always amiable Uncle Nanfong Bei narrowed his eyes as a stern aura quietly brewed. Traitor. Ling Shui was a bit more direct, thrusting her waist and cursing in a petulant voice. It was a rare occasion that Ling Yu did not stop her sister from doing something so corrupting of etiquette in front of outsiders. The moment. Curses rang out wildly. The king, the world and his guild were all cursed. His face was blue, but he was not moved. Humph. Heroes only talk about success or failure, regardless of the means. Candle brother. Next, it will be handed over to you guys. Little things. The IDs of these rods were also gradually converted into Chinese. The first one. Topped with the word candle dragon ID of the guy laughed softly, walked towards Chen Ming, come on, one on one, one on one, Chen Ming didn't believe that this group of rods would do something so honorable, sure enough, in the next second, Candlewick's mouth grinned as he took out a magic scroll in his hand and ruthlessly crushed it, I mean, you, singling out a bunch of us, the words fell, magic scrolls tear, the light, instantly enveloped Chen Ming, and including candle dragon. Ten of the top players from the stick country. They were, 
quite literally, teleported into the middle of the two armies facing each other. A cage constructed of the color blood rose violently. Inside the cage, Candlewick grinned. Forgot to tell you, the ten of us are the top ten on our national charts. It's not as if you've dishonored your pearl emerald white jade soup, the name of the number one expert in China. Chen Ning responded indifferently. It's a one ten, a pair of tens that no one can interfere with. No one can stop. No one can intervene. The first pearl in jade white jade soup in China, taking on the top ten masters of the stick country alone. White jade soup. Boss. Little brother. Anxious. The people outside were all anxious when they saw Chen Ning being taken away. Sandy's sister raised her giant sword, and then slashed towards the prison cell, but without any surprise, Sandy's sister's violent attack only hit out a pitiful zero egg. Can't hurt that cage at all. Ling Yu waved her staff in her hand and various skills slammed down in turn. Again, it didn't work. Save your breath. This is a top magic scroll found by the big boys. With you guys, how can you still tear it? King, world revealed a mocking smile, like a dog kneeling to his master. The crowd's faces changed wildly, but there was nothing to be done. And that's when it happened. Inside the cage, Candlewick moved. He was the mage who had unleashed a blizzard to kill the crowd in seconds earlier. With a wave of his hand, widespread blizzards have sprung up again. The cage was not meant to be very wide. The blizzard instantly covered the vast majority of the location. Although for Chen Ming, the damage dealt by blizzard was basically a miss. But the fact that the damage couldn't be eaten didn't mean that the blizzard skill was no longer useful. It also has a considerable slowing effect on ranged enemies. The slowing effect was fatal to Chen Ming, who relied heavily on mobility. Damn. It's 10 to 1 and you're still releasing this kind of trickery skill. Are you guys not human? Sandy's sister was so anxious that she cursed outside the cage. And when she got anxious, she directly shoved her head towards the gap in the cage. It squeezed her head and made her grimace, but she was never able to get halfway through the drill. Chen Ming didn't see Sister Sandy's movements, otherwise surely he would have been moved beyond belief and then refused to recognize the fool as a member of his own guild. Against the slowdown of the blizzard, he turned on the sneak of the phantom shadow skill and fiercely attacked the opponent, by a pair of tens. Still in such a narrow area, passive defense will only lead to death. One has to take the initiative in order to gain a chance of survival from this crevice. Two jumps. Blinking. Chen Ming instantly used up all of his surge skills. After closing the distance to ten people on the other side, he snapped his hand up. Blade Storm. Facing ten people, Sword Blade Storm was his best option. But, after all, the opposite side had come prepared for the skill Sword Blade Storm, and had obviously anticipated it. The moment Chen Ming struck out, a priest, on the opposite side, slammed his staff into the ground. Buzz. A boundary barrier rose out of thin air. It instantly blocked in front of Sword Blade Storm. The rapidly shooting storm of destruction crashed hard against the barrier. Just for a moment, the barrier then burst open. The next moment, it was in pieces. The smile on Candlewick's face instantly froze, and he revealed a touch of unprecedented gravity. Not only him, but the other nine had also slightly curbed their previous frivolity in front of them. The first in the Wachovia district. It's true to its name, but it also just surprised them a little bit. Taking advantage of the moment when the barrier blocked the sword blade storm, the ten people immediately spread out. Two of the thieves took this opportunity to enter stealth and swoop towards Chen Ming. Two archers twisted their bows and strung their arrows, but instead of shooting, they poised themselves to fire, waiting for the thief to determine Chen Ming's position before striking again. The priest who had opened the barrier earlier immediately backed up and hid behind the warrior pulling out the small blue bottles sold at the store to frantically restore his blue just now. A single barrier had directly drained close to half of his blue bar. The other priest recited the words. As he chanted his incantation, a bi-blue color rose up and finally coalesced in the midair of the prison cell into a blue eye that contained no emotion. With blue eyes, the entire jail cell seemed to be shrouded in a light blue veil. A black spectral shadow instantly appeared. There. This instant, the shooter's tightened string snapped loose. Three sharp arrows came out of the string. The sound of breaking air rang out. In the meantime, a mage pressed down hard with both hands. The dirt under his feet collapsed violently. The ground rumbled violently as if a groundhog had passed through it in a long strip. The long strip that stretched all the way to the feet of the dark figure. Countless amounts of dirt jetted out, forming a dragon's head made of hardened dirt in midair, viciously tearing towards the black shadow. The density of their attacks could simply be described as terrifying, but a different thief player. All of them will be instantly killed in this moment. No way. These guys have so many tricks up their sleeves. Which of these skills they take out is not one in a million. The effect formed by combining them was even more terrifying. But fortunately, what they encountered was Chen Ming. 
The two-second delayed shadow provided by the phantom shadow skill allowed him to escape. Not only that, he also had a great opportunity to counterattack. Chen Ming fiercely leapt backwards and slashed out with a knife. A thief who was in the shadows was hit by him with precision. Minus 224. Minus 221. Minus 205. It didn't even jump out with the fourth attack. This guy, he was just killed in an instant. Do it all. Chen Ming made a blink. Once again, the figure disappeared. The ten men from the stick country were reduced by one in a single shot. Ashiba. Candlewick cursed angrily. Rubbish. This can be caught, but anger is anger. As a top player he also tasted something wrong from the wave of exchanges just now. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup's shadow has a delayed effect of about 2 seconds. Next, no aiming at the shadow. Be forewarned, that, in a nutshell, is the inside of the best. Last night, the king, the world was killed to the scalp numb, but did not realize the problem, but he was a glance to see through. This statement was made. The companions on Chen Ming's side were the ones whose faces changed. That's too quick to notice, isn't it? Damn. Thought that the white jade soup big man could kill a few more people with this characteristic. It's over. These alabaster soup bigots are really hard to play with. Damn. How can these sticks be so strong? Delayed shadow. It can almost be the last card in the pearl jade white jade soup. But it was only used once. And it was recognized. Right now. He will be in a desperate situation. A cage with nowhere to run. On it were cold eyes looking down from above within the cage. Underneath there was a pervasive aura of cold eyes covering the entire land. A desperate situation where you can't fly with your wings. You were lucky to get away last time. This time, you won't be so lucky. Candlewick's eyes narrowed slightly as he raised his staff, ready to attack. The others made the same preparatory movements as before. Apparently, their strategy hasn't changed. Let the eyes in the sky spy Chen Ming's position, then instantly set fire to the seconds. However, as time passes, the eyes in the sky had sought out circle after circle within the cage. There were two remaining assassins and they were constantly feeling their way through the line, available at, there's no gain, the pearl emerald white jade soup, as if it had disappeared into thin air, after he attacked and killed an assassin and fled, with a forced flash in midair, he was never seen again, what's going on, where is that guy, others, candlewick frowned impatiently, such a small place, how could he hide for so long, a certain epithet won't let me write it and change it to kimchi, whoops, actually, it wasn't just candlewick and the others, even Ling Yu and the others were confused, and they are more clueless than the candles, because in the squad system, they were able to see the coordinates of the location of the pearl emerald white jade soup on the map, the little blue dot, on the other hand, was always within the prison, it was even moving towards Candlewick and the others, constantly closing in, but even they, couldn't he find where Chen Ming was, where's the boss man, where did the boss run off to, sister Sandy looked up at the sky with a confused face, in her opinion, if the boss wasn't on the ground, then he must be on the ceiling. But nothing. Ling Yu Ling Shui, uncle, all stared wide-eyed in search of Chen Ming. Again, nothing was found. And just as they were wondering, the female streamer spoke up. Pull me into the group and see. The female streamer hadn't been in the squad before. After all, she just came to the game to experience a novelty. The level of her own account is hardly practiced. At most, she will help Nan Feng Bei to make suggestions and solve some problems on the guild. Pulling her into the team would just be a waste of a spot on the elite squad. But right now, it's clear that everyone needs a highly intelligent person. So, under Ling Shui's grudging gaze, Ling Yu was so righteous that she kicked her own sister out of the team and pulled in the women. Enter the squad and get a hint of Chen Ming's location. The female streamer just scanned the mini-map in the jail cell in front of her, and her eyes lit up. Ha, really deserves it. This method, there is something powerful. You found him? Sister Sandy raised an eyebrow in some disbelief the lady of the house, apparently not wanting to bother with the female recklessness of drilling hard through the prison walls with her head, didn't even look at her, and said, as if to herself, haven't you been paying attention? There was a mage over in Kimchi country that released an earth dragon skill earlier, that skill, between them and the pearl emerald white jade soup, hit a long tunnel ah, the words just fell, the crowd, was reacting instantly, tunnel, they turned their heads in droves, sure enough, in the center of the jail cell, there was a slightly raised section of ground. This ground is not conspicuous, because it's covered in frost. But, no matter how inconspicuous, it doesn't stop it from being tangible. So it is. Uncle Nan Feng Bei's eyes glittered. White Jade Soup he is actually drilling into this. Wonderful wow. Wonderful wow. The men, out of nowhere, realized, the original concern disappeared completely. In its place, there was unrivaled anticipation. If the White Jade Soup succeeds in the past, 
kimchi will be metabolized, Ling Yu, revealing an expectant expression, little by little, Chen Ming slowly advanced towards the opposite side, the pickles, too, felt more and more out of place, finally, the mage who unleashed the earth dragon skill, is landed on top of the slightly elevated dirt slope, he showed hesitation, do you guys think it will, he hadn't finished his sentence, the dirt at the bottom of his feet was violently broken through, two daggers, glittering with cold light, cut towards his throat, just for a moment, his eyes then lost their sparkle, seconds, another spike, but this is just the beginning, after seconding this mage, Chen Ming violently handed over the blink skill and in the next moment, appeared directly behind Candle Dragon, the dagger, swung out again, blood spray erupted, Candlewick fell to the ground instantly before he could twist back around, it wasn't until then that the pickles finally reacted, a series of skills greeted him, however, Chen Ming had already violently retreated backwards, falling into the shadows once again, this, then, is the terror of thieves, immediately after the strike, he drew away, there was absolutely nothing to be done with him, three of the most crucial people, in the pickle country have fallen, at this moment, Ling Yu's side erupted in loud cheers, that's it, pickles on this, wasn't it quite a loaded cup before, that's gone, die laughing, thought you guys were so awesome, mockery, mocking madness, however such sounds don't last long before they come to an abrupt end, for they saw violently, that candle dragon, that had originally been killed to the end by Chen Ming unexpectedly slowly climbed up from the ground again, his blood bar, it looked like, was empty, but, it took a closer look to realize that there was still one point of blood left, it's definitely not as simple as getting lucky and surviving one drop of blood, after all, Chen Ming was at full output at the time, for slashes on the brittle man, there's no way the seconds won't work, even if he really failed to kill, him in seconds with the poison dagger hanging, he would still hang a poison debuff on candle dragon, one drop of blood to survive is impossible, because the next thing you know, you're going to get straight up poisoned, the fact that there was no poison debuff on candle dragon at this point in time was a sign that he wasn't simply locking up blood, but that he had a special means, Chen Ming looked expressionlessly at candle dragon who stood up, he wasn't surprised, this game, has all kinds of strange and weird means, there are just too many, but it must be recognized that, he didn't take this guy out in seconds with the only chance he had, his situation, once again, became menacing, and it's better than before, he is more than arguably exhausting his means, no more half-assed operations, no tricks, ha, huh? no move, it's our turn, Candlewick laughed madly, not caring about his one drop of blood, and raised his staff violently, crazy, it's crazy, one drop of blood and still not thinking about replenishing his status, instead choosing to output, that tells me he's confident in himself, a lot, confident that he could kill Chen Ming in a set of seconds, it's not just him, others raised their weapons, countless skills bombarded towards Chen Ming, this time, Chen Ming did not choose to escape, it's not that he doesn't want to, rather, they ran out of means, Blink is in CD, the stealth delay was also spied, the opposite skill, covering all the range he could escape from, there's no escape, you can only wait to die, but even in death, Chen Ming had to stand calm and collected to meet his death, his eyes were cold, firmly memorized the IDs and looks of all the opponents, one day, he'll kill these people until they say goodbye to the game glory, countless skills shot out, it covered everything in front of Chen Ming's eyes, but, just when Chen Ming was ready to die, a clear chi violently erupted from his chest, minus zero, minus zero, minus zero, skill that crashes into the clear air, only zero points of damage were dealt, Chen Ming froze, what the hell is this, yourself, saved by something, he subconsciously looked down, only to see that it was rising from inside his own package, no need to check what exactly, just by seeing the hidden dragon shape flickering in that clear chi, Chen Ming had a guess, turn your head and look, sure enough, this majestic clear chi surged out, and the clear chi from the little lowly who had been keeping her eyes closed in the distance, was mirroring each other, ah Selhachi, what is this, the pickles are humanly stupid, what a skill, simply unbeatable, right, in the face of such an invincible pearl jade white jade soup, they still play a chicken hair, is this cage for the opposite side or for yourself, he looked out in shock and anger, upon seeing Lori, they didn't hesitate to give the order, kill her, quickly, go kill her, they couldn't solve Chen Ming, had to get my men outside, to take out Lori, the pickles are pouring out this time, in addition to the top 10 experts on that list, all the elite players from the top 3 guilds had been united, after they received the order, they immediately looked at Lori and the others intently, Ling Yu did not hesitate, directly led the snow moon crowd to the front of block, snow moon, but it's one of the top 10 guilds in China, 
Ling Yu was never afraid to fight foreign guilds. Even if you're facing one of the top three big guilds in Kimchi, Snow Moon Crowd, join me and protect Su Su. Ling Yu decisively gave the order. Whether in order to clean up these crooked people, or in order to retain that a number of top equipment in China, Snow Moon which stands in the top guild in China, have the responsibility of 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 the responsibility. Although the uncle did not have the same awareness as Ling Yu, he was not a fool either. Knowing that the current state of affairs had gone beyond his imagination, he had to stand up after Yu Kazuki as well. South Wind Guild, help Snow Moon, both sides, once again, engaged in battle. In fact, Ling Yu was still quite confident in the Snow Moon Guild. This was the elite squad that she and Ling Shui had brought out after fighting for several games. Everyone is good at the game with a decent level of skill. And the vast majority of them were true professional players, they would follow the company system and pay Snow Moon elite salary, pay 5 insurance and 1 gold, and even have performance appraisal ratings and the like. In short, it's made possible by a big, big pile of real money. However, it's such a top-notch gaming guild, but after just one encounter with the kimchi side, they immediately showed their decline. Can't fight it can't beat that at all. Most intuitively, it's the exchange of front rows on both sides. The front row knights and warriors on Snow Moon's side had their blood levels drop wildly after taking a round of damage, the kind that even a milkmaid can't lift back, but on the opposite side of the pickle. First is their front row resistance. After eating a round of skills, the remaining blood was significantly more than Snow Moon's front row. The second was the strength of the milkmaid, their wave of blood returning and lifting up significantly more than Snow Moon's side as well. It can be said that the average strength of the three major guilds on Pickle's side is absolutely crushing Snow Moon. Just a photo op. Snow Moon then fell straight to the ground. How is this possible? Ling Yu revealed an incredulous expression. The Snow Moon guild that she had single-handedly built was so unbearable. She was a little messed up. The king, the world laughed out loud in a villainous manner. How about it? You didn't expect it, did you Ling Yu? Where the other kimchi kingdom is located. It's a level 6 main city that's the next level up from Huaxia. There, their main city copy is not a level range of 15 to 25, but a level range of 10 to 15. The three major guilds have long since cleared that copy, equipping a bunch of the guild's elites with the bound sets dropped from the copy. What are you comparing yourself to? After hearing this, Ling Yu's face was so gloomy that it seemed like water could come out of it. She hadn't really expected that there was more to it. Glory this game, actually did not give each country to do the balance of map resources. Chinese country players from the novice village out, assigned to a few level 5 main city, but the players from the kimchi country were actually assigned only one, a level 6 main city, a level 6 main city, whether it was the size or the equipment, materials, or potions provided, was inferior to a level 5 main city, by all accounts, it's quite a bloodbath, however, they did not expect to be blessed with a copy that was just right for their level, being able to swipe a set of gear in a copy, Although it is well known that the bound equipment provided by copies generally have properties that are not as good as the same level equipment produced in the wild, but at least, people are bringing a level 10 outfit with them. On the contrary, Snow Moon's side, it's a bunch of elites though, wearable, pretty much all around level 5 gear, and the vast majority of them, they don't even have their equipment grids together. There are still parts that are naked. When these two sides fight, the pickle country is certainly able to manage an easy crush. Damn it! The older man couldn't help but frown. Snow Moon are still having trouble picking up the fight. Not to mention his Southwind Guild. Back to back defeats. Seeing that Ling Yu and the uncle were defeated at the touch of a button. Chen Ming couldn't help but tighten his heart. Gotta pick up the pace and get rid of these guys in the cage. Only by taking care of them could they get out of the cage and go rescue Ling Yu and the others. Blessed with the protection of Clear Chi. Chen Ming transformed from the hunted. To the attacker. However. The seven people on the other side were no fools. After realizing that something was wrong, they immediately dispersed and withdrew. And from time to time, he also handed out skills to hinder Chen Ming. Although Chen Ming possessed the short-lived invincibility effect of Qin Qi enhancement, he was only immune to damage and could not circumvent some of the mitigating debuff effects. For example, storm slowdown, or some interference from other skills. It has to be said that the kimchi country is a big country in the gaming industry, and the intensity of these 10 masters of theirs is still very exaggerated only 10 levels out, just manhandle 2 or 3 top skills, although it is not as fancy as Chen Ming, it is still quite good, under full escape, Chen Ming couldn't even catch up with them for a moment, but time is short, if he doesn't tease solve them, again if Su Su is taken care of by the people outside in advance, then the Qing Qi in his body will disappear, and he will die for sure, scramble, it's a race, but, 
is quite an unfair race. Outside, the people of the Kimchi Kingdom had the advantage of crushing equipment in their hands. Inside the prison, Chan Ming, however, had to fight one against seven. It's over. It's going to be impossible to defend. Boss, why don't we back off? Uncle, let's not get involved. A lot of players from Snow Moon and South Wind were killed. Even the most common wise female streamer looked at Nan Fengbei without emotion. I suggest retreating immediately. Bai Yu Tang was killed has become a certainty. This is already a huge loss to China. But with his ability, as long as South Wind and Snow Moon are willing to pour in their help, it won't be a problem to rise again in the East. But if Snow Moon and South Wind also die here and don't retreat, resulting in a great loss of vitality, that's just a huge heavy blow to the WAC. Her eyes held no emotion as she said, word for word, if you leave a green mountain behind, you're not afraid of having no firewood to burn. This reasoning, I'm sure President South Wind North understands it better than I do. Uncle Nanfangbai let out a long sigh, gas. As a man who has been in the business world for dozens of years, he will not be indecisive. It's just a bit of a bummer. Unwilling to be bullied by tiny neighboring kimchi. President Qingfeng Rongmu, let's retreat. This matter is due to me. Please tell Bai Yu Tang that in the future. The South Wind Guild will certainly respond to his requests. Without any ambiguity. It's a no-brainer. I hope you, and he, understand. Although Ling Yu was the head of a meeting, but still a young man after all. She couldn't be as decisive and resolute as Nan Fengbei, but just as she hesitated, Chan Ming, however, took the initiative to speak out. Snow Moon and South Wind Guild players, all retreat. He came to the same conclusion as the women. He himself, today, is already bound to die. If they resisted, they would only drag Snow Moon and South Wind down with them and hit these two guilds hard. Might as well keep their strength and just sacrifice themselves. It may seem tragic for a strong man to break his arm, but in some cases, it is the most sensible choice. Also as in the present, when these words came out, Ling Yu could not help but bite her lip. But in the end, she no longer hesitated. Retreat. A command. Everyone, back off. Though they all adored the pearl emerald white jade soup and wished they could help the big man. But, right now, this is clearly an impossible task. Since that's not possible, then what's the point of resisting? One time, the members of the Snow Moon and South Wind Guilds, retreated gradually exposing little Lori. As soon as Lori was killed, the clear air is broken. Without his clear chi to protect his body, Chen Ming would naturally end up exploding his entire body's equipment and zeroing out his level. No one wants to see that. But, and people are powerless to do anything about it. Hoomph. Selling really decisively. King. World snorted coldly, a little irritated. He thought he could clean up Snow Moon and South Wind in one breath. I didn't realize they were so sensible. Looks like there's only one pearl emerald white jade soup to tackle. However, just as he was slowly walking towards the unprotected lorry, he was about to lead his men to kill lorry. A huge sword comparable to an NPC slammed down in front of him. The long sword then scratched the ground. A thin line of demarcation was drawn across the ground as the dirt tumbled. Sandy sister stood at the end of the line, expressionless, looking at the end of the line, the king, the world, those who cross the line, die. Her voice was cold and emotionless. When Chen Ming saw this scene, he couldn't help but stare, then yelled, Foolish you, can't you understand when I tell you to retreat? I can't understand. This was the first time Sister Sandy had contradicted Chen Ming. She was stubborn as a person. It was in front of hundreds of people. Carrying the greatsword with one hand, he landed on his shoulder and scanned the hundreds of people on the other side disdainfully. A big, bold laugh followed. The day of the division. There is honor in death. Lifeless humiliation. Word for word. Clanging ringing through the house. Sister Sandy crossed her arms and stood guard in front of Lori, a comment that made many players who had already backed away, vaguely feel a bit ashamed, especially those players from the Nine Heavens Guild, although the order to retreat was given by Chen Ming, but they were from the Nine Heavens after all. The self-boss is trapped, other people run is not even, but they can run even if they are in the Nine Heavens. Many people had a hesitant look on their faces, and just as they hesitated, there were already a few fervent members of the Nine Heavens who twisted their heads and ran to Sister Sandy's side. On the day of the division, there is the honor of death, not the disgrace of life. There is not a single coward in our Nine Heavens. Don't be afraid Sandy-chan. We're here too. With the first group of people impulsively stepping up to the side of Sister Sandy. Soon, more and more players from the Nine Heavens Guild were also getting hot under the collar. The people who gathered around Sister Sandy. More and more. They may have been a free scatterbrain who went everywhere in the sky the day before, or even a few hours, before, but this moment, they were brought together by the same goal, even though they are facing unrivaled opponents, and without hesitation, 
What a coincidence, Gang, who had gone to the line to call out the others, also arrived at this moment. All the players of the Nine Heavens Guild, at this moment, finally gathered, with both Snow Moon and South Wind giving up in unison. They, blocked Lori from following her, became the last line of defense for his own boss, Shan Ming. Ling Yu looked moved for a moment. Uncle even sighed long. Even if the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup folds here today, the rise of the Nine Heavens Guild will never be stopped. The female streamer nodded. I can already see a top guild rising. Nine Heavens would completely make a name for the guild at this moment. Even Shen Ming was silent at this moment. He had all but given up. But seeing the players so and so, his heart was kindled with hope. And, perhaps, a try. He opened his friends list and found the ID that made him feel ashamed just by looking at it. Queen, do me a favor. The pay is quite generous and quite exciting. Are you free to accept? Chen Ming's description accurately poked the queen's G-spot. She rushed to agree without even asking for details. No problem. Chen Ming immediately explained the details. It has to be soon. After a final testament, Chen Ming closed the dialogue box and charged at the opponent once again. Honestly, he's already a little out of his depth. Although the opponent was not powerful, he was full of tricks and had not been aiming to kill Chen Ming, but only to stall for time and live on. Chen Ming was fighting one against many, so he was really a bit out of his depth. He's only one person, after all. But his guild members are so desperate, it was natural for him not to give up. Outside, once again, they were engaged in battle. Nine Heavens was, after all, a casual guild that had only been formed. And although the crowd was united, their strength was still lacking. Against an enemy that even Snow Moon and South Wind couldn't crush, nature is unstoppable. But even so, and not a single one of them stepped back the god of the nine heavens, will, there's not a pussy in sight, one batch fell after another, the opponent was getting closer and closer to Su, Chen Ming finally capitalized on one of his opponent's mistakes and seconded a priest, this is an unprecedented breakthrough, but, it's still too late, sister Sandy fought to the last moment and her blood level finally went to zero, at the moment of collapse, she's still on the charge, stupid Chinese, one of the pickle men balked, scornfully taking a step over sister Sandy's body, at this point, the entire Nine Heavens Guild, has been wiped out, only Lori was left, sitting alone in her spot, countless swords and knives, aimed at the little lowly, as if feeling threatened, that clear aura that was originally lingering on the little lowly's body seemed to be slowly dissipating because it felt fear, yo, I thought we'd be stopped by this clear chi, but I didn't expect it to disperse on its own, not bad, those who know what's good for them, at least those stupid Chinese know much better, from today onwards, there will be a few more top tier artifacts on our kimchi list. What is the power of China to occupy these treasures? Treasures should be occupied by those who can. Such a treasure should be in our hands. Wasia, just a thief. There was a wild glint in their eyes. Pearl emerald white jade soup on that several pieces of equipment on the list. Just think about it. Let them feel their hearts on fire. The butcher's knife. Raised high. Heavy fall. Their eyes glittered with frenzy. Greed and cruelty. But, just for a moment. The little lowly's body was filled with clear chi that had been collected. The butcher's knife slashes down. And yet it didn't hit anything. It went straight through the little lowly. Bang! The butcher knife finally smashed into the ground, erupting into a buzzing sound. The originally solid Susu had unexpectedly turned into a substanceless body composed of clear chi at this moment. She opened her eyes. There was still confusion and disbelief in his eyes. Before the crowd could react, Susu disappeared into thin air, leaving only a wisp of clear smoke in its place. What's the situation? It's not just those of the pickle countries. Even Chen Ming revealed a look of shock. What's happening to Susu? Just as Chen Ming was confused, suddenly, a cloud of curling clear air appeared before his eyes, and immediately afterward, from that cloud of smoke, a lovely and delicate little face was visualized. Susu, ding skill, concentricity, activation complete. Chen Ming swept, only to see that a brand new buff skill had suddenly appeared in his buff bar. Concentric. Introduction, ancient secret technique activated by the bloodline of a dragon descendant. The user is able to create a natural connection with the holder of the dragon's essence, and is able to possess the body of the holder of the dragon's essence, while possessed, is in an uncheckable state, takes no damage, and is not selected. The possessor will grant the possessed person a bonus of 30 of his or her full attributes. The possessor is able to use all skills normally during the possessed state, except for being unable to move. Chen Mingren was dumbfounded though he knew that there were a thousand skills in the world of glory. But so weird. It's the first time I've seen it. Really just carry on type Lolita chanting? First, Ra, I seem to be, like, one with you. Lori's voice also became ethereal. Chen Ming looked up, 
the little lowly hovering beside herself in a state of clear chi, had suddenly sprouted a pair of tiny dragon horns, a small, spiritually wagging tail seemed to be faintly visible the moment she swam in front of her, sir, please, please don't look at, the little lowly shyly lowered her head, reaching up to try and cover the tiny dragon horns on top of her head, and the spunky little tail behind her hid as much as it could towards the bottom of her skirt. Dragon Lady Lolita? Ah this. Chen Ming felt that something strange had awakened. No, now is not the time to think about that. He looked furiously at his attribute points. Physical strength, strength, endurance, agility, and spirit. His five-dimensional attributes. All of them were improved, especially mental and physical points. The bonus percentage is quite substantial. With a little speculation, Chen Ming came to a conclusion that he found both surprising and reasonable, Susu should also be a hidden race player with 15 star growth points, the same hidden race that stands at the top of glory with his, ghostly specter, with the only trait. However, these attribute point additions are not the most important for Chen Ming, he was looking at the unselectable ability that Susu possessed, uncheckable, which means invincible, as long as he, Chen Ming, did not die, Susu would not be harmed at all, and the reason why Chen Ming fought so woefully, Today is entirely because he has been cut and has been in a state of falling alone. Su Su, who had opened the concentric skill and was in the dragon soul form, solved this problem perfectly. She could continuously add buffs to Chen Ming. Su, give a sip of milk. Yes sir. After responding playfully, a green light spilled down. And Chen Ming's blood level surged for a moment. It's cozy. The protective clear chi on Chen Ming's body disappeared though, and he was no longer invincible. But after having Su Su as an on-the-go pastor, his relationship with the seven people in front of him had completely changed. Two-level reversal. Being the prey, he transformed into the hunter at this moment. Chen Ming didn't have to dodge and be careful like before. Fear of failing to generate a miss when you eat a skill and causing yourself to be sent away in a set. No need to cringe anymore. Chen Ming, who had brought Su Su with him, rushed towards his opponent with great strides. The group of pickles blushed furiously, although they did not know exactly what role Su Su was playing at this moment. The previous Qing Qi protection had already made Chen Ming invincible for a while, successfully avoiding their round of fire gathering. They naturally did not dare to underestimate it. Output. Candle Wick shouted. Everyone threw their skills in unison. The skills were so overwhelming that they shook people's eyes for a while. If it were before, Chen Ming would definitely not have dared to fight hard, and could only hastily retreat to avoid his front. But here and now, Chen Ming was undaunted. Facing the terrifying glow of the skill, he charged headlong into it. Miss, miss, a few misses popped up before a skill hit finally came. Just one hit. Just let Chen Ming's blood level plummet. However, right at this moment, as soon as Su Su, who was in the clear chi state, raised her staff, the green light that returned blood spilled over Chen Ming, violently lifting a mouthful of blood for him. The pickles finally sensed something was wrong. Earlier, when I watched Su Su's one bite of milk effect explode, I thought it was some kind of special master stroke type skill for priests, but right now, the fact that she was releasing this skill one after another meant that it wasn't a so-called big move. Instead, it's a normal minor skill. What kind of priest is this? How can the blood return be so exaggerated? Ah Silhachi, isn't this purgatory prison unbreakable and inaccessible once it's formed? How on earth did this priest get in? Forget about the pearl emerald white jade soup. Kill the priest first. They've realized that they can't touch the pearl emerald white jade soup without killing Susu. The two assassins, who had been lurking in the shadows, not daring to move looked at each other. They knew that it would be much harder for them to kill the pearl emerald white jade soup, and there was even a great probability that they would be killed in return. But it shouldn't be a problem to kill a small priestly nurse, right? Even if she was close to the pearl emerald white jade soup, but as long as the two are all together. The pearl, emerald and white jade soup couldn't care less about that little priest. Thinking about it, they moved without hesitation. In the air, there was a cold flash of light. Can't even see the silhouettes. The sharp blade then stabbed hard at Su Su. One had to admit that these two thief players from the Kimchi Kingdom had indeed played sneak assassination to the point of perfection. Both the timing of the strike and the speed and angle of the strike. It's all been perfect to the point of impeccability. Even the moment they struck. A few other people from Pickles have brightened up. The same thought flashed through their minds. Steady. Not many priests in the world will survive this strike. Even if he was replaced by Ling Shui, a top-notch priest. He probably wouldn't be able to defend himself against the attack of these two and fall with hatred. But alas, what they've run into, by chance, is Su Su. The sharp blade accurately stabbed Su Su. But in the end, it cut through the Qing Qi and failed to cause a little damage to Su Su. What? Skills empty? No. It's not that the skill is empty. It can't be selected. The two thieves showed disbelief. 
It was only then that Su Su reacted to the fact that she had been sneak attacked, she was terrified beyond belief, and subconsciously tried to burrow into Chen Ming's arms, but right at this moment, Chen Ming had already violently twisted his head, and the storm of sword blades exploded at a distance of close proximity. Those two thieves, originally, had a life-for-life -life attitude to sneak up on Su Su. The moment he struck, he didn't want to live. A storm of sword blades erupted, instantly engulfing the two. Minus 569, minus 586, two bright red numbers erupted. Blitz, two blasts in a row. Chen Ming's inherited leather armor four-piece sets increased strike rate and strike damage were reflected in this moment. The opposing priest didn't even have a chance to try and salvage the situation, and they were all killed in seconds. Don't be afraid. No one will be able to hurt you if I don't die. In the future. Chan Ming grinned. It's so cool. The carry on Lolita is real pedal to the metal. Watch out for blue and blood refills. I'll take you. To kill people. Chen Ming charged straight at his opponent. The opponent's manpower was lost one after another. There was simply no way to stop Chen Ming anymore. One could only watch as Chen Ming charged up against the wild bombardment. Outside. Whether it was the king's world or the players from the pickle country. They were all dumbfounded. That Chen Ming, who topped a round of skills bombardment, but could not be stopped for half a step was simply like a killing god reincarnated. It's like descending from heaven to the devil's seed. Truly a Teyukai god on earth. Everyone, watching in horror. King, the world is even more pale. He knew that he was bound to carry the name of traitor after this battle. But if he can stifle the snowy moon, the south wind, and the pearl emerald white jade soup, it's all worth it. History is left to be written by the victors. But right now. Things seemed to be going beyond his imagination. He couldn't accept that. He looked almost maniacally at the player from the pickle country, yelling down with a hint of hysteria. What are Candle and the others doing? Shut this jail cell down. Release the pearl emerald white jade soup. Hundreds of us will surround him. He will die for sure. The words fell. It was only then that he realized that the player from the pickle country, his face had become ugly as well. Can't turn it off. With this skill, there's a limit. Unless one party is killed to level 1 and their entire body is blown out of equipment and props. Otherwise, it's not going to end. After hearing that, the face of the king, the world is already a pale color. All blown out of proportion. Ranks to 1. It's too hard. Immortal gladiator. If it was pearl jade white jade soup that was being targeted at this time, he would have been so happy that he would have slapped his thighs. But his face was now white. What to do? What's going to happen now? He mumbled as if he had lost his soul. And just then too, Chen Ming cooperated with Little Lori, and hardened himself against a set of damage, decimating those remaining few, all of them, that's it, and dare to come to my Chinese land to spread wildness? Chen Ming smiled contemptuously and wiped out the neck of the last person, he slowly fell to the ground, Chen Ming scanned the circle with some regret, there's no equipment, and you didn't steal anything with your own wonderful hands, it was also true that, after all, one's damage was exaggerated, and the slightest touch was a second. There's not much of a chance to stack mythic hands on yourself at all. Just as Chen Ming had some regrets, suddenly, a white light flashed before his eyes. Ten silhouettes, recoalesced in front of him. Chen Ming was dumbfounded. Susu was also confused. Only the ten people who were resurrected had an unusually wonderful expression on their faces. Chen Ming had played glory for a long time after all, and after a slight freeze, he reacted. His expression became serious. I had thought you all were invaders who had come to trample on Chinese soil. But I didn't realize that I was the one who was monstrous. So you are all international friends, neighboring a group of male bodhisattvas in my China. Such a generous gift. I am truly grateful. Please line up and come one by one to die. Chen Ming had always had a knack for being shifty. Those words don't do much damage though. But the insults are extreme. Those ten great experts of the pickle country instantly changed their faces furiously. At this moment, they experienced the despair that Chen Ming had felt earlier. Locked in a cage, facing the beast of choice. There is nothing more to do but wait for death. Candlewick was in a frenzy. He knew he had lifted a stone today, but he was not willing. He was the kind of character that even if he was going to die, he had to pull someone in for his back. Outside, gather up and charge the fleeing snow moon and south wind guilds. If they hunkered down in the city, surround the city. Any Chinese player, not a single one should be spared. His words revealed madness. Siege, though sooner or later they will be driven away. Probably rounded up for a while. Just a while. After all, the pickle country doesn't have a huge advantage. Simply having a level 10 to 15 copy and a head start on gear. When the game advances and everyone reaches level 20, there will be a gap in equipment in the kimchi countries. And in turn, Wasia will rise to the top. So, he's going to be here for a limited time. Do as much as you can. 
if it were not for the fact that within the city, there are high-level NPCs that can easily abuse their group of level 10 players, then, they're not going to just siege the city. How can we say that we have to kill in and slaughter Qingfeng city over and over again? This statement was made. Those outside, without hesitation, were ready to execute it. While the king, the world is the face of the wild change. Hey, when I promised to open the portal for you guys before, I could have made a pact. I absolutely can't do this kind of thing ah. He was in a hurry. If it's true that by inviting the kimchi countries to come and surround Chen Ming and give away his equipment, he'll just take a scolding. Then if these guys start going on a big, crazy massacre, it would have completely stunk up his reputation. The Chinese region can no longer tolerate him. The king, the world, cannot tolerate the king of the guild. However, no one was hitching a ride to stop him. Current stage. This group of elite players from the top three guilds in the kimchi kingdom were just invincible. It's a complete downgrade for the guilds on the Chinese side. The words of the king, the world, did not have any effect on them. Far away, Ling Yu and Uncle Nanfeng Bei, who had thought that they had already made a village out of the darkness, exchanged a glance at each other. A look of gravity appeared on his face. Uncle, I don't know if the South Wind Guild is retreating or not, and I have no reason to ask you. But Snow Moon, couldn't stay out of it any longer. If we say that we backed off before, it was in order to minimize our losses, and we were making considerations for the sake of the interests of Huaxia. Well here and now, people are going to step on HWA's face. There is nothing that touches the interests of China more directly than this. Snow Moon, there was no more reason to stay out of it. Seeing Ling Yu's face full of determination, Uncle Nanfeng Bei had a complicated look on his face. These mad dogs, has he ever been so passive? In reality, he was the big man who handed over countless powerful families and nobles and made his fortune at the foot of the emperor with a strong background. In the Jiang Hu, who doesn't give him a thin face? Even the father of the twin sisters, Ling Yu and Ling Shui, who had single-handedly created a miraculous business empire, had to be courteous to him. He plays the game, but also just feels that there is not much excitement in reality, and come to experience a new life. Therefore, he didn't take it too seriously. But right now, this incomparably passive situation today was something that had completely touched him. The South Wind Guild will not retreat either. And, as of today, I'll be putting more effort into glory. Ling Yu and Ling Shui twisted their heads in shock to look at the older man. Seriously? They couldn't help but think of their own father describing certain things about Uncle Nan Fong Bei. For a moment, the heart is unable to resist coming alive. If the South Wind Guild also rises once and for all, Snow Moon will have an incredibly powerful teammate. Originally, Ling Yu was still a little apprehensive in the face of this next wave of offense. But now, she was suddenly relieved. Even if Snow Moon is massacred today, with Uncle Nan Fong Bei as a mutual reinforcement, as well as making friends with the Rising Star Guild Nine Heavens, Snow Moon, the future is bright. I appreciate the Nine Heavens Guild's bravado just now. Now, it's also our turn to be like this in Snow Moon. Ling Yu's pre-war mobilization was simple, but it was quite effective. Many people were already motivated by Sister Sandy's words. It's just a shame that I can't get in the way of the order. Now, a blood that can finally be thrown out. Brothers, kill. Defend Qingfeng City to the death. Never let these kimchi step in. Brothers of the Nine Heavens, you slowly resurrected not in a hurry. The vacant defense line, we help you fill it. Just when everyone's blood was boiling and they were ready to fight each other to the death. Chan Ming, who was in the cage, was busy being thankful for the gifts of the heavens while taking the time to twist his head to look at Ling Yu. President Ling Yu. President Nanfeng Bei. Don't die. Back up. Hurry back up. Ling Yu raised her eyebrows when she heard this. Before she could say anything though. Ling Shui then jumped out excitedly and hurriedly snatched Ling Yu's words. No retreat. No retreat. And what? Master's Day? There's the honor of death. Bah. There's the honor of death. Not the honor of life. Ling Shui roared with a complete lack of Sister Sandy's out of the sand aura. Instead, there's a cuteness to it. After yelling those two words, she was cool. The little face was flushed. Looked thrilled beyond belief. And snuck a look around. The corner of Chen Ming's mouth pulled. How can the mental age gap be so big when the two sisters look exactly the same? Ling Yu is the sole president. Her younger sister, Ling Shui, however, acted like a petulant little girl. I'm not kidding you guys. Don't worry. I already have a solution for these people. Wouldn't you guys see this coming? The words just fell. That end of the horizon. Suddenly there came the sound of footsteps. The ground shook. Boom like thunder. Everyone subconsciously turned their heads. Just a figure. On all fours running as fast as he could, even though the forest is thorny, overgrown and rocky, it also didn't affect the figures darting in the slightest, it's too fast, 
so much so that it puts everyone on their guard, but also a little puzzled at the same time. The monster was obviously running fast, so how could it make that dull, thunderous footstep sound? It's not right yet. Wait until the figure gets closer. Everyone just snapped to attention. It wasn't a monster at all. Instead, it's a player. The tight, slimming leather armor accentuated her perfectly hot body, just ambling along on both hands and feet. It's really a little spicy. Chen Ming just looked at it. Just about couldn't hold it together. Instantly open the chat bar in your friends. Crap. Sister Queen. I called you a dog to flirt with you. And you took it seriously? The queen is in a hurry. Release yours. Can this be harmonized? Funny mud pee. I'm not being a dog. It's a skill. A skill understand. See for yourself. The new baby that I just found, Han Pace. What do you know? If it weren't for the fact that my mother has this skill and can run faster. Would have died a violent death long ago. The exchange goes here. Chen Ming also finally saw. Queen's dog chases a large dark figure behind her. The corner of Chen Ming's mouth pulled. Forget it. The queen's sister's picture is like this. Hit from the beginning is not right. In this case, the queen's sister continues to remain out of place. Instead of being right. Let's pull the boss into the crowd. By the way, did you steal the stuff? The queen replied as she flew into a frenzy. That's for sure. That said, I'm curious as to how you knew that thing was hidden there. Could it be that you have the same talent as me? I'm not a dog. Chen Ming silently spat out a sentence. Duck duck duck. The queen took a violent leap and scurried towards the group of pickles. It wasn't until then that everyone finally got a good look at the big guy behind the queen. It was a giant ape that was about 10 meters tall. Comparable to a three-story building. Heart Demon Phantom Ape. Blue Grade Rare. Grade? Life Value? Skills? Synopsis. A giant beast that lives in the lake of hearts and guards precious treasures. Over its head. There was a big anger. Apparently. Also a poor boss who had something stolen from him. As for the culprit. Naturally. It is the queen's sister who flew all the way on all four feet. Ashiba. What kind of monster is that? Despicable Chinese. Run. Run. As long as we run faster than that woman, the monsters won't be able to catch us. Pickles wasn't stupid enough to know that a monster like this, full of question marks, was never something they could touch, and twisted his head to run. Yet how could they run on two feet as well as a queen on all fours? One could only watch as the queen caught up with him. A few people were so angry that they immediately pulled out their weapons. Just to throw a round of skills towards the queen to send her away with pleasure. However the queen was on her hands and knees on the ground though. It was a struggle to even look at the group of pickles. But she kept her tone condescending. Ha! Kill me? You can try. As soon as I died, the hatred was immediately transferred to you. This statement was made. The men stopped instantly. I'm afraid to kill the queen. Like she said. As soon as she died, the hatred shifted immediately. Damn it. Run. As long as we can get back to the location of the portal and return to the country, this monster will naturally lose its hatred. There's no way it's coming after us. So sensible? Chen Ming had some regrets. Thought these pompous pickles were going to mindlessly powerbomb the boss. However, Chen Ming's original purpose was only to lure in the boss and drive away this group of guys. The objective has been achieved. When they're all chased away, just have the queen's sister pull the monster back and be done with it. However, just then, a rather cocky smile appeared at the corner of the queen's sister's mouth. Trying to run? You think I'll let you guys off the hook? The words were not yet spoken. The queen's sister quit her hound-paced running stance and leapt from the ground. Just when everyone thought, he would do something amazing. After the queen's sister leapt up in mid-air, then he planted himself on the ground in a straight doggy style. Collapsed on the ground. She didn't move a muscle. Half a ton was still showing in the corner of his mouth. Blood. The volume, too, instantly went to zero at this moment. The pickles were confused. That boss giant ape was also confused. What the hell? Dead? It is also the knowledgeable Chen Ming's mouth tugged. False death. It's one of the rarer skills, but one that doesn't have a lot of oomph to it. I don't know where this queen's sister is mashed up from. These fancy things are pretty much all over her. As the queen fell to the ground, bosses completely changed their hate targets. Nearby, Kimchi, and the king's guild, among others, became the object of its anger. Roar. The great ape roared casually pulling up a large tree. He smashed it hard, between the earth and the mountains. Those who were hit by the tree died a violent death. The horrifying sound was so terrifying to watch that Lingyu and the others were scared to death. Luckily they didn't go up and tangle with the king's guild and the others. If they are targeted by this kind of monster, their end will not be any better than the king's guild. This woman seems to have been arranged by Pearl Jade White Jade Soup, right? In other words, the exact location of this boss was also informed to that woman by the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Kind of interesting. He has far more information than we realize. The female streamer looked at Chen Ming. 
a touch of awe flowing from her eyes. And after hearing the female streamer analyze it like this, Ling Yu Ling Shui reacted and fiercely realized that Chen Ming's ability seemed to be quite a bit more powerful than they had imagined. Using over $200,000 to auction off the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup's buddy bit is the most worthwhile amount of money I've ever spent in this game. Uncle couldn't help but exclaim as well. Take advantage of the confusion. The queen ends her fake death state and turns on stealth to sneak back into the group. Happy to watch the pickles get slaughtered. Chen Ming's side also left the cage after repeatedly slaughtering those 10 experts several times, exploding them all over the place and zeroing out their levels. That most arrogant candle dragon was killed to the end and fell into numbness. There was no more of the arrogance that was there before. Silently, he turned into a ball of white light and went back to his old kimchi home to be reborn. Boom! The jail cell collapsed. Chen Ming walked out of the prison cell alive as the victor. This wave. He was loaded. So to speak. Ten top players in pickle country. Three thieves, two mages, two priests, one archer, one knight, and one warrior. The full sets of equipment. Of these ten people were all exploded into my hands. Looking at the extreme equipment in his backpack that was almost about to become unstuffed, Chen Ming even felt his breathing get a little heavy, if offered for auction. This was enough equipment to arm 10 top experts out, and it could be auctioned off for at least 20 to 30 million dollars, 2 or 3 million dollars a set on average. After all, almost all of their equipment was a mix of green and blue, without a single piece of purple equipment. Naturally there is no way to shoot a single million dollar price. There were no blue suits of the level of the pair of heavenly calamity teeth in Chen Ming's hands. TCH, Kimchi is really a small country with a weak population. The level of top equipment is still a long way off from China. That is, on the strength of being assigned to a level 6 main city and encountering a level 10 to 15 copy, raise the full fighting strength by a large margin before you dare to come and offend Huaxia. Originally, Chen Ming had a bad opinion of Kimchi. After this battle, it was even more memorable. Sure. He also felt the need for strength urgently, not just himself, and the guild. Although there were strong people like Sister Sandy in the Nine Heavens, the vast majority were still ordinary casuals, not quite enough strength to see. After thinking about it for a while, Chen Ming decided to keep these 10 sets of top-notch equipment, use it to equip your own guild members. If it was placed in the past, Chen Ming would definitely not be so generous. After all, although he was the boss, he was not too familiar with the guild members and had not made friends to the point of being able to throw away millions of dollars. But just now, after the people of the Nine Heavens Guild had brazenly and generously sacrificed their lives to protect themselves, Chen Ming would not hesitate any longer. He does need the money pretty good, but he cared more about the brothers than the money. Of course, he hadn't forgotten about Susu. This girl, back when he hadn't even thought of a guild name, was already an internalized guild member. Susu, this set of equipment. You take it first. From now on, You'll be the number one milkmaid of our Nine Heavens Guild. Hey, hey, Su was surprised and delighted. She lifted the concentric effect and reappeared as an entity to land beside Chen Ming. She had seen how powerful those priests were just now, eager to get their gear as well. But she, it's really a bit of a dare. After playing the game for so long, she was already aware of the price of these top equipment. This is the loot that you and I have taken by killing our opponents together. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be able to protect myself not to mention getting this equipment. It's what you deserve and can't be denied. Chen Ming's tone steeped and hardened as he shoved a set of equipment hard at Su Su. In the future, when you want to use the concentric skill, switch back to this current staff that has the dragon seal activation to activate the skill. Chen Ming admonished, fearing that Su Su would accidentally sell the previous staff. Good, good sir. Su Su was dazzled by the pile of equipment suddenly shoved into her backpack. After sharing the loot with Su Su, the two returned to the group. The frenzied giant ape over there had pretty much cleaned up pickles and the king's guild. Equipment exploded all over the place. No one dared to pick it up. Though, the terrifying ape was still prowling, looking for a living being to vent its anger on. Chen Ming looked at the field of equipment with heartache. These babies are right up my alley at first glance. How can you let them fall to the ground? Queen, please lure this ape away again. Chen Ming looked towards the queen. The queen rolled her eyes. You only said draw it over, not pull it back. Gotta add money. Aha, uh -huh. why does that sound so familiar? Just as Chen Ming froze, however, he found that Ling Shui Ling Yu, the older man, the female streamer, and even the little lowly Su Su, were all looking at him in unison. This is your sister? Ling Yu asked suspiciously. Sister, what makes you think that? Chen Ming froze, because you're practically cut from the same mold. She plays a thief. You're a thief. She stole from the boss and you stole from the boss. And she likes to sit on her ass as much as you do. Chen Ming senses that his popularity has been jeopardized once again. Before he could speak though, 
The queen chortled. It's just that certain people have been doing poor imitations of me. Chen Ming was too lazy to bother with her. A direct slap to the side of her head. With dogs, words don't work. You still have to do it. Imitation my ass. Add money my ass. The value of that thing I reveal to you is already enough for you to sell your life to me. So be honest and pull the monster back to me. Don't let it go crazy here and affect the Chinese players in Blazing Sun City and Qingfeng City. The queen covered her small head and looked at Chen Ming with a grudging glance. How do I feel that you are lying to me? That pet egg description is quite high end. But the baby that hatches out. Doesn't tea feel like much? Words such as worth enough to sell your life and pet eggs captured everyone's attention. And they could probably guess what this queen had done. Pearl emerald white jade soup had tipped her off to a certain pet egg. And she had stolen it to attract the giant ape and take care of the group of pickles. A pet egg that can be guarded by that kind of creature shouldn't be weak. Ling Yu. Analysis. Is it an ape? Ling Shui asked curiously. And secretly thought to herself that if it was really an ape or monkey. No matter how powerful it was. She wouldn't feel envious. Because. That's just ugly. Not an ape. The queen shook her head. Then summoned her pet. Swish. After the light flashed, an era appeared at the queen's feet. Although dogs in the whole world pretty much all look the same, but only era is different. This dog, the eyes just sparkle with great wisdom. This one that the queen pulled out, even more so. Look at this guy. Where is he halfway powerful? The queen looked at Chen Ming in a sly manner. Era also followed his master's gaze, tilting his head to squint at Chen Ming. Chen Ming, how is this treadmill a diabolical? He clearly remembered that the owner who obtained that pet egg in his previous life had gotten what was clearly a vicious coyote. That coyote was vicious as hell. If it wasn't for the fact that Chen Ming had developed so quickly in this life that he somewhat despised ordinary pets, he wouldn't have surrendered this opportunity to the queen. This shouldn't be. Chen Ming revealed a confused look. Did you steal the wrong one? It's supposed to be a coyote's egg. Coyotes? No. 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 Before I hatched, the name of the egg was called the Egg of Compatibility. And the synopsis said that it could hatch everything in the world and hatch pets that shared the owner's mind. Chen Ming thought of his last life. The player who owned the wild wolf seemed to be a rather bloodthirsty and cruel loner. Possessing the same cold blood as a coyote. Of. Uh, seems to have everything right. That queen hatched a two-hander. Chen Ming was suddenly somewhat at a loss as to how to explain to the queen who was looking at him with a grudge. Will telling her as his make her think she's shading her? Just as Chen Ming was getting entangled. The female streamer. Coldly opened her mouth. The egg of phase. As the name suggests, is a pet that matches your nature? I think the husky is very suitable for you. Tall, majestic, and most importantly, there is a special temperament that matches your wisdom. God Thomas special aura. And your wisdom. Chen Ming had a belly full of grooves he wanted to spit out. Female flow you are really not afraid of offending people ah? The queen's sister is at least a thief. You guys who don't practice leveling taunt her. Do you really think you've lived long? Everyone's face was a little weird. Nanfeng Bei even coughed lightly ready to roundly apologize for his subordinate's rudeness. However, the queen's sister suddenly grinned. Who is this sister? It's really to my liking. Not bad, not bad. To be able to tell at a glance that I'm special. You're much more powerful than that pearl jade white jade soup guy who has eyes and doesn't know what he's doing. The female streamer seemed to have expected this and smiled faintly. So we can only ask you to lure away that crazy giant ape. Simple words. But it was a great hit with the queen. She patted herself on the back and assured. Don't worry. I'll definitely get it done for you. The words were not yet spoken. She then got down on the ground once more, and with both feet and legs, wailed and excitedly rushed towards the giant ape. Era, who had followed her, cocked her head and pulled her tongue the whole way to stare at her with intelligent eyes as she scurried along. At this moment, the master and servant were so similar to each other. Chen Ming watched this scene with dumbfounded amazement. The others also blushed strangely, a little uncomfortably. Even the most innocent Su Su also heard that something was wrong and her gaze took on pity when she looked at the big sister who had a hot body but didn't seem to have a good brain, eyes on the queen far away. It was only then that the female streamer put away her fake smile and reverted to that cold look. What a great solution. Chen Ming suddenly felt a bit of heartache for the silly queen. It's almost as if the woman of the house is being taken to death by the dark woman of the house. As the queen lured away the frenzied apes, those equipments that exploded on the ground were able to be picked up. Uncle Nan Feng Bei and Ling Yu were both very self-conscious. This is the spoils of war from the Nine Heavens Guild. We don't take a penny. At this moment, the members of the Nine Heavens Guild who had died in battle earlier had already been resurrected. They had all been prepared to fight to the death. But what you see after resurrection is a floor full of loot. Where are those pickles? I haven't killed enough of them. Where are the people? Where are the people? Sister Sandy wailed, looking defiant. Save it Sister Sandy. The pickles have already been taken care of. Chen Ming hurriedly explained. 
After hearing the ins and outs, Gang breathed a long sigh of relief. Fortunately, fortunately, this time it's not a shock. Sister Sandy even revealed a smug expression. See boss, I knew I had to top it at that time. Quick to praise me. I'm taking great credit for this wave. Fine, fine. Make a great achievement and make a great achievement. Chen Ming cried and laughed as he said, smoothly trading a set of knight equipment and a set of warrior equipment that he had left behind earlier to brother Gang and sister Sandy respectively. Kong's entire breath thickened as he got his equipment. This kit will pay off my mortgage for 10 years and my car payment for 5 years. The rest of the money could still put my newborn all the way through college. Kong was trembling with excitement. Chan Ming, however, lightly coughed. Brother Gang, although I have given you this set of equipment, the right of how to deal with it is in your hands, but I still recommend that you keep it yourself as long as the equipment is good and follow me. Two million is just a small amount of money. Two million dollars is just peanuts? As a social animal, Gang almost couldn't help but refute Chen Ming's words, but he then thought of all the myths created by Chen Ming, immediately reacted. It really doesn't seem like it's out of the question. Ming Chen could be different from his boss who drew big pictures at work. People have already proven themselves with all their experiences. Thanks. Thanks boss. Kong was incoherent with excitement. Even more excited than the even more cash-starved Lori Su. After all, although Su Su was short of money, the little girl's concept of money was more or less vague. Money to her was not having to be chastised by her mom and dad, and being able to have an extra plate of meat on the family dinner table tonight that her mom and dad usually couldn't afford to eat. But for Gang, that's the stress of life. It was a heavy shackle that weighed him down and he could not get rid of it until he was old at a glance. But now, he saw the hope of breaking the shackles. Kong was incoherent with excitement. Sister Sandy is much better. Take the gear and joyfully change into it. It was just that in the end, she couldn't let go of her giant sword in any way. That's what you call a sword. What the hell is this one as thin as my little arm? An embroidery needle for women? Don't want to change. Chen Ming glanced at the white grade normal giant sword in her hand, and then at the green grade long sword that he had given her. That's a lot of attribute difference. So what if the attributes are much worse? If you can't defeat the enemy with a garbage weapon, what kind of expert is it? Can only rely on attributes to crush and what kind of hero? Air, boss, I didn't say you, really didn't. Chen Ming, 1905-1995, Soviet-trained Chinese communist leader. Forget it, just be happy. Soon, under Gang's organization, everyone excitedly collected the loot. Chen Ming still had seven sets left in addition to the one set of warrior, one set of knight and one set of priest equipment that he had already given away. These seven sets, too, were naturally reserved for guild members. Nothing too good yet though. Chen Ming felt like using these seven sets of equipment as a reward to motivate the crowd. Wait until after everyone is full. Chen Ming immediately announced something. After we escort uncle to arrive at Blazing Sun City and complete the quest, we'll go together to find a place to brush up on monsters and practice leveling. You all have gained a lot from this battle, but your ranks have fallen, including me as the president. I'm ashamed to say that I'm actually only level 10, so I'm really a bit ashamed of everyone, but I know a good place. The practicing speed is extremely fast, but accordingly there is no small difficulty. After you all update your gear with a wave, it should be enough to handle it as well. By the way, I've got a couple more outfits here. Who can get to level 15 the fastest? It will qualify you to claim a set of equipment from me. If you don't have equipment for your corresponding profession, it accumulates as an equal amount of guild contribution value, which can be put aside and used to exchange for equipment later. The guild contribution value was not a figure that Chen Ming had made up on the fly. There are almost always similar settings in various games. Guild players clock in online every day participate in activities, raid copies, etc., and make the corresponding contribution can get the corresponding value, which can be used to exchange for some rewards. The major guilds are not yet officially established. Contribution values can only be verbalized. Chen Ming intended to leave this piece to Kong. Once the guild was officially established and everything was on track, these data were entered by the guild system. Having said that, Chen Ming slightly displayed those sets of equipment. Fruity, all the guild players looked on for a moment. It's not just them. Even quite a few players from the Snow Moon and South Wind guilds revealed expressions of envy that were completely uncontrollable. President Ling Yu, when will our guild have this similar reward? Ah, Uncle South Wind, I think our guild needs a bit of that kind of incentive as well. Ling Yu and Uncle Nan Fong Bei couldn't help but twitch the corners of their mouths. Just outrageous. This Chan Ming, when he usually pits people, he's like the reincarnation of a miserly monster. He doesn't spare a single penny, but they treat their own guild members so generously. 10 sets of equipment, worth tens of millions of dollars, were just given away. They are really hard to understand. After all, 
They didn't know the importance of the game glory and couldn't understand why Chen Ming was recruiting so heavily. Next, Chen Ming escorted the older uncle all the way to Blazing Sun City. It says escort. However, there was simply no one along the way who dared to touch Chen Ming's sharp edge. That previous battle was loud and powerful. Many people peered a little and were scared out of their wits. And with the successive reversals, the Nine Heavens Guild led by Chen Ming finally won the battle after. Everyone has completely refreshed their view of this upstart guild. Under the wind. Who dares to touch the mold? And as time passes, news about this battle is also gradually spreading with the momentum of a starburst. Two hours later, outside of Blazing Sun City, Chen Ming was wearing a big red name. So naturally, he was unable to enter the city. But having already come here, the uncle mission can definitely be accomplished as well. Thank you for Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Little Brother's Righteous Assistance. The remuneration for this mission. Before the uncle could finish, Chen Ming interrupted him. 50,000 is enough. This is an unprecedented low price. But Chen Ming even still felt a little embarrassed. It is said to escort the uncle. But it seems that he is the source of that trouble. Accidentally attracted a lot of trouble. And even caused the uncle to almost overturn the car. The older man was also stunned. He clearly remembered that Chen Ming's starting price was $100,000 regardless of whether the mission was completed or not. As long as he was invited to be there, it was $100,000. But then, the older man understood. Understanding the reason for Chen Ming's deliberately low price. In his heart, his evaluation of Chen Ming was also a cut higher. Call the money after it arrives. This transaction was successfully completed. Chen Ming marked a spot on the map. Brothers, this is the next location to practice. Today's goal each person make up the experience lost from death and try to level up at least one to two more. This statement was made. The members of the Nine Heavens Guild were immediately wearing wide-eyed expressions. Make up for the experience lost from previous deaths and get another one to two levels? Really fake? It really wasn't that people didn't believe Chen Ming's words. Rather, his claims are just too much. This kind of upgrading speed is almost like the kind of promise that can only be made by the kind of scammer who shouts $3,000 a day at the gate of the city and the top expert packs the substitute trainer. Boss are you serious when you say that? Even sister Sandy cast a puzzled look. The speed. It's just scary. It seemed to have anticipated their thoughts. Chen Ming smiled faintly. Just follow me. It was a miasma-ridden swamp. It's a short distance from Blazing Sun City. It takes less than 30 minutes to get there. The area is dotted with frog-like creatures with a variety of colorful growths on their bodies. The level is also a modest 13. Just right for all the players in the Nine Heavens Guild. But just this terrain, and the density of monsters is really making the players of the Nine Heavens Guild a bit confused. After all, the efficiency of brushing monsters is closely related to the terrain, monster density and so on. Even the importance of these two far outweighs the difficulty of the monsters themselves. It's like the Scarlet Monastery, which is known as a mecca for munchkins. Being able to obtain such an honor was obviously not just because the Scarlet Monastery was able to constantly refresh bosses out. There, the outer terrain is an unobstructed view of flat grasslands. With mountain thieves and horse bandits and robbers roaming everywhere, and a bunch of monsters can be attracted with a casual move. As for the inner courtyard, it's more of a medium-sized cemetery surrounded by high walls. Any minute now, a walker will crawl out of the ground. Brush intensity is very high. The density of monsters is also particularly high. That's what gave Scarlet Monastery its reputation as a mecca for munchkins. Last night, quite a few players from the Nine Heavens Guild had a hard night at the Scarlet Monastery. It also only ate about 70 to 80 experience points. Players who had accumulated experience before were able to move up a level, while those who hadn't were left to continue where they were. It's still the case even after all that time and bloody monastery bursting. Not to mention this place that doesn't look like much of a place to be. Everyone was a little confused. However, having already followed boss Chen Ming here, everyone would not temporarily back out. With skepticism, everyone stepped into the swamp. Within a few steps, they found two players combining their efforts to surround a monster. Those two players were level 10 and 11 respectively, quite a bit lower than the monster. By all rights it should be quite a struggle to deal with level 13 monsters. But look at them, they look quite relaxed. With little trouble, he made quick work of that one level 13 monster. The crowd was a bit surprised to see this scene. Could it be, that those two are some kind of experts? But when they got a little closer, they realized that their equipment was tattered and torn and there were almost only one or two pieces, and the rest were all the beginner's sets provided by the novice village. It can be described as trashy to the point of being trashy equipment, and they have no mastery at all. When they saw Chen Ming and the others approaching, the first thing they did was to reveal a plague-like expression and leave an avoidance. These two are too cautious. Don't they know that we never do anything bad in the Nine Heavens? Sister Sandy muttered. Sister Sandy, who used to be a loose cannon, 
subconsciously started with I. For that matter, those two were afraid that the Grand Guild would come over to clear the field and grab the monsters, and that's why they were so impatient to avoid retreating. But as we all go deeper, more and more similar situations are emerging. Two or three casual players, or even a single casual player, would be able to cross the level and single-handedly fight monsters. And when they saw their party, their faces would change wildly and they would hasten to avoid them. Once or twice this is fine. Many times later, everyone was finally sensing something was wrong. What's going on here? Why is everyone avoiding us? Are the casuals here as vigilant as that? Oddly enough, Su Su, who is the most sensitive to the eyes of other people, tasted a different flavor. I, how do I feel that they are not afraid, but they are disliking us? You can even tell this? Chen Ming was somewhat surprised. That's right. When everyone saw Nine Heavens and the others, they weren't in awe or fear. Rather, it's in dislike. Everyone looked at Chen Ming in confusion, wanting to wait for his explanation. But before Chen Ming could open his mouth, not far away, two loose people, however, walked straight towards them. This was still the first wave of casual players that everyone had encountered in this swamp that actively approached them. Gentlemen, I assume you are a guild looking for a place to practice? Do you need us to give you all a little guided tour? Wizard? Everyone was a little confused when they heard the word. In reality, people do hear the word a lot, but it's really the first time I've heard of it in a game. Seemingly seeing the doubts of the crowd, a little brother laughed softly. It's really not that I'm looking down on all of you, but this place is very weird. Ordinary players can mix well here, but people from the big guilds who come over here will run into quite a bit of trouble. As you can see, the monsters here have empty ranks but are actually quite weak. Even a player who is 2 to 3 levels lower than the monsters level can solve them alone. But even though the monsters are weak, there's no shortage of experience at all. Not even worse than elite monsters. It can be said that, here is simply a paradise created by casual players. Along the way, everyone has already seen something, knowing that this little brother wasn't lying. So everyone couldn't help but be curious. Weak monsters and high experience? Looks like this place is really good. But why is the Grand Council in trouble right here? What is the trouble? Little brother, tell us. Come on, come on. Don't sell yourself short. However, Xiao Xiao smiled without saying anything. These previous intelligence, I gave it away for free. But the, later ones will require you bosses to spend some money. Gang is a straight man. Always believe in the concept of making contacts and relying on friends when going out. No doubt about it. Ask the price directly. Say, how much? Since the opposite side was talking so metaphysically, he also believed that there was indeed something wrong here. After all, all the way through. They really hadn't seen any guilds chartering. It was reasonable to say that with such a generous reward, it was impossible for there to be no guilds woodcutting on it. The corner of that little brother's mouth suddenly grinned, revealing a smirk of triumph, but not before he was ready to make a smallpox offer to go for a big pit stop. Chan Ming, who had been silent, opened his mouth. Your intel. We don't need. As soon as these words came out, the little brother, who had just had a face of triumph, froze in his smile and a flash of displeasure flashed across his eyes. Although a hint of displeasure flashed across Zhao's eyes, on the whole, he hit it extremely well. People don't notice. Gang looked at Chen Ming doubtfully. Boss, why don't you want it? He had wanted to remind Chen Ming that there were many strange and bizarre places in this game, with all kinds of settings popping up all over the place. And since the other party had described it as so arcane, he should never underestimate it. Although the boss you are very strong and good, but if you are not careful, you will also encounter the situation of the gutter ah. Yet these words of Khan's only flashed through his mind. He didn't want to punch his own boss in the face with so many people watching. Just as he was about to adopt a more euphemistic and roundabout approach to remind Chen Ming. Chen Ming, however, directly ignored the two little brothers and led the people straight away. Obviously the kind that is not going to communicate on at all. Let's go. Sister Sandy patted Gang's shoulder and took the lead in following Chen Ming. Brother Gang felt doubly helpless, but there was nothing he could do. He could only flash an apologetic smile at the two little brothers before hurrying to follow Chen Ming. Watch the crowd leave. The smiles on those two little brothers' faces also completely disappeared. In its place was a look of disdain. I thought that level 12 warrior was the guild leader, but I didn't realize that the one who has the say is actually a thief who hides his head. Because he was worried that his red name would again attract some headstrong and unenlightened people, Chen Ming decisively chose to hide his ID and hide his big red name. Plus, the news of that battle just now hadn't spread completely. It was also true that it was normal to not recognize the Nine Heavens Guild. But it's fine. It's normal to not be able to trick the intelligence. At most, it's just a little less of an add-on. Saying that, one of the little brothers licked the corner of his mouth, his eyes showing a color of anticipation. They'll all end up buried here anyway. 
seeing as their guild has a total of a small hundred people. Even if five people die before one piece of equipment explodes, it's still enough for us to make a fortune. Keep your distance and follow carefully. They're bound to die anyway. Just don't involve us. In the middle of the swamp, Chen Ming explained to Gang as he walked. Those two look like crooks. They don't actually know what the mechanism is that exists here. It's just cheating us out of a fortune. Not only that, they'll even follow us, waiting to pick up our gear after we're reunited. Don't ask Chen Ming how he knew. In his previous life, this swamp was directly teased as a corpse-picking swamp. Countless large guilds have flipped over and reunited here. Only casuals can practice here. Gang couldn't help but scratch his head as he listened. Say, what's so strange about this place? We haven't encountered anything strange even after walking inside for so long. It feels quite safe. As he spoke, the swamp in front of him opened up. There were still a few sparse plants in the swamp, but they had disappeared by now. Without those obstacles, the density of monster refreshment had obviously increased. Both Kong and Sister Sandy lit up. This is a nice place. It sure is comfortable to brush up on your experience. Sandy lift, raising his greatsword. He wanted to rush up and try his hand. However, before rushing up, she remembered something and looked at Chen Ming for advice. Boss, is it okay? Of course. Chen Ming smiled and nodded. And it's best for everyone to work together to brush the monsters. Here, when monsters die, they will burst out some powder. And players infested with the powder will gain a hidden buff called Spore Parasite. This particular buff will be activated to explode at some point in time that is completely uncertain. Form Spore monsters equal to your own level. The more monsters you kill, the faster, the more the spore buff stacks. If the tiers get high, the number of monsters that break out can be quite large. And the deadliest thing is, that players carrying the spore buff will infect each other. That's why the big guilds don't have the means to brush up here. Scattered players teaming up in groups of two or three aren't very efficient at brushing monsters. And the number of stacked infectious buff layers is also low. Even if it breaks out, it's easier to deal with. But not for guild players. With dozens or hundreds of people swiping monsters at every turn, all it takes is one monster kill and the spore buff will infect all players over and over again. It won't take long to stack the buffs to a pretty horrible level. Once it erupts, it's a wave of regimentation. Chen Ming explained the secrets hidden in this place in one breath. The crowd listened and fell silent in unison. No wonder. No wonder those players avoided them like the plague as soon as they saw their hordes. If they did encounter a spore outbreak, all the casuals in the vicinity would be implicated and encounter trouble. As for those two so-called guides, Chen Ming simply didn't believe that they could understand such a mechanism. At most, a brief verbal description of the trouble that might be encountered. But that's about it. They would even intentionally simplify the possible troubles, allowing Chen Ming and the others to safely and boldly brush the monsters inside, deliberately misleading them with a wave, and waiting for them to be destroyed by the group. Chen Ming had already heard too many, too many of these things back in his previous life, trying to get him to fall for it? Not at all. It was only after hearing that Chen Ming's description that all of them finally came to a realization. It turns out that this place that seems so rewarding actually hides such a deadly setting. Boss how do you know everything? Sister Sandy did not hide the adoration in her eyes. Gang was similarly shocked. Boss your game understanding is truly terrifying. Detail. Too much detail. Boss by Yu Tang is really fine. It's cool to follow a boss like that. A blowout. Listening to Chen Ming, he couldn't help but feel a little fluttery. He smiled slightly. In a moment, everyone just feel free to brush the monsters. Susu and I won't be fighting monsters, but rather waiting to step in and support you at any time. Once the spore swarm erupts somewhere, you guys hurry up and take a defensive stance. Suzu will be the first to reply to you. While I'll be harvesting those monsters with my sword bladestorm, those spores don't have a high level, and their experience isn't much, but they are superior to the horrible quantity. This is especially true of large guilds like ours that detonate with hundreds of people. But don't worry. Everyone, with the strength of your current equipment, it won't be a problem to withstand the first round of Spore's fire set. This, was the true purpose of Chen Ming bringing everyone here. After everyone's equipment is updated and the birds and the bees are replaced, bring them to hunt these spores. That previous battle with Pickles had caused his accumulation of sin values to grow again. Brushing monsters in ordinary places. Hell knows how long it will take to get rid of the red name. However, with their powerful numbers, these spores could easily solve Chen Ming's agonizing red name problem, and could also reap large amounts of experience along the way, and throughout the Chinese region, the one that can arm an entire guild of players and pack this place with monsters. It was only the Nine Heavens who had just received a large inheritance gift from Pickle's side. Boss really didn't lie to us. Brushing monsters in this place can really make up for the lost experience and rise another level or two. Sister Sandy had long since pressed on. After receiving Chen Ming's permission, he immediately led a group of brothers straight out. 
The monsters in this neighborhood were just like what Chen Ming had described. Empty rank, low damage and brittle body. Instead, experience is given quite generously. A single horizontal slap from Sister Sandy, who was holding a normal white level weapon, could send these monsters' blood levels plummeting. It's just a matter of hitting the ground running. A dozen or so monsters died violently nearby. Encouraged by the bountiful experience, the excitement of the Nine Heavens crowd was instantly overflowing. Everyone's speed of brushing monsters suddenly became more vigorous, but not far away. The two tour guide boys who had been trailing the Nine Heavens guild, however, had revealed playful expressions at this moment. Sure enough it's starting to brush up. I knew they couldn't resist. Originally, when I saw them so confident, I was worried that they knew something. Now it seems that we were over-anxious. They are simply head iron. In the past few days, with their operation of picking up corpses everywhere, they had been able to reap a lot of rewards. Right now this team, but there are hundreds of people. Just fantasizing about the bounty of equipment that could be picked up was enough to make them feel their hearts racing. Should I say no? The efficiency of this guild's monster brushing seems to be quite good. Indeed, they're pretty fast. It seems that they're even better than that more famous Buddha's word guild from a few days ago. The two of them are gathered around and critiqued at the same time. Obviously, the full super strength embodied by the nine heavens made them feel quite a bit surprised. But, and only just surprised, thinking of the miserable state of those guilds that had been swallowed up by the overwhelming spores, they would not doubt for a second that this guild in front of them could be any exception. That said, how come their guild leader hasn't been making any moves? Is that the guy who's hiding his head and hiding his ID? Let's see. TSK, it's still true. Just standing there waiting for experience. And such people can form a union? I guess it's a rich man's son. That said, not only is he there, but there's a little girl there waiting to eat the experience too. Couple? That girl is too small though. This guy's got a lot of nerve. Right in the middle of their small talk. Suddenly, a green mist erupted from a Nine Heavens guild player. The two boys' eyes snapped open. Coming. They don't seem to have much luck. Meeting so soon? Obviously. These two were the same as Chen Ming had judged, both being the type that knew little about swamp mechanisms, not realizing that the more people there are, the more infectious the spores become and the greater the probability of activation. As the first green mist exploded, it's like a chain reaction. The same green mist exploded violently from the bodies of many people around them. Bang bang bang. Just for a moment, countless mists frantically exploded and filled the air. It was like a big fireworks show. At a glance, such a green haze permeated everywhere covering the sky. Get ready to get ready. You can wait to pick up your gear. Comfortable. It's only been a short wait and I can just reap the rewards. The two raised their eyebrows and smiled. Obviously, they had already decided that the Nine Heavens crowd was bound to die. However, just as the spore monsters began to be generated in that mass of green mist, Chan Ming, who had been in the very center of the crowd and had no movement raised his head violently. So, it didn't even really need him to initiate the conversation. Su Su then smartly switched her staff and became one with Chen Ming after activating the concentric effect. Taking Ching Chi hovering Su Su with him, Chen Ming violently handed over his blink skill. He displaced into midair, slammed his hand up. Blade Storm. This series of operations is just too fast and furious. So much so that many of the players from the Nine Heavens Guild were still in a state of confusion and hadn't reacted when they did. Already, he saw a stern sword chi steeply erupting from the green mist that filled the sky. It was as if the wind had swept in. The green mist was instantly cleared away. The spore monster inside is just being generated. Just die instantly. Kill, spore monster, to gain 96 experience points. Kill, spore monster, to gain 96 experience points. The prompts flashed one after the other. Chen Ming watched as his experience bar rose at a rate visible to the naked eye. It's too fast. Even in his previous life, he entered the game so late and looked for a lot of big brothers to take him to practice, and never encountered such an exaggerated upgrade speed. Sure enough, I didn't come to the wrong place, but corners of Chen Ming's mouth rose uncontrollably, and Su Su didn't slack off at all. A pair of big eyes stared nervously at the guild members' blood bars in the midst of the green mist, trying to come to their rescue in a time of crisis. However, until the green mist clears, the spore monster is cleared by the blade storm, and none of them have ever had their bloodstains fall dangerously low. Eh? Sir? I? I don't seem to be of any use ah. Su Su said with a somewhat troubled conscience. Although she had only given Chen Ming a Dragonborn Holy Word enhancement buff and hadn't contributed much, she was, after all, connected to Chen Ming with the Gate Concentric skill and was still in the same team. A portion of the experience that Chen Ming had gained was also shared with her. She watched as her experience bar shot up. It was a bit of a tense moment. Feeling somewhat unworthy of such a large experience value bonus. What are you afraid of? You getting stronger is me getting stronger. Chen Ming casually consoled. 
then turned his head to check his backpack. Just now, he naturally triggered a series of mythic theft rewards while killing monsters with Bladestorm. The vast majority of them are common things. Miscellaneous items, gold coins and the like. But there was a moment. He saw a blue colored phrase flash by from the system alert bar. Blue color. It means it's a blue level rare. Whether it was equipment or items, it was worth his concern. After a bit of rummaging, finally, he found a skill book and a pile of clutter in his package. Double purification, blue rare, grade required. Effect, dispels two mitigating buffs from the target. Cooldown time, 30 seconds. It's actually a purification spell. And not just any purification spell. Chen Ming was a bit surprised. This skill may seem ordinary, but it is quite useful. Arguably much more practical than any of the array of buffs a priest possesses. Only the priest's watchword, blood return, can be compared to purification. After all, there are so many rare skills in this game of glory. Both players and monsters all have a variety of odd skills. There are even fewer of them that bring buffing effects. Like right now, that hidden spore possession is actually a mitigation buff. With a purification spell, it can be dispersed. Whereas normal purification spells can only dispel a single debuff and have a long cooldown. However, this dual purification spell right now was able to take effect at once, dispelling two debuffs. Works quite well. If taken to sell, many big guilds would definitely not be shy about dropping high prices to compete and match their guild's top priests with this incredibly useful skill. This kind of good thing. Chen Ming naturally wouldn't sell it. So take it. Casually throwing the skill to Susu. When the little girl gets stronger, he gets stronger. Chen Ming naturally did not mince words. Susu silently took over the skill to learn it. The current her also understood that the best way for her to repay Chen Ming was not to verbally express her gratitude, but to use practical actions to provide Chen Ming with the greatest help. Study. The skill book disintegrated and separated, turning into a series of blue, unreadable fonts that were branded into Su Su's brow. It was a long time before a brand new skill appeared in her skill bar. How about it Su Su? Did the skill evolve? Chen Ming inquired. And Evolved. Su Su said. Sharing out the new skill. Dragon speak, submission. Submission? The moment he saw this name, Chen Ming was somewhat confused. What the hell? Isn't what I'm giving purification? How did it become a completely irrelevant skill? Ha! Huh? This matter of skill evolution was something that Chen Ming had also experienced quite a few times. But every time a skill evolved, it was done in a regular and well-grounded manner. Purification into submission? It's not even close. With a stomach full of doubts, Chen Ming continued to look down. Dragon speak, submission. Effect, forcibly ingests three debuffs from the target. Within the next 10 seconds, you can choose one of the three debuffs to be released onto the designated target. Upon successful release the remaining two debuffs will dissipate. If no target is selected for release within 10 seconds, all three debuffs will dissipate. Chen Ming was dumbfounded. This skill. Bully. It's too bossy. No wonder it went from purification to submission. People's dispersal is just to make the debuff disappear. But the dragonborn holy word can be good. Directly to the kidnapping over for their own use. Throw it out if you can use it. If you can't use it, throw it away. When you think about it, how is this not dispersal in another sense? Bullshit Su. Chen Ming could already foresee that this skill of Su Su's could be of great help sooner or later in the future. Being complimented. Su Su couldn't help but smile coyly. Her heart bursting with joy. It's only been less than 5 minutes since I started brushing. Chen Ming was so rewarded. It's just not cool. Keep going on. Far away. The two little brothers, dumbfounded, looked at the scene in front of them. They were all ready to pick up the bodies then. But whoever thought, just for a moment, that large swath of spores was then cleared out. Hair, what happened? Where's the weirdness? So much weirdness. The two were completely confused. Just as they were shocked, Chen Ming seemed to have twisted his head, intentionally or unintentionally, and glanced at where they were. If it were before, they certainly don't think anything of it. But this moment, at this moment after witnessing Chen Ming kill countless spores in a single shot, the two men's faces changed wildly, almost in no particular order. They fled with their tails between their legs and their asses. Chen Ming was also too lazy to go after these two guys. It was just a small person. It hadn't caused him any substantial damage yet, and he didn't have that kind of free time to waste. Continue to hold down the guild with Susu, always on the lookout for spore outbreaks and ready to back up with Blink. At first, the spores refresh pretty quickly. It would refresh almost once every 4 or 5 minutes, and then even detonate the spores attached to the surrounding players, creating a cloud. But as Chen Ming struck out in seconds again and again, he also noticed something strange. Some spores provide around 90 points of experience. Some of them provide around 120 points, almost a 30 boost. 
What's going on here? Chen Ming couldn't help but be a bit puzzled. Although he was aware of the spore mechanism of this place, it was only because he had heard of it in his previous life. More specific details, he didn't really know. After all, this place at that time had long since been eliminated and was no longer a mainstream location for leveling, and the information he had accessed had been summarized by people from an unknown period of time ago. It is only known to spread spores. I don't know what the intensity of spore production has to do with anything. Spores are refreshed once every 10 minutes or so now anyway. Idle is idle. Driven by curiosity, Chen Ming decided to do some research. The first thing that came to his mind was the rank of the spore parasites. At the next spore outbreak, he deliberately watched carefully as he did so. Instead, it was discovered that the spores that erupted from a level 10 player were not that different from the spores that erupted from a level 12 player. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with rank. It also has nothing to do with occupation. Could it be a random refresh? Just as Chen Ming was a bit puzzled, suddenly, a rolling green mist erupted before himself. Spores, once again, erupted. Only this time, it erupted from him. Although he didn't participate in the large-scale brushing of monsters, he was in the same team as a group of nine heavens elites such as Brother Gang and Sister Sandy. They brushed it off. Chen Ming also naturally could not escape being infected by the spores. He didn't panic. Though, with a top-notch anti, stressing he raised his right hand almost as if it were muscle memory. Blade Storm. According to the previous practice, Chen Ming could casually kill a bunch of spores in seconds with this strike. However, what made Chen Ming somewhat surprised was, those spores didn't die out after taking a shot of the sword blade storm. There was actually quite a bit of blood remaining. This scene was really something that Chen Ming had not expected. It's not just Chen Ming. Even quite a few players from the Nine Heavens Guild were confused. Those remaining spores rampaged up through the crowd. Fortunately, the overall strength of the Nine Heavens Guild players was pretty good. Having updated a batch of equipment, although they could not deal with these spores yet, they could at least survive to ensure that they did not die. Just don't die. Everything is fine. The entire guild's milkmaid immediately went crazy giving milk to this spore-infested area. Chen Ming also attacked and killed without hesitation. It took a little work. Resolve the riot. Kill, spore monster, to gain 269 experience points. Kill, spore monster, to gain 269 experience points. This batch of spore monsters. A full 269 experience points are provided. Far more than ever before. And both the amount of blood and the damage were far from what the previous batch of spore monsters could compare to. Could it be that the attributes and levels of spore monsters are determined by the attribute points of the host? High damage, high blood, and high defense. But at the same time, experience is quite generous. From 96 to 269 points. Almost, almost tripled. If every batch of spore monsters were all these 269 experience point spore monsters, then wouldn't my level take off in minutes? Think about it. Suddenly, a bold idea popped up in Chen Ning's mind. He snapped his head around to look at Susu. Susu, use Dragonborn Holy Word submission and try transferring the spore debuff from the guild members to me. Hey, Susu failed to understand Chen Ming's intentions. She gripped her staff tightly and looked hesitantly at Chen Ming. Give, give the debuff to Mr. This, this isn't too good. Although it was Chen Ming's request, but Lori still didn't want to do such a thing. That's a move against Mr. Don't be afraid. Just feel free to do as you please. At Chen Ming's repeated requests, Susu finally wielded her staff and randomly found a player from the Nine Heavens Guild and used Dragonborn Holy Word submission. Roar. The roar of the dragon's might filled with a sense of oppression resounded steeply. That big and thick man's body shook directly, rather than being intimidated. Rather, an inspiration that could be clearly felt was added to his body. Sister Susu is awesome. Han sighed. Su Su, who had hardly ever been complimented lowered her head somewhat coyly, unleashed the skills again, restacked the spore buff onto Chen Ming, Chen Ming began to wait, four minutes later, the buff on Chen Ming's body exploded violently, a green mist reappeared, Chen Ming threw out a sword blade storm, sure enough, the spores in that large mass of green fog, under the six attacks of the sword blade storm, died the vast majority, of the time, but still, as before, there was a slight survival, after all, Chen Ming's output wasn't exactly stable, a six-band blade storm, in which more or less bludgeoning damage can occur due to his high agility points, and the 10 extra bludgeoning chance provided by the legacy leather armor set. Once you eat both ends of the spectrum or even more bludgeoning damage, the spore will be killed outright, and vice versa. Just survive with blood. With previous experience, both Chen Ming and the players of the Nine Heavens Guild were prepared. It wasn't hit by the wave of spores in the same hand-wringing way it had been before. Do it in unison. Soon the area was cleared of spores. This wave of spores is so strong, but there's a lot of experience too. 
I'm up for experience points straight after this wave. What about you guys? 4. Looks like you have a pretty high output. I only share 3. Much more experience than regular spores anyway. The people of the Nine Heavens Guild were all excited. It's so cool. This kind of upgrading speed is simply too good to be true. While these players who were just sharing the leftovers were still like this. Chen Ming was even more so. A wave of 296 experience value spores extinguished. His experience bar, straight up, went up nearly 14. At this rate, it's not even impossible to rush from level 10 to 13 today ah. Chen Ming couldn't help but smile. The genus has discovered the wealth code. Graph the spore buff onto yourself as much as possible before triggering. The experience value gained this way can far exceed that of a normal spore. It would have been a very fast upgrade to brush spores here. And after discovering this play, the speed is even more exaggerated. Half an hour later, with the golden light hovering and flying around his body, Chen Ming's level was finally raised to level 11. Open the leaderboards and take a look. Players who are still on the leaderboards, even at the bottom 1, 0, 0, 0, th place, have been. Scripture has a rank of 14. The highest level in the Huaxia area had reached level 15. As for the global charts, the highest rank was still held steady by that blonde chick warrior, boasting a rank of 16. Looking at these grades, Chen Ming not only did not get discouraged, but instead was feeling full of motivation. It's fun to have an opponent. Chen Ming licked his lips, full of energy. The feeling of leveling up with your brothers is not boring at all, but fun. It wouldn't be long before a burst of golden light could be seen scurrying out from among the crowd. Apparently another player has leveled up. The more people see that golden light, the more motivated they will be to level up. Just as Chen Ming was leading the Nine Heavens Guild's crowd in a board rush to level up, the forums in the country have completely exploded. Click into a random section. Just see the countless posts related to that big fight this afternoon. 1 against 10. Pearl Jade White Jade Soup beats the top 10 kimchi masters. On the first day of the guild's existence, they guarded Huaxia into the Nine Heavens under the Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup. Pickle's three guilds suffer a crushing blow. Wasia's heavy blow to kimchi. In less than an hour, all the kimchi charts have been reshuffled. Kimchi's top 10 masters have all returned to level 0. This is all is doing. Obviously, as time passes, what Chen Ming had done had also slowly spread. No way. The commotion he made with that pounding was just too big and too much. On its own, it has almost completely reshuffled the top end charts in Pickle Country. Whether it's the top gear of the Pickle Country, or their senior players, all in that one hour, the sky was turned upside down. Plus there were quite a few good people who took screenshots of the video at the time. These messages spread like flies, and one of the most notable. Undoubtedly it was the video of Chen Ming in that prison cell, fighting off the top 10 kimchi experts with his own strength. At first, Chen Ming was assassinated, forcibly dragged into a prison cell. Countless people watched in horror. They watched as the experts on the kimchi country's side threw out one skill after another that dazzled them. Chen Ming struggled to survive in it. But even so, Chen Ming was surprisingly able to kill his opponent back in the midst of adversity. Those two great counter kills were a blast to watch for everyone. Whoever says that Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother is all data and no action. I'm going to get mad at them. The White Jade Soup Big Man is just too calm. I'm the one who's already panicking. But the White Jade Soup Bigot can still operate like that. 10 against 1 and still get countered. Can you guys play? But everyone's excitement didn't last long. Soon, they were silenced by the successive pressures from Pickle's side. 10 of them. Everyone has top-notch gear and skills. How does this play? Seeing that Chen Ming was being pushed to the brink, already when it comes to brazenly dying, many players had even forgotten about the final result and were gnashing their teeth, cursing Kimchi's meanness and berating the king's guild for their disgust. And there was a rush of air and blood. I can't wait to be there. Fighting side by side with Pearl Jade White Jade Soup against those abominations. And that's when it happened. Susu's skill awakens. Concentricity skill activated. She entered within the cage and fought alongside Chen Ming. It's been a change of pace ever since. The two teamed up and have since flopped and slayed. The opponent's well-prepared jail cell became a stone lifted from a rock to hit his own foot. It was a great pleasure for all to watch. And in the head office of the Chinese branch of the glory game. A pretty girl in a small suit OL well with black rimmed glasses was so excited that she couldn't calm down for a long time after reading all this relevant content. After a long time, she slammed the table and made up her mind. I'm going to interview Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup on behalf of the officials. Oh yeah. And the priest girl who fought side by side with him. Su Su. The two of them, they are simply the war gods of China. They must be well covered. Chen Ming was completely unaware of the fact that he had once again ruthlessly shown his face in front of players all over the world. Along with Su Su, he made a big splash. Even official journalists have interviews planned. At the moment, he was brushing the spores and brushing them. Two whole hours passed. 
His experience bar was once again raised by about 80. It's not that far away from level 12. Unfortunately, these spores are sort of incidental to the refreshed monsters, and there's no monster icon at all. No monster titles to unlock either. After all that half a day of hard brushing, you end up with nothing. Shen Ming was quite regretful. But think about it. These spore outbreaks can easily number in the tens and hundreds at a time. If there were monster artifacts and monster titles, they would probably have been brushed out a long time ago. But while the monster artwork and titles are not available, the experience as well as the elimination of the sin value is not a single point. Under high intensity brushing, not only did Chen Ming's experience rise by leaps and bounds, the accumulation of sin values is also being eliminated. The name, which had been so bright red that it was almost dripping blood, was slowly becoming less exaggerated. Chen Ming glanced at his sin value. The previous accumulation of almost 30,000 sin values had been swiped to the point where only 15,000 were left. Keep it that way. Two or three more hours of brushing will pretty much eliminate the red name. You can get to level 13 or even 14 yourself. Sir, mom and dad told me to go eat. Is it okay if I get off first? Su Su was a little nervous and opened her mouth to ask for Chen Ming's opinion. Obviously, she was a little afraid that Chen Ming would get angry. After all, this is her first time to participate in this kind of large-scale labor union activity. The ones with Snow Moon don't count. They were all just taking her upgrades at that point. Chen Ming didn't mind Su Su going offline. Although Su Su went offline, he himself would lose the 10 output result provided by Dragonborn Holy Word, Song of Songs, as well as the skill attribute boost provided by Dragonborn Holy Word, Enhancement. But after practicing here for so long, the members of the Nine Heavens Guild were already well versed in spore generation. Even if Chen Ming was unable to kill the vast majority of the spores in a single breath, everyone would be able to take care of the spores with their equipment advantage and rich experience. At best, it's just a little bit of trouble and a little bit of danger. However, if Su Su chose to go offline, her experience would fall by a large margin. Can you tell your parents to go later? Or maybe you just don't eat tonight and wait until you get offline at night and order your own takeout or something? Su Su face showed bitterness. No ah, uh, if I don't go to dinner, they will scold me. Chen Ming frowned slightly. Then you can't even say you're earning money? I'll transfer another sum of money for you to take to gag them. No no no. Su Su's little head shook like a rattle drum. Mom and dad have always felt that I'm wasting my time playing games and not doing my job. Even if I earn money they still feel the same way. Chen Ming was silent. It wasn't as if he couldn't understand this kind of parenting. Let's not even talk about playing the game. It's that a lot of teenagers who go out and make a living. Earning 10, 000 or 20, 000 dollars a month playing. Also seem unstable and unprofessional to their parents back home. Hardly think going to a small town as a civil servant getting 2 or 3 thousand a month. It's the sunny side of the street. Chen Ming couldn't help Su Su with anything. One can only feel darkly. Su Su does make some money by following himself. But what about fame? This was something that Chen Ming really couldn't do anything about. Maybe the only way to do that is to wait for the game to slowly move into reality. Su can only reverse those people's thoughts after she has real strength, right? After Chen Ming nodded in agreement, Su Su went offline and left. Just as Chen Ming was about to continue brushing the monsters, a message flashed up in the lower right corner of his face. Chen Ming looked at it and was somewhat helpless. In that time, he picked up too many, too many messages that had come slipping through the cracks. It was all the guild owners who had added his friends to lick him for his earlier wave of thrashing the pickle people. Although Chen Ming didn't want to take care of it, but after all, he was embarrassed to turn a blind eye to it. So he could only open the message and prepare to casually perfume it. What I didn't realize was that it wasn't someone else who sent the message. Instead, it's the queen of middle childhood. You know, Although the mind demon phantom ape is good at spells, its physical type abilities aren't bad either. Whether it's physical attack, or the triad of physical strength, defense, and agility, they're all quite good. Chen Ming revealed a puzzled look. What's the queen doing here all of a sudden talking to him about this? Did he have thoughts about the heart demon phantom ape? Thinking of this, Chen Ming couldn't help but be energized. The heart demon phantom ape, if he remembered correctly, was a near level 30 boss. This kind of boss is capable of dropping guild tokens. Possessing a guild token allows you to actually create a guild. With guilds all over the world. All of which still exist only in verbal form. Guilds that possessed guild tokens and created guilds would undoubtedly become the world's top notable existences. If the Nine Heavens can get this first. Chen Ming felt his heart surge just thinking about it. Of course, it wasn't that he hadn't considered stealing the big guy with his wonderful hands. However, when facing a level 25 boss. He even needed to rely on the enchantment of Susu's Dragonborn Holy Word, Enhancement, as well as his own special stealth skill, Phantom Shadow, to get a little closer. Even so, he himself was eventually discovered. Facing that giant ape, 
Chen Ming simply didn't have a chance to strike. If the queen has really figured out a solution to the great apes, Chen Ming would simply be impressed with the queen. So, Chen Ming hurriedly pursued the question. Ha, hey, you don't understand this? The queen's reply was as understated as ever. The corner of Chen Ming's mouth pulled. However, considering that the queen might be valuable at the moment, Chen Ming chose to hold his tongue for the first time, and instead of threatening the queen's sister, he forced out a smile and said in a kind voice, It's true that I don't know much about it, so you'll give some pointers? Ha, hey, call me queen. Chen Ming suddenly thought for no reason of the queen's appearance just now when she was on all fours on the ground accompanying Era as she flew recklessly. The corners of his mouth twitched again. It took a long time before those two words were typed with great difficulty. The female. King. Hey. Just through the screen. Chen Ming could feel the queen's joy. I'll let you have it for once. Chen Ming felt that he had already given enough face to this guy. And no longer pulled any punches. Directly cutting to the chase. You have a way of doing away with. That demon ape is it? This message went out. Chen Ming could already imagine that head of the queen smug and incomparable appearance. However, what surprised Chen Ming was. The queen did not reply in seconds. It's a bit unlike that guy's delectable style of doing things. After a long time. Finally, that side replied. When did I say I was going to do away with that demon ape? I just wanted to let you know. It's too fast. I simply can't get rid of its hatred. Wanted you to help me. You motherfucker. Chen Ming almost didn't break into tears. It was a shame that he thought the queen had come to discuss a solution with him, but it turned out to be actually asking for help. Is it hard to speak human? Chen Ming almost didn't pass out from anger. However, just as he was planning to angrily spray this iron bean with a few words, suddenly, he found a blind spot. That demon ape. Why is he still chasing the queen? It stands to reason that each boss will have a territorial range that it is in. As soon as it exceeds this range, it is immediately forced to disengage from the hate. It's because of this setup that the oddity of attracting bosses and pulling them into the city and relying on NPCs to help with them doesn't come up. But there seems to be something strange about demon apes. It's been chasing the queen for hours. I'm afraid. How are you still chasing? You're not going to stay put, are you? Chen Ming asked suspiciously. How can it be? Do you think my mother's IQ is the same as Era's? I've changed places a lot, but that monster just won't get out of the hate. The old lady entered the city and he was waiting outside. Even if the old lady goes out invisibly. She'll still be discovered. This is the task you gave me. You have to take responsibility for the old lady Aoi. Chen Ming saw these messages. The heart is not in the right place. Perhaps. He could use this strange characteristic to get rid of the demonic ape. Send me your location. Soon. The queen shared her position. Chen Ming swept a glance. It was determined that the queen was located a fair distance from where the pickle had been eliminated earlier. It does fit the point she made about the distance being far away. A slight estimation of the distance. Chen Ming's first thought was to drag the demonic ape to the Scarlet Monastery. Though the big man there, the priest, is a contrary fellow, and there's no way to take out the demon ape by his hand. But behind him, there was a mysterious and unimaginable basement. Chen Ming has the key to the basement of the Scarlet Monastery. It was able to draw the demon ape over to it. But here's the problem. Will he cause some shenanigans by doing so? Or the moment he pulled out the basement key, would the priest just instantly flip out and slap himself twice? It's filled with so many unknowns. Chen Ming didn't dare to try it easily. In the end, he decided to lure the demon ape to himself. He couldn't solve the demon ape though, but he could have relied on spores. Previous experiments had already proved that the stronger the attributes of the parasitized person were, the more terrifying the spores born would be. And the spores will simply regard the parasitic target as the first object of hate. With the help of Susu's dragonborn holy word, submission, you can implant a spore debuff on the demon ape indefinitely although Su had already gone offline to eat, but it will be back in an hour at the most. The queen pulled the demon ape over to her. It takes about two hours anyhow. The plan is feasible. Just lure that guy over here again. Chen Ming sent out his coordinates. Ha, hey, go to you? Could it be that you can fix this demon ape? Then get lost. Be there in about two hours. Wait for me. It's really like Era. The kind that don't give two slaps on the wrist and ask for hard skin. Time passes. Many of the guild members had also gone offline to eat but by the look of their exuberance to the extreme, it was clear that they hadn't gotten over it. After all, the Pearl Jade White Jade Soup Big Brother himself took them to brush up their levels. It's a feeling that has never been felt before. Everyone feels that going offline at this point, even for just a minute, would be a huge loss. Especially Kong. Mild as he was, he couldn't help but complain about his own wife's lack of understanding. Having to call him offline for dinner at such a critical moment. Complaints over. He took a big swing. Magnificently. I can't, this bitch is annoying me to death with her noise, 
Brothers I'll go offline first to teach her a few lessons, wait for me to come back. After this trip, Khan never came back, probably already comfortably fed at the table. An hour later, Lori is on the line. As soon as she came online, she hurriedly twisted her head in a burst of searching, and finally found Chen Ming in the midst of the crowd, clutching her staff in a hurry. The way he stumbled, he barely stumbled and fell. Slow down sister Susu, you be careful. Big sister Susu, the big guy rushed to assist her for a moment. Su blushed a little embarrassed. It was the first time she'd ever been called sister. People adore her so much. As a result, she almost fell on her face. So embarrassing. What's wrong with you? In such a hurry? Chen Ming had just relieved. After deciding on a wave of spores, and knowing that they wouldn't refresh for two or three minutes, he relaxed and smiled weakly at Lori. Sir, something big has happened. Lori had a serious look on her face. I just checked the mail that comes with the game helmet when I came online, and there was a letter from the officials. There's a game reporter inside who claims to be from the Chinese division of Glory and wants to do an interview with me and you, if I may, is the offline kind of interview. Chen Ming froze, rushed to check it out. Sure enough, there was indeed a letter from an official staff member describing the contents exactly as Susu had said. Chen Ming didn't have too many emotional changes after reading it. After all, he had seen this sort of thing far too often. It's not just because of the quality of the game that Glory continues to break the circle and has a superb player base throughout the world even more so because it did a great job of promoting it. It's like some esports games that like to build star players. Glory also likes to build up momentum for all kinds of powerhouses, all kinds of heroes. It makes you feel as if there really is a whole new world in which you can take on the world in this game of glory. Chen Ming had known so many top experts in his previous life. It's because I've heard of them, more or less, from various sources. It's normal for people to come in for interviews, but I'm not too keen on taking them, either offline or online. Chen Ming had little interest. He was now a top-notch presence in the China region with no one to turn to. There's not much point in throwing your head back again. After hearing Chen Ming's words, a flash of gloom flashed across the little lowly's eyes as she slowly lowered her head and bit her lip before finally nodding obediently. All right, then I'll listen to you sir. Lori didn't even sound as light as she used to. It got low. Chen Ming keenly noticed the change in Lori. What? Do you want to be interviewed? No need. Lori lifted her head and forced a smile. There must be a reason why Mr. doesn't want to. I'll be good. Chen Ming vaguely guessed something. For him, this kind of vanity didn't matter. But Lori Susie, maybe cares a lot? Hey, boss, what's wrong with you just accompanying someone for an interview? Sandy's sister, who had been listening with her ears pricked up in the team, couldn't help but propose. This sister, she's a model of urgency. When you see anyone with a grievance, you want to come out and get in on the action. No, it's fine. Susu pulled Sister Sand in a bit of panic, afraid that her talking like this would make Chen Ming uncomfortable. But for Chen Ming, being interviewed was just a small matter. Since Susu likes it, then I'll keep you company. Saying that, Chen Ming rubbed the little lowly's head. Let's ask her for an online interview. It'll be more convenient. A flash of surprise snapped through Susu's eyes, but it was quickly replaced by a wave of hesitation. She mumbled for a moment before asking weakly, Sir, can we get an appointment for an offline interview? Offline? Chen Ming was a bit confused. Why offline? There's no difference between in-game and offline. Ah, but I want my reporter sister to come to my house and let, let my mom and dad know that. I'm not wasting my time. Wasting my youth. Su's voice was getting smaller and smaller. By the end of the day, it was almost as fine as a mosquito. When she finished speaking, her little head buried itself once again as well. Chen Ming couldn't see her expression, but he could guess that she must have been staring at her toes and her entire body was extremely tense, her fingers that were gripping the staff were quite hard, so much so that they were a bit white. Chen Ming these were really a bit difficult. He had purposely fine-tuned his face before entering the game, just for fear that he would go around stealing in the game and annoy some bigwigs and be traced back to reality. But only for a moment of apprehension, he then snapped to attention. Nope, he doesn't seem to have any worries about that at all now. Before he started the game, he thought he was a thief hiding in the shadows. A thief who went around pissing off the big boys and everyone. But the reality is, he was the deserved king of the Huaxia district. It's the object of countless bigots frenzy licking. It was the strongest player in the hearts of countless Huaxia zone players. It's the patron saint who defended Huaxia and stormed a bunch of kimchi. Thinking of this, Chen Ming fell silent. How did he himself accidentally mix from a thief to the standard bearer of the Huaxia district? But since this was the case, there was no need for him to have the worries he had before. Isn't it just an offline interview? No problem. Send me your address privately. I'll go and make an appointment with the official reporter later. Su Su snapped her head up, her eyes full of surprise. Thank you sir, 
This was an expression Chen Ming had never seen before. He couldn't help but be in a bit of a trance. In his impression, this is the first time Su Su laughs so happily. Seeing Su Su so happy, Chen Ming couldn't help but smile slightly as well. It seems he wasn't wrong in that decision. Now that we're showing our faces, the house needs to be taken care of as soon as possible. The piece he was looking at cost 10 million dollars, but the corresponding security could be better guaranteed. And while he didn't need to worry too much about that aspect, it was good to get some more reassurance. With an excited lorry, she brushed the monsters for a while longer. At this point, Chen Ming's level had already come to around 70 at level 13. Originally, Chen Ming had thought that he would be able to get up to about 40 experience points at level 13 at most by brushing down during this period of time, but he had overlooked one thing as he leveled up. His attribute points continued to rise as well. Go from level 11 to 13. The two level increase gave him a substantial increase in his values as well. So much so that the level of the spores that exploded from him gained a boost. This caused Chen Ming to gain experience, which was also rising all the way up. Crooked. Where's everybody? Where's everybody? The old lady's here. That's when the queen sent a message. She had returned to the neighborhood with the heart demon phantom ape. Chen Ming was immediately energized. It's finally here. Brothers. All stop all stop. Don't brush the monsters for now. Although Chen Ming did not explain why he had to stop. Everyone carried out his order almost without hesitation. After finishing off the last batch of monsters, everyone looked at Chen Ming after stopping in unison. Boss, what's wrong? Is that all you're going to brush up on today? Kong stepped forward and asked. Chen Ming smiled faintly. No, it's just a small boss. When we solve that boss, we'll just continue brushing. Hearing Chen Ming's words, everyone became even more interested. Bosses? Are there any more bosses around here? Geez, not only did you brush up on your experience like crazy today, but you also got a chance to fight a boss? Seeing how the boss is downplaying it, I guess that boss won't be too strong. Indeed, didn't you hear the boss? It's just a small boss, but the boss is so fierce. Will the mini boss he's talking about be far beyond our expectations as well? There was a lot of talk and discussion, especially Sister Sandy. She became leery once more, her eyes full of belligerent desire. Not for a moment. Everyone heard a heavy footstep, from far and near. Follow closely. Everyone felt a slight shaking, as the footsteps approached. The shaking also became more and more intense, so much so that by the end of the day, everyone could feel a strong vibration as if the ground was shaking. The crowd that was calm just a moment ago was completely confused at this moment. They looked at each other incredulously. Why does this, this coming out stance feel so familiar? If I remember correctly, that heart demon phantom ape from this afternoon seems to be the one that moved, right? No, it can't be. That thing is a level 30 blue level boss. It's definitely not a small boss like the boss said. Indeed, the boss is talking about a mini boss. Where does that thing, the heart demon fantasy ape, have anything to do with a mini boss? Even Gang showed a calm and collected look as he analyzed. Actually, there are many bosses in the game that can toss out this kind of movement, and it's not necessarily the case that a boss with a big movement is powerful. According to my years of experience analyzing the game, this kind of movement is more actually a demonstration effect to make the players feel intimidated in their mind. Understand? Kong has opened his mouth like this. Everyone was instantly a little more convinced. Sandy's sister also immediately added, We have to believe the boss. The boss said it is a small boss is definitely a small boss. Really to say that the heart of the magic ape, the boss certainly pulled us to escape all. He will not harm us. Gang and sister Sandy spoke one after the other. After everyone had heard this, they were also finally able to completely let go of their hearts. It was definitely not the heart demon phantom ape that caused such a big commotion, as the great commotion approached. Finally, a giant object that appeared in front of the crowd, a familiar silhouette. It made everyone's heart skip a beat. The original confident expressions on the faces of brother gang and sister Sandy also changed slightly and subtly at this moment, and when they saw a girl on all fours, running wildly across the ground, with a husky close behind. Their expressions could no longer be controlled. It's that woman again. It's her. It's her. Ah. It's really her. Chen Ming almost couldn't hold back his laughter as he listened to the commotion in the crowd. Queen. Queen. You're already more recognizable than a mind magic fantasy ape. Heartbroken for her for a second. As the heart demon phantom ape got closer and closer. Chen Ming looked at Su Su. Come on. Get on top of me. Su Su immediately switched her staff and entered the concentricity state transforming into a little dragoness haunted by the clear chi lingering on Chen Ming. In a moment, you'll use Dragonborn Holy Word Submission from on us and throw the ingested debuff onto the mind demon phantom ape. Any questions? No problem. Lori was full of seriousness. I've brought you the blame. 
So take over for me. I've been running all afternoon and I'm going to die of exhaustion. From a distance, the queen could be heard yelling hysterically, accompanied by Era's neck raising whine. Ming Chen's comment. A perfect match. Use a skill. Chen Ming gave an order. Lori waved her staff and used, Dragonborn Holy Word, Submission. A player from the Nine Heavens public household was instantly enveloped by the dragon's might. Chen Ming looked slightly puzzled at Lori, somewhat confused as to why she picked a guild member instead of extracting the debuff from herself. Little Lori had a delicate mind and instantly guessed Chen Ming's thoughts, explaining, the players in that neighborhood haven't triggered the effects of the spore burst for a long time, so I purposely picked their people, in which case the spore tier should be a bit higher. Chen Ming revealed a surprised look. He hadn't really thought that Lori had such a delicate mind. You're doing great. With a slight compliment, a slightly shy smile immediately spread across Su Su's face. Phantom Shadow, skill used. Chen Ming immediately concealed himself into the darkness. Su Su followed along and disappeared into thin air. There was no need for Chen Ming to remind him. Su Su then used, Dragonborn Holy Word, Enhancement, in extremely tacit cooperation. Along with the, Dragonborn Holy Word, Song of Praise, buff was also added to the body. At this moment, two major buffs were added to Chen Ming's body. Along with Su Su's 30 attribute value, it has become powerful to an unprecedented state. But even so, all of the players present from the Nine Heavens Guild were still in disbelief. Holy shit, boss Mang went up. Really? That's a heart demon fantasy ape. Crap, should we help the boss? This, Kong, what to do? Sister Sandy, give me some ideas. Everyone looked at Kong and Sister Sandy in panic. Gang hesitated and wavered, looking as if he wanted to go forward to help, but was worried about getting in Chen Ming's way. Also just a big hand from Sister Sandy. Don't go up there. Still, since we've decided on the boss, we have to trust him. Boss didn't ask for our help. So let's just be good and watch from here. With the cover of the Phantom Shadow skill, Chen Ming rushed towards the massive heart demon fantasy ape. The monster had been chasing the queen all afternoon, yet it didn't look tired at all. Still so manic. Chen Ming was very clear. With his own body, if he was slightly touched by it, he would instantly die a violent death without a whole body. It's thanks to the queen's strange skills and tricks that she was able to last so long under the hands of such a monster. Queen, you can dogpile. What do you mean by dog eaten shit? That's what I call fake death. Fake death. Do you understand? The queen's mouth was furious, but the body is honest as hell. Seeing Chen Ming enter the attack range of the heart demon phantom ape, he immediately fell in place in a straight line. Era followed suit, staring with big, gleaming, intelligent eyes, and planted a dog's head on top of the queen, crushing her half to death. The play dead skill lasts for only 10 seconds or so. Otherwise the queen could lay hard for an afternoon and force the mind demon phantom ape to disengage from her hatred. With the queen down, the mind demon phantom ape's payoff and immediately shifted. Just a glance. It then saw Chen Ming hiding in the shadows. Roar. It roared. A grab out of thin air towards the void. However, at Chen Ming's side, a strange fluctuation came violently. Chen Ming only felt his heart flutter with panic, and without hesitation, he surrendered his blink skill. Just the moment he blinked and ran away, the location where he was originally located flashed with a bizarre fluctuation as if space had been distorted. Be careful. This guy has a bunch of long-range attack skills. The queen sent a message to remind. Good. Chen Ming replied briefly. Although he was a reborn, he hadn't fought every monster. At the time he entered the game, the heart demon fantasy ape was already a boss with a disproportionate amount of payoffs and benefits due to the theft of the treasure it was guarding. No one is going to want to raid this thing. It can be cold as hell. The heart demon phantom ape once again let out a roar. Another tight grip in the void. Chen Ming's heart was shocked. His position, again, was captured. Under the dual effect of having the dragonborn holy word enhancement enchantment, as well as the phantom shadow, a top sneaking skill, he couldn't even conceal the heart demon phantom ape for even a second. It was as if he himself was not invisible at all. Any movement will be detected by it. Is this the oppressive power of rank? Chen Ming's heart was in awe but the movement was not in the least bit panicky. Facing the clinch, he lashed out with a double jump. This second jump, however, was not towards the air. Instead, it was bouncing out of the air, toward the ground. If he went mid-air, he would be shooting himself in the foot, flying mid-air when the skill was on cooldown was just waiting to die, only back to the ground. Feet on solid dirt. Only then could Chen Ming have more room to maneuver. Airborne 2 hop. It caused Chen Ming to violently scramble back to the ground like a cannonball. After landing, he took off in a mad dash. It seemed that seeing that the skills missed one after another, and being approached by that mole-like fellow, the heart demon phantom ape was a bit distracted. It's no longer grasping at nothing. The. Instead, he swung a thick slap and slammed it down. Angry? 
Chen Ming immediately began to walk. He didn't dare to hope that he would miss the attack. Bang! The thick slap slammed down, kicking up dust from the sky, and even the ground shook violently. Fortunately, Chen Ming operated to pull full. In the face of such a tremor, he also forcibly stabilized his stance and burst in towards the heart demon phantom ape. Finally, Su Su's skill distance is enough. Dragonborn holy word, submission. The debuff stored on Su Su was instantly transferred to the heart demon fantasy ape. If it wasn't for the concentricity, skill, Su Su wouldn't have had a chance to get close to the physical and mental demon fantasy ape even if she died thousands of times here. Did it work? It worked. Receiving Su Su's affirmative reply, Chen Ming let out a long sigh of relief before violently retreating backwards. He was really worried that Su Su's skill use would fail. After all, there was such a big difference in rank. Failure is not out of the question. Before retreating, Chen Ming activated hardened poison and casually threw a sword blade storm out, hooking up a toxin effect to the heart demon phantom ape. It's slow to poison though, but the drunkenness is not there. What Chen Ming cared about was the probability of stealing triggered by mythic hand one. It's okay if you can steal it. If you can't steal it, forget it. As for the active skill of the wonderful hand, Chen Ming does not want to use it on this guy. He had made up his mind to take his sister for a spin over to the Scarlet Monastery. Rely on your sister's a rank talent, Bionic Teardrop, to test out that jail cell. And if you find something, use the mythic hand on that side. He didn't want to come across an opportunity only to miss it because he wasn't adequately prepared. Blinking, plus dash, Chen Ming scattered and ran wildly. But even though he retreated so decisively, he was ultimately gripped fiercely by the heart demon fantasy ape's claw from a distance. Put. Chen Ming only felt a squeezing pain. In the game, the highest limit of pain that could be turned on was 30, and Chen Ming had directly pulled up the limit to 30 in order to ensure his operation, as well as his sensitivity in the game. That crushing pain, it put him on his feet. Minus 793. Super high damage values floated past his head, a touch as close to 800 blood. Fortunately, Chen Ming had a set of defense and stamina point boosts provided by his top tier equipment as well as the extra attribute points provided by Su Su, and the 10 extra life value bonus provided by Su Su's buff. This was what allowed Chen Ming to carry this attack hard. Otherwise, just this small, painless skill would be enough to cause Chen Ming to instantly die a violent death. Sir, are you okay? Su asked with concern as she added blood in a panic. It's okay. Chen Ming forcibly suppressed the pain, and his feet fiercely stomped on the ground and scurried forward. After the second round of blinking CD cooldown ended, Chen Ming finally escaped to a relatively safe location with the help of blinking. But the heart demon phantom ape was extremely fast. It was really difficult to get rid of Chen Ming alone. So on the way to escape, Chen Ming kicked on top of the queen's arse that was lying on the ground pretending to be dead beautifully. Get up and pull the monster. Queen? Being forcibly interrupted from her play dead skill, the queen was furious. But before she could scold Chen Ming, the tremendous pressure from the heart demon fantasy ape behind her made her shiver violently. Ah, old me hates you. The queen angrily dogpiled on the ground for a while. As expected, the heart demon fantasy ape hated the queen's sister who had stolen its treasure even more than this insignificant fellow Chen Ming. No hesitation in turning the gun around. Kill the queen. The queen runs wildly while spitting out her fragrance. Pearl emerald white jade soup you liar. You big liar. Say yes to being responsible. And then they tricked me into coming here and left me alone. Damn you. Damn you. Chen Ming's face changed. Why does that feel a bit wrong when you say it? The gazes of the people of the Nine Heavens looking at Chen Ming also took on some colors that were not present in previous days. Why does it feel like my wind rating is going to be jeopardized again? The corner of Chen Ming's mouth twitched. Shut up you. But this time, the queen didn't listen and was still there, roaring her heart out. Just as everyone was looking at Chen Ming with increasingly strange eyes. Suddenly, the heart demon phantom ape that had been chasing after the queen's feet froze. Follow. On its body. A burst of green poisonous mist violently erupted. Green mist filled the air, covering the sky. The movement was so great that all the people in the nine heavens looked dumbfounded for a moment. Good. Big. Sister Sandy looked shocked. It's not just her. All of them, with the same expression. This outbreak of spores, is just too big. If those spores before, only the size of a fist, a random sword blade storm can cover all of them and exterminate them all. Then the spores that erupted from this one were literally the size of a human. It erupted, and the entire sky was covered in green. And besides the size, the one that makes everyone's head spin is, the spore's name turned a deep, unmistakable purple. Above level 5, monster names will turn red. Beyond level 10, monster names turn a ghostly purple color. Dense purple names. It was a frightening sight to see everyone. Everyone all subconsciously took a few steps back, 
but the spores that erupted had absolutely no idea about the crowd. Instead, they looked at the heart demon phantom ape in unison. Pfffffffffff. It's like they're launching a suicide attack. Viciously, he slammed towards the heart demon phantom ape. A series of high damage values erupted over the head of the heart demon phantom ape. Minus 623, minus 592, minus 506, minus 582. Although everyone couldn't see the exact value of the heart demon phantom ape, they could clearly see that its blood bar was slowly falling. Not much of a drop, but it's a real reduction. Sir, it's working, Lori cheered excitedly. Chen Ming also forced down his excitement and nodded in response. It's working, that was the first wave of skills the spores hit. According to this situation, as long as one slowly consumed it, there was a complete chance of killing the heart demon phantom ape. Roar, the attacked mind demon phantom ape was furious. Its IQ wasn't exactly high, but it could clearly sense that these tiny spores in front of it were no small threat to itself. It couldn't care less about the queen for the moment. Twisting his head, he slapped hard at the spores floating in midair. Just a slap. The strong physical destructive ability of the heart demon phantom ape was then manifested to the fullest. Bang bang bang. Wherever its palm reaches, all the spores vaporized and melted instantly. Even someone like Chen Ming, whose attacks far exceeded those of an existence of the same level, could not manage to kill the spores that erupted from his own body in a hundred percent of seconds. The heart demon phantom ape, however, was unusually relaxed. Fortunately, although the heart demon phantom ape's attack was high, the number of spores was also quite high. The heart demon phantom ape did kill quite a few spores good with that slap, but the spores that stayed behind, there were more. That's down to Suza's meticulousness. If she hadn't found the group of players with more accumulated layers of the spore debuff, she wouldn't have been able to do a wave that exploded with such a huge number of spores. Eyes on the mind demon phantom ape entangled in the spores. Naturally, the great clever queen would not let this opportunity pass. He hurriedly ran to Chen Ming's side. Chen Ming hadn't forgotten that this guy had just almost caused his publicity to go wrong again, and looked at her with more or less unkind eyes. Wait for the queen to approach. He grinned. Queen, don't hang around. Go ahead and seduce the heart demon phantom ape. Let it snack on you. Take some pressure off the spore's output. It'll also take some of the pressure off me the next time I plant a spore and get up close and personal with it. He didn't have a personal vendetta. It's really not. The queen blushed. No, don't have to. Do you? Chen Ming wasn't a devil after all. He watched the queen panic. In front of her, he opened his backpack and took out the three sets of top stalker gear he hadn't given away yet, sending them to the queen to look at. As long as you're nice and obedient, you can choose any of these outfits, and then join my nine heavens guild by the way. Be a bull for me. Oh no. Be a bruiser under my command. There are many more benefits to come. Chen Ming had long wanted to pull in the queen. It's just a shame that your own guild used to be completely octogenarian. But right now, the Nine Heavens Guild had taken shape. It's even possible to get the founding token today. It's time to woo the queen. The queen also didn't know if she had heard those words spoken by Chen Ming. Her eyes went straight when Chen Ming took out three sets of equipment. It's almost like a pet puppy that hears the sound of an open can. Dead eyes on the three sets of equipment. It was close to wagging its tail madly at Chen Ming. These three sets of equipment are good, but there's garbage mixed in. Can I pick any of these three outfits and combine them? Nice guy. He's got a good eye. The equipment on the top 10 kimchi masters also became trash in her mouth. Chen Ming subconsciously wanted to give her a big pussy pocket. However, on second thought, the queen originally had the treasure hunting dog attribute on her body, and she had indeed pounded out a nice outfit herself. So Chen Ming was relieved. Fine, as long as the equipment you left behind makes up two sets. Deal. The queen nodded excitedly. Then get to work you. Chen Ming kicked her again on her plump and rounded buttocks, sending her kicking towards the heart demon fantasy ape. The queen didn't curse this time and bounced off. She's kind of smart, too. After rushing out, he didn't directly go to provoke the heart demon phantom ape. Instead, it stuck at a relatively safe distance, constantly teasing the mind magic phantom ape. Various head shakes and repeated horizontal jumps. I don't know why. Chen Ming always felt that her movements owed a beating to the extreme. Just like flies. It was madly disgusting under the eyes of the mind demon phantom ape. Finally, the heart demon phantom ape couldn't hold back a bit. Stiffening against the spores, he gave the queen a virtual squeeze. The queen, who had been chased by the heart demon phantom ape all afternoon, had long since seen through its skills. The limbs pushed hard, as if catapulting a starting dog. He violently dodged the attack of the heart demon phantom ape. Ha ha, as soon as your pants are off I'll know if you're going to shit or fart. Catch me, can you catch it? The queen's extremely mocking open-hearted laughter rang out. Su Su heard a little blush. The little lowly where have seen such vulgar people. 
especially when they are still next to Mr. Lori quickly pretended to be oblivious. Stiffly, he turned his head. Chen Ming saw the little lowly's little action and couldn't help but laugh a little. This little lowly gave him the feeling that he was watching TV with mom and dad. Suddenly the man and woman on TV started to make out. The small child's expression instantly stiffened and he began to awkwardly act as if he were oblivious. If the queen had been around, he would have had to grimace twice. However, this kind of behavior from the little lowly only made Chen Ning feel cute. Hmm, old double standard dog. A wave of spores, with the queen cooperating to draw fire. In total, it consumed about 6 life points from the mind demon phantom ape. Don't look at the small amount of blood consumed, but it proves a point. Chen Ming's thought process of relying on spores to kill the mind demon phantom ape was perfectly fine. All the players of the Nine Heavens Guild comprehended this. Each one's eyes were filled with excitement. Boss, the spores are almost gone. Gotta get up there and plant new spores. Boss, do you need us to help draw fire? We can all play cover for you. Everyone in the Nine Heavens Guild was incredibly excited. Chen Ming slightly waved his hand. No need. It was extremely difficult for him just to get close to the heart demon phantom ape. Only the queen was able to circumnavigate the vicinity of the heart demon phantom ape with her strange skill of hound pace. Ordinary players of the Nine Heavens Guild were not qualified to approach the heart demon fantasy ape at all. Chen Ming gave Su Su a look. Lori understood and threw another round of Dragonborn Holy Word, Submission. After watching Lori with a second wave of debuffs on her body, Chen Ming once again killed the heart demon fantasy ape. Queen, cover me. I'm not blind. The queen responded with dominance while increasing her provocation, she tried to get a little closer to the mind demon phantom ape. Under the queen's best efforts to sell her ass and seduce, as well as the remaining small number of spores under siege. When Chen Ming tried to approach the heart demon fantasy ape this time, the pressure he received was suddenly much smaller. Soon, he approached the heart demon phantom ape. So, a reminder. Su Su immediately waved her staff and implanted the spores into the heart demon fantasy ape again. Well, sir, done. Chen Ming wiped his feet and immediately retreated. This implantation was a breeze, but he was easy, but the queen was a little harder to top. This straightforward girl, after hearing Chen Ming's request, sold herself very deeply. A few times the skill was dodged, narrowly, almost got a slap on the wrist. Seeing how pitiful she was, Chen Ming hurriedly instructed Su Su, add an enhancement technique buff to this idiot queen, so that her hound pace is a bit more flexible and she doesn't die here. The queen must never die. Of all the people present, she was the only one capable of pulling the boss. Right now, although a new spore debuff had been implanted in the heart demon phantom ape's body, it would take some time before it exploded. During this time of waiting for the burst, you can only rely on the queen to pull the boss. Swish, Susu's staff waved. The enhancement buff falls on the queen. Originally, the queen was already fast, and her agility had been pulled full circle. But with the enhancement buff, her speed and dexterity suddenly skyrocketed again. The queen instantly showed a surprised expression. What a buff. In fact, not only the queen, but all those who had eaten the susu buff would reveal such exclamations. Has an augmentation buff enchantment. The queen's speed skyrocketed. She, who was originally in crisis everywhere and was almost taken away several times. After her speed skyrocketed, she easily dodged the heart demon fantasy apes attack with a twist of her head. Ha ha, come and hit the old lady. The queen battled to pull full speed. Arrogantly, he stopped in place to pick a fight. When the heart demon phantom ape roared in anger and returned the attack, the queen sprang out again. Extremely fast. The heart demon phantom ape couldn't catch up at all. However, just the moment the queen rushed out, Era, beside her, followed suit with a sharp leap. If it were before, one person and one dog can be said to be well coordinated, jumping left and right horizontally, between you and me, enough to tease the heart demon phantom ape to the scalp. But after the queen ate the enhancement buff, after the speed surged by a large margin, Problems arise. Era's rhythm, obviously, became a little slower, with the queen having rushed out a good deal. Era is just getting started. This caused Era to slam headfirst into the queen's waist. Whoa shit. The queen lost her color. The body instantly lost its balance. Era also let out a scream. Fall to the ground. This stupid then. Chen Ming's face changed wildly. The queen can't die. Seeing that the queen had lost her balance, the heart demon fantasy ape raised both arms to punch her and ruthlessly squeeze her. Chen Ning pinched up the flashes, about to be handed over. But just then, on the side of the Nine Heavens Labor Union, a cry of alarm also violently erupted. Spore. Spore erupted. Boss, the spores are all erupting. Boss, help. Chen Ming didn't need to turn his head. Just with the corner of his eye he had already glanced at a dense green mist nearby. The spores, that randomly erupted on the guild members surprisingly erupted as much as they could at this moment. 
If these two crises are separated, Chen Ning was instead able to dispose of them successfully. But the problem is, they erupt at the same time. Chen Ming was distracted. Sir, what to do? Lori asked in panic. Chen Ming's thoughts were like electricity. On one side, the queen, the only person to pull the heart demon phantom ape. On one side, there were guild members who were having trouble resisting the rampant outbreak of spores. It's a dilemma. No matter which side Chen Ming rescued, it would lead to an imbalance in the current state. Lose the queen, and the heart demon phantom ape will kill big time, regardless of the guild members. The spores would slaughter everyone clean and eventually affect the queen's side. Just as Chen Ming hesitated, the queen suddenly yelled, Leave the old lady alone. The old lady can live. You go save that side. The queen's yell interrupted Chen Ming's operation. And just for a moment, the heart demon phantom ape's palm slapped down fiercely. The queen, who had originally fallen to the ground, suddenly made a carp, facing the palm of the heart demon phantom ape. She made a receptive crouching motion. Just crouch and crouch like that. Hardly caught the heart demon fantasy ape slap between the earth and the mountains. The queen was hit with precision. Chen Ming subconsciously turned his head to look at the queen's blood bar. Her blood stain should have simply emptied, but here and now, yet still perfectly full-blooded. Chen Ming, after all, has been a man of two lifetimes and has seen a lot. Just a moment, he guessed the answer. Invincible frames. In the game glory, some skills exist along with invincibility frames. For example, some tumbling maneuvers, backward jumping maneuvers, side flashing maneuvers. Alternatively, the queen just used a crouch move. There are so many frames in these actions where invincibility exists, all accumulated by countless players through the experience of countless deaths. So in a previous life, glory was so late in its development that almost everyone knew about it. But knowing and using are two different things. More people are seeing it in video highlights of other people's maneuvers. Chan Ming, as a player at the top of his game, had invincibility frames that he could use skillfully, even better used than the queen. It's just that he doesn't currently have access to similar skills. But the problem is, that's the early days of glory. The subjected crouch is a skill that is hardly ever acquired. Not only did the queen obtain this skill, she also figured out the key to it and used it successfully. At this moment, Chen Ming couldn't help but think of the first time he met with the queen. She used the Z-Pace to sneak up on herself, though he was easily seen through. The queen's maneuver, however, impressed him. Unfortunately, later on, the queen was too middle and too stupid, causing him to somewhat forget the queen's expert persona. Until this moment, he did not recall it again. Who the hell is she? Chen Ming did not believe that such a character would be without a reputation. But now is not the time to think about that. He snapped his head around to look over at the guild. He was ready to step in and tackle the poisonous mist. But just then, Sister Sandy leapt out in a single bound. The symbolic supergiant sword in her hand disappeared. In its place was a compact longsword. It was also a longsword that was popped out by one of the top 10 masters of the Kimchi Kingdom, which Sister Sandy had disliked earlier. Don't be afraid, brothers, stay with me against the spores and by the boss sometime. The words were not yet spoken. She slashed out with her sword. A fan range of spores in front of them instantly vaporized. Sister Sandy can't help but stare. Ha! Huh? When did she do so much damage? Chen Ming watched this scene from afar, and his expression couldn't help but become strange. He suddenly realized, how come it seems like on the guilt side, you don't need yourself anymore either. Chen Ming held the heavenly calamity tooth dual daggers, and for a moment, he was a little unsure of what to do. Drawing his sword, he looked around in bewilderment. That's probably how it feels. After all, this time the spores had erupted from an ordinary guild member and didn't have the kind of heaven-defying attributes that Chen Ming had. Naturally, it's not too tough, with the entire crew leveled up one to two levels. After Sister Sandy changed into a set of powerful equipment, it was naturally easy to kill. On the left, the queen's set of maneuvers showed the heart demon phantom ape scalp, regaining her life and stabilizing her position. To the right, Sister Sandy led a group of guild members in methodically clearing the spores. If he could, Chen Ming really wanted to pull out a cigarette and take a lonely puff. A wave of seemingly huge crises was so lightly diffused. With this wave of surprises, everyone became noticeably more vigilant, plus the double insurance of having Chen Ming ready to rush to his aid at any time. The blood level of the heart demon phantom ape was steadily falling. Half an hour later, the heart demon phantom ape's blood level finally hit rock bottom. All of you, all of you, pull out of the swamp. Chen Ming immediately gave the order. It wasn't that he wanted to monopolize the heart demon fantasy ape's items. Rather, after the death of the heart demon phantom ape, those giant spores still remaining would transfer their hatred to nearby players. They're not qualified to deal with giant spores. All of them, without question, left immediately after being ordered to do so. 
Soon, only Chen Ming, who was possessed by Su Su, and the queen, who was running wildly with the mind demon phantom ape, were left. One last spore implant. As Chen Ming spoke, he brought Su Su to burst forward again. After lightly planting the spores, Chen Ming immediately stepped back. Soon, the last wave of spore bursts. The heart demon phantom ape's eyes flashed with extremely humanized anger, panic, and disbelief. It really can't figure it out. Why can these spores come in wave after wave? Endlessly. Ho 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 ho. The heart demon phantom ape growled angrily. But in the end, it was useless. In the end, with a heart full of resentment and unwillingness, he collapsed in the middle of the spore siege. The moment it fell, Chen Ming's experience value skyrocketed. A breath of fresh air from 70 at level 13 to 14, and an extra 5 experience, almost equal to 35 or so experience. Chen Ming revealed an expression of surprise. He really didn't think the experience would be that much. Realize that the experience gained from monsters that are too far above the player's level is constantly cut down. The Heart Demon Phantom Ape was a monster over level 30. The experience that Chen Ming could gain was really very, very little. If Chen Ming was level 30, slay the Mind Demon Phantom Ape. I'm afraid the experience value gained won't be much less than this 35 gained at level 13. This is rank suppression. Instead, it was Lori, who exclaimed that her experience had gone up by about 60. Think about it. The Heart Demon Phantom Ape was killed by the spores, which was a debuff released by Lori. And it was normal for Lori to gain more experience when the Heart Demon Phantom Ape died. Finally, it's settled. The queen almost cried out, been chased all afternoon. It's simply too painful. However, when she saw the treasure that was hidden under the body of the Heart Demon Phantom Ape after it fell, she then felt that all this, it's all worth it. Touch the body, touch the body. The queen had just overflowed with a smile. And in the next second, Chen Ming cast a glance as if he hadn't noticed. The queen shuddered. Forget it. Old lady is a member of your guild anyways, so I won't grab anything from you. The so-called boss. The queen heckled, giving herself a step. MMM, good dog. Only then did Chen Ming lead Su Su to the heart demon fantasy ape corpse, touching the body. A kick to the corpse of the happy demon fantasy ape. The treasure hidden underneath was suddenly revealed as the tip of the iceberg. Except for a bunch of silver coins. There's a ring. There's a giant machete. And a skill book. But what made Chen Ming lock on at a glance was a horn-like thing. Chen Ming's heart throbbed fiercely. Guild token. Although it was called a guild token, it looked like a horn. Supposedly inherited from some very old, but classic online game. Chen Ming ignored the equipment and skill books and directly picked up the horn. Guild token. Turn it into the guild administrator in any of the main cities to create a guild. Synopsis. A token carved like a horn, which is said to command the heroes of the world. What a guild token. Chen Mingxian was incredibly excited and directly posted this item in the squad group. In the team, they were all core members of the Nine Heavens Guild. Su Su, sir, we, our guild can be created? Folding the sands, ha 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 Nine Heavens will be the first guild in the world to be established. Boss is awesome. The wife is only allowed to play for two hours. What are you waiting for? Boss, let's hurry back and create a guild. King of Gods devouring that wanders in the darkness, meh. For my comment, why don't we look at the equipment first? Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup, Sending Equipment Illustrations, Tusk of Natural Disaster, Left, Tusk of Natural Disaster, Right, The King of Gods Devouring Who Wanders in the Darkness, Congratulations Boss, Congratulations Boss, Long Live the Nine Heavens, Long Live the Nine Heavens, There was a sudden silence, The Queen's face was a bit of a mess, The King of Gods Devouring Who Wanders in the Darkness, What's Wrong, I'm Just Following My Heart's Will and Congratulating the Boss from the Bottom of My Heart, Everyone Gave Me an I Get It Look, From the Heart, I'm a wimp. Understand, understand. Put away the guild token. It's the most valuable thing. Take it to the market and countless bigwigs will grab it. However, Chen Ming would not sell the guild token for these benefits. That's the distinction of being the first guild in the world. It would give the nine heavens a hard time making a name for themselves. Pick up the rest of a giant machete, a ring, and a skill book. Check it out in droves. First up is the giant machete. Crybaby, blue rare, heavy weapon. Grade, attack power. Strength plus 20. Stamina plus 15. Endurance. Passive skill, wailing, when wielding it, it will emit a wailing sound, which can inflict certain attributes of magic damage on the attack target. Synopsis, a weapon that has been influenced by the mind demon phantom monkey and has been impregnated with some of the power of the mind demon phantom monkey. It seems to be a relic left behind by a strong person who failed to challenge the heart demon mirage monkey. A moderate blue, class rare weapon. Looking at this look, sister Sandy should like it quite a bit but you'll have to wait until level 28 to use it. It's a long way to go. The next item was a ring with an internalized glow and an ordinary texture. 
but it was exquisitely ancient. Ancient ring, purple legendary, ring, just seeing a beginning. Chen Ming's heart jumped hard. Purple level legend. Blue level bosses are popping out purple level equipment. That's a low probability, but it's not unprecedented. Chen Ming met it. Hurry up and read on. Ancient ring, purple legendary, ring, grade required. Defense. Magic defense. Passive, devouring, when worn, it will reduce the user's experience gain by 100, and will devour 50 of the user's experience value for every full hour of wearing it, and will deduct the user's level if there is not enough experience value. Passive, god of medicine, when worn, the success rate when refining medicine increases by 300, the rarity of the product of refining medicine increases by 300, and the acquisition of experience value of refining medicine is raised by 500. Synopsis, a ring with an ancient texture on which the sole power of an ancient powerhouse seems to remain, will devour the user's cultivation after wearing it, but can unexpectedly gain a significant boost in the area of medicine refining. That ring looks a little damn familiar. Chen Ming felt a serious sense of vestiges, and yet I can't remember what the hell it is for a second. The negative effects of the ring are truly horrible though. This was the attribute unique to purple grade legendary items, they would have all sorts of strange and bizarre skills and settings that were not at all like those designed for a proper online game. However, when Chen Ming realized that this so-called online game was just another piece of reality, he was relieved. There really can be such strange things in this world, and the attributes provided by this ring fit perfectly for him. After all, he had been busy until now, and he was still at level 4 in pill refining. There were already quite a few guilds in this world that were preparing to train alchemist players for their guilds. You'll have to step up to the plate yourself. Although this thing sucked experience badly, as long as Chen Ming grasped the wearing time, it wasn't unacceptable. Not to mention, he still has the Mainstone's Carving Knife. When the Mainstone's Carving Blade S1 Week CD cooldown was over, he branded the Medicine God passive on the Ancient Ring. White Whoring passive. Beautiful. Two pieces of equipment. Both great. Finally, Chen Ming looked at the skill book. Sharp Eyes, Blue Rare. Common to all professions. Grade required. Effect, more information can be obtained through visualization after use. Synopsis, people with a keen eye can always find more information lurking in the shadows. That's just as good a thing. Chen Ming chose to study without hesitation. The skill book violently flipped open, transforming into a single blue light character floating in midair, which was then successively imprinted into Chen Ming's mind. Also at this very moment, Chen Ming heard a long lost system prompt. Ding, special profession, shadow walker, passive trigger. Keen gaze, upgraded to, eagle eye vision. Can this be upgraded too? Chen Ming revealed an expression of surprise. Sharp eyes is not a skill exclusive to thieves but it seems to be the same as the dodge skill book he got before. All are inextricably linked to the profession of thievery in a hidden way, though it is common to all professions. However, you are still able to trigger the upgrade effect after learning it. Hurry up and check out the upgraded new skills. Eagle Eye Vision, Purple Legend, Shadow Walker Exclusive Skill, Grade Required. Effect, when you turn on Eagle Eye Vision, you can gain more information that you normally wouldn't be able to notice. Introduction, legend has it that members of the ancient assassin organization possess the unique ability to detect targets and environments through the awakening of the sixth sense, an ability that is imprinted in the bloodline of the assassins. Purple level legend, another purple level legendary skill. Chen Ming couldn't contain his grin and revealed a smile. Turn on, eagle eye vision. Chen Ming was in a trance, as if he heard a loud and clear eagle cry coming from the stunned. Immediately following, the image in front of me suddenly lost its color. Just simple lines and a black and white background. However, when he twisted his head to look at the queen's sister, he was shocked to realize that there were a few more bright red marks on the queen's body, separate in rather large breasts, a backside that leather armor can't wrap around, and the most vulnerable part of the neck. It's broken, or a weakness. If Chen Ming was able to accurately hit these locations, it would cause super high damage. Not only are their weaknesses exposed, at the same time, Chen Ming could vaguely see some vague data. For example, the number of skills the queen has, the amount of gold coins remaining in her package, and a couple of things that seem to be worth more. Only these figures are very vague. It's almost as if you can only see an approximation. Can't pin it down specifically. Look at Suzu again. Again, only vague data could be obtained. But compared to the queen, Suzu's data was slightly clearer. But unlike the queen, he couldn't see a single bright red mark on Suzu's body. No weaknesses. Suzu in the concentric state was truly invincible. After looking curiously at it for a while longer, Chen Ming didn't find any novel features. Maybe I haven't mastered the art of using eagle eye vision yet. The eagle eye vision would constantly reduce the amount of blue when it was turned on. And with Chen Ming's amount of blue, it was really a bit overwhelming. Exit the Hawkeye vision state. 
It was quite a rewarding harvest. The body has been touched cleanly. Look up again. Countless spores in the sky are wandering aimlessly. Looking at those deep purple names, Chen Ming couldn't help but reveal a bitter smile. With these spores in, this mecca of leveling practice, it is also considered to be completely wasted ah. No way. In the face of this spore, only Chen Ming, who had been in the state of ghostly shadow, and the queen, who also had special sneaking means, were able to defy the attack. Other players but are noticed. It would be surrounded by this wave of level 30 plus spores in a frenzy. It's not realistic to continue practicing here anymore. Forget it, there are plenty of places to practice, but there is only one guild token. Worldwide at the moment. Chen Ming smiled with satisfaction. Brothers, back to the city. Qingfeng City, teleportation array. With a surge of white light, players from the Nine Heavens Guild appeared in the teleportation array. The large-scale appearance instantly drew sideways glances from many players. Why are so many people suddenly teleported? It can't be some big guild group destruction again, right? So many people. It feels like the King's Guild didn't die this many people even when they were massacred by the White Jade Soup bigwigs a few days ago. Why are you still mentioning the King's Guild? How obscure. A bunch of traitors. Rare. That said, now that the King's Guild's people have run away and retreated, and have already disappeared overnight, they couldn't get this many people together even if they wanted to. And after Chen Ming appeared with his dragon flying and Phoenix dancing with golden light on top of his ID, everyone instantly understood the source of this huge force, Nine Heavens Guild. For a time, many people couldn't help but bring longing and admiration to their gazes. Step out of the teleportation array. Finally set foot in the main city again. Brush off the redneck sensation pin without poking. As Chen Ming watched the guards who would have glared at him angrily when they saw him hovering at the city gates from a long distance before. In at this moment they were all revealing kind smiles, he couldn't help but feel a little emotional. Go ahead and submit the guild application. Going to finish the quest over at the Scarlet Monastery again to get my last piece of inherited leather armor. With the pushiness of this SSS ranked quest, the six pieces of the inherited leather armor set coming together should give me some surprises and pleasantries. I also wonder if it could be related to the Scarlet Monastery. Say, my sister's back from shopping already, right? Let's see if we can get her online to try out the bionic teardrop and explore the basement of the Scarlet Monastery. If it pays off, my wonderful hands will come in handy. By the way, my alchemy skill has to be put on the agenda as well. Susu has already added a few players who are gathering and acquiring over at the novice village, able to provide me with quite a few basic materials. Chen Ming was walking and thinking at the same time. I hadn't realized until I thought about it carefully that I had so much going on. However, Chen Ming didn't feel annoyed. Instead he felt unusually fulfilled. Each of these things represents an advancement in one direction or another for him. He hated that there was so much going on that he was burnt out. Along the way, the Nine Heavens Guild's team of hundreds of people could be described as loud and powerful. Being so ostentatious in the small Qingfeng city naturally drew the attention of countless people. Many good people came up to inquire, and the players of the Nine Heavens Guild didn't hold back, proudly raising their heads to answer them. Our Nine Heavens Guild is going to form a guild, the first guild in the world to be founded. Envious? Lie to you? I'm a puppy dog for lying to you. Okay. All the members of the Nine Heavens Guild had excitement, confidence, and pride on their faces. Originally, people don't believe it, but as more and more players from the Nine Heavens Guild patted their chests and said that they weren't bullshitting, some, at last, were becoming skeptical. Anyway, are here to play the game, idle is also idle. Many people are have followed the Nine Heavens Guild troops, ready to explore. At the very center of Qingfeng City, the Nine Heavens Guild crowd finally stopped. Chen Ming was the only one who picked up the steps and walked into the affairs hall that dealt with town business. The onlookers followed suit and stopped in their tracks. Looking at Chen Ming's back, talking and discussing, enter the office of services. Chen Ming found the guild administrator. I want to start a guild. The white-haired, monocle-wearing guild administrator jerked his head up. The cloudy old eyes were filled with disbelief and shock. Create a guild? Now, Chen Ming did not say a word. Flashed his guild token. At this moment, the entire political staff in the affairs hall turned their heads. May I ask your guild name? After determining that there was no problem with the token, the guild administrator looked up at Chen Ming. Nine Heavens. The guild is called Nine Heavens. Is it confirmed? Okay. A check-in is over. The guild administrator respectfully handed over a medal. The words Nine Heavens were branded on it. Wait until Chen Ming received the medal. A new line of text instantly surfaced below his ID. President of the Nine Heavens Guild. You, as the first player in the world to create a guild, are entitled to a free blue-grade territory and a blue-grade territory resource pack. Chen Ming raised an eyebrow. Is there such a thing as a good thing? That's a real surprise. Each guild has its own separate territory. 
However, many small guilds simply couldn't afford to support the operation of a territory, and ultimately chose to abandon their territories and attach themselves to the territories of large guilds, enjoy some of the amenities of guild territory at the cost of being a parasite. The big guilds, on the other hand, have their own territories. The territory started out as a pinhole, a bottomless pit. It takes a lot of manpower and resources to develop it, but when it developed, the rewards were considerable. As long as the city owner runs it well, territories can have the same taverns, prop merchants, weapon stores, defense stores, and the like as the system's main city. Depending on the development and choices made by the city's owners, the various resources in the territory, too, will vary. But no matter what kind of resources, as long as a player comes to spend money, the guild that the territory belongs to will get a corresponding commission. Chen Ming remembered that in his previous life, there were quite a few big guilds that were rich and powerful and developed territories, and in the later stages, they were able to receive 10 million levels of income every month just by virtue of their territories. Even if the game enters reality, the territories can also make a fortune and earn countless amounts of game gold, and besides the gains, territories also provide a considerable number of gainful effects to guild members, as well as skill learning that is unique to the guild. Many small guilds were unable to support the consumption of their territories on their own, and were sent to attach themselves to large guild territories just for these benefits and skill acquisition. However, the effects gained by a dependent guild, and the skills learned, were naturally inferior to those of a guild with a territory. Anyway, territory is a system that has a huge upfront investment, but also a pretty exaggerated payoff later on. It was also one of the reasons why Qin Ming had made crazy money before, but now it seems he doesn't really need it anymore. As the first player to create a guild, he actually received a piece of blue level territory directly, as well as a blue level resource pack. Though territories don't start to turn a profit slightly until they reach the purple level, it takes an orange level to rival a small main city, available at. A blue level territory would already barely break even. It took a bottomless pit of investment up front to get a normal territory to green level and then upgrade it to blue level. That is the most labor intensive phase, but Chen Ming didn't need to worry about it anymore. Cool. Please identify where the territory is located. As he spoke, the guild administrators spread out a map for Chen Ming to choose from. Seven or eight village locations are marked on it. Chen Ming chose a village closer to Qingfeng City as the location of his territory. After determining the territory, a teleportation skill to return to the territory had suddenly appeared in Chen Ming's skill bar. There was also an extra territory blue level material pack in the backpack. Do it all. The creation of the guild is also finally at an end. Chen Ming left the office of affairs. He just went out. All eyes then focused on him. There is no need to say more. Everyone saw the line under Chen Ming's ID. President of the Nine Heavens Guild. At this moment, even those who were no longer convinced before were completely dumbfounded. All of them, all of them showed an expression of disbelief. Really? Really created a guild? Holy shit. Didn't they say that guild tokens would only pop out from bosses above level 30? Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup he really didn't turn it on? He's T.O. right? That's definitely a fucking too right. How shocked the people around them were. How proud the players of the Nine Heavens Guild were. They enjoyed the shock. Envy and jealousy of the players around them. Proudly raising their heads. Come, I invite you to join the club. Chen Ming took the lead in launching an invitation to several core members. Su Su, Queen, Gang, and Sister Sandy. After the four of them entered the guild, Chen Ming directly gave them the position of administrator. And then they continue to pull people. Soon, more and more players joined the guild. Currently, the Ninefold Guild is only level 1. The maximum number of people that can be accommodated is only 200. But it was enough to pull in the 100 or so players. More and more people had the line Nine Heavens Guild in big letters under their IDs. They exchanged exultant words. Looking at many passers-by with envy. Finally, someone couldn't resist. Out of the blue, he inquired. Pearl Emerald White Jade Soup Big Brother. Can we join the guild? We're pretty good at this. Big Brother by Yu Tang. Pull us in. I have a green level excellent weapon with super explosive output. Begging for a belt begging for a belt. However, Chen Ming only shook his head. I'm sorry, but these current brothers are the ones I've shared the pain and death with, and will need to evaluate them if they want to join subsequently. Chen Ming didn't brag. When faced with a pickle, these 100 or so brothers have all followed Sister Sandy's generosity to death, and have never brought a wimp. Chen Ming will not forget their contribution. A word to the wise. The excitement and thrill on the guild members' faces increased even more. Soon, everyone entered the guild. At this time, everyone noticed that new skill that had been added to the skill bar. Boss, what does this back to town skill mean? The skill effect is to return to the territory. Our Nine Heavens Guild has a territory too? Holy crap! Your own territory? 
I don't know what it is, but it feels so cool. Chan Ming grinned. That's right. From today onwards, our guild has its own territory. A territory belonging solely to the Nine Heavens. Come on, let's go check it out. The words just fell. Chen Ming activated the teleportation skill. The guild members were thrilled to hear it. Hurriedly follow suit and activate the teleport. Soon, everyone disappears. Only a group of passerby players were left behind, revealing expressions of incomparable envy. Wait until the white light in front of you dissipates. What Chen Ming saw was a somewhat dilapidated village. It's about the size of a novice village, but the building is noticeably more decadent. However, the players of the Nine Heavens Guild didn't have a half-assed expression of disgust. Instead, they were showing delight. It's rather like the seeds don't mind the family. This territory range doesn't seem small. Indeed, it's quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be. And I hear it's capable of being upgraded. Can it be comparable to Qingfeng City in the future? Everyone was wandering around and poking around like curious babies. Chan Ming, on the other hand, was guided to where the village chief was. This village chief was a middle-aged man with short hair and beard, muscular and heroic. Much, much better than the bad old man in the newbie village. Upon seeing Chen Ming, he immediately knelt down on one knee, clenched his right hand into a fist and placed it against the heart of his left chest, respectfully saying, Lord Lord, get up. As he spoke, Chen Ming handed out the blue grade territory material pack. Use this, let me see what materials I can obtain from the territory. The mayor looked up. The moment he saw the blue level territory material pack, his breath couldn't help but stutter, and an expression of disbelief appeared on his face. The village chief received the blue level territory material pack and solemnly opened it up. Ding blue level territory material pack opens. Gain resources. 1000 timber. 1000 ore. 1000 gold. 1000 food. Gain, heart of territory, x30. Obtained proof of the opening of a copy of the territory's resources x1. The trifecta of Q's jumps off. The village chief Han Yu was incredibly excited and immediately explained the importance of these resources to Chen Ming. However, Chen Ming, who had been a man for two lifetimes, did not need his prompting, and after just a little recollection on his own, he remembered the role of these resources. The first is to get one, zero 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 copies of each of the four resources, wood, minerals, gold and food. Among them, timber and mineral materials are resources used to build territory buildings, food and gold. On the other hand, are the daily consumables needed to maintain the territory. The more prosperous the territory, the more buildings and population you own, the more gold and food you consume each day. Chen Ming took a look. Currently, this territory requires 100 portions of gold and 100 portions of food per day to maintain. The initial resources opened out of Chen Ming's blue level gift pack were only enough to sustain the territory for 10 days. If the gold and food in the territory is depleted and not replenished in time, the population of the territory will gradually be lost and the buildings of the territory will be deserted and degraded. And that was only if Chen Ming did not continue to develop his territory. If he spends timber and mining materials and builds more buildings in the territory, the daily consumption of gold and food required by the territory will continue to increase. These resources are consumed without mercy. However, the way of obtaining it is quite difficult. The territory refreshes with five quests per day. By completing quests, you can obtain four different resources, wood, ore, food, and gold. The resources you get from the daily quests, though, are quite limited. Chen Ming scanned through the five daily quests provided by the blue level territory, and after doing them, he would only be able to obtain like 30 copies of each of the four basic resources. It's simply not enough to make up for the daily consumption. If you want to break even, then you need the efforts of the NPCs in the territory. The blue level territory that Nine Heavens currently owned was a thinly populated village, but even so, the NPCs within the village were able to obtain 30 servings of ingredients and gold every day on their own through hunting, planting trade, and so on. That's the advantage of blue level territories. In exchange for ordinary territories, and green level territories, that will not have any output at all. The kind that just reaches out and eats resources, half of it won't produce. But even after adding the daily output of the blue ranked territories, there were only about 60 servings of gold and food. It still doesn't make up for the consumption of 100 servings of gold and food per day. The shortfall of 40 copies would require Chen Ming, the Lord, to find a way. Gather the guild members. Going for monsters that yield territory resources is one way, but it's a dumb way to do it. There are not a lot of monsters that can produce territorial resources, but they are not difficult to kill and gain very little experience. It's impossible to let players brush up on territory resources while comfortably leveling. If you want to brush up on resources, you have to sacrifice the speed of practicing, and a team of 10 men, diligently painting a small. When you do, you will only be able to get one copy of the material. 
The shortfall of 40 materials would require a squad of 10 people to brush for a full 40 hours. Or it would take 400 players to brush for an entire hour. The players who could enter the Grand Guild were the elite of the elite. Everyone is too busy pounding away, scrambling to stay behind. Where's the time to take care of territorial resources? And that was even with Chen Ning opening with a blue level territory that could produce its own resources. If you start from scratch, the resources needed for the territory will have to be taken care of by the guild. As for cutting down the buildings and population in the territory, so as to achieve the method of reducing the daily consumption, is not impossible to use. But here's the thing, daily territories will settle into territory experience based on food and gold consumed. A certain amount of territory experience will automatically condense into a territory heart, through the heart of the territory. It's only then that you can expand the scope of your territory, upgrade the quality of buildings in the territory. For example, the resident huts in Chen Ming's territory were currently of green level quality. Consume three territory hearts to be able to upgrade to blue quality. When upgraded to blue quality, the residents living in them will be more comfortable, which will naturally lead to increased productivity. With the same daily consumption of 10 servings of food and gold, residents in a green quality resident hut are able to produce one portion of food and gold per day. Residents in blue quality resident huts, on the other hand, are able to produce two servings of food and gold per day. The same is true for other buildings, and, want to unlock new buildings, it also requires the consumption of the heart of the territory, that is to say, only by spending a lot of gold and food every day, you can get the heart of the territory and upgrade the territory, controlling and cutting down on the amount of food gold consumed will only lead to a vicious cycle of slow accumulation of territory hearts and stagnant territory upgrades, wanted the territory to grow by leaps and bounds, it would require a lot of lumber and ore, a lot of building, a lot of building frenzy, the daily consumption of gold and food is increased through a variety of buildings. Then, with the consumption of large amounts of gold and food, you can accumulate territorial experience like crazy. From there, it is exchanged for the heart of the territory. Take the quantity in the territory and turn it into a qualitative improvement. The resources consumed in this can be massive. This, then, is why the vast majority of guilds shy away from territories. Can't afford it. It's pretty needy for even the big guilds to raise it. Either that or spend real money to buy resources like gold and food within the main city. Basically one share of resources can be equivalent to a dab of real money. If Chen Ming is kryptonite, then the territory will gobble up 400, 000 of his real money every day. Want to be cheaper is fine. Then go to hire some undertake to brush the resources of professional players. However, the Nine Heavens as the world's first established guild. In the forefront of the world, the current game, there is no such organization. However, even if Chen Ming forced a group of people to take charge of the resources, it was still necessary to pay wages, spending less than the 400k needed to go directly to the system for redemption. It's also at least $300,000 to start. After all, the person taking the job isn't a fool, and they certainly won't do it for too low a price. Just doing the math made Chen Ming feel his scalp tingle. Luckily, luckily I started with a blue level territory, which produces daily output and has one. 000 resources as startup capital. Otherwise, it wouldn't take more than a few days for my petty cash to be tossed out. First, let's use the 30 territory hearts that were gifted by the territory resource pack. It would be nice to slightly increase the territorial output to make it less stressful for me. Thinking of this, Chen Ning clicked to view the heart of the territory. At this look, he froze. Then, a flash of surprise surged forth. He found a very strange place. Eh? How come the territory experience value needed to exchange for a territory heart is so little? That's too cheap? Chen Ming looked at the exchange consumption of the heart of territory. Find it a little hard to believe. Just 10 points of territory experience is all that is needed to exchange for a territory heart. It is important to realize that the experience value gained from territories is comparable to the portion of gold and food consumed each day. Currently the Nine Heavens Guild's territories consume 100 portions of gold and food per day and will receive 100 points of territory experience value at settlement. More than enough to redeem the heart of the territory. This was what made Chen Ming feel that the price was simply so cheap that he found it unbelievable. If Chen Ming remembered correctly, those large guilds that wanted to exchange for the heart of territory in the previous life would basically have to pay thousands of experience points to be able to obtain a heart of territory. Contrast that with the big guilds. The 10 experience points required for Chen Ming's redemption was simply a cabbage price. How can it be so cheap? Could it be that this is the effect that comes with the blue level territory gifted by the system? No, it's not right. The system hasn't given a hint at all. So it shouldn't be a self-imposed effect. Chen Ming thought calmly. Quickly, he reacted. The experience value required to redeem the heart of territory should be the same as the experience value required for character upgrades. 
the higher the character level, the more experience value is required. ID. The higher the number of territory hearts redeemed, the more experience value is required for the next one. Although the territory Chen Ming had obtained was a blue level territory, but it's also a whole new territory in the eyes of the system. The redemption price, too, accumulates from the initial 10 experience points. Looks like this is the most valuable part of the territory gifted by the system. It's like someone who has level 30 when he enters the game. What's so dope about him isn't just that 30 level. It's the fact that the experience bar he needs to upgrade at level 30 is exactly the same as a level 1 player. A burst of ecstasy surged across Chen Ming's face. You know, even before, when he knew that he had taken a step forward and obtained a blue level territory, he hadn't been that excited. After all, the blue level territories couldn't be self-sufficient either, giving a lot of pressure to Chen Ming. But after realizing that the exchange of the heart of the territory was so cheap, all these problems will go away. With the help of this ultra-low exchange price, he frantically acquired the heart of the territory and gave it constant upgrades. It wasn't impossible to rush a blue-ranked territory to a purple-ranked one at the fastest speed possible. Thinking of this, those last hesitations and burdens in Chen Ming's heart disappeared. I don't have to be afraid to put away one. Zero zero zeros of lumber and minerals because of increased daily consumption. On the contrary, I've got to make a big deal out of it right now. Pull up the buildings and expand the population. Increase your daily consumption in exchange for a large amount of experience value for the heart of the territory. Chen Ming opened the territory panel. First, consume 9 territory hearts to upgrade some of the resident huts to blue quality, followed by spending another 9 territory hearts to upgrade some farmland that was also of green grade quality. At the end, there were 12 territorial hearts left, which decisively unlocked the blacksmith store. The blacksmith store not only sells equipment to provide income for the territory, but also provides better weapons and farming tools for the villagers of the territory, thereby increasing the production output of the territory. 30. A territorial heart is spent. The effect is quite arguably quite noticeable. Territories that could only produce a total of 30 servings of ingredients and gold per day became 35 servings per day. 5 extra servings were produced. But boosting production is not Chen Ming's goal. Just going along for the ride. What he really wanted to do was to increase his daily consumption and earn experience points. Residents' huts need 50 lumber. 50 mineral lumber? Let's start with 5 to help. It takes 25 timber and 25 mineral lumber to clear good land? Just get 10 of them. The blacksmith store requires 200 wood and 200 ore. TSK, quite expensive, but it's affordable. After a flurry of buying, the remaining lumber and mineral material in the warehouse was a pitiful 50 copies of each. But within the territory, there was a sea change. The guild members who were wandering around the territory suddenly realized that there was a rumbling sound coming from the surroundings. Fix your eyes. The thatched huts of the original village were all turned into adobe houses made of mud at this moment. It wasn't too good in the eyes of the crowd though, but it was obviously a huge change from the previous thatched hut. Immediately following, not far away, five more adobe houses rose up, and inside them appeared one after another villagers in rustic attire. Just as everyone was Tisk's king, an auspicious cloud suddenly appeared in the sky. Seven colors of light rolled between the clouds, with a golden glow and a fine rain. The original relatively barren cultivated land, after being moisturized by the mana sprinkled by the auspicious clouds, immediately became thick and deep black, and just by looking at it, it was as if one could feel the vitality in that land. Boss is this building up the territory? Ghost, that's a big change. It makes me feel so good to see our territory getting better and better. Indeed, this seeing the village develop makes me feel at ease. Chen Ming looked at the guild channel and couldn't help but smile slightly at everyone's statements. The thrill of farming is probably engraved in the bones of many Chinese people. After the spending spree is over, Chen Ming then checked the territory information. Currently, the amount of ingredients and gold that the territory needed to consume per day had been raised to 140 points. Those extra 40 points would be a pain and a burden on any other guild. But for Chen Ming, it was a full harvest. Wait until tomorrow. Get 140 experience points and surely you can comfortably exchange a large wave of territory hearts. Soon, Chen Ming found Sister Sandy. Let her arrange for the guild members to complete the daily territory quests and obtain territory resources. At the end of the day, Chen Ming hadn't forgotten to specifically instruct Sister Sandy not to arrange for a certain number of members on a fixed basis, but rather to rotate them. After all, in Chen Ming's opinion, the daily quests were still quite troublesome. While Glory makes the daily quests fancy, they are, after all, very mediocre rewards for individuals, and are mainly for obtaining guild territory materials. It can get tiresome to keep scheduling the same people. Sister Sandy heard and understood, and immediately went to work on the implementation. But she hadn't been gone for more than a few minutes before she wandered back. Boss, 
I think you're overthinking it. There are only five guild quests. Everyone is scrambling for. No need at all. To arrange for someone. Saying that, Sister Sandy flashed a smile. I can see that everyone has a high sense of recognition for our Nine Heavens Guild. Identity? Within the village that Chen Ming was looking at, the crowd with excited faces and smiles on their faces couldn't help but reveal a smile as well. In his previous life, he was just a small mole in a chaotic world. But nowadays, the power that belonged to him was slowly rising. As is this territory that is currently just a village. It's constantly thriving. Next, it's just a matter of waiting for the territory to harvest experience every day. And development is done. Chen Ming glanced at the territory resource copy opening proof in his backpack, hesitated, and did not use it. After all, there's no shortage of resources right now. If this copy is the same as Ling Yu's opening of the Undead Scourge of Heaven in the first place, it's a copy that exceeds the level by too much too much. That would be a blood loss. It's not too late to save it for later. That's pretty much it for today. You can get off the line. Wait. I haven't finished my SSSS level quest yet. The last of my heritage leather armor. How long it's been dragging on. Chen Ming slapped his head and almost forgot about this matter. I'm going back to Qingfeng City. Su Su. Are you following along? Knowing that Su Su was a frugal child, Chen Ming was willing to let her possess her body in a concentric state and piggyback her ride. NN. Going to go. Thank you. Sir. Su Su transformed into a ball of clear air and landed on Chen Ming. Just as Chen Ming was planning to crush the city return scroll, the queen ran over with a grunt. Old lady needs to go back too. Wait for me. Chen Ming glanced away. Waiting for you? Why wait for you? Even if you really wait. You can't just get on like Su Su. You can't take you. After spitting out a few words, Chen Ming crushed the city return scroll and returned to Qingfeng City. The queen was with her when she came out of the teleportation array. The two of them looked at each other. But neither of them wanted to talk to the other. It wasn't until the two were all the way side by side, walking near the squire, that they finally looked at each other wide-eyed. What have you been following me for? The two men spoke in unison. Who followed you? Synchronize again. Chen Ming rolled his eyes, forget about it, and lazily ignored her as he walked straight in. I've come to deliver the priest's letter. The priest said everything was fine at Scarlet Abbey. No problems. Chen Ming quickly delivered the task. Gained 10 experience, 10 silver coins, and the final piece of equipment in the Heritage Leather Armor series. Heritage Leather Armor, Boots. Put on this belated last piece of equipment. The six pieces of equipment in the Heritage Leather Armor series are finally fully equipped. The effect of the six-piece set was also instantly activated. Even if he didn't turn on the equipment shine special effect, a ghostly figure also emerged behind him. In the meantime, a gush of dark blood even surfaced on his body. It makes for a very unusual look. The blood wasn't Chen Ming's. He remembered that in the introduction of the Heritage Leather Armor series set, it was described that the blood of an ancient stalker still remained on the body of this set of equipment. So, just added special effects? Just this just this? Chen Ming was somewhat speechless. He was looking forward to the six-piece set coming together. But he had been looking forward to it for so long. Nothing happened as a result. What a bummer for him. Just as he shook his head and prepared to go offline. Suddenly, a diabolic head poked out of the doorway. It cocked its head and gazed at Chen Ming. The look was serious, but with a hint of hilarity revealed. It's the queen's head of era. Chen Ming hadn't wanted to bother with this big smart. But suddenly, it twitched its nose. It seemed as if he had caught a whiff of something. It suddenly tailed up and arched its back. A growl like low thunder rolled in his throat even as he showed his teeth. It's like a cat with fried hair. Chen Ming, who was originally all set to go offline, was stunned by era acting in such a manner. What's the situation? Is the smell of something here irritating it? Chen Ming looked around. Finally, his eyes fell on his own. It landed on the inheritance leather armor set that was starting to ooze a bit of blood because it had been put together in a six-piece set. What's going on? Is Era sensing something from the top of the inherited leather armor set? Chen Ming instantly became interested. You know that Glory is a game that loves to cram some pretty crucial information into some seemingly insignificant places, like that all that blood, but it appeared in the profile of the heritage leather armor set. Good dog. What have you discovered? With great interest, Chen Ming leaned towards the dog. However, he just made a move to get closer. Era then instantly erupted into a scream before turning her head and running away without looking back. Chen Ming just wanted to chase him out. In the doorway, the queen's pretty face peeked out. It's almost exactly like when Era probes. The sense of vestigiality is too strong. It made Chen Ming unable to resist twitching the corners of his mouth. What are you doing with the white jade soup? Bullying my dog? The queen's pretty face had a look of suspicion written all over it. Being the boss in front of the guild players. You're just a white jade soup in private. Aren't you? Chen Ming secretly spat a few words at the queen. 
Where's your era? Pull it out. I have something for it. The queen's brow furrowed at once. Pull out? No. It scared right back into the pet space. Resummoning will take 12 hours from now. Say, what the hell did you do to people? The queen had a wary look on her face. Chen Ming frowned slightly. Too scared to come out? Is it really that scary? Suddenly, Chen Ming thought of the queen's dog attribute. After looking her up and down, the queen was a bit frazzled when she looked at it. Chen Ming spread a smile. Joyfully, he walked over to the queen and brought his cuffs up to her sister's nose. Take a whiff, queen? Something to do with some big baby. Chen Ming's words directly poked the queen's soft underbelly. Her pert little nose twitched slightly, sniffed very carefully. Anything? You haven't had a shower in days? It stinks. Snap. Chen Ming slapped her on the head. The queen covered her head in aggravation. Just being honest, looks like the queen can't be counted on. However, this also proved that that pet egg guarded by the heart demon fantasy ape was truly extraordinary. That person in his previous life rose to prominence by relying on this pet egg. The queen herself is good enough. Plus pet eggs. It's more like a tiger. Let's talk about it tomorrow then. I'm already hungry and down. The queen bristled and waved him goodbye. Take off your helmet. It was already dark outside the window. Even old neighborhoods full of smoke and fire are shrouded in night at this hour, as if they were sleeping in quiet. Leave the room. A warm light was found coming from under the crack in the door of his sister's room. Guessing that his sister was in the middle of a game, Chen Ming didn't bother and ran to the kitchen in search of food. Turn on the kitchen light. Found a pink sticky note taped to the microwave. Go over and take a look. It's a message from my sister. Brother, here's what I packed for you for the evening meal. It's all the last new orders. So warm it up and eat it. Tearing off the pink sticky note, Chen Ming couldn't help but smile. Before, found a yellow sticky note under the pink sticky note. Brother, tomorrow I'm going to report to school. In the refrigerator there are buns steamed buns noodles dumplings dumplings soup dumplings and other frozen food that I went to buy today. Know that you don't like to cook. Always ordering takeaway, but takeaway is always not very hygienic. So if you can, just eat some frozen. I'll make you something good when I get home this weekend. Below, a cute smiley emoji. I didn't expect Chen Jiajia to forget me, her oldest brother, after shopping with her girlfriends. Chen Ming was somewhat moved, but the thought of my sister leaving tomorrow was more than a little lost. He couldn't force his sister to stay either. After all, telling my sister that the game will become reality. This thing is also really too much bullshit. It is still quite difficult to make my sister believe it. The good thing, though, is that the school my sister attends is right here in the city. Anyway, my sister is already in the game and has earned an A-rank talent. Tomorrow wait until you're settled in at the school. Then show her your identity. Pull her into the guild. And take her to explore the Scarlet Monastery on the way. Warmed up the meal in the microwave. Chen Ming feasted. After eating and drinking, Chen Ming washed up. Went to bed and swiped his cell phone for a while. Then fell into a deep sleep. Early the next morning, Chen Ming was woken up by the alarm. In a daze, I remembered that today was the day my sister was going to report for work, and hurriedly got up. I have to say, my sister really knows her stuff. All sorts of big bags have been packed. Chen Ming didn't even need to take much trouble. He only needed to help his sister carry her bag and send her to the net car she had called downstairs, even if it was finished. It's so soul-saving. Back home. Although the home was not big. Once his sister left, Chen Ming was the only one left which more or less seemed a bit empty. It's a little empty living alone in this little house, not to mention moving to the big house. Chen Ming suddenly thought of the $10 million mansion he had been eyeing for no reason, followed by the thought of Lori Su, not so much trying to abduct the human lowly, just simply thinking about offline interviews. He'd taken the time to butt heads with the official reporter at the game yesterday, and it was already set for a week from now, to earn the remaining $2 million or so within a week, buy that villa in Castle Peak and move in. N. Go online today, and go rush the level of alchemy. The reason why Chen Ming hasn't been making much money lately, it was because he knew deep down that alchemy was a cash cow, even within the world. There was already a small group of players who had reached level 15 and possessed the qualifications to go and complete the alchemy prequest. However, they didn't have Chen Ming's experience or cheats, and were completely at a loss as to where to go to accept the quests for alchemy, not to mention the subsequent completion. In short, Chen Ming is still at the forefront of the world. Not to mention, he also possessed that antique ring that had been exploded by the heart demon phantom ape. After a casual breakfast to cope with my stomach, on the line, once again, he appeared within Qingfeng City. Open your friends list and take a look. The queen's avatar is gray, indicating that she is not online. But even if she was online, Era's 12-hour summoning cooldown hadn't ended. It's still early. After all, Chen Ming set the alarm today to see his sister off, and got up, very early, in the list. 
It's just Susu online. Took a look at her position. Hers was near the novice village. Upon asking, he realized that Lori had gotten up early and ran to collect and acquire herbs. I'm afraid that I'll delay practicing and not be able to keep up with everyone. So I'll just have to find some extra time law. Lori seemed happy. Hmm. What a good hard-working girl. After making an agreement with Lori, he went to pick up the herbs that Lori had accumulated after a few days of busy work in a little while. He then used his skills and returned to the territory. One night passed. The territory gained 140 points of territory experience by consuming 140 portions of golden food. Open the redemption page directly. Redeem the heart of the territory. 140 points of territorial experience. In total, 9 territorial hearts were redeemed. Although the redemption of the first territory heart only required 10 points of territory experience, the required experience would increase with more redemptions. However, obtaining a whole 9 territory hearts after sleeping for a night was already quite an exaggerated gain. Spend 6 territory hearts to upgrade the blacksmith shop. The equipment of farmers and hunters has been updated once again, and the amount of golden food that can be obtained by the territory on a daily basis has been increased. The remaining 3 territory hearts, which could not be used for the time being, were left in the territory warehouse. After this is done, Chen Mingchuan sent to the novice village. Soon, Su Su was met outside the novice village. Sir, when Su Su saw Chen Ming, she excitedly ran over and initiated the transaction with preciousness. On the trading column, Su put on over 20, 000 copies each of Lantana and Red Campanula, a total of 40, 000 copies. Sir, these were acquired at 10 copper coins a plant as you requested. So many? Chen Ming was somewhat surprised. He had thought that Su Su would only acquire 10, 000 copies of each type of medicinal herb at the top of the day. I didn't realize Su Su had overshot the mark by that much. In fact, after Chen Ming obtained the antique ring, he probably only needed 5, 000 materials to rush his pill refining to level 10. After level 10, Chen Ming was able to unlock new pill refining recipes. The materials required. 2. Will change. But even if the materials were more than several times more than Chen Ming had predicted, it was not a big problem. After all, at this stage, this market is still a blank batch. Chen Ming was able to sell out no matter how many potions he made. When Chen Ming last traded with Ling Yu, it was 4, 000, 000 materials sold for 40, 000, 000, and a tenth of the commission was given to Su Su, which was more than 4, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0. At this rate, well done Suz. Your commission this time will be at least $40,000. Lori gulped at the sound. A somewhat nervous look. Sir, I, I'll just take 5,000. Lori said timidly. $40,000. What can she do? Chen Ming was too lazy to bother with her, and directly transferred $40,000 to Lori's card without saying a word. This is what you deserve. As an elite member of our Nine Heavens Guild, how can you walk the rivers and lakes without some money on you? Chen Ming waved his hand in a bold manner. If you're feeling over it, Go practice your ass off. I see that today's guild chat is full of people looking for you, Sister Susu, to make a team date and brush up on their levels. Everyone's begging to be able to take one of you on their team, and then you end up running off to the newbie village to make money. So I can see those guys getting antsy. Chen Ming flirted, making the little lowly lower her head in some embarrassment. Only, it's not any Susu sister. I feel so embarrassed when they call it like that. Cute drop pinch. Chen Ming rubbed the little lowly's head, said goodbye to her and returned to Qingfeng City, pulling out his ancient ring. Before putting it on, Chen Ming was quite a bit of a meathead. He had worked hard yesterday to brush up on his leveling, plus the experience value from the Heart Demon Phantom Ape, which had allowed him to reach level 14 with great difficulty, plus the 10 experience points gained at the end of the SSS level mission. His current experience bar is just 15. Put on an antique ring. He then gets 50 experience points deducted, dropped straight back to level 13. And with 50 experience points deducted, you can still only use the antique ring for just one hour. It's costly. If only the mainstone's carving knife worked. Chen Ming was somewhat emotional. There is a one-week CD on the boulder carving knife. Only a few days ago he had grafted the dragon seal from the war flute that summoned the bull and horse onto Susu's staff. The CD is clearly not over. Endure the pain and put on the antique ring. Chen Ming only felt a huge suction force surging steeply. Next, he got the feeling that his body was being hollowed out. Antique ring passive, devour, triggered. You are deducted 50 experience points. During the, devour, trigger. Your experience gain is reduced by 100. Ding, antique ring passive, medicine god, triggered. God of medicine, the success rate when refining medicine is increased by 300. The rarity of the output of refining medicine is increased by 300. And the experience value gained from refining medicine is raised by 500. 
See that flurry of information.